Chapter 901 Death Racing Zhang Tuohai fell into a black vortex. Surrounded by pictures. Some were technological cities. Some were rural scenery. Some were dark and cold prison cells. Some were sunny holiday villas. Some were modern battlefields filled with artillery fire. And some were equipped with swords and guns. Of ancient battlefields. Scenes flowed around. In front of him. Ji Ye's black silhouette was standing not far away. Those around you are optional plot scenes. It's easy to get the power in my hands. As long as you can come in front of me in the plot world. Then I will hand over all the power in my hands to you. Ji Ye said while tossing the authority in his hand. Of course. If you are afraid, you can leave directly. Or I can hand over the authority to you. But you must leave sister too forever. Ji Ye said coldly. Huh? Zhang Tuohai was slightly startled when he heard Ji Ye's words. He felt that things seemed to be developing in a subtle direction. Ji Ye seemed to have a problem with him, and Lila standing together. Could it be that the stepdaughter has a natural resistance to her stepfather? How's it going? Have you made your choice? Ji Ye urged. Obviously impatient. Lilith is my daughter, and I will never abandon her. So how should I choose the scene? Zhang Tuohai asked lazily. Are you sure? There was a hint of disbelief in Jia's tone. In her eyes, Zhang Tuohai was just a coward hiding behind the elder sister's head. How could he dare to face such a challenge? You may not know that in this kind of world, there is no chance of resurrection. If you die, you will die in reality too. So what? Do you think what I have experienced before is simpler than these? I will never give up on Lilith. Can you tell me how to choose the scene now? Zhang Tuohai asked. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's confident look, Ji Yi was a little angry. You succeeded in irritating me. I will let you know the consequences of offending me. Now! You have no chance to choose. Go to this world, Ji Yi said. And with a wave of his hand, a scene suddenly appeared at Zhang Tuohai's feet. And a black vortex appeared, swallowing Zhang Tuohai completely. Zhang Tuohai felt dizzy for a while. When he recovered, he was shocked to find that he was squatting in a cell. He was wearing an orange prison uniform and had shackles on his hands and feet. He looked like a serious criminal. Prisoner? This is not a good status. Zhang Tuohai looked at the scene around him. At this time, he was staying in a cell, surrounded by cement walls that were not even painted with white plaster. He was sitting on an iron bed that was welded to the ground, with a dirty and worn blanket spread under him. In the corner was a stainless steel toilet with half a roll of toilet paper on the water tank. And nothing else. No. Above the water tank is a small ventilation window. Only 30 centimeters wide. With two thumb-thick iron bars installed on it. Only mice can freely enter and exit the remaining space. At this moment, a ping-ping-pong-pong -pong sound sounded. Zhang Tuohai turned around and saw that the entire wall at the end of the bed was a full metal sliding door. A prison guard was knocking on the iron bars of the cell door with a riot baton. On the 341st, the warden asked you whether you want to participate in the death racing rally. This is your last chance. If you don't want to participate, tomorrow morning will be the date of execution. Here, do I still have a choice? Zhang Tuohai secretly complained. Isn't this just forcing him to participate? If he doesn't participate, he really won't be able to see the sun tomorrow. I can't have breakfast either. You are still stubborn. Then I will tell the warden to prepare for the death penalty. Seeing that Zhang Tuohai did not respond, the prison guard thought that Zhang Tuohai was still ready to refuse. So he turned around and left. Okay, I agree, Zhang Tuohai said helplessly. Huh? The prison guard was stunned and turned to look at Zhang Tuohai in disbelief. What did you say? I still have some unfinished business. So I can't die tomorrow, Zhang Tuohai said calmly. The prison guard looked at Zhang Tuohai in disbelief, looked up and down, and then nodded. Okay, I will tell the warden your answer and give you a piece of advice. Take advantage of this time to enjoy it. Death exists, but it is actually a kind of relief. After saying that, the prison guard turned and left. What the hell kind of start is this? I was thrown into prison right from the beginning. It's really difficult. I have to find a way to get out. While Zhang Tuohai was thinking about it, a memory appeared in his mind, which was the memory that he assumed his identity. In his memory, he was a supermarket delivery boy. In order to deliver goods quickly, he developed good driving skills. Recently, he was considering quitting his delivery job to find a professional team. The prison he was in was a private prison that had been losing money for many years. With his ingenuity, he organized a death racing competition that miraculously won the ratings championship. With the generous advertising revenue, 
he actually turned a profit and made a lot of money. The bowl is full. The warden saw the business opportunities in this and began to hold death races one after another. A lot of money was made. But due to the high mortality rate, there were fewer and fewer excellent drivers. In order to gain profits, they began to search for people with excellent driving skills in society, designed to put them in prison, and force them to participate in death racing. And Zhang Tuohai's identity is that of the unlucky man who was sent to prison by design. Damn capital. As expected, greed and filth permeate every pore. Zhang Tuohai lowered his head and cursed. At this time, there was a sound of leather shoes. The warden in uniform came over. The warden was a typical redneck man with a burly build and a scar on his face. It was said that he was injured while serving overseas. According to the memory of his identity, the warden had a bad temper. He would punch and kick the prisoners if they were not satisfied at all, and sometimes would use instruments. It is said that there was a torture room dedicated to him in the prison, and no prisoner who entered could come out standing. According to statistics, the number of prisoners who died at the hands of the warden is as high as double digits. Because of his cruel methods, the prisoners secretly called him the Bloody Butcher. I heard you agreed. The warden looked John to a high up and down through the cell door. That's right. After all, if you don't agree, you will die. Normal people know how to choose. John Tuohai said helplessly, according to the rules, the prison can meet your few requirements that are not excessive. What do you want? Money? Food? Women? Or men? As long as it is what you want. We can get it for you. As long as you can as long as you survive. These will always be yours. The warden said quietly, I want to go see the car I'm going to race with. Chapter 902 Passionate Robert Oh! Hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, the warden was obviously stunned. Since the open recruitment of contestants began, it is not that no one wants to live longer, and it is not that no one cares about the condition of the participating vehicles, but that is only after enjoying some privileges and rewards, and in the time of the sage, things to do. Zhang Tuohai was the first to say that he wanted to check the condition of the car first. Are you sure? Don't you want to enjoy it first? An authentic Gallic meal. Latin American tobacco, or a few Victoria's secret models. You should know our capabilities, and these are all within the allowed range. The warden put his hands in his pockets and said calmly, No, I still prefer to check the condition of the car first. John Tuohai shook his head decisively. Nowadays, life is still important. Those things outside the body can only be enjoyed if you have a life. In that case, Robert, take him to the depot and give him a new set of equipment. The warden pursed his lips and said to the prison guard beside him, As you command? A fat prison guard named Robert opened the metal door, walked into the cell, and put an electronic anklet on John to a high. This is the latest electronic anklet. It is waterproof, dustproof, and electricity proof. It has high hardness. There is no physical keyhole. It can only be opened by entering a 26-digit password. If you enter the wrong password more than three times in a row, it will explode. The power of the explosion it's enough to blow your legs off. In addition, this electronic anklet also has a positioning function. The only areas you can move now are the decoration workshop and the cell area. If you exceed the area, an alarm will be triggered. If you do not return for more than 30 seconds, an explosion will occur. Do you understand? Robert put electronic anklets on Zhang Tuohai and at the same time removed Zhang Tuohai's heavy handcuffs and shackles only replacing them with a pair of ordinary handcuffs. Let's go and take you to see your car. Robert led Zhang Tuohai towards the outside of the cell. Zhang Tuohai stood up obediently and observed the surroundings carefully as he walked. The conditions in this area were pretty good. They were all single rooms with separate bathrooms. They were much better than the mixed cells he had seen on video websites before. However, there was almost no one in the cell at this time. They all probably went to work in the factory in the prison. After all, this is a private prison. People who do not support idlers and cannot create value cannot survive here. After crossing several gates guarded by guards, Zhang Tuohai followed guard Robert to a huge factory. In the factory, there are various machine tools and welding machines. The shells on both sides are filled with various steel materials and parts. In the center of the factory is an ordinary Citron. This is your modification workshop. You can make any modifications you want to this car, Robert said pointing to the Citron in the center of the factory. Any modifications? John Tuohai asked. Anything. Robert's tone was full of certainty, including machine guns, 
artillery, and other vehicle-mounted weapons? John Tuohai asked with a smile. Have you never seen our death racing competition? Robert's tone was full of surprise. What's wrong? Is there any problem? John Tuohai felt that there was something in Robert's words. Of course, as long as you can install it, there will be no problem even if you install the Iskander missile on your car. As long as you can install it. Robert held up a finger. Then can I choose to change my car? The structure of this car is too bad. I should at least change it to a Hummer. John Tuohai made a request. This is not possible. Robert shook his head quickly. This is a soft advertisement for the sponsor. You don't have a choice. But you can choose various accessories at will. If you win a game, you will also receive bonuses from the sponsor. A guarantee for one game it's $500,000. Robert held out five fingers with an exaggerated expression on his face. Half a million? It's really a lot. John Tuohai breathed a sigh of relief. With the resources of 2,000 worlds, he no longer had any desire for ordinary money. His desire for wealth has been elevated to a higher level, such as quantum crystals, source matter, and the door of truth. Only these things that can realize the transition of life can arouse his interest. By the way, can I see videos of past gains? John Tuohai asked. Of course you can, but don't expect to get any reference plans from it, because there will be some changes in every game. Robert wrote down in his notebook. Is there anything else you want? Then give me a catalog of individual weapons and equipment and a catalog of vehicle-mounted weapons and equipment that you can provide. In addition, I also want titanium alloy steel plates, solid tires, bulletproof glass, and better engines. Zhang Tuohai said, Speaking of other things, he may not be good at it, but when it comes to car modification, he is an expert. After all, he has become a demigod in this aspect step by step. No one in this world knows car modification better than him. As for the technical aspect, he has done a lot of tricks under Lilith and has learned a few skills under the influence. Although he may not be as good as those with a professional background, it is still not a problem to cope with this level of car modification. Of, these are all fine. Do you want to apply for a few helpers? We have some volunteers from Imperial College here. And we also have a new group of beautiful assistants. I guarantee that they have all starred in Hollywood. If you need it, I can help you apply for two. Individual, Robert said, winking at John to a high and showing a smile that every man understands. Your business scope here is quite broad. And you actually also produce content for paid channels. John to a high raised his head and looked around. Surrounded by a circle of 4K high definition cameras. The entire factory was under the surveillance of cameras. And there was no blind spot. There is nothing you can do about it. After all, you want to make a profit and you have nothing to lose. If you want to find such a woman outside, you will have to pay far more than this small price. Robert made a small gesture. Forget it. I don't want to waste my energy needlessly before the game. So I have prepared what I need. By the way, I'll have dinner here. Just the tomahawk steak. Zhang Tuohai said as he picked up a toolbox from a nearby shelf and walked towards the car. Are you really not going to think about it? That's a Hollywood actress. Robert asked unwillingly. I do not need it. Thank you. Zhang Tuohai had already gotten under the car and started to check the situation under the car. What a freak. Robert shook his head, regretting the loss of commission income. However, he quickly cheered up. At least, there was still some negotiation with catering advertisers. There happened to be a few restaurants specializing in steaks that wanted to advertise. As for which one to choose, it all depends on whether they can satisfy him. Chapter 903 The Audience Was Deceived in the evening, Zhang Tuohai had already checked the condition of the car. Although it was a death racing car, the prison authorities did not do anything to the car. On the contrary, the car was still in very good condition. Just like a new one from the factory. Or rather, this is just pulled off the production line. And even some weak points have been reinforced. After all, it's for advertising. And it doesn't look good for the brand when it's pulled out. Therefore, the car Zhang Tuohai can get can be said to be the best in its class. After checking, Robert had already brought over past videos and a laptop that couldn't connect to the internet. Looking at the videos of previous years, Zhang Tuohai held his chin and thought. Previous death races were held on an isolated island. This island is on the edge of the city. Because it has no water resources and little development value, it has been used as a coffin burial place for homeless people, commonly known as mass graves. However, it was rented by the warden and transformed into a death racing venue. There are many mechanisms 
and equipment on the coastal road of the track. If you don't pay attention to avoid them, the car will be destroyed and people will be killed. In addition to the traps on these tracks, players competing together must also be wary of each other. Each competition has a death quota. If the number of deaths cannot reach the quota, the official will start the voting mode, and the contestant with the lowest number of votes will be cleared by the official. As an aside, voting also costs money. Why does it feel a bit like cheering for a ranking? Zhang Tuohai scratched his head and felt inexplicably familiar. Sure enough, the essence of the methods of collecting money has not changed. Although this rule has brought a lot of wealth to capital, it has also created a problem. That is, in addition to modifying cars and competing, these contestants also have to perform performances to keep the audience interested in continuing to watch and avoid being voted out. Kill. Some contestants, who are not good at performing will try their best to kill them during the game in order to avoid being voted out due to low votes. Other contestants will avoid entering the voting round. This has also led to the death racing competition becoming more and more cruel. The further back the race is, the higher the mortality rate. As of the latest issue, the mortality rate has been as high as 70%. The mortality rate for newcomers is as high as 90%. Because some veteran players have begun to form alliances overtly or covertly and join forces to kill newcomers to maintain their status. This is why the warden goes to great lengths to find people with racing talent. This situation seems to be a little more complicated than during the survival competition. Zhang Tuhai thought. After all, at that time, he only had to think about how to survive. Now, he has to please the audience. Needing numbness. This Xie would really make things difficult for him. By the time he finished watching the last game, it was already getting late. So Robert brought dinner. In addition to the tomahawk steak named by Zhang Tuahai, there were also red wine, salad, small cakes and ice cream. However, every meal there are big logos next to each meal. And even the person pushing the dining cart is a model wearing a bikini, with large and small brand logos painted on her body. I really fell into the eyes of money. Zhang Tuahai looked at this posture and didn't know what to say. However, extreme commercialization was also good for him. At least, he didn't have to worry about food. After dinner, Zhang Tuohai expressed that he wanted to stay here overnight. The reason was very good. He needed to get familiar with the conditions of the new car. The real reason was also very simple. It was much more comfortable here than a small prison cell. Robert had never encountered this request before, but he still asked the warden for permission, and the request was quickly approved. After all, the level of surveillance here is only higher than that of a prison cell. There is 24-hour surveillance around the clock and there are free monitors the audience helps with supervision. So there is no need to worry about prisoners escaping. Zhang Tuohai's request was granted. He can stay in the decoration workshop with peace of mind. However, a new problem posed in front of him. The woman in bikini was actually left behind. Before leaving, Robert made a promising gesture to Zhang Tuohai. Is this thing still forcible? Zhang Tuohai didn't understand. Why do you have to stay here? Do you want to make your debut from me? Wouldn't it be better to choose someone else? Zhang Tuohai hid under the car and said, while reinforcing the bottom of the car, I have other reasons. As long as you can let me stay here, I can stay by your side without disturbing you. Of course, if you need anything, I can too, the bikini girl said, leaning over lowering his body. Zhang Tuohai felt that he had arrived on the land of Africa and saw the towering Mount Kilimanjaro and the deep East African Rift Valley. To be honest, the bikini woman is of mixed race, with softer facial features and belongs to Zhang Tuohai's aesthetics. However, this is Ji's world. Who knows what Ji is up to? And Zhang Tuohai does not dare to act easily. You can stay here as long as you don't disturb me. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to care about her. He still lay under the car and reinforced the car. The arc flashed. And apart from the sound of the welding machine in the factory, one could hear the dropping of needles. Zhang Tuohai concentrated on his work. And the bikini woman lay beside him, watching Zhang Tuohai work. The two of them were focused on nothing. But the audience in front of the TV was waiting impatiently and yelled at the two of them for not having something R20 level. Those who couldn't wait had already changed the channel. And some of the more obsessive viewers were drinking and staring at the TV, planning to fight Zhang Tuohai to the end to see what he was going to do. Zhang Tuohai worked until 9 o'clock in the evening before the complete modification was completed. Thanks to Robert, he got a lot of titanium alloy steel plates. And Zhang Tuohai completely reinforced it. According to Zhang Tuohai's estimation, it would be nothing to withstand anti-infantry mines. Questionable. Seeing Zhang Tuohai wash his hands, 
The audience in front of the TV became excited. Coming. Coming. The big one is coming. Many people called to greet friends. And many bars also tuned the TV station to Zhang Tuohai's channel newcomers always attracted more attention. For example, some movies that contain similar keywords like first time and first experience will always have higher sales. However, what happened next made them disappointed. Although Zhang Tuohai and the woman got into the car, they actually slept alone in the front seat and alone in the back seat without even putting down the chairs. Are you fooling me? It's only 9 o'clock in the evening. And that's all you do? The audience felt that they had been deceived and became angry. Some people even smashed the cups in their hands. Many people secretly vowed to kill Zhang Tuohai when the voting process came. Chapter 904 An Unexpected Deputy The next morning, when Robert came to deliver the meal, he whispered to Zhang Tuohai, Do you know what you are doing? Your behavior yesterday angered many people, and the audience members were very dissatisfied with you. No, there are few people on Bluebird saying that they will kill you. Others are collecting your information and preparing to expose your information. It's none of their business. As long as they don't enter the voting process, it will be fine. Zhang Tuohai ate the chicken roll sent by Robert with an indifferent expression. In fact, Robert's normal habit is basically coffee and bread, and at most a bowl of cereal. But Zhang Tuohai couldn't get used to it and insisted on meat. Robert walked two streets and bought some chicken rolls because the vendor did not pay the advertising fee. When Zhang Tuohai was eating, the chicken roll was completely mosaic. So that when Zhang Tuohai was eating the chicken roll, it always felt like something was wrong. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's indifferent expression, Robert didn't know what to say, so he could only leave silently and then help Zhang Tuohai find more powerful weapons and armors, who allowed Zhang Tuohai to earn him a commission equivalent to several months' salary in just a few hours. The god of wealth must be well maintained. Zhang Tuohai's first job today is to add protection to the car door. Bang bang bang. Zhang Tuohai used a hammer to smash all the car windows. And then welded pieces of titanium alloy metal plates to the car. One level was not enough. So two additional levels were installed. The most crazy thing is that Zhang Tuohai also inserted ceramic bulletproof inserts between the two layers. God! What are you doing? Robert looked at Zhang Tuohai's modifications, and his mind was filled with questions. The armor of battleships is basically this model. However, at that time, the craftsmanship was not up to par. And steel armor and hardwood were used. Bikini girl spoke. You actually know? Zhang Tuohai glanced at the girl curiously. She didn't seem to have anything to do with battleships. So she shouldn't know about such things. My father is a sailor. And my brother is also a sailor. My dream was to be a sailor. I have many ship models at home. And I know more about this. The bikini girl shook her hair and said nonchalantly. But you have sealed the side windows. How should you observe the surrounding situation? I'm afraid the view from the front window alone is not enough. Right, Robert said with some concern. This is the second batch of things I asked you to purchase. Zhang Tuohai said and handed the list to Robert. Periscope? Do you want it? Robert looked at Zhang Tuohai in disbelief. Yes. Can you get it? If you can't get it, I will have to make it by hand. Zhang Tuohai said and took out another shopping list. If you can't get it, just buy the materials on this list. Let me take a look. Robert muttered and left with a list in hand. He never expected that a racing competition would actually receive an advertisement for marine supplies. After Robert left, Zhang Tuohai continued the vehicle modification work. After a day of hard work, the original appearance of the car body was completely lost. It was wrapped in a thick layer of titanium alloy and ceramic armor, and even the outside of the wheels was covered with titanium alloy steel plates. In Zhang Tuohai's previous videos, he saw that some people like to install sharp cones on the sides of the wheels to damage the other party's tires. This must be guarded against. In the evening, Robert brought the items ordered by Zhang Tuohai and also brought a message. According to the above, this competition will be a two-person partnership. What do you mean? Zhang Tuohai frowned. That is, there must be two people in a car and both people must have a role and cannot be vases. Otherwise, it will be directly judged as negative. As Robert spoke, he took a small cake from a plate and stuffed it into his mouth. These are all made by Michelin-level chefs. With his salary, he can't afford these things. What kind of bullshit rule is this? Zhang Tuohai frowned. He felt that this was obviously Zhi Yi targeting him. Now, he not only has to deal with a group of senior players, a cunning prison, and stupid black fans, but he also has to bring along a teammate who doesn't know his true identity. 
Are you sure it's really not holding him back? Do you have any friends? The meaning of prison is that if you can't find anyone, you can find one of those death row prisoners as a teammate, Robert suggested. Get lost. Zhang Tuai decisively rejected Robert's suggestion. You know, to be sentenced to death in a country that has almost abolished the death penalty. This person is definitely guilty of the most heinous crimes. Serial killers are probably the least guilty among them. To choose teammates from such scum, it is better to let him go alone, facing those enemies. However, the damn rules force him to pick a teammate. Are you willing? You get 70% of the bonus. Zhang Tuohai looked at Robert and asked with a smile. This fat prison guard is quite good. Although he is a bit greedy for money, both parties have common interests, and there is no need to worry that the other party will betray him. When Robert heard this, he shook his head like a rattle. He had just made a little money and had not lived a good life yet. He did not want to lose his life in a death racing game, like the tragic scenes of blood and flesh in the previous issues. Although it won ratings and advertisers and made him a lot of money, it was absolutely impossible for him to get into it. What about you? Are you willing? Zhang Tuohai turned to look at the bikini girl next to him. Me? Can I? The bikini girl was eating a burger, and she didn't expect that Zhang Tuohai would actually lead the topic to her. I need a deputy. Are you willing to take it? If not, I'll leave tomorrow morning, Zhang Tuohai said. Can. Zhang Tuohai originally thought that the bikini girl would give up. But unexpectedly, the other party only hesitated slightly before agreeing. Are you sure? If you get into a death race with me, there is a 90% chance that you will die. Zhang Tuohai looked at the bikini girl. I owe money to Henry the Bloody Hand. If I leave, I will either die, be forced to work as a wandering warbler, or have my kidneys harvested. There is no way to survive. The bikini girl smiled helplessly. It turns out you are treating my place as a refuge. So it's you. Work hard, and I'll share 30% of the bonus with you. Zhang Tuai said. Okay. What do you need me to do? The bikini girl put her hands on the table. Pass me the tools. Good. The bikini girl became Zhang Tuai's deputy. With the cooperation of the two, Zhang Tuai's car took shape day by day. In the early morning of the sixth day, Zhang Tuohai finally left the car factory because today was the day of his first race. Chapter 905 Unrestricted Death Racing Come on! I'm betting heavily on you to win. Don't let me down! Robert patted Zhang Tuohai on the shoulder and said, If I can share some of it, I will work harder. Zhang Tuohai said half-jokingly, Oh, that's not possible. This is the pension I prepared for myself. However, if you can win, I can introduce you to more advertisers and let you use more products. Robert declined seriously. Is that so? That's really a pity. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shrugged after hearing this, then sat in the cab and backed the car into a container. The container was lifted by a forklift to an open area. Then, Zhang Tuohai, who was in the container, felt a shaking and then heard the sound of a propeller. Are they going to send us there in a helicopter? Miranda, the bikini girl, said as she grasped the armrest in the car. Otherwise, the competition is on an island. Should we transport it there by ship? What if we run away midway? Don't forget, our car is equipped with various weapons. If we want to run on land, there are so many ways. In the air, if we dare to move, we will be dropped to death. John Tuohai moved his wrist and glanced at the electronic anklet on his ankle. At this time, the positioning area of the electronic anklet had been expanded. Otherwise, the bomb would have exploded the moment he was lifted out of the prison. There was no timer in the car. So Zhang Tuohai kept counting his pulse to calculate the time. About 15 minutes later, Zhang Tuohai felt a violent impact. And then, the sound of the lifting chains clanging they were placed on the ground. Bang! After a muffled sound, the lids on all sides of the container were opened. Zhang Tuohai immediately raised the periscope and looked around. As far as the eye can see, there are a total of eight cars divided into two rows and arranged staggered. Zhang Tuohai's position is number three in the second row, which is a very poor position. The car in seat four on the left is a humby covered in spikes, with long cones welded to the wheels. The window is lowered, and you can see two strong men wearing vests and sunglasses in the car. Han, a strong man with a cigar in his mouth, smiled contemptuously when he saw Zhang Tuohai's periscope and made a gesture of cutting his throat. Zhang Tuohai has seen this kind of people a lot and they are all waiting in line to be reborn. Naturally, he will not be angry, and just turn the periscope to the other side. 
On the other side, there is a Wrangler pickup truck. The entire body is reinforced with steel plates, and grills are installed on the windows. There was a heavy machine gun in the back of the vehicle, and the huge mantlet almost covered people, because the mantlet was too thick. A turntable was made below, and the people on top adjusted the direction by turning the handle. To the right is a streamlined sports car. The body of the car looks very low, similar to a normal F1 car. Two people are divided into front and rear seats. There is a huge rocket engine at the rear. It seems that it should take the speed route. I just don't know what the real situation is. Zhang Tuohai has never seen this kind of car in previous race videos. The vehicles in front also have their own characteristics. But the overall style is similar. With thick rivet armor. Heavy machine guns. And some are equipped with Dow anti-tank missiles. Full of wasteland heavy metal style. Many people also stood up from their cars and waved to the surrounding monitors. Obviously trying to win the favor of the audience so as not to be voted out during the voting session. Do we really not need to go out and please those audiences? Miranda asked worriedly. No need. Zhang Tuohai drank the milk tea in his hand with a nonchalant expression. But if we look like this and enter the voting, then just don't enter the voting session. Do we really want to kill so many people? Miranda hesitated. It's not us who kill them. It's capital. If we don't kill them, it's us who will die. Zhang Tuohai pulled the handbrake and put his foot on the accelerator. The other riders will all be back in the car. And the ready light will be on. The host also quickly introduced today's rules. Today's rules are very simple. Unrestricted free race. There are no restrictive rules in this competition. As long as you can complete two laps along the road. You will be the winner. The final number of survivors shall not be more than three. Those who exceed will enter the voting round. It is up to the spectators to decide whether the contestants live or die. There are three people left alive? Is it so difficult? Lao Vong, please don't die. I'm counting on you for my pension. In a bar, Robert held the betting slip in his hand and watched the TV with excitement. The betting slip in his hand was almost soaked with sweat. The other drinkers in the bar are basically the same. Every time a death racing game starts, the gamblers have a carnival. The disputes outside the venue are sometimes even more cruel than inside the venue. DDD, the last set of red lights came on and everyone stepped on the accelerator. Do it! Many players turn their machine guns and turrets in unison to shoot at the players around them. This is the place with the highest hit rate in all venues. Of course, those who didn't have that much confidence in their vehicle's defense simply stepped on the accelerator and rushed out. Zhang Tuohai received special attention because he was in the second row. Two cars in the first row, one on the left and one on the right, blocked the front of Zhang Tuohai's car. The cars on the left and right set up heavy machine guns, aiming at Zhang Tuohai. Takumi's car fired wildly. However, Zhang Tuohai's vehicle was modified according to the protection level of a light tank, and could even withstand direct fire from small caliber artillery. These 12.7 mm caliber machine guns could only leave a little dent on the armor plate. Miranda was frightened by the gunfire like exploding beans at first, but later she realized that no gun could really penetrate the armor plate, and she slowly felt relieved. Let's do it. We don't have so much time to waste with them. Zhang Tuohai held the steering wheel with both hands and said lazily. Oh, okay. Miranda picked up the handle and pressed the green button. The roof of the car opened, and a round nozzle popped out, aiming at the Hummer next to it. Puff. A stream of extremely concentrated acid sprayed from the high-pressure water cannon and shot directly into the open window of the Hummer. Two strong men in vests were accidentally poured all over their faces. Stab prick. A stream of white smoke and a burnt smell rose from the faces of the two strong men. Ah! The two strong men covered their faces and screamed in pain. After the two strong men lost their mobility, Miranda did not hesitate to fight and pointed the high-pressure water gun at the pickup truck on the other side. Chapter 906 Reverse Acceleration The player on the pickup truck gun emplacement had long seen the tragic situation of the players in the Humvee. When he saw the high-pressure water cannon turning around, he was frightened and hid behind the gun mantlet. However, he completely forgot that the high-pressure water cannon sprayed liquid, shot directly in along the observation gap. If it were a normal gun shield, it might not be a big problem, because the acid would shoot right through. However, in order to prevent attacks from other angles, his gun mantlet was directly made into a fully enclosed type. After the acid hit the wall, it sputtered back. Ah! Screams resounded from the gun mantlet. The two blocking vehicles in front saw the miserable condition of these two vehicles, and just as they were about to speed away, high-pressure water cannons were already aimed at them. 
in order to prevent the two blocking vehicles from being attacked from behind. The rears of the two roadblocks were equipped with huge bulletproof plates. High concentration acid would not be able to corrode the opponent's armor for a while. However, before the other party could be happy, the high-pressure water cannon turned and aimed at their rubber tires. Bang bang. The rubber tires could not withstand such high concentration acid corrosion and exploded directly. Zhang Tuohai calmly drove up behind the two cars and burned off their rear wheels. Hurry up! We are too far behind! If we don't speed up, we won't be able to keep up, Miranda said anxiously. Why are you chasing? Zhang Tuohai rolled his eyes at Miranda, picked up the squad light machine gun that had been prepared long ago, and fired at the unlucky ones who were splashed by the acid, helping them end their pain once and for all. As for the person in the car, Zhang Tuohai was also unambiguous and greeted them with machine guns and grenades. After all, he fought his way out in a hail of bullets. He has experience fighting in dozens of worlds from cold weapons to intercontinental strategic missiles, and finally extraordinary abilities, and even space fleets and divine battles. He has extremely rich combat experience. It is far beyond the reach of ordinary people who have made several zero-dollar purchases and participated in several death races. When Zhang Tuohai fell into this group of people, he was like a king falling into a bronze bureau to fry fish. He was directly crushed. Many people were killed by Zhang Tuohai without even reacting. Zhang Tuohai's operation not only taught these contestants a lesson, but also stunned the audience in front of the TV. They never expected that Zhang Tuohai, who had been cursed by them, would be so capable and kill six players at once. Three cars were completely destroyed. This is equivalent to killing half of the players in one fell swoop. This is just the beginning. Since the inception of Death Racing, we have never encountered such a cruel player. Awesome! You are my lucky star! Robert was overjoyed and kissed the betting slip in his hand. Zhang Tuohai gave him too many surprises. Originally, he expected Zhang Tuohai to reach the finish line. But unexpectedly, he actually killed half of the people. Humph! Don't get too proud too early. No matter how many kills you can, it's just the beginning. Besides, he is too far behind now. He can't catch up with the big troops in front. Even if he can finish the race, he will be the last one to pass the finish line. Stand! and 80% will be voted out. A drinker who bought the wrong bet angrily tore up the betting slip in his hand. Watching others win is more uncomfortable than him losing. He decided to throw Zhang Tuohai to death as soon as he entered the voting process. Be sure to cast 10 votes, not 20, on the field. Miranda did not expect that Zhang Tuohai could be so ruthless under his gentle appearance. In the blink of an eye, the three cars were completely scrapped and all the people on the cars died. I can we go after them? Seeing Zhang Tuohai getting into the car, Miranda asked fearfully, What are you chasing? Why don't you just wait here? As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he drove and pushed several other cars away, blocking the road. What do you want to do? Don't you want to finish the game? Miranda asked worriedly. It doesn't matter. There is no time limit anyway, and the completion condition is just to circle the island twice. In that case, then we will wait here. Wait for them to come back and kill them so that no one will compete with us. When the time comes, we will wouldn't it be okay to take two slow detours? As Jiang Tuohai spoke, he raised his feet and fell down on the bridge. Miranda, she was stunned by Zhang Tuohai's idea. She never thought that death racing could have such a gameplay. The other viewers in front of the TV were also shocked by Zhang Tuohai's idea. Made fact, where did you find this guy? Could it be that the organizer personally found someone specifically to defraud us of our money? Shit! If I had known this guy was so insidious, I would have bought him. That's right. I hope the grizzly bear I bought can be more powerful and can kill this guy. I've already spent all my money on it. What do you mean? I've already spent all the protection money I've just collected in this neighborhood. If I lose, I'll have no choice but to run away. The onlookers in the bar were noisy, and Zhang Tuohai was leisurely waiting for the players to return. In less than half an hour, the sound of roaring motors could be heard in the distance and two cars came speeding from a distance. The two cars did not shoot at each other, but instead stood on the roofs of the cars and danced. The people dancing on the roof of the car were all beauties with long breasts and thighs. Their movements were fiery, as the clothes on their bodies were reduced one by one. They were obviously canvassing votes for the next voting session. In their view, the strong opponents have been killed, and the top two are none other than them. The next step is just a vote to decide life or death. However, they never expected that Zhang Tuohai, an unconventional guy, 
would wait at the terminal. When they discovered Zhang Tuohai, Zhang Tuohai had already set up the captured Dao anti-tank missile. Boom! An anti-tank missile shot out. And then a car turned into fireworks and exploded into pieces. The other car saw what was going on and hurriedly turned around and prepared to escape. However, no matter how fast the car is, it cannot be faster than an anti-tank missile. Whoosh boom! After an explosion, the two players in the car also went up to the sky. We have killed six vehicles. And there are still two unknown vehicles. I just don't know if these two idiots have killed the enemy. Zhang Tuohai calculated while driving to the side of the burning car and skillfully refilled the guns of the four players. Walk! Zhang Tuohai drove forward. You're going the wrong way, Miranda said, taking his arm. Nothing wrong. I just went over to confirm if the players in those two cars are still there. To make sure we are within the survival line, Zhang Tuohai said, stepped on the accelerator and drove in the opposite direction. Chapter 907 Stand Still What to do? The control room at Death Track was silent. The situation on the track now is not what they expected. Zhang Tuohai is really unreasonable. Killing everyone at the starting point. Crouching an ambush at the finish line. Forget about these. And actually go backwards on the track to hunt down the fish that slipped through the net. You know, there is really a fish that has slipped through the net. And that is the popular candidate to win the championship this time. A professional racing driver hired from a foreign country at a high price. It is said that he has mercenary training experience. The most important thing is, this guy has an inextricable relationship with an important sponsor. He originally came here to seek excitement, but he was accidentally affected by the fierce battle on the track. His leg was broken. Now he is lying on the track, waiting for the helicopter to go. If the rescuer is killed by Zhang Tuohai, who doesn't know the truth, it will be over, and everyone present will be buried with him. Declare the game over immediately. The director gave the order decisively. But, the executive assistant wanted to say something more, but was decisively interrupted by the director. But what? If that person really dies, all of us have to go down and accompany him. Anyway, there are only three people left alive. So we will declare the game over directly. The rankings are temporarily based on the kill list. The director thought for a while and announced a solution. What to do with those two people? The executive assistant asked. Send him back to prison first. As for how to deal with it, we'll wait for Lehman's opinion. The director said while rubbing his temples. Understood. Everyone immediately went down to do their work. Damn it! The director cursed, rubbing his temples. I don't know if he is cursing Zhang Tuohai, or cursing the wealthy daughter who had nothing to do to experience excitement, or both. Zhang Tuohai didn't know these things. He was busy driving forward when he saw a contestant lying on the ground. Just as he was about to take action, the loudspeaker suddenly sounded. Urgent notice. The competition is officially over. All contestants, all actions are prohibited, and you must wait for the aircraft to lift you. Otherwise, you will be shot dead immediately. Warning. No action is allowed. Otherwise, you will be shot dead immediately. Upon hearing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately stepped on the brakes. He had never seen this situation in previous game videos and turned his head to Miranda. Has this happened before? No. I haven't seen it before. But in my mind, I haven't heard of this kind of situation. Miranda frowned and said, What should we do? Stand still for now and wait and see what the specific situation is. Zhang Tuohai looked at the high walls and power grids around him, as well as the helicopters cruising back and forth in the sky, and knew that it was definitely not a good idea to fall out here. Instead of doing this, it is better to wait and see what happens. Soon, a helicopter arrived with a container. Zhang Tuohai followed the instructions and dumped the car into the container. Then heavily armed people locked the container and was lifted away from the competition venue. After returning to the factory, the warden and Robert were already waiting here. The warden looked Zhang Tuohai up and down, and then waved to Robert. Upon seeing this, Robert immediately put a brand new electronic anklet on Miranda's ankle. What are you doing? I'm not a prisoner. Why are you wearing this for me? Miranda looked at the electronic anklet on her ankle and exclaimed. It wasn't true before, but it is now. Who let you sit in that damn passenger seat? The warden shook his head, turned around and left without explaining. What's going on? Zhang Tuohai lowered his head and asked Robert in a low voice. Robert hesitated for a moment, thinking that Zhang Tuohai had helped him make a lot of money, and looked at the surrounding surveillance systems, then lowered his head and whispered, The guy you almost killed today was the daughter of Lehman Company. Ka Miss Carol. Carol came here for excitement but not for fighting. 
He was almost killed by you. So he has a grudge against you. If Miss Carol hadn't asked to kill you personally on the track of the next death race. You there is no way I can come back here alive. Cherish the days ahead. After Robert finished speaking, he left quickly, not daring to stay at all. Hearing Robert's explanation, Zhang Tuohai looked helpless. He never expected that the truth of the matter was like this. This can be regarded as an unforeseen disaster for him. You think it's not good for a young lady to stay in an air-conditioned room? He insisted on coming to the death racing competition for excitement. But in the end, he also got himself into trouble. Zhang Tuohai turned his head and glanced at Miranda, who looked at him with a resentful expression. Speaking of which, Miranda is truly innocent. She was just a little model who wanted to avoid gangsters. As a result, after a competition, she failed to earn any prize money. As a result, she was resented by the eldest lady of a consortium and threatened to kill her with her own hands. How could this be good? Miranda looked at Zhang Tuohai speechlessly. What should I do? It's okay. At least I wasn't killed on the spot. I can still enjoy it for a few days. Zhang Tuohai didn't care. He went straight to the toolbox next to him and started selecting tools. You want to modify the car? Miranda looked at Zhang Tuohai in confusion. Of course. If she wants to kill me, I can't let her kill me. I want to see what kind of skill she has that can kill me in a death racing competition. Zhang Tuohai's face was full of disdain. And then he got under the car. He? How dare he? In a high-end ward. Carol, the daughter of Lehman Group, looked at Zhang Tuohai on the TV, his face full of anger. Damn guy! You dare to ignore me like this? Then I will do as you wish and show you my true strength. I will use my tracks to crush you into a pulp. Carol waved her fist angrily. And then she turned to the people around her and said, Go ahead and meet all the requirements of this damn guy. As long as he doesn't run away, all the transformation materials he needs will be provided to him. I want him to be kicked into the abyss when he is full of hope. Yes! Someone did it immediately. Zhang Tuohai was surprised to find that in the past few days, no one had come to trouble him or interfere with his progress in improving the car. On the contrary, they were responsive to his requests and anything he needed could be obtained within a few hours. Who is more efficient than Robert? I don't know where he is. Even the food standard is a level higher. This carol is a bit interesting, Zhang Tuohai said with a smile while eating the baked snail in his hand. Humph. Miranda was turning grief and anger into appetite eating ice cream in big gulps. Don't eat so much cold food. Otherwise you may feel uncomfortable after a while. It's best to eat more things that can replenish energy. Zhang Tuai said. You're going to die soon anyway. Why do you care so much? Miranda seemed to have accepted her fate and was still eating. Zhang Tuai ignored her and continued eating salt-baked snails. Boy, let's get on our way. At this time, the warden came over. Chapter 908 Jumping into the Sea to Escape Okay. Zhang Tuohai looked at the dozens of fully armed security guards behind the warden and nodded. This should be all the power the warden can use. It seems that Carol is really powerful. After walking into the cab and seeing that Miranda hadn't moved yet, Zhang Tuohai stuck his head out and greeted Miranda. You still want to eat? Hurry up and leave. I'm so anxious to get on the road. I've never seen anyone like you. Miranda got into the car angrily, holding a box of ice cream in her hand. Zhang Tuohai dumped the car into the lifting container. Then, the door was slowly closed. Looking at the helicopter rising into the sky, the warden let out a long breath. As long as he left the prison, it would be none of his business. Meanwhile, Carol is sitting in a heavy tank with his feet covered in drywall. Next to her were four heavy tanks, four light tanks, two armored assault vehicles, and two infantry fighting vehicles. The lineup was very powerful. Moreover, she has been carefully watching Zhang Tuohai's transformation these days. Every time Jean Tuohai made a change, she made a targeted enhancement. The team she formed was specifically designed to target Jean Tuohai. Humph. This time, let me see how you escape. Carol looked at the sky with his binoculars, watching the crane helicopter getting closer and closer. Just when the helicopter flew over the sea and was about to reach the island, suddenly, there was an explosion, and a big hole was blown out of the bottom of the container. The car in the container quickly fell down and fell into the sea. What's going on? Did you make unnecessary moves? Carol turned his head and looked at the people around him, suspecting that the people around him had made unnecessary movements. No, we have been following your instructions and watching closely. We didn't dare to do anything else. The assistant next to him said quickly. Then what's going on? 
Carol asked coldly. Could they have done it themselves? An assistant asked cautiously. You mean, they themselves want to commit suicide by jumping into the sea? Carol looked cold. When the helicopter was about to arrive, it had already started to lower its altitude. If it fell into the sea from this height, with the car as the shell, it would not necessarily be killed if it was prepared for impact. An assistant said cautiously, Huh? Carol's face turned ugly. By the way, before, they also ordered high-strength protective suits, hydraulic air cushions, and oxygen bottles. At first, I thought they were going to make flamethrowers. Now, they can use these things to make diving suits. Another assistant also said, Why didn't you say something so important earlier? Carol slapped the assistant hard on the face. Call the people from the maritime patrol team. Seal this place. And send people to dig through every inch of land under the water. If you want to see people alive, you will see corpses if you die. Carol yelled angrily. Yes. Many assistants immediately went to work separately. Time went back to a few minutes ago. In the container, Zhang to a high turned on the car lights. The orange light reflected Miranda's little face. And Miranda was quickly filling her mouth with ice cream. Then under Miranda's shocked gaze, a small cutting wheel was pulled out from the brake position. What are you doing? Miranda's face was filled with shock. Shoo. Zhang Tuohai made a quiet gesture, then pointed the cutting wheel at the electronic anklet on his foot. Zila. Very quickly, the electronic anklet was cut off directly. After cutting off the electronic anklet on her foot, Zhang Tuohai pulled Miranda's foot and cut off the anklet on her foot. Then he groped around his feet, opened a secret door, and opened the door. The electronic anklet was thrown in, and then a bomb was ignited, thrown down, and then the secret door was closed. Boom! The bomb directly shattered the floor of the container, and Zhang Tuohai's car fell into the sea. Zhang Tuohai's car sank directly after falling into the sea. Zhang Tuohai also pressed a button, which was supposed to be the car light button. However, when Zhang Tuohai pressed it, two propeller-like things popped out from the back of the car. Buzz! Driven by the propeller, the car rushed forward rapidly. Stop eating and take off your clothes quickly. Zhang Tuohai casually threw aside the ice cream in Miranda's hand and then threw her a diving suit while he himself started to change clothes. Have you already planned it? Miranda was not ignorant of the general situation. In the face of a life and death situation, she didn't think too much about it and changed into a diving suit in a matter of seconds. Since that Carol has made it clear that she wants to kill me, I can't wait and let her kill me. Right? Since she decided to kill me on the death racing track. It means that she must have made careful preparations there. Once she enters, it will be difficult to escape. Don't even think about the prison where she will be surrounded by hundreds of people. The cameras are monitoring me, and I can't escape at all. After thinking about it, I figured out that this is the only blind spot for surveillance. So this is the only way to do it. Zhang Tuai said, holding the secret door at his feet. I'll count to three. And we're going to get off the car. Why don't you leave by car? Before Carol could ask, Zhang Tuohai opened the secret door. A powerful stream of water surged in, and the car was instantly filled with water. Walk. Zhang Tuohai pulled Miranda and got out of the cockpit. The car equipped with propellers continued to move forward rapidly. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the car going away and swam away. After about 20 minutes, Zhang Tuohai arrived at the shore. After some searching, he found a huge sewage pipe, but it was covered with barbed wire, like a magic trick. Zhang Tuohai pulled out a wire saw, sawed open the wire mesh in three strokes, and sneaked into the sewage pipe. Miranda wanted to know if Zhang Tuohai had planned ahead. Otherwise, how could he have prepared all the tools in advance? However, now was obviously not the time to ask such questions. She followed Zhang Tuohai and swam into the sewage pipe. Carol on the shore was going crazy. He originally thought it was a crushing revenge. But unexpectedly, the duck that reached his mouth actually flew away. Find them out for me. I want them to know the consequences of disobeying me. Carol was so angry that he smashed the goblet in his hand. Go ask the direction of the prison and how to transport the prisoners. They actually let the prisoners escape halfway. If they can't give me a satisfactory answer, their subsidy budget for this year will not be passed by the parliament. Yes. Carol's assistant quickly called the jail. When he heard the inquiry call, the warden was completely stunned. He never expected that someone could jump out of the plane mid-flight. Wasn't he afraid of falling to death? However, there is nothing he can do now. If Carol asks, he must give an answer. Otherwise bankruptcy will be waiting for him. Suddenly, 
He had an idea and shouted. I know. Electronic anklets. There are positioning devices on the electronic anklets. There are also positioning devices on the car. As long as we locate them, we can find them. Chapter 909 Citywide Manhunt. The prison immediately reported the news to Carol. And then, at Carol's signal, rushed to Carol's side with portable detection equipment. The warden also patted his chest and assured, Don't worry, Miss Carol. The electronic anklets in our prison are specially customized. They use brand new composite materials, brand new electronic locks, and 16-digit passwords, which are impossible to crack. They can continue to emit signals even if they dive into the water. As long as we hold the tracker, we can capture them in less than 20 minutes. Then you take the people and chase me immediately. Remember? I want to live. Carol said bitterly. No one has ever been able to remain unharmed after teasing her. Even for the sake of face. She had to make Zhang Tuohai pay the price. The warden led his men and followed Carol's people onto the speedboat and walked in the direction of the tracker mark. Soon, the speedboat came to a river. The warden looked at the sign on the tracker and said, This is it. According to the display on the tracker, they are down there. Go down and search. Carol waved his hand. Immediately, several divers who had been prepared dived into the water. After more than 10 minutes of searching, these divers quickly found the electronic anklet that sank underwater. Carol looked at the neat cut and threw the electronic anklet on the warden's face. Is this your brand new material? Is this your indestructibility? How do you explain this? The warden's face became very ugly when he saw the broken anklet. This was a huge problem. If Miss Carol threw the responsibility for Zhang Tuohai's escape on him because of this, he, the warden, would be in trouble. Shooting yourself eight times in the back is even the best outcome. Miss Carol, this was an accident. However, I have a backup plan. Although they cut off the electronic anklet, I also installed a locator in the car. They must not have discovered it. Now, the locator's still moving. They must still be in the car. And as long as we find the car, we will definitely find them, the warden said, taking out the mobile phone with real-time location in his hand. Carol snatched the phone, looked at the moving light spots on it, and said to the assistant beside him, send someone to catch up. If you want to see the person alive, you will see the body if you die. Yes. Soon, salvage boats and helicopters set off. Not long after, the helicopter found the Citron stuck on the rocks on a sandbar out of the sea. Several security personnel immediately went up to check. Then, they discovered the hole in the car's chassis, discarded clothes, and the small electric saw. The report was quickly passed to Carol. Carol's eyes were red with anger. This was the first time that someone had escaped from the dragnet she organized. She absolutely cannot accept it. Notify them. Follow the area where the car is traveling. And check their escape route. In addition, they cannot stay in the wild forever. They will definitely enter the city. They will issue wanted notices in surrounding cities and issue high rewards. If they are found, they will be rewarded with 100,000 knives on all electronic billboards. Their messages will be played on a rolling basis. Photos. We must catch them. Carol said bitterly. Yes. An assistant immediately went to work. Various advertisements were sent out. And TV advertisements also inserted photos of Zhang Tuohai and Miranda from time to time. As long as you provide valid clues, you can get 100,000 US dollars. You're angry. Zhang Tuohai poked Miranda with his elbow and said, Then there's no need to use this method. Miranda covered her head and said, Now, it's over. Absolutely no commercial company is willing to ask me to shoot commercials. Think on the bright side. You don't have to pay back the money you owe bloody hand Henry. Because after they catch you, they will definitely hand you over to Carol. Because she gave you more. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile, That's not good news at all. Okay. Miranda rubbed her head in distress. Why was I so stupid? There were so many candidates. Why did I choose you? I obviously just wanted to find a place to hide. Be content. If you had chosen someone else, you would be a charred corpse now. You wouldn't even have a chance to complain. John Tuohai said, while wagging his finger. Then what do you think we should do now? How can we avoid this citywide manhunt? Find a place to change clothes first. John Tuohai took Miranda and fled deep into the alley shuttling through the alley that lacked surveillance. After passing through several small alleys, John Tuohai and Miranda ran into several hippies, a specialty of the slums. Several hippies covered in tattoos, nail rings, and colorfully dyed hair were squatting in the alley smoking unbranded cigarettes. After seeing John Tuohai and Miranda, 
They all stood up involuntarily. In their eyes, these are two big fat sheep. Seeing a few hippies with malicious intentions, Miranda couldn't help but take two steps back. Coming out of the slums, she knew the details of these hippies. There was almost nothing they wouldn't dare to do. As long as there was enough profit, they would kill and set fire. These people won't even blink an eye. She secretly complained and was about to pull Zhang Tuahai away from this place of right and wrong. Unexpectedly, Zhang Tuahai greeted him with a smile. Seeing Zhang Tuahai walking up, the hippies were also stunned. They have been here for several months, and others have always seen them walking around, and I have never seen anyone dare to approach them. Hand over the money you have! A hippie pulled out his pocket knife, and then he saw a fist as big as a sand bowl. Zhang Tuahai was first injected with the super gene potion prepared by Lilith, and then infused with quantum crystals, making him almost invincible among ordinary people. If it weren't for the special nature of this world, and the fact that Zhang Tuahai was restricted from walking to Zhiyi in the normal way, he could have dismantled the world bit by bit with his bare hands. At least it wouldn't be a problem to knock this hippie to pieces with one punch. However, in that case, things would become a big deal. And it wouldn't be a big deal. One punch at a time. The hippies were knocked unconscious. And then Zhang Tuohai began to take off their clothes. Although their clothes were full of odor and covered with strange nail ring chains. Which made them look like they were not good people at first glance. They were still much better than the diving suits they were wearing. Of course, the most important thing is that two of them were clothes with hoods. This thing can reduce the probability of them being caught by the camera and increase the difficulty of arrest. What are you staring at? Change quickly. Zhang Tuohai urged Miranda to change clothes. Following you is more frequent than changing clothes on the tea stage. Miranda helplessly began to change clothes. Chapter 910 Unlucky Bloody Henry After the two changed their clothes, Zhang Tuohai threw a few hippies into the trash can to reduce the time for discovery. When he threw the last hippie into the trash can, he suddenly saw Miranda looking at the hippie in trance. What's wrong? I know this guy, Miranda said, pointing to the last hippie. How to say? This guy is a subordinate of Henry the Bloody Hand. When I went to borrow money, this guy was right next to me, Miranda said. Huh? You mean, he is a subordinate of Henry the Bloody Hand? Zong Tuohai stopped as he was about to close the lid of the trash can. Yeah. What's wrong? Miranda asked. If I remember correctly, that bloody hand Henry is a money lender. Right. Zhang Tuohai said. Yes. Zhang Tuohai immediately pulled the hippie out of the trash can. And the two big dicks slapped the hippie awake. Tell me where your boss bloody Henry is. I'm Tefik. Before the hippie could finish speaking, Zhang Tuohai slapped him back with a big dick. Speak after you sort out your language. What the hell? Boom. Shet. Boom. Sucka. Boom. 233 Whit Street. I wish I had said no earlier and lead the way. Zhang Tuahai let go of his hand and patted the hippie's face. If the hippie doesn't say anything, he will prepare to use the Heaven and Earth Rebellion. The hippie was about to have a seizure, but due to Zhang Tuahai's strength, he was forced to suppress it and led the way honestly. What do you want to do? Miranda asked Zhang Tuahai quietly. That bloody hand Henry is not easy to mess with. He controls underground businesses in several blocks and has more than a dozen gunmen under his command. He is very powerful. If you want to find him, I'm afraid of trouble. Don't worry. I'm just asking him to borrow some money to spend. And I won't do anything too extreme. John Tuohai waved his hand and said. Miranda looked back at the hippies who were thrown into the trash can. Then at the leader with a swollen head like a pig. And sighed softly. Hoping that things would go well. Several people arrived at Whit Street smoothly. Because the hippie who led the way didn't have the shame to see other companions. He took the path along the less traveled path. Therefore, he avoided all the cameras. But it allowed Zhang Tuohai and Miranda to avoid the camera tracking, indirectly helping Zhang Tuohai, Takumi and the others. If he knew that his actions had helped Zhang Tuohai so much, he didn't know what he would think in his heart. Several people came to Whit Street. The hippie who led the way pointed to a two-story building opposite with two strong men guarding the door and said, This is our headquarters. Our boss stays on the second floor every day. There should be a few around him. A gunman. The basement is a casino and bar. There are more than 20 people watching the scene. Five or six with guns. The hippie said hesitantly. He actually didn't want to say it so clearly. But Zhang Tuohai's fist was too hard. He really couldn't understand why it hurt so much when a hand with a 36.5 degrees angle hit his face. In order to prevent his face from becoming swollen like a Big Mac, he decisively emptied bloody Henry's dick. Is there any hidden way up there? 
Zhang Tuohai glanced at the small building. People came in and out from time to time. There were quite a few people. He could go in directly. However, there were so many people, and there was no guarantee that he would not be recognized and betrayed. Get out. It's not good for him. There is a fire escape behind the building, but it is pulled up all year round. The height is about three or four meters. The hippie thought for a moment and said, Thank you. Zhang Tuohai slashed the hippie on the back of the neck with his knife. The hippie's body softened and he fainted. Let's go and get some money. Zhang Tuohai casually stuffed the hippie into a trash can on the roadside and took Miranda around to the back of Wit Street. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw that there was indeed a fire escape outside the building behind the building. The part from the ground turned into a climbing ladder and was moved upstairs to prevent people from sneaking in. However, this height was nothing to Zhang Tuohai. He looked at the stairs above his head, ran two steps quickly, kicked the wall, used the force of his body to jump up, and grabbed the fire escape with both hands, the outer edge of the fire escape, and then the body used the force to jump upwards, and the whole person came to the fire escape. Miranda looked stupidly at Zhang Tuohai, who was climbing up. She didn't have such skills. She couldn't climb up to this height at all. How to do this? You stay here. I'll be back soon. Zhang Tuohai said that he came to the back door, listened inside, and then kicked the door and flew it in. Perhaps because too much force was used, the door flew directly to the opposite side and was embedded in the opposite door frame. Seal the door on the opposite side. This move not only stunned Zhang Tuohai, but everyone in the room was also shocked. They had been occupying several nearby blocks for a long time. Because there was a big shot behind them. No one had ever dared to provoke them. Today, they were approached. Come on. Let them get used to it for a while. Several gunmen reacted quickly and immediately drew their guns to fight back. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai casually grabbed an unlucky guy and blocked him in front of him. He held the gun in his hand and pulled the trigger repeatedly. Bang bang bang. The room was filled with gunshots. After a few seconds, the gunfire stopped. The gunmen were shot several times and fell to the ground. As for Zhang Tuohai, there were a few bullet holes in his clothes, but not even a scratch on his body. The gunman who was guarding the door outside the room also heard the gunshots in the room and wanted to rush in to help. However, the door to the room was sealed by Zhang Tuohai's kick. They were unable to rush in for a while and could only worry outside. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the room. It looked like a large office. There was a large desk by the window. A middle-aged bald man was beaten to death on the boss's chair. There was a row of wine cabinets against the wall. And there was a safe in the corner. The safe was half open. A man was squatting to pick up something. And he was also killed by a stray bullet. I'm so lucky. I saved the time to open the safe. John Tuohai walked over quickly and took a look at the safe. There was not much money in it. Probably a few hundred thousand. Including change and whole money. Most of them were old banknotes with no serial numbers. Convenient to spend. All that was left were a few watches and a large stack of black notebooks. Zhang Tuohai flipped through the ledgers that were all for accounting. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, found a black bag, and unceremoniously took away all the money in the safe. He piled the ledgers together, poured several bottles of liquor on them, and lit them with a windproof lighter. Call. Burning flames filled the room. Chapter 911. Break out of the arrest circle. Miranda was waiting anxiously below when she heard a burst of fierce gunfire from above, followed by the flickering of fire. With a pop, Zhang Tuohai jumped down from above. What are you doing? Miranda asked in panic. I got some money. By the way, you don't have to worry about Bloody Henry asking you for money in the future. Zhang Tuohai smiled and put the money bag on his shoulder. Let's go. I will take you to change into some clothes. After saying that, he pulled Miranda and sneaked into the alley. Not long after, Bloody Henry's gunman finally broke open the door. When they saw the tragic situation in the room, everyone was shocked. They never expected that the gang boss was actually killed in his lair. The most important thing is that we still don't know who did it. For a moment, everyone began to mentally consider their own way out. But no one paid attention to the sea of fire at the scene, allowing the flames to devour the traces. A bunch of trash! Carol looked at the group of assistants in front of him and wished he could dump them all into the concrete pillar and sink them into the chicken taco bay. After investing so much manpower and material resources, Two fugitives who escaped from prison could not be found. What was the reputation of Lehman Corporation? I'll give you ten more hours. If you can't find any useful information, just jump into the sea yourself. Yes. Everyone bowed their heads in response. 
Okay. Let's summarize the news. Carol took two deep breaths and said, Miss Carol, after our analysis, two fugitives are now in Chicken Leg Fort. Evidence. Carol's eyes flickered. Several assistants looked at each other. And finally a young man wearing glasses said, There are several points of evidence. First, the location where the two fugitives got off the bus was near Chicken Leg Fort. In such a short period of time, it was impossible to run too far. In addition, we checked all the surveillance on the roads out of the city and found no trace of the two people leaving the city. For public transportation, the two did not have ID documents and could not buy tickets to leave. The most important thing is that we found traces of man-made damage at the nearby sewer outlet. It is speculated that the two entered Chicken Leg Fort City through the sewer pipe. Based on the time, they should still be in the city. If the investigation is stepped up, they will be found soon. Very good. What's your name? Carol was satisfied. My name is Kent. Miss Carol. The young man wearing glasses said excitedly. Very good. From now on, you will be the commander-in-chief of the operation. I want you to catch those two damn guys within ten hours. For every hour you advance, the bonus will be one million dollars more. If you exceed the time limit, just go die, Carol said. As you command. Miss Carol. Kid nodded in response. I ordered that all the forces be concentrated in Chicken Leg Fort City, and two teams were divided to monitor the surveillance. The remaining people would search by neighborhoods, focusing on slums, gang gathering places, and other chaotic areas, so that the local police and the gangs cooperate with our work. Otherwise, we will wait for Lehman's revenge. Many assistants took action one after another. Soon, information was reported one after another. A piece of information attracted Kent's attention. Henry the famous gangster in Chicken Leg Fort, was killed dozens of minutes ago. Although it is common for gangs to kill each other, Kent always felt that it was a little unusual for it to happen during this time period. Go and check whether this Henry has any interpersonal relationship with the two fugitives. There is something missing at the scene. I want more detailed information, preferably an autopsy report, Kent said looking at the information in his hand. Many assistants were busy. Hunter's interpersonal relationships were very complicated. However, the social relationship between Zhang Tuohai and Miranda was very simple. You could find out by just searching. Miranda was designed to owe Bloody Henry a large sum of money. Although the on-site autopsy report has not been released yet, the on-site investigation report has been released. After preliminary inspection, it was found that Bloody Henry's account book was missing and hundreds of thousands of cash were missing. Sure enough, I guessed right. It is here. Kent looked at the information in his hand and lay on the ground staring at the area where Bloody Hand Henry was. After a moment, he said with red eyes, Quickly, inform us to conduct a strict search of the Whit block. The surrounding eight blocks have also been listed as key areas for a comprehensive search. Search. All police forces in other areas will be concentrated on this area, and the prisoners must not be allowed to escape. Yes. Arrange a helicopter. I want to go there myself. I want to catch them with my own hands. Kent thought for a while and ordered. In his opinion, the two of them had become a turtle in an urn. Under the dragnet formed by so many people, no one could escape. This was a wasted effort, and he would not let it go. A helicopter flew Kent toward the Whit Sunday neighborhood. At the same time, John Tuohai took Miranda, dressed in maintenance worker clothes, and entered the subway along the tube well. Where are we going? Miranda asked breathlessly while holding on to the wall. After all, she is just an ordinary model and a supporting role. Her acting skills and flexibility may be better than ordinary people, but her physical strength is only the same. After a long period of running, she is already very tired. Go to the Tulip District across the city. I saw a promotion saying that there is a comic exhibition there. Over there. We can put on makeup as we please without being discovered. Zhang Tuai said. But, the Tulip District is on the opposite corner of the city. How do we get there? Do we have to walk there? Miranda felt her legs trembling. Don't worry. You're not too tired and I'm too. Let's take the subway. Zhang Tuai said. How can we sit down? We don't even have an identity now. We don't even have a ticket. Don't worry. You don't need a ticket if you follow me. Zhang Tuai took Miranda along the employee maintenance road in the tunnel to a platform and waited quietly. Soon, a subway rumbled past Zhang Tuai's seaside and slowly stopped on the platform. Let's go. It's our turn. Zhang Tuai pulled Miranda and the two climbed into the last carriage, hiding behind the door and hanging out of the carriage. After a while, the subway rumbled forward, 
and there were already two uninvited passengers on the car. After two transfers, Zhang Tuohai and Miranda successfully arrived at the Tulip District. Then, the two left the subway station along the employee maintenance channel. Looking at the Tulip District stop sign next to her, Miranda had a dreamy feeling. She never expected that she would travel through the entire city under a citywide search. It was simply unbelievable. Let's go change some clothes. Zhang Tuohai pulled down his helmet and led Miranda towards a props and clothing store on the street. Chapter 912 Cat and Mouse Game In the props and clothing store, Zhang Tuohai originally planned to buy a Zoro suit. Half of the face was a mask and a hunting suit, which not only met the need to hide the face, but also made it easy to move without being too cumbersome. However, Zoro was banned due to an unspecified letter, so Zhang Tuohai had no choice but to settle for a Robin Hood suit. Apart from the color of the hood, there is almost nothing wrong with it. Miranda chose a female pirate suit, with a huge three-cornered hat and an eye patch, which was enough to cover most of her face. The only regret is that there is relatively little fabric on this suit. Almost. Don't forget. We are running away now. Zhang Tuohai reminded. Okay. After hearing what Zhang Tuohai said, Miranda reluctantly put down her beautiful little skirts and followed Zhang Tuohai to check out. After Zhang Tuohai left, the clerk hesitantly took out the wanted notice he distributed. When he saw the two people coming in, he felt that they looked familiar. It was only after they left that he remembered that the two people were very similar to the ones on the wanted poster. He pulled out the wanted poster and looked at it carefully, then picked up the landline phone and was about to make a call. Suddenly, a hand hung up the phone. Before the clerk could turn his head, his vision went dark and he fainted. John Tuohai retracted his hand. I have long felt that something is not right with you. And there is indeed something wrong with you. What should I do? Miranda asked in a panic. Throw it into the locker room. I don't expect it to be completely covered up anyway. I can just use him to mislead and find the direction. Ten minutes later, the Tulip District Police Station received a call. A clothing and prop store was suspected of being robbed, and they hoped that the police station would help take a look. Tulip District is a wealthy area, and the police department has sufficient financial allocation. After receiving the alarm call, two police officers immediately rushed to the clothing and prop store mentioned in the alarm call, entering the store. The two police officers found that the prop store was in a mess. All kinds of costumes and props were scattered all over the floor. The surveillance camera had been damaged and the store clerk was missing. Upon seeing this, the two police officers immediately drew their pistols and cautiously entered the store to check. After careful inspection, the two found the knocked unconscious clerk in the closet of the clerk's dressing room. When the two police officers saw this, they did not dare to delay. They called for additional police officers and called an ambulance for the store clerk. However, I don't know if he heard the word ambulance, but the clerk suddenly woke up. He struggled and stretched out his hand. He was furious but still struggled and shouted, Don't call an ambulance. I can't pay. When the bill comes up, I insist on living. I can just drive there. I must go to a public hospital. The two policemen looked at each other, empathizing with each other's situation. If he had gone to a private hospital, the bill would have been enough to last the poor clerk 10 years. Are you sure you really don't need it? A policeman asked respectfully. I confirm. Also, lend me your phone. The clerk struggled and said, one police officer, not knowing what was going on, handed the phone to the clerk. The clerk dialed the reward number. Hey, I found traces of the escaped prisoner. Police officer, he felt betrayed and it was so abominable that he was living alone. If I had known this guy was like this, I would have called an ambulance for him. At this time, Ken had turned the wig block upside down. Police officers and gang members from all walks of life screened the people in the wit block twice, like passing through a sieve. But no trace of John to a high or Miranda was found. Even the eight surrounding adjacent blocks had been searched, and there was no trace of the two of them. They seemed to have disappeared out of thin air. Where are these two guys hiding? Kent was scratching his hair. He was going crazy now. Carol only gave him ten hours. If he couldn't find John to a high and Miranda within the specified time, he would have to accompany them as artificial reefs and fish on the seabed. Just when he was at a loss, suddenly, an assistant handed him a phone. Mr. Kent, someone claimed to have seen the fugitive. What? I saw the fugitive. Kent was like a drowning man who found a life-saving straw and grabbed the phone. Really? Great. Just wait. You are not allowed to leave or tell anyone before I arrive. Helicopter ready. In order not to be thrown into the sea, 
Kit also tried his best and directly called a helicopter and rushed towards the tulip area. Other assistants and entourage rushed over without stopping. In the props and clothing store, Kent grabbed the clerk by the collar and asked, Are you sure these two are fugitives? I used to be an art student, specializing in portrait sketching. Although I failed, I have also received professional training. I can still remember a few people. If you don't believe it, you can also check the surveillance in the store. The clerk was so shaken that he fainted. But he still explained, Go check the hard drive video, Kent said to the technical restorer. I don't know if Kent's luck played a role. Although the surveillance camera was damaged, the hard drive was not damaged. The surveillance camera clearly captured Zhang Tuhai and Miranda, especially the process of changing clothes. It's just the two of them, Kent gritted his teeth. Can you determine what clothes they took with them? Kent asked. I don't know about this. There are too many things in the store, and it's so messy now. I have to take a good inventory to find out. The clerk shook his head. When will my reward arrive? It's too late to check them one by one. Kent glanced at the time and said to the people around him, Immediately seal off the Tulip District and conduct interrogations on all people wearing cost costumes. We must find the fugitive as soon as possible. However, there are many distinguished gentlemen and ladies in the Tulip District. If you disturb them, one police officer hesitated. If something goes wrong, I'm responsible, Kent said, patting his chest. Just kidding. If he couldn't find it, his life would be dead. In order to find the two of them, he is now willing to do anything. Good. After someone agreed to take over the blame, the remaining police officers were mobilized and began to investigate people wearing cost costumes walking on the street. Because today happened to be the cartoon and comic festival. The streets in this area were full of cost costumers, which made the search very difficult. Kent looked at the time anxiously. At the same time, John Tuahai and Miranda were walking on campus wearing school uniforms, holding a stack of books in their hands, looking like ordinary students. Chapter 913 Accident Is it really okay for us to do this? Miranda asked nervously, wearing a magic mirror and holding a large stack of books. Not covering her face made her very uneasy, especially when her wanted photos frequently appeared on billboards. Don't worry. If my layout is okay, their attention will be focused on the comic exhibition and they won't be able to care about this for the time being. We are considered to be in their blind spot. Zhang Tuohai also wore sunglasses and said with a smile, What if a student recognizes us? Miranda was still a little worried. Don't worry. The students in the school are either focused on their studies, their love, or they are busy with various activities. The rest are holding signs to protest. How can they have time to pay attention to the reward order? Don't worry. Think of this as a supply point. I have a feeling that it will be difficult to find a supply point with such complete equipment in the future. John Tuai said. Really? Then I want to eat fried chicken and drink Fanta. Miranda said. Don't drink Coke. John Tuai asked. Coke is heresy. Orange flavored Fanta is God. Miranda exclaimed. John Tuai. He looked at Miranda's serious expression with her neck twitching a little differently. He had never seen Miranda look like this before. Miranda's serious look made John Tuai think that the two were discussing some serious academic issue. Seriously? Of course. This is a matter of faith engraved in DNA, Miranda said, holding her neck high. Don't engrave all that nonsense into your DNA. John Tuohai was helpless. The two followed the road signs and came to a fast food restaurant specializing in fried chicken and chips. Two large portions of chicken fries, a Fanta, and a soda. John Tuohai ordered a single lane. Sir, we don't have soda here. Only carbonated drinks, said the clerk with big eyes. What about now? Zhang Tuohai took out another Franklin and slapped it on the table. I can help you go out and buy it. The clerk with big eyes smiled like a flower. Thanks. Zhang Tuohai returned to his seat with a dinner plate. Actually, you gave me too much. I can't even use half of it. Miranda picked up a piece of fried chicken and stuffed it into her mouth, sucking her fingers. We can't take them all away anyway. So why not share them? Zhang Tuohai said nonchalantly. Anyway, this money was obtained from the gangsters. When it is gone, just go find the next gangster. It's no big deal. Well, Miranda felt that it made sense. And Zhang Tuohai also got the money. So she didn't interfere much and just ate her own fried chicken nuggets and french fries. The bell rang and several people walked in. Miranda had just picked up a piece of fried chicken and was about to stuff it into her mouth when she suddenly felt the chair being tipped over and she fell straight up. With a bang, Miranda fell to the ground 
and the fried chicken in her hand flew away. It hurts. Miranda covered her head and was about to ask Zhang to a high why he suddenly hooked her stool. Bang. A gunshot rang out. Hearing the gunshot, the jeans in Miranda's body awakened, and she instinctively shrank under the table, so fast that she didn't even react. It wasn't until she shrank under the table that she saw the shooter clearly. They were two moors with dreadlocks, wearing hip-hop pants, holding glocks in their hands, pointing at the people in the store. Hurry up and hand over the money. A waiter wanted to ring the alarm bell, but was discovered by a moor and shot in the body. The waiter fell to the ground, not knowing whether he was alive or dead. Ah. There were screams one after another in the store. Bang, bang, bang. The moor, apparently annoyed by the screams, repeatedly pulled the trigger on the crowd. Shut up! Everyone! Several more people were hit by indiscriminate bullets. What should we do? Miranda asked John Tuahai worriedly. John Tuahai didn't answer her. He just pulled out the Glock from his waist and pulled the trigger on the two unsuspecting Moors. Bang bang. After two shots, the two Moors had two more bullet holes in their chests and fell to the ground. Walk! John Tuahai pulled Miranda out from under the table and ran out of the store. When passing two Moors, he did not forget to shoot them in the head. Who let these two guys interfere with Zhang Tuahai's supplies? Originally, Zhang Tuahai could at least have a good meal here. But now, as soon as the gunshots are fired, the police will arrive immediately. And then as soon as the surveillance is investigated, he and Miranda will be discovered. And they can't run away if they don't. Lost, the two hurriedly ran out. And as soon as they went out, they bumped into the clerk who was buying soda for Zhang Tuahai. Sir, do you want to leave? This is your water. The clerk didn't understand why Zhang Tuahai left in a hurry. But he still handed Zhang Tuahai the newly bought soda water. Thank you, beautiful girl, and wish you a nice day. Also, if you want to go back to the fried chicken restaurant, you'd better be mentally prepared. Or wait until the police come before going back. After Zhang Tuahai finished speaking, he pulled Miranda and left quickly, looking at Zhang Tuahai's back. The clerk was confused. What a strange person. The clerk squeezed the $20 in his pocket, pushed open the door, and entered the fried chicken shop. Without a necessary reason, he was not allowed to leave his workstation for too long during work. Then, a sharp scream came from the fried chicken shop. As one of the top universities in the state, the density of police officers on the campus is quite high. Although a group was transferred to conduct a search, the first batch of police officers arrived at the scene five minutes after the gunshots were fired. The scene was quickly brought under control and everyone was isolated to inquire about the situation. The remaining people checked for traces and viewed the store's surveillance video. Then, they discovered Zhang Tuohai and Miranda with the magic mirror. Chief, we found two suspected wanted criminals. A police officer shouted excitedly. Really? The police chief walked over quickly after hearing this, staring at the monitor closely. If he really found it, it would be a reward worth millions. Enough for him to retire. The campus will be sealed off immediately. No one is allowed to leave. Everyone should follow me to catch these two dangerous elements. Don't let them run away. The sheriff's eyes lit up. In his eyes, the two people were just piles of walking bills. As long as they were caught, they would be worry-free for the rest of their lives. He thought so. And so did the other police officers. However, not everyone can participate in the arrest. Someone must stay here to guard the crime scene. The police officer who was left to guard the scene looked at the backs of his companions leaving and felt indignant. Why did you go to make a fortune without taking me with you? In this case, don't blame me for eating alone. The police officer who was left behind secretly dialed the reward phone number. Chapter 914 actually exploded. Insects! They are all a group of insects! After Kent received the news, he was so angry that he almost dropped his phone. He never expected that someone would capture the target privately in order to give more bounties. Those people couldn't afford to waste their time. But Uncle Kent couldn't afford to waste it. There are less than five hours left before the time limit. If the time is exceeded, what is the use of catching the target? He, Uncle Kent, has long become an artificial underwater landscape. I'll have a good look at you when this is over. Kent led the team to the campus while scolding the police sergeant, who concealed the information and acted without authorization. Focus on monitoring the area around the state university. Mobilize surrounding forces. Completely block the entrance and exit of the school. And don't let anyone leave. Clear. Groups of people began to block the entrances and exits of the university. The remaining people quickly entered the school and began a large-scale search. Such a large-scale manhunt was immediately noticed by the students at the school. 
and many perpetrators began to take pictures with their mobile phones and post them on social media, as more and more people took photos. A large number of similar videos exploded in a short period of time, immediately putting the relevant information on the hot search list. Seeing such a large amount of traffic, a large number of self-media rushed into the campus like sharks smelling something fishy, following up on the filming and earning traffic. In addition, the Hunted was also the star of the death racing game and was the first to force the organizer to terminate the game and flee on the way to the venue. This makes the information more popular. When the fire broke out, Miranda, who was running away, saw the news. Look, we are on trending searches. Miranda held up her phone for Zhang to a high to see. Huh? I actually chased him all the way to the school. He was pretty fast. Zhang Tuohai swiped his phone and looked at the comments. As he watched, his eyes lit up. He found sympathetic rhetoric overwhelming. Moreover, many people also named them male and female thieves. Later, someone posted a video of Zhang Tuohai killing a gangster at a fried chicken restaurant. Many people began to call Zhang Tuohai a thief again. Many women shouted that they wanted to give birth to monkeys for Zhang Tuohai and many others wanted to take Miranda's place. This makes Zhang Tuohai a little confused. He is a fugitive, but he can still get such positive reviews online, and he has a lot of fans. If he debuts on the spot, he will probably become a hit, although he did not understand the brain circuits of these people. This did not prevent Zhang Tuohai from using this wave of public opinion to cause some trouble for those pursuing him. Zhang Tuohai quickly wrote one statement after another similar to Protect the campus! Prevent the hawks and dogs of the plutocrats from destroying the peaceful campus. And free people will never be slaves. These comments quickly became popular and were widely copied and pasted. Many simple-minded people were so excited by these remarks that they organized themselves into groups and held up mobile phones in groups to block the path of the search teams. Come and hit me! Come if you can! Many people raised their mobile phones to provoke. And some started live broadcasts. Seeing this situation, those who participated in the manhunt did not know what to do. Breaking in by force is definitely not possible. The other party is holding a mobile phone. If they dare to attack, compensation will kill them. If they don't take action, these people will definitely not let them pass. Staying here will only be a waste of time. These people took stock, retreated, changed routes, and continued their search. Seeing the people who were searching for people shrink back, these people were inspired and felt that they had won a great victory and were defenders of freedom. They posted the videos online one after another. Public opinion was pushed back again. The first few people who posted videos gained a large number of fans, and the video traffic quickly exceeded 100,000, and it is still increasing rapidly. Several top videos have even exceeded 1 million views. Seeing the benefits, more and more people joined the action. There are students who have nothing to do. There are busybodies, and there are also self-media seeking traffic. Many people also rushed to make huge banners, and formed a protest march. Many onlookers were also brought in, and the team grew larger and louder, converging into a torrent and colliding head-on with Kent. Mr. Kent, what should we do? Looking at the massive protest march, others did not dare to mess around anymore and looked at Kent, hoping that he would make up his mind. When the time comes, if something goes wrong, someone will take the blame. What a bunch of insects! Looking at the looks of the people around him, Kent naturally knew what was going on. But now, he couldn't help it, and he was the one who couldn't afford it. In four and a half hours, he would be thrown into the sea. Mad! I'm going to die! So don't even think about it! Kent pulled out his pistol and pointed it at the sky and pulled the trigger. Bang, bang, bang. He emptied the magazine directly, and then pointed the gun at the marching crowd. The marchers did not expect that Kent actually dared to shoot, and they were suddenly too frightened to move. This was different from the parades they had participated in before. In the past, the most serious measures were police batons, water cannons and tear gas. They are confident and know that they will not be seriously injured. However, shooting is of a different nature. The crowd fled in all directions. And many people lost their shoes. A group of garbage! Looking at the messy scene, Kent snorted coldly and lamented that these marchers were indeed a bunch of rabble. And they could be dispersed with just a little toughness. Continue the search! Speed up! Kent waved his hand impatiently. However, he soon ran into new trouble. Those who escaped were afraid that he would bring people in to retaliate against them. So they actually retreated to various buildings and then blocked the doors of the buildings with various furniture and other debris to prevent their people from entering and searching. It's not impossible to enter one by one, but it takes a lot of time. However, 
What Kent lacks most now is time. Force it! Kent ordered a force charge. But this time no one listened to him. Just now. Kent did it by himself. So they naturally didn't care. Now, it was about to rush. But it was different if they had to do it by themselves. You know, although this is a state university, its reputation is not low. Many children of wealthy businessmen study here. If it is accidentally injured, the Lehman Foundation may not care. But they cannot? Looking at the people around him, Kent was going crazy. Time was like a wild dog, chasing and biting his ass. And now he was about to catch up. Just when he was helpless, an assistant suddenly came over with a tablet. Mr. Kent, there are new traces of the fugitive. What? Give it to me quickly. Kent grabbed the tablet, and there was a video on it. In the video, Zhang Tuohai climbed over a section of the wall and gave him a middle finger, which was extremely provocative. Chapter 915 Throwing Money Asshole This is a provocation. Kent completely exploded when he saw the surveillance screen on the tablet. Being chased by a tight schedule made him already anxious and bored, and his spirit was always in a state of tension. Now that Zhang Tuohai had clearly provoked him like this, he could no longer suppress his anger. Where did you get this video? Where is this wall located? Kent asked sharply, grabbing the visitor's collar. Now, what I saw on social networking sites is that the source is Miranda's Bluebird. The location is also confirmed. It should lead to the amusement park next door. The man stammered. Miranda? Her Bluebird? It must be a bluff. When you run away, will you tell your pursuers where they will run? Trash? This must be false news. Go check it again. Kit yelled angrily. Ding dong. At this moment, Bluebird sounded the prompt again. And Miranda's Bluebird number was updated again. This time with a text. I'm at the state amusement park. Do you dare to come over to Lehman Smashers? There will be a grand show in five minutes. See you there? Below is a photo of John Tuohai and Miranda. With the iconic giant Ferris wheel behind them. Moreover, positioning has also been opened. And the positioning location is the state amusement park. Mr. Kent. They should be at the state amusement park. This is the landmark building of the amusement park. The Eye of Deep Space. The painting is also this year's theme painting. I just went there with my girlfriend last week. An assistant glanced at the photo and said, Let's go. Go to the state amusement park. Kent angrily led the people towards the state amusement park next to the university. There was not much time left for him. The group left in a hurry. Meanwhile, students at state universities also saw what Miranda was doing. Seeing that there was something exciting to watch. These people immediately came out of their hiding places and followed Kent and his group from a distance towards the state amusement park. For a time, the number of visitors to the state amusement park more than doubled, making the already crowded amusement park even more crowded. Disperse as a group, clear out the tourists, and then find those two rats for me. Kent frowned at the crowd of tourists and said to his men, Mr. Kent, they have entered the deep eye Ferris wheel. An assistant said holding a mobile phone, which was showing a real-time live broadcast. Miranda and Zhang Tuohai had entered the pot of the Ferris wheel and slowly ascended to the sky. How did they end up on their own? Kent couldn't understand. In his opinion, entering the Ferris wheel was like a mouse entering a trap. There was no room for maneuver. He didn't understand why the other party would do this. However, the real-time live broadcast proved that all this is true. Although he didn't understand what Zhang Tuohai was thinking, time no longer allowed him to think too much. If he waited a little longer, he would be happy to receive the CC seat. Everyone, follow me. Surround the Ferris wheel, and I'll see where he goes. Kent led the crowd to surround the Ferris wheel aggressively. The tourists and students around him retreated when they saw this group of menacing men. However, their mobile phones were all focused on the scene. At this moment, the door of a pot of the Ferris wheel opened. Zhang Tuohai leaned out and looked at the people in the Lehman group below and laughed. Thank you very much for your support. In order to express some gratitude, I brought you some small gifts. I hope you like them. Zhang Tuohai said, grabbed a lot of things and threw them out. Lie down. Seeing something scattered, Kent quickly laid down to avoid being hurt. The people around him also trained quickly and quickly fell down in a large area. However, the expected explosion did not happen. Instead, a large piece of green paper fell down. Someone carefully picked up the piece of paper. He was in disbelief at first and then shouted excitedly, It's money. It's real money. When they heard that it was real money, the people below became excited and rushed to where the banknotes fell to pick them up and grab them. Some people even got into fights and fights. The scene became chaotic. Get up quickly! 
Don't get hurt by accident. Kent's expression changed drastically when he saw this, and he wanted to get up from the ground. However, at this time, Zhang Tuohai was throwing a lot of money downwards. I don't know if it was intentional or not. When a lot of banknotes just floated to his head, the civilians saw them. The security personnel of the Lehman Group may still be afraid of three points. But if there is a large amount of money in front of them, the effect will be different. A large group of daring civilians rushed over and grabbed the scattered banknotes. The originally tight and orderly security personnel were suddenly dispersed and mixed into the chaotic crowd, fighting on their own. Some of the more unlucky ones were directly squeezed down by the surging crowd. Kid was such an unlucky guy. When he was dragged out from under the crowd by others, he was originally high-spirited and turned into a gray-haired man, full of size 44 footprints. Damn it! Guard the exit of the Ferris wheel for me. Don't let him escape. I must let him know the price of teasing me. Kent pulled out his gun, drove away the staff on the Ferris wheel, and stood guard at the entrance of the Ferris wheel, waiting for Zhang Tuohai's pod to come down. However, at this moment, his men discovered a new situation. Mr. Kent, look! Several of his men pointed to the sky. Kent looked up and his eyes suddenly widened with disbelief. How can it be? In the air. Zhang Tuohai took out a jet skateboard, pulled Miranda to stand on the skateboard, and slowly flew out of the pod. Where did they? Where did they get this kind of thing? Kent looked at Zhang Tuohai in the air in disbelief. With this thing, Zhang Tuohai could easily escape from their encirclement and leave him behind again. This also meant that his series of pursuit actions just now became a success. Joke. With strong technical support, hundreds of people, working with the police and gangsters throughout the process, actually allowed two people to play around. In the eyes of the superiors, this was a sign of his incompetence, and there would be no room for improvement in the future. I remember that today. There happened to be a jet flying skateboard show here. He must have spent money to buy the flying skateboard for the performance. You see? There is the performance company's trademark on it. An assistant said, Quick, go buy the rest of the flying skateboards. I'm going to catch up with him, Kent said with red eyes. Impossible. The assistant shook his head. I asked just now. The guy has packed up all the flying skateboards and taken them to the Ferris wheel. If you want to get the remaining flying skateboards, you have to wait. Ferris wheel down. Chapter 916 Five Star Wanted Gift Crab Kent raised his head and glanced at the pod where Zhang Tuohai was originally located. It was near the highest point at this time. If he waited for it to turn around on its own, the day lily would be cold. Quick! Speed up! Get it off! Kent shouted anxiously. But there are still many people on the Ferris wheel. If we speed up? Someone hesitated. I can't care about that now. Kent rushed into the control room, trying to pull the joystick to speed up the pod's descent. At this moment, two strongmen grabbed him. One on the left and one behind. What are you doing? I am the commander-in-chief now. I have the authority to handle some actions. Let me go! Kent shouted. Not anymore! A cold voice came. Kent turned around and saw that his face was ashen. The person who came was none other than Carol. The source of his rights. Miss Carol. I... Kent wanted to explain a few words. But Carol said coldly. The time has passed. I gave you a chance. But you failed to live up to my expectations and caused me so much trouble. Go go to St. Elizabeth's Hospital. That's where you belong. What? Kent's face turned green with fright when he heard Carol's words. St. Elizabeth's Hospital is a hospital wholly owned by Lehman Corporation and is a psychiatric hospital, specially designed to deal with those who disobey. This hospital still performs lobotomies to this day. After entering this hospital, life would be worse than death. It would be better to be sunk directly to the bottom of the sea. At least you can have a good time. Miss, please spare me. I will definitely solve these problems. Please give me another chance. Kent begged again and again. However, Carol was too lazy to look at him anymore. He waved lazily, and someone immediately took Kent away. Carol looked up at John Tuohai, who was flying into the distance, with a sneer on his face. It seems that you are indeed quite capable, and you were able to escape under our Lehman citywide manhunt. I underestimated you before. In that case, let's have some fun and see how far you can run. After Carol finished speaking, he said to a man wearing a long trench coat next to him, Mr. Francois, the next step is up to you. The Francois next to her is a master of tracking. He once served in the Foreign Legion of Iris and served as an instructor in the Black River Security Company. He has maintained a record of no failure in missions for 10 years. Even Carol spent a lot of money. 
He was just invited here. Don't worry. Miss Carol, since I have collected your money, I will definitely help you catch them. Francois bowed slightly to Carol. Mr. Francois, please tell me, what should we do now? Should we pursue them across the board? Carol asked. Francois shook his head when he heard this. They must have a purpose to escape. There is no need for so many of us to be led by him. We only need to send helicopters to monitor behind and mobilize capable personnel to form a rapid team. The reaction force is on standby. And the remaining personnel are guarding highway intersections, train stations, airports, and ports, and cutting off passages to other cities. As long as these passages are secured, he will not be able to escape from the cage of this city. And then let the helicopter follow him all the time, so that he cannot rest. Wait until he is tired and then send out a quick reaction force to arrest him in one fell swoop. Success will be immediate. After hearing Francois' plan, Carol's eyes sparkled. She never expected that Francois would give her a surprise from the beginning. She never thought that the pursuer could pursue him like this. She remembered that when hunting wild beasts in Africa, the guides would often drive them to hunt wild beasts. After discovering the wild beasts, they would not shoot immediately, but drive the wild beasts from a distance behind. When the beast was exhausted, he launched a thunderous blow and killed the beast. Francois's plan is very similar to the guide's plan to hunt down the beast. It seems that chasing wild animals is the same as chasing people. The corners of Carol's mouth curled up slightly. She couldn't wait to watch Zhang Tuahai being chased to the end of the road. I really want to see you kneeling in front of me soon. Then it's all up to you. Mr. Francois. Carol bowed slightly. It's my honor to serve you. Francois returned the salute. Then put on the command headset and began to issue orders. Order after order was passed on, and teams of people withdrew from the amusement park and rushed to guard key departments such as airports, ports, train stations, and highways. It's such a great day today. Miranda held Zong to a high's waist high in the sky, her face full of excitement. She felt that her 20 years in total were not as exciting as today. Compared with today, her previous days were simply bleak. Is it interesting? Zhang Tuahai asked. He seemed to have done nothing just played a few small games, compared with commanding thousands of fleets to fight. These were no different from children's playing house. Just when he was about to say something more, his expression suddenly turned serious. He felt like he was being watched by something. What's wrong? Miranda didn't understand why Zhang Tuohai's expression changed in the blink of an eye. Something's coming. Zhang Tuohai said with a serious expression. What? Where is it? Miranda asked worriedly, looking around. However, she found nothing. Are you too nervous? Miranda said. No. It's nearby and will be out soon. John Tuahai said with a solemn expression. As soon as he finished speaking, a huge sound sounded. In the distance, a helicopter approached from a high altitude. With Zhang Tuahai in the distance. Is this a five-star wanted order? I remember no one was killed. Right. John Tuahai looked at the helicopter in the distance and curled his lips. It's broken. They sent a helicopter. Will they knock us down? Miranda asked worriedly. This is just a camera helicopter, not an armed helicopter. It is not equipped with weapons. I think it is following us. Then what should we do? Looking at the helicopter dotted in the distance, Miranda was obviously a little scared. It doesn't matter. Although the helicopter has high maneuverability, it also has weaknesses. Keep it tight. Zhang Tuohai controlled the flying skateboard and quickly approached the ground. When he was adventuring in different worlds, he had several helicopters in his hands. He knew the performance of these helicopters very well. And he also had rich experience in fighting helicopters. He had his own way of dealing with these guys. Seeing Zhang Tuohai descending rapidly, the helicopter pilot thought that Zhang Tuohai's flying skateboard had no power and hurriedly chased after him. However, when the helicopter flew over the place where Zhang Tuohai landed, it was discovered that Zhang Tuohai was missing. Chapter 917 Shooting Down the Helicopter Where are the people? The helicopter pilot stared down, searching for his target. However, the area below them was the slums of Chicken Leg Fort City. It was a mess, full of pedestrians and debris, and all kinds of messy colors were mixed together. It became very difficult to find a person among them. Just as the driver was scanning the area, looking back and forth, his eyes suddenly lit up, and he saw Miranda running in a windbreaker. Got you! The pilot was delighted and chased the helicopter in the direction of Miranda. Francois who had been looking at the monitor, changed his expression when he saw this. He turned on the intercom and shouted to the driver, raise the altitude quickly. This is a trap! 
however. At this time, Zhang Tuohai had already ascended to the back of the helicopter on his flying skateboard, holding a newly made simple stone rope in his hand. Try this! Zhang Tuohai threw the stone rope in his hand towards the propeller of the helicopter. A chain with stones tied to both ends was wrapped around the main shaft of the helicopter's propeller. Although the stone was smashed into pieces by the rapidly rotating blades, the helicopter's blades were also damaged. The spindle speed was reduced due to the entangled foreign objects, and the helicopter began to lose stability. 6. The helicopter's power has been damaged, and it is trying to make an emergency landing. It is making an emergency landing! The helicopter pilot shouted in panic, and at the same time controlled the helicopter to make an emergency landing in the slums. Bang! The helicopter crashed into a garbage dump in the slums, and all kinds of garbage flew everywhere. Fortunately, the pilot only suffered minor injuries, and there was no danger to his life. Gone! After dealing with the helicopter, Zhang Tuohai jumped off the flying skateboard that had run out of power, and pulled Miranda into the alleyway of the slum. This guy is really cunning. I'm starting to get a little interested. Looking at the picture on the monitor, Francois looked serious. He originally thought it was just a simple mission to find mice. But unexpectedly, Zhang Tuohai gave him a blow as soon as he appeared on the scene. He easily killed a helicopter, and seemed to be an opponent worthy of taking seriously. Looking at the lost helicopter, Carol's face became even more ugly. He entered the slum. Should we seal the slum? No need. Francois waved his hand. And after seeing Carol's unkind look, he explained, The slum area is too vast, and there is no real so-called entrance and exit. As long as he wants, he can go through it. There's no point in escaping in either direction. So sealing off the ghettos, our plan remains unchanged. We still focus on the key nodes leaving the city. As long as he wants to leave the city, he must pass through these nodes. We just wait and see. Then we just watch? Carol asked angrily. Although she knew what Francois said was reasonable, she still didn't want to just watch Jean to a high enjoying himself in the city. Of course not. You can order the police and gangs to set up patrols in the jurisdiction. Create trouble for them. Make them unable to supply. And force them to leave the city so that they will get into our cage. Great. Let those police officers and gangsters take action. I can't take my money in vain. Carol said to the people around him. Yes. Orders were passed on one after another, and teams of police officers and gangsters were mobilized. There were patrolling police cars and checkpoints everywhere, and groups of gang members were searching everywhere. Every shop was disturbed by the chaos of chickens and dogs. The whole city of Chicken Leg Fort is in a smoky atmosphere. What are they doing? Searching us? Isn't this too big a move? Miranda, who is hiding in the corner, was shocked by the big scene in front of her. This is desperate. Looking at the mighty patrol team, Zhang Tuohai laughed. The bigger the opponent's movements, the more it showed that their strategy was correct. Carol had been driven crazy and began to mobilize all the forces he could mobilize to hunt them down. However, the consequence of this is that their activities in Chicken Leg Fort City are increasingly hindered. There are fewer and fewer places to supply supplies, and fewer and fewer areas of activity. If they continue to be dragged on, they will eventually be compressed into a corner and then be caught. Got to find a way to get out. Zhang Tuohai looked at the two police cars parked in the distance and had an idea. At this time, the police officer in the car just stopped the car and was preparing to intercept it. Zhang Tuohai threw the Glock in his hand to Miranda. Go to the street corner over there and fire a few shots to attract their attention. Good. Miranda held a pistol and sneaked into the corner of the street, while Jean Tuohai hid in an alley and climbed to the roof along the corner. Bang, bang, bang. Gunfire rang out from the street corner. When the four police officers heard the gunfire, they immediately hid behind the car as a reflex, raised their pistols, and pointed in the direction of the street corner. At this time, Jean Tuohai had stepped on the roof and came to their heads. Call! Jean Tuohai jumped directly from the roof. Before the two police officers could react, they were knocked unconscious by Zhang Tuohai with his knife. The other two police officers had just pointed their pistols at Zhang Tuohai, but they didn't expect that Zhang Tuohai had already come to his side and knocked him unconscious with one blow and one blow with a shenglong punch. The surrounding pedestrians screamed and ran away when they saw this. Zhang Tuohai skillfully took off their uniforms, took away their equipment, and drove the police car to the street corner to pick up Miranda, who was hiding in the corner. Quickly change it. Zhang Tuohai threw a police uniform to Miranda. Changing clothes again? Which outfit is this? Miranda complained and got into the back seat to start changing. 
Zhang Tuohai sounded the siren and started running wildly outside. Seeing this, the surrounding cars all ducked to both sides, and Zhang Tuohai rushed out of the civilian area without any hindrance. When encountering police officers patrolling the streets, they would salute and question them. Where are we going? Miranda asked. Go to the airport. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Are you crazy? Going to the airport? There must be someone watching over there. With the strength of the Lehman Group. They can definitely lock our personal information, and we can't buy tickets even if we enter the airport. Why are we going to the airport? Miranda asked confused. Who said you have to buy a ticket to go to the airport? Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. What do you want? Miranda asked curiously. You'll know then. Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator to the bottom, and the car rushed forward, for police officers were attacked, and two more had their uniforms taken away. People around them immediately called the police, and soon additional police officers arrived. News that the police car had been hijacked was immediately uploaded. Damn it. What do these guys do for a living? Four of them caught two, but they didn't even catch them. They even had their equipment taken away. Carol slapped the table hatefully. This is a good thing. Francois took a puff of his cigar. The police cars all have GPS locators. When they get in the police car, they have to be under our surveillance and send the data over for us to take a look at wherever our prey will go. A contemptuous smile appeared on Francois's face. Chapter 918 Escape by Plane Did you throw away the phone you used to send the video? John Tuohai asked Miranda. I threw them away a long time ago. Now I still have two mobile phones. Do you want to use them? Miranda took out two mobile phones from her body. John Tuohai wiped these from Bloody Henry and his men. They basically used them a few times and then threw them away to avoid being chased by people following the mobile phone signal. Throw it all away. We will leave the city directly later. They may find out our location from the departure mobile phone signal. So don't bring any electronic devices. Not even headphones. John Tuohai said. Okay. But how do you plan to leave the country? Do you have a way to buy a ticket and board the plane? Miranda obediently threw all the electronic devices on her body out of the window. Of course I'm flying. Do I still drive? My car has to be checked by the state police when it leaves the city. John Tuohai said helplessly. What I'm asking is how to leave by plane. There's no way they can sell us tickets. Miranda said helplessly. Don't worry. I have a solution. John Tuohai said with a smile. In front of the monitor. Francois looked at the police car driving rapidly towards the airport with a smile on his face. Jean Tuohai did not exceed his expectations and drove towards the airport. He pressed the headset. Send a few more patrol teams to surround them. The airport personnel are ready. As soon as they enter the airport, they will be arrested immediately. They must not be allowed to run away. After receiving the order, the subordinates immediately took action and set up a dragnet near the airport, waiting for Jean Tuohai to rush in. Mr. Francois is indeed worthy of his reputation. If you are interested in working for our Lehman Group, I will give you a salary that satisfies you. When Carol saw Jean Tuohai being arrested in front of him, half of the depression in his heart dissipated. His face was full of excitement, and he asked Francois with a glass of champagne, If Miss Carol invites you, I will naturally be willing. Francois was overjoyed when he heard Carol's invitation. The strength of the Lehman Group was obvious to all. Being able to work in such a company would naturally provide extremely generous benefits. He was tired of living on the front lines all year round and wanted to find a job. For a more comfortable corporate pension, Lehman Group is a more suitable target. Then let's drink to our future cooperation. Carol pushed a bottle of champagne over. Being respectful is worse than obeying orders. Francois took the champagne and was about to clink glasses when the surveillance officer's report came from the earphone. Boss, the fugitive signal has disappeared. What? After hearing the news, Francois was so shocked that he didn't care about the champagne in his hand and rushed to the monitor. Sure enough, the cursor that was shining just now had disappeared. Damn guy. He must have known the location of the car's GPS for a long time. He deliberately lured us to the location of the airport and then suddenly turned off the GPS, causing us to lose our position. This damn guy is so cunning. There was a hint of irritation on Francois's face. Normally, this might be nothing. But now is the critical moment for Carol to extend an olive branch to him. If the chain drops, his retirement plan will be completely ruined. We must catch this damn guy. Francois pressed the intercom angrily. Notify the surrounding ambush teams to immediately conduct a search in the surrounding area to find him. People at the airport should not move and be careful not to divert the tiger away from the mountain. After finishing the arrangement, 
Francois called up the area map and looked at it carefully. He was sure that there must be a reason why Jean Tuohai disappeared in this area, and there must be something around him that could make him leave. Otherwise, he wouldn't have put so much effort into making such a show. What is it? Francois lay on the map and checked it inch by inch. After checking for a long time, he found nothing. Just when he was about to give up, a straight track suddenly caught his attention. The runway is on an estate, right near the airport. Where is this place, and why is there a runway? Francois asked Carol. Carol looked at the location on the map and thought for a while before he remembered. This is Sir Fox's manor. Sir Fox is a fan of old airplanes. He has many old airplanes at home, all with good warranty, and he often drives them out. After two laps, I also rode it, and it felt very good. Old plane. Broken. After hearing Carol's words, Francois' expression suddenly changed. The older the aircraft, the easier it is to fly, especially the wooden biplanes or even triplanes from the World War I era. You can almost drive a car, and you can master it after one or two training sessions. The most important thing is that those old-fashioned aircraft are purely mechanical devices, with no electronic accessories, not even a locator. There is no place to look for them once they are in the sky. Quick! Notify people to go to Sir Fox's manor immediately. Don't let that guy fly away. Francois yelled into his headphones. Bang. Jean Tuohai broke through a wooden fence and rushed into a farm. Then he accelerated all the way and rushed into a huge warehouse. In the warehouse, there are several old wooden biplanes and triplanes. Jean Tuohai jumped out of the car, jumped on the plane, and checked his status. Don't tell me we're leaving on this old plane. Miranda looked at the old machine in front of her with shock on her face. It's in pretty good condition and can still be used normally. Jean Tuohai checked around and was very satisfied with the condition of the aircraft. It was obvious that the owner here paid great attention to the maintenance and upkeep of these aircraft and always kept them in a condition that could be used normally. Just then, police sirens sounded in the distance. The two looked towards the direction where the sound came from and saw seven or eight police cars forming a long queue heading towards their direction. Hurry! They are coming! Miranda saw the police car and climbed directly up the ladder into the rear driver's seat. What? Don't you mind that the plane is old? John Tuohai turned around and asked with a smile. Stop talking nonsense. We are almost chasing you. Let's go! Miranda urged. Let's go! John Tuohai pushed the throttle, and the plane began to slide towards the runway. Unlike modern aircraft, which require tractors to drag the aircraft to the runway, this old-fashioned aircraft can drive to the position by itself and can even take off as long as there is a relatively flat piece of grass, and does not require so many auxiliary equipment at all. The police car was getting closer and closer, and the propellers were spinning faster and faster. When some people saw that the plane was about to take off, they couldn't help but become anxious. They pulled out their pistols, and pulled the triggers on the plane repeatedly in an attempt to stop the plane. However, their purpose was doomed to fail. They were still 50 meters away from the plane. When they were close to each other, the plane rose from the ground and flew unsteadily into the distance. Chapter 919 Prediction of Both Sides The police officers immediately reported the news that the fugitive had fled in an old-fashioned airplane. After hearing the news, Francois clenched his fists angrily. Just a little bit. Just a little bit close to catching the opponent. He is only a small distance away from a generous pension. If I had discovered it earlier, things might not have turned out like this. Francois was filled with resentment and chagrin. However, now is not the time to regret. He has not completely lost yet. And there is still a chance for a comeback. Francois rubbed his eyebrows and forced himself to calm down. The fuel tank of this old-fashioned aircraft is limited and cannot fly too far. As long as you can determine the capacity of the fuel tank at departure, you can determine the maximum flight distance. And then search for a landing site within this area to determine the distance. Landing position. Go and ask about the size of the plane's fuel tank and the amount of fuel it takes off. We still have a chance, shouted Francois. Someone immediately went to work, and soon all the data he needed was sent back. Based on the calculations, Francois began to outline the flight range of the old aircraft and look for possible landing points of the aircraft. Mr. Francois, in which direction do you think the fugitive will escape? Looking at the big circle on the map, Carol asked with a headache. In such a large area, she really couldn't tell where Jean Tuohai would run. In particular, this kind of old-fashioned aircraft can land on any flat area, making it even more difficult to predict where it will land. It's actually very simple. Just put the perspective of looking at the problem into the fugitive's body. 
Francois straightened his expression again and returned to his mature, steady and wise appearance. Put yourself into the perspective of a fugitive? Carol pondered for a while, thinking vicariously and putting herself in someone else's shoes. She had learned these things from her teacher a long time ago. However, after all, the difference in life circumstances was too great. The three things she had to bring with her every time she went out were a personal secretary, an accompanying assistant, and a bodyguard. There is a big gap between them and ordinary people. I have never seen the lives of ordinary people. Even if I want to, I can't do it. She put herself in his shoes and thought about it for a long time. But in the end, she could only come to the conclusion of asking for help from her family. She had no constructive ideas at all. Seeing that Carol found nothing, Francois pointed to the map and said, Actually, it's very simple. If I were a fugitive, the first thing I would think of after getting the opportunity to leave the city is to escape from the control of the Lehman Group. Therefore, the French fries market to the north is not their first choice, because that is the headquarters of the Lehman Group, and the Lehman Group's control there has reached its peak. Normal people would not choose it, and would consider leaving Lehman. The farther away the consortium is, the better. It is best to go abroad to minimize the probability of being caught. It just so happens that Chicken Leg Fort City is close to the border. So the most likely way for them to go is south. Francois pointed to the south side of the city of Fort Chicken. But if we cross the border, the area is too big. How can we be sure? I have no clue at all. Looking at the long border on the south side of the map, Carol was a little confused. How to find the smuggling route of those people from this long border? This is actually not difficult, Francois said with a smile. Although the border seems very long, there are actually not many routes that can be taken. Although this place is very long, it is actually an endless desert. Without the support of guides and technical equipment, even experienced explorers can get lost in it and eventually be buried in the desert. According to the information of two people, none of them have desert survival experience. So this route can basically be ruled out. But to be on the safe side, some people can be left in a small town close to the desert to monitor it. Carol thought for a while and felt that what Francois said made sense. Since this way is blocked, the only way to pass through the land border is here. Francois pointed to a city standing on the border. Tomato City? Carol thought of the city. There is a casino of her own. The presidential guest room is okay. And the food is spicy. This is her only impression of this city. Yes, this city is right on the border. And the various forces are complicated. It is easier to pass customs. You only need to pass through the checkpoint. If I were a fugitive, I would consider passing the border here. Francois said pointing to the tomato market. Does that mean it's time for us to set up our pockets in tomato market? Carol looked at the map with interest. Yes, this is my plan. Francois enlarged the map, and the screen turned into a city map of Tomato City, and began to explain his layout plan to the map. At the same time, Zhang Tuohai and Miranda were studying the direction of leaving. I didn't expect it to actually fly. We won't fall. Right. Miranda grabbed the edge of the cabin and looked out. This old-fashioned airplane doesn't even have a windshield. You have to rely on goggles to open your eyes. The strong wind hurts your face. As long as you don't have a bad mouth, you'll be fine. Zhang Tuohai controlled the plane honestly. He had played with this type of aircraft in the simulation cabin made by Lilith. Because it was relatively simple, he was quite good at it. However, it was far behind his driving skills. Which was to say that he could take off and land normally. Therefore, when flying the plane, I don't dare to be distracted and hold the joystick honestly. By the way, where should we go next? How about we go abroad across the border? Lehman's power there is relatively weak. If we hide abroad, we don't have to worry about being hunted down by Lehman, Miranda said. No, let's go to the French fries market. Zhang Tuohai shook his head decisively. French fries city? Are you crazy? That is the headquarters of Lehman Corporation. Lehman Corporation can be said to be the local emperor and shadow mayor there. Its power and influence are definitely not comparable to that of Chicken Leg Fort City. Are you really where are you going? I'm afraid we'll be caught as soon as we get off the plane, Miranda said anxiously. Just because you can think of going to the border. That's why I have to do the opposite and go to the French fries market, Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. What do you mean? Just because I can think of it. You did it the other way around? What do you mean? Tell me clearly. Miranda asked angrily. It's precisely because you all think that I should go to the border. So the border direction must be heavily guarded and all imaginable intersections should be blocked. We are in the pocket now. In this case, 
We might as well kill them directly. Return the carbine and stab him in the heart, forcing them to return to defense. When the border defense force is relaxed, we will go to the border again. Chapter 920 Sneaking into the French Fries Market Hearing Zhang Tuohai's plan, Miranda couldn't help but open her mouth. Theoretically, Zhang Tuohai's plan makes sense and is highly feasible if it can be implemented smoothly. But the problem is, it seems like a big risk. After all, that was the headquarters of the Lehman Group. Will they really be safe if they go? She felt very uneasy inside. Do you think there is any safe place now? Zhang Tuohai said calmly, as if he had seen through Miranda's thoughts. Actually, no matter what we do, Carol's character will not let us go. Since so, why not just play a big game? Cause some losses to the Lehman Group, so that they don't have the energy to deal with us. At that time, our situation may be better. Listening to Zhang Tuohai's explanation, Miranda felt that it made sense, but also felt that something was wrong. The plane flew all the way north at low altitude. Fortunately, the weather was not good. The sky was overcast, and there was a faint sound of thunder, which obscured the sound and shape of the plane, making it impossible to detect the plane's whereabouts through vision. As for military radar, there is nothing good to do about this low-speed wooden aircraft. On radar, this low altitude, slow-speed small aircraft is about the same as a bird. With the help of the cover of dark clouds, Zhang Tuohai's small plane passed over villages and manors one after another, constantly approaching the French fries market. That's almost it. Zhang Tuohai looked at the terrain below and found a railroad track and a flat piece of land. At the end of the land, there was a forest. It was a perfect place to land. The terrain was flat to allow the plane to land. The trees could be used to hide the plane, and the railroad tracks helped them identify their direction. Just follow the tracks and you're sure to find the city. Get ready. We're about to land. Zhang Tuohai pushed the joystick forward, and the plane slowly landed. Bang. Crash. The plane was loaded into the woods, and two wings were broken off. But there was no major problem with the plane as a whole. How are you? Are you injured? Zhang Tuohai jumped off the plane and asked. Fortunately, be more stable when you land next time. Miranda jumped out of the plane while crawling, feeling dizzy. Quickly leave. If you stay here for a long time, you will be easily discovered. Zhang Tuohai greeted Miranda and quickly left the woods and walked north along the railroad tracks. After walking for a while, there was a rumbling vibration on the track beneath me. Zhang Tuohai and Miranda looked back and found a train approaching from behind. The two of them hid sideways next to the railroad tracks, preparing to wait for the train to pass. Boom! Boom! The train passed by the two of them one by one. Just as the train was about to pass by, the two men suddenly saw the badge of the Lehman Group on a carriage. Lehman Group's car! The two looked at each other, and then Zhang Tuohai picked up Miranda ran two steps, and jumped onto the door of the last carriage of the train. As soon as the two people jumped in, the car door suddenly opened. A man in a suit, who looked like a bodyguard, just opened the door and walked out. He was holding a cigarette in his hand. He seemed to be ready to smoke. When he saw the two people who appeared in front of him, he was stunned. Then he subconsciously touched his waist. Boom! Zhang Tuohai slashed the opponent's neck with a knife, and then threw the opponent into the grass under the car. Walk! Zhang Tuohai knew that this situation should not be delayed. If it was delayed, it would easily arouse the opponent's alert. It would be more concealed to attack directly. Zhang Tuohai opened the door and walked in. He saw three bodyguards in suits. Before the bodyguards could attack, Zhang Tuohai took out his police ID card and showed it in front of everyone. Don't move! Police officer! Handle the case. Several bodyguards didn't realize why there were police officers on the speeding train. Their natural behavioral instincts prevent them from acting rashly. After all, an aggressive move will make the police officer on the opposite side nervous and empty the magazine. They are just a group of security guards responsible for guarding the goods. Not mercenaries with knife tips licking blood. They have a natural feeling of fear when they see the police. While they were stunned, Zhang Tuohai had already rushed in front of them, started working, and knocked the two of them to the ground with two hand knives. At this time, the remaining security guard realized that something was wrong. At this time, it was too late to draw his gun. Zhang Tuohai punched him in the stomach, making him bend down like a shrimp. Zhang Tuohai tripped and pushed the security guard to the ground, and then put the gun in his hand on the other person's head. Let me ask you, if you violate this rule, I don't mind treating you to a 9mm peanut. How dare the security guard resist when a gun was pressed against his head? 
He nodded in agreement. After some inquiries, Zhang Tuahai learned that this train was transporting central air conditioners ordered by the Lehman Group to replace the aging central air conditioners inside the headquarters building. It is said that the central air conditioner at the headquarters of the Lehman Group has exceeded its service life for many years. It often fails, causing employees in the building to complain repeatedly. There have even been ridiculing jokes on the internet, which has affected the image of the Lehman Group. It was a last resort. Replaced? Central air conditioner? Zhang Tuohai rolled his eyes and had a plan for Lehman. He knocked out the security guard with a knife, then went to several cardboard boxes around him and opened them one by one. As expected, they contained air conditioners, which filled the entire carriage. Not just this carriage, but all four carriages are filled with it. The packaging of these air conditioners has been removed. If they cannot be removed, they have to cut a few holes in the packaging. Zhang Tuohai said to Miranda, What's the use of unpacking these packages? Miranda wondered. Just do as I say, and you will know when the time comes. Zhang Tuohai said. After saying that, Zhang Tuohai quietly approached the door of the link car and rushed into other cars. With successful experience, Zhang Tuohai took the prescribed medicine and killed several security guards. Through their testimony, he proved the authenticity of the previous security guard's words. After throwing the security guard off the train and calling Miranda to unpack, Zhang Tuohai invaded the remaining two carriages, unpacked the air conditioners one by one. What on earth are you doing? Miranda dismantled the air conditioners on four carriages and was panting from exhaustion. She sat on the ground and her police uniform was almost soaked with sweat. Don't worry. I won't do anything useless. Just watch. Zhang Tuohai said and looked outside the carriage. At this time, the train had entered the city and its speed began to decrease. Zhang Tuohai pulled Miranda and jumped off the train and officially entered the city of French Fries City, where Lehman's headquarters is located. Chapter 921 Attack Plan What are they going to do? Many police officers gathered around the train, scratching their heads as they looked at the nearly 1,000 dismantled air conditioners. This is the strangest case they have ever seen in their lives. To say that there was no damage, all the air conditioner packages were removed, the security guards were knocked over, and some were thrown under the car. It took a long time to find them. If there were any losses, the air conditioner was not damaged. Even the security guards suffered superficial injuries and recovered completely within a few days of rest. This situation made the police officer in charge feel dizzy for a while. If this was a case involving an ordinary company, they might just go through the procedures and issue a random reward to look for clues. But this is a Lehman Group case, and it cannot be treated lightly. You know, the entire French Potato City Police Department is almost entirely supported by taxes from the Lehman Foundation. A quarter of their salary is the thank you expressed by the Lehman Foundation for their maintenance of law and order. If this case is not handled well, let alone the rich gratitude. I am afraid that this career will be over and I will have to pack up my bag and leave. Among these police officers, the one who is scratching their heads the most is Sheriff Barrett. He can retire safely and get a full pension in one week. Who would have thought that such a fatal thing would happen at this critical moment? No, you must retire safely. As long as you survive these few days and pass the case to the person who takes over, it will be a victory. Byleth made up his mind in his mind that he must be prudent and delay the time. Chief, what should we do? A young police officer came over to ask for instructions. Hmm dash. Barrett thought for a while, then came up with a plan. I suspect that these air conditioners have been tampered with. Some unscrupulous people are trying to use these air conditioners to attack the Lehman Group in order to ensure for everyone's personal safety. These air conditioners must be sent to the inspection and security department for inspection. Remember, all pipes need to be inspected as they may contain poison. Everything with screws must be disassembled and inspected. Because there may be bombs hidden inside. You must be careful and careful again and again to ensure that every inch of the air conditioner is 100% safe. Do you understand? In that case, wouldn't it take a long time for inspection? The Lehman Group. The young police officer was a little worried. A long inspection time? What I want is a long inspection time. Barrett knocked the little police officer on the head. What do you know? The Lehman Group is the economic backbone of our city. It is our duty to protect taxpayers. Therefore, the inspection must not be careless. It must be meticulous. Meticulous. More meticulous. I will apply to the above. And then mobilize two expert groups from neighboring cities to follow up the work together. 
Your task is to check all the air conditioners, transport them all to the examination room. And there must be no omissions. Clear. The young police officer reluctantly went to make arrangements. In this way, you can live in peace until retirement. Right. Violet thought to himself. At the same time, Lehman Group Headquarters. It was already time to go to work. And groups of people entered the group headquarters through the security gate. Everyone must put their backpacks and handbags on the security machine. Just like going through airplane security. Even stricter than airplane security. At least there are no armed security personnel at the aircraft security checkpoint. The security here is very tight. Are you sure you can sneak in secretly? Miranda drank coffee while secretly looking at the Lehman headquarters across the street. In fact, there is no perfect security method in this world. As long as it is a security method, there are loopholes that can be exploited. As long as you are good at discovering them. John Tuahai pretended to read the newspaper in his hand while eating donuts. The headline in today's newspaper is Two contestants of the famous show Death Race Escaped, causing huge chaos. John Tuahai read it carefully and felt that this was a summary of his deeds yesterday. By the way, he relayed the local police's confidence in arresting Zhang Tuahai and bringing him to justice. I turned on the mobile phone I just bought and read the comments on social media. I found that the trend of public opinion on the internet was exactly the opposite. Many people expressed their appreciation for Zhang Tuahai's behavior of teasing the pursuer and causing a scene in the amusement park. Many radical female fans were crazy about it. If you express your love online, you will give birth to a monkey for Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai shook his head as he watched. What happened to this world? How can even a fugitive become an idol? It's really crazy. How should we enter? Could it be that we are employees here? We don't even have identification cards. Miranda looked carefully and found that everyone who entered Lehman's headquarters, in addition to going through security checks, also needed an identification card with a photo on it which must be verified with the person before entering. Don't worry. There will always be a way. Zhang Tuohai put down the newspaper in his hand and walked toward the back street of the Lehman Group headquarters. The security of the headquarters of the Lehman Group is very complete. There are security personnel on duty at both the front and back doors. It is not easy to sneak in. It seems that it is impossible to enter through the main entrance. We can only consider other methods. Zhang Tuohai said, That's easy to say. The guards are so tight. How should we get in? Miranda asked quietly. I think I have a solution. John Tuohai looked up at the tall building next to him and said, Are you planning to jump from a tall building? Stop dreaming. There is at least a few dozen meters between the headquarters of Lehman Group and the surrounding tall buildings. Moreover, the headquarters building of Lehman Group is also the tallest building in the entire French Fry City. If you want to, it's simply impossible to jump from other buildings. Miranda said, Who told you I was going to jump from another building? John Tuohai said with a smile. Isn't that what you meant? Miranda was even more puzzled. Don't worry. You will know when the time comes. But now you need to make some preparations for implementation. John Tuohai turned around and left the headquarters building. Miranda didn't understand what John Tuohai was going to do. So she followed John Tuohai curiously. However, what she couldn't understand was that John Tuohai didn't take her to some underground black market or arms market, but to the supermarket and bought a lot of canned herring snail noodles, and stinky tofu in front of her dumbfounded eyes. And a large juicer. God, what are you going to do? Develop poison gas? What does this smell like? I feel as if I am in Satan's bathroom. Even though Miranda was wearing a protective mask, she could feel the strong and unpleasant smell spreading, making her dizzy. This is my little gift to Lehman. They have been chasing me for so long. So of course, I have to give them a little gift to express my gratitude. Zhang Tuohai threw these things into the juicer and pressed the switch. Chapter 922 Sneaking into the Lehman Group Headquarters Late at night, on a high mountain next to the French Fries Market, Miranda looked at the huge paraglider and her face turned green. You mean, you want to ride this thing to the roof of the building? What? Is there any problem? Zhang Tuohai asked. I don't know how to do this. What if? What if it falls? Miranda looked at the paraglider with some fear. After following John to a high in the sky for several hours, she became afraid of flying. Don't worry. Your mission is not this. Even if you want to come up, I still dislike your clumsiness. Your mission is to wait in your car at the corner of the back entrance of Lehman Group to help me leave. John to a high said, Okay, then I'm leaving? Miranda put her hands in her sleeves. The mountain breeze at night was still a bit chilly. Remember? Hide it carefully so that no one finds it. 
Zhang Tuohai said, as he raised his paraglider, ran forward, and then jumped into the air. The huge paraglider was like a paper airplane, flying leisurely towards the city. Miranda also got back in the car and drove quickly towards the city, heading towards the pickup location. In the night sky, Zhang Tuohai flew leisurely on his paraglider towards the Lehman Group headquarters building in the center of French Fries City. Carol and Francois had already arrived at the border town of Tomato City. I've been waiting for a whole day, and there's still no news about them. Shouldn't they stop coming here? Could they have left the country by another way? Carol asked worriedly. Don't worry. I have placed eyeliners on all the surrounding roads, and will focus on monitoring the people passing by during this period. As long as they pass through, they will not be able to escape. Moreover, I also sent people to search the area where the plane could fly. As long as we can find the landing point of the plane, it will be much easier to find their traces. Don't worry. No one can escape my pursuit, Francois said confidently. Really? Then I'll be relieved. Carol glanced at Zhang Tuai's photo pinned to the intelligence board, pulled out his pistol, and repeatedly pulled the trigger on the photo. Bang, bang, bang. Magazine empty. A circle of bullet holes appeared around the photo. But the photo was unharmed. Okay. The eldest lady's marksmanship has improved again. The personal secretary next to him applauded. It surrounds the photo without damaging it at all. The eldest lady's marksmanship is indeed superb. Carol rolled her eyes at her personal secretary and said nothing. Only she knew clearly that she had just aimed at the center of the photo and shot. Gone. This damn place is too dry. I need to have a spa treatment to rehydrate later. Carol threw the pistol to his assistant and prepared to go back to the hotel to rest. At this moment, an assistant came in with a message. Miss Carol, the wreckage of the plane was found in a forest. We asked sir to confirm that it was the stolen plane. Found it? That's great. Where did you find it? In the woods? Have they not reached the border yet? Francois asked. No. They headed towards the French fries market and didn't come to the border at all. The assistant said. How is it possible? Just finding the landing point of the plane doesn't mean anything. Right. It's possible that they changed their direction of action after getting off the plane. Francois asked. A train robbery occurred early this morning. A train transporting the Lehman Group was robbed. The perpetrator knocked out the security personnel on the car. We asked the security personnel to identify the photos and confirm that the attackers were two fugitives. The assistant said, Cunning bastard. Francois punched the table angrily. Zhang Tuohai's retreat was like a slap in the face. He had just said that Zhang Tuohai would definitely come to the border and escape across the border. As a result, before he finished speaking, Zhang Tuohai infiltrated into the core area of the Lehman Group and caused a series of things under his eyes, which almost made him lose face. You must save your face. Otherwise, your reputation will be ruined. Francois calmed down and said, Miss Carol, please give me another chance. I will definitely catch him with my own hands and send him to you. In front of me. This is your last chance. Give me the answer within three days. Carol turned and left the room. She wanted to go back to the hotel to take a bath and have a spa treatment. The dry desert climate made her feel uncomfortable all over. As for Zhang Tuohai, just let Francois handle it. She can take a private plane back to the French fries market in time tomorrow morning. Three days is enough. Francois regained his strength. Finding people in the city was his specialty. As long as he was given information about the mission target, he could find a person in a large city with a population of 1 million within 48 hours. What's more? There are photos? I let you take advantage of the loophole last time. This time, I'll see where you go. Francois walked out of the command room angrily, turned on the headset and began to issue orders one after another. Everyone was mobilized. All roads in and out of the French Fries city were monitored. And the permissions of the surveillance videos were after being taken over by Francois. A large number of professionals began to check surveillance videos and search for traces of Zhang Tuohai. Countless people got busy. It was early in the morning. And the search still found nothing. The main reason was that the two of them did not carry any electronic equipment. Which made the electronic tracking that he was best at unable to use. Have all the cameras been checked? Francois asked anxiously. Everything that can be checked has been checked. However, our authority can only check the cameras on the periphery of the city. The control of the cameras in the core area of the city is in the hands of the Lehman Group headquarters. We do not have authorization and cannot take over. One of his subordinates said helplessly, I'm going to find Carol to ask for permission. Francois said as he prepared to go find Carol. Miss Carol has already taken a private plane to the Group headquarters. An assistant said, 
So anxious? Francois was a little curious. I heard from the assistant that something important happened temporarily. So Miss Carroll went to deal with it first. One of his men said, It actually requires Miss Carroll to handle it personally. It seems to be a very important matter. It would be great if we could know, Francois said with regret. At the same time, Carol had entered the headquarters building of the Lehman Group in French Fry City, and then directly entered the internal elevator and headed to the office on the 32nd floor, watching the landscape elevator slowly rise and the city gradually being stepped on. Carol's mood improved. She liked this feeling of being high up. However, a strange smell spread in the air. What does it smell like? Carol took a deep breath, trying to identify what it smelled like. But in the next second, she almost spit it out. The smell was comparable to a biological weapon attack, which made her stomach churn, and she almost vomited directly on the elevator. Quick, open the elevator door and let me out. Carol felt like she couldn't hold on any longer. However, at this moment, the fire alarm sounded and the elevator braked to an emergency stop. Miss Carol, the door won't open, an assistant said in panic. Chapter 923 A Tasty Attack What happened? Why can't the elevator open? Carol looked panicked. The elevator she was riding in was stuck on the 20th floor. If she fell directly, there would be no chance of survival. It seems to be a fire alarm. The elevator automatically locks to prevent someone from breaking into the elevator in a panic. The assistant said in a panic, Why are we still using this old system? Shouldn't the new system stop at the nearest floor in time and automatically open the door? Carol was shocked. Because it would cost a lot of money to replace the system. The board of directors felt that this investment was not important. So they did not approve it. The assistant said helplessly, These damn guys! After I go out, they must hang all these dead insects on the street lamps. Carol said angrily, Knock on the elevator door immediately, or we will all fall to death. Carol called to the bodyguard to pry open the door. Fortunately, Carol's bodyguards are well trained and can deal with a variety of emergencies. Knocking on the elevator door is a piece of cake for them. The two men pried open the elevator door in three quick strokes. As soon as the elevator door opened, a strong smell rushed in, almost knocking Carol back as he was about to rush out. What does it smell like? Who used the microwave to cook durian? Carol stumbled out of the elevator, holding his nose. He saw that the entire floor was filled with light yellow smoke, and a strong stench filled every corner. The employees in the building rushed out in embarrassment. He entered the office area and escaped from the building along the fire stairs. There was a lot of material and high heels scattered on the floor. The entire office area was in a mess. Looking at the chaotic scene, Carol's lungs almost exploded with anger. She vowed that if she found the culprit who caused all this, she would strip him naked and hang him outside the building to cool down for a hundred days. No, you have to soak the other person in a bathtub full of durians for a hundred days. Miss, leave quickly. There is a biological attack in the building. Several bodyguards made biased judgments based on their own expertise, pulled off their shirts and wet them as protective equipment, then covered Carol and ran towards the fire escape. After entering the fire escape, they discovered that the situation was far worse than they imagined. It wasn't just their floor that was attacked. The stairs were crowded with clerks who had escaped from various floors. Everyone was crowded in a narrow fire escape and moving downward slowly. The bodyguard caught a few people around to inquire about the situation. According to the current known situation, 23, 25, 27, and 29 were all attacked. Looking at the crowding of the stairs, the situation below was not good. Maybe the entire building was there was an attack. Who did it? Which powerful force has Lehman Group provoked recently? Carol's mind was spinning rapidly, thinking about the recent big moves of the Lehman Group, which forces might provoke them, and which forces might take revenge. As for Zhang Tuohai, she didn't think about it at all. In her eyes, Zhang Tuohai is just a small fugitive who escaped from prison. He may be good at escaping, but wanting to create such a big battle is simply wishful thinking. He is obviously a top-notch mercenary. Way of doing. When I find out who did it, I must make them look good and let them know the consequences of offending Lehman Group. Carol thought angrily, just as she was thinking about how to find out the murderer. A bodyguard caught a glimpse of a red countdown timer. There's a bomb! The bodyguard hurriedly opened his clothes and pressed Carol under him. People around him screamed and frantically tried to get away from the area. However, there were people going up and down the stairs, blocking all routes, making it impossible for them to advance or retreat. Boom! The bomb exploded. Fortunately, the bomb was not very powerful 
and only damaged one pipe. Unfortunately, the bomb damaged the sewer pipes. I wonder if someone added the water supply valve to the wrong pipe. At this time, the pressure in the sewer pipe has reached its peak. At this moment, there was a sudden breakthrough, and it was out of control. Puff. Various grain reincarnation substances spurted out, covering everyone's heads and faces, especially on the ground. A thick layer accumulated in the blink of an eye. Carol, who was trapped underneath, was even more miserable, and was almost fished out from inside. Don't let me know who did it! Carol gritted his teeth and said. However, now she had no choice but to follow the crowd slowly down. Going all the way down, Carol found that every floor was not very optimistic. Almost all floors were attacked by foul-smelling gas. The upper and lower water pipes on several floors were attacked by small-time bombs. The whole building was in a mess, and all personnel were injured. He looked embarrassed. When she finally reached the gate, Carol realized that things were far worse than she had imagined. Reporters from various major media, small media, and fancy magazines have set up their guns and cannons at the entrance of the building, filming the scenes inside. Several media outlets even deployed broadcast trucks and helicopters to provide real-time coverage. Many self-media and citizens even raised their mobile phones and took pictures of the building. Many of them were brave and even interviewed a few employees who didn't look so embarrassed. The microphones were almost stuck in each other's mouths. Ruined. Seeing this situation, Carol knew that Lehman Group would definitely become a laughing stock within the industry in the next period of time. Moreover, this kind of security loophole will also make many partners reconsider their partners. This was a big blow to them, although it did not cause any casualties on the surface. From a hidden blow, the damage to the Lehman Consortium was much deeper than ordinary killings. This one knife even penetrated directly into the body of Lehman Group, under the desperate escort of several bodyguards to prevent the waiting media from photographing her miserable appearance. Carol took a relatively low-key car and quietly returned to a villa that she rarely visited. After returning to the villa, Carol rushed into the bathroom, washed his body, and scrubbed his body with a brush until his skin was turned red. I don't know if it's a psychological effect, but Carol always feels a foul smell lingering on her body, in order to cover up the smell. She even sprinkled an entire bottle of perfume directly on herself and ignited all the incense stored in the house. When the room was filled with a pungent fragrance, Carol took a deep breath and collapsed on the sofa. Chapter 920 for the 130 million robbery. Damn thing. Don't let me know who did it. I will make you pay the price. Carol thought angrily. After resting for a while, Carol took out his phone and dialed. Send all the investigative forces out. I want to know who did it. I give you 72 hours. If you can't find it, all of them will go to the bottom of the sea to find out. I'll use it as an artificial coral reef. Under the threat of death, the Lehman Group's investigative power showed amazing efficiency. Although the Lehman Group headquarters building was almost soaked in water, there are traces of it wherever you pass by. After careful investigation by a group of people, they found a discarded paraglider on the roof of the building, a rappel rope that had not been stowed away at the edge of the drainage pipe, traces of violent knocking on the safe, and signs on the central air conditioner. There are traces of alteration. The man seemed to be completely disdainful of hiding his whereabouts and showed everything so openly, as if he was not afraid of being investigated at all. Everyone immediately summarized the information and began to search in depth along all the clues. I found the selling company through paragliding, and then found the buyer through the company's surveillance video, and then monitored the whole process. Then, the investigators were shocked to discover that the people who planned this action were Jean Tuohai and Miranda, who had just escaped from the death racing competition. This is not the most irritating thing. The most arrogant thing is that Jean Tuohai also left a cartoon in the safe. In the cartoon, Jean Tuohai slapped his butt and made a provocative gesture towards Carol. Like you are here the way you chase me. Seeing this, many investigators looked at me. And I looked at you. And finally destroyed the cartoon. If Carol saw this, with Carol's temper, all of them would be thrown into the sea to feed the fish. However, except for this provocative cartoon, the remaining evidence and search results were reported by them. Seeing the results provided by the investigators, Carol's face almost turned green with anger. She never expected that the person who turned Lehman Group headquarters upside down would be the fugitive whom she had always despised from the bottom of her heart. How could he do this? Are all the security guards in the headquarters useless? He actually allowed a fugitive to do so many tricks in the headquarters building and still managed to escape? What a bunch of losers. They should all be thrown into the sea and used as artificial reefs. 
Carol angrily smashed the report in his hand on the coffee table. At this time, the financial staff walked in timidly. Seeing Carol's appearance, he hesitated and wanted to go out. If you fart, let it go. Carol yelled angrily. Miss, last night, as much as 130 million knives in cash were transferred from the company's account. What? Carol almost fainted when he heard this. Although Lehman Group is rich and has a market value of hundreds of billions, it is not a cash cow like the internet. It has huge cash reserves. Most of the group's assets are in various industries. Real estate, mines, oil wells, plantations, ocean-going fleets, railways, and some media and arms are also involved. The cash flow is large, but the live money is limited. Although the loss of $100 million cannot damage the Lehman Group, it is still very uncomfortable. Are all the financial departments stupid? Also, how is the bank regulated? How could such a large amount of money be transferred out? Is there no phone verification? Carol was going crazy. We are VIPs at the bank and have a special channel for fast transfers of large amounts. Moreover, the incident happened late at night and we could not be contacted. In addition, there have been several similar incidents before, but nothing happened. The bank just it was handled as usual until there were too many consecutive transfers, which made the operator over there feel something was wrong and suspended the transfer. So no greater losses were caused. The financial assistant said cautiously, Trash, where's the money? Have you recovered it? Carol's face became ugly. Although she knew that in this case, there was little hope of getting her back. She still had a little fantasy just in case. The financial assistant shook his head. I'm sorry, Miss Carol. The other party is a master. He transferred the account to a foreign bank before. After the transfer, it was transferred in batches. After several transfers, split and reorganization. The specific whereabouts can no longer be traced. Only some of them were traced. And they also entered some underground banks. Upon hearing this, Carol knew that it was impossible to get the money back through normal means from the internet. After entering an underground bank, you lose 10% or 20%. And when you come out, it becomes a legal asset obtained from gambling. After you pay a tax, it becomes reasonable and legal. Even in the sky, it is still someone's legal income not coming back. No, I still have a chance. Carol's mind raced, thinking of that annoying smiling face. Different from normal internet fraud, she knows who her opponent is. As long as she catches the opponent, she has a thousand ways to make the opponent spit out the money obediently. Pass my order to find Zhang Tuahai at all costs, and then capture him for me. I will make him spit out all his money, Carol said angrily. Yes, the financial assistant left in a hurry. Go and sink all the financial personnel involved in this incident into the chicken taco bay. The Lehman Group does not need waste. It will also give those arresting officers a little more motivation. Carol said in a cold tone. Understood. The assistant quickly conveyed the order. Zhang to a high dash. Carol was wrapped in a bath towel and said the name through gritted teeth. Ah sneeze. Zhang to a high sneezed involuntarily. Who is thinking about me? Zhang to a high took out a piece of paper and wiped his nose. Did you catch a cold last night? Miranda turned around and asked. How is it possible? John Tuohai shook his head. His current body has been infused with quantum crystals. And his broken limbs can be regenerated. Let alone viruses. Unless there is a targeted virus. He will basically not get sick. At this time. He was sitting at RV and looking at the map. Last night. After acquiring the money from Lehman headquarters. He followed Miranda to start the business. He knew very well that when his arrangement was discovered tomorrow morning, the entire French fries market would turn into a huge honeycomb. If he stayed there, he would be stung all over. So he left early in order to get rid of the tracking or to add a little trouble to the tracking. They did not escape in a straight line, but kept changing roads. Moreover, every time they changed directions, they would abandon the previous car and change to a new one. After dozens of changes, after the car, it would take a lot of effort for the people from Lehman Company to catch up with him. Chapter 925 The Robber Robbed the Robber Where do we go next? Miranda asked as she drove the car. You can't keep wandering around like this. Right? I haven't slept all night. Miranda said. Taking a sip of strong coffee. There is a trailer camp halfway up the mountain ahead. Let's go there to rest and replenish some supplies. Zhang Tuohai looked at the drawings and said. Really? That would be great. Miranda cheered up and drove forward with all her strength. Then she realized that she had underestimated Zhang Tuohai's shamelessness. 
Where's the trailer park? Hurry. Hurry. Why haven't you arrived yet? Right away. Right away. Where is it? Just a little further forward. That's what you said an hour ago. Oh. It'll be here soon. Damn liar. When Miranda finally drove to the trailer park. It was already noon. Is this what you said we'll be arriving soon? Miranda stared at Zhang Tuohai with an unkind expression. Isn't this very fast? It's only a few hundred kilometers. You're driving too slowly. Zhang Tuohai looked innocent. For the plane? It will only take an hour or two. That's a plane. This is an army. Miranda was too lazy to argue with Zhang Tuohai. She was already too sleepy and fell asleep directly on the bed. Looking at Miranda, who was sleeping soundly, Zhang Tuohai raised the corners of his mouth slightly, stretched out his evil hand, and drew a little turtle on Miranda's face. The craftsmanship is superb again. After taking a photo with his newly purchased anonymous mobile phone and phone card, Zhang Tuohai got out of the car to replenish supplies. This place is hundreds of kilometers away from French Fries City and Chicken Leg Burger City. It is located in a remote place, and the signal is not very good. In addition, Zhang Tuohai specially disguised himself. The salesperson did not recognize that the person who had just bought some supplies turned out to be a famous person recently. Zhang Tuohai missed the great opportunity to receive the reward and become rich. Zhang Tuohai wandered around the camp and was about to return to the car to take a shower and use the simple kitchen in the car to make lunch. From a distance, a dilapidated second-hand car rushed in from the outside. It was speeding all the way and braked. Unable to make it, he hit a big tree. Boom! The big trees were actually broken and fell to the side crookedly. The dilapidated car finally stalled. Two people stumbled out of the car. Just when Zhang Tuohai was thinking about whether to go up and help, the two people also discovered Zhang Tuohai. Immediately afterwards, a third person also rolled out of the car, along with his figure. There are a lot of green swords. Bundles were scattered on the ground. Protruding. Seeing the scene, Tuo stretched his legs and ran to the car. When the three men saw this, they pulled out their pistols from their waists and shot Zhang Tuohai. Bang, bang, bang. More than a dozen bullets passed by Zhang Tuohai leaving bullet holes all around him. However, Zhang Tuohai himself was unscathed. Zhang Tuohai got into the RV and secretly cursed the bad luck. He just wanted to find a trailer camp to rest for a while. But he didn't expect to run into a group of bank robbers. Bang bang bang. Several bullets penetrated the car body and landed next to Zhang Tuohai. It's endless. Right. Zhang Tuohai originally thought that it would be okay to go to separate sides of the road. Keeping these people would help him share part of the police force. However, these people kept shooting at him and even started to change their magazines. This was unbearable. Bang, bang, bang. Zhang Tuohai pulled the trigger on the three people. And the bullet accurately hit the wrists of several people, knocking the guns out of their hands. Then, he drove straight and hit several people. When the three robbers saw it, their faces turned pale and they rolled into the nearby drainage ditch. Zhang Tuohai's RV sped past. Just as they were waiting for Zhang Tuohai to drive away, the huge RV suddenly stopped next to their second-hand car. Then, Zhang Tuohai jumped out of the RV, moved all the bags of banknotes they had finally snatched back into his car, and then stepped on the accelerator and drove away, leaving only the money on the ground. A little change. Are we being robbed? The robbers looked at each other, feeling a sense of absurdity rising in their hearts. They were robbers who robbed banks. But today, they were robbed by others. Does this still make sense? Can you respect their profession? Boss, why don't we call the police? A younger robber said. Why did you call the police? That we were robbed? The older robber hit the young robber on the head violently. You don't think we are embarrassed enough? Do you? What should we do? We can't just watch our money being robbed. Right. The young robber felt a little aggrieved. What should we do? Chase. The older robber said angrily. This is the money we worked so hard to rob. We must not let anyone steal our fruits. We must get the money back to me. The robbers got back into the dilapidated second-hand car, reversed out of the camp, and chased John Tuohai. Are these people sick? As for that? John Tuohai looked at the trio chasing after him and shook his head helplessly. He took away these people's money simply because he wanted to teach these people a lesson. But he didn't expect these people to pursue them. It's really troublesome. John Tuohai picked the smallest bag of money from the car and threw it out the window. Boss, he threw away the money, said the younger robber. He gave in and continued to chase. As long as we keep putting pressure on them, our money will be back. The older robber's eyes flashed. 
just when they stopped on the side of the road to pick up the bag of banknotes. The bag of banknotes suddenly leaked, and a lot of beautiful knives fell out from it, floating everywhere. Waste! The older robber saw this, and got out of the car to help. As luck would have it, a police car drove up from behind. Can I help you, sir? A state trooper rolled down his car window and asked. Then he saw the scattered bags of money, the bag with the bank logo, and the hoods that several people wore on their faces. Put your hands up! The two state troopers immediately raised their guns and pointed them at the robbers. Finally solved. Zhang Tuohai drove forward for a while and breathed a sigh of relief when he saw that no one was catching up. He actually had quicker methods to deal with those robbers, such as shooting them directly. However, if he kills people openly, he will be more dangerous, and the power of pursuit will be stronger and more lethal. This is why he works hard not to kill people. Of course, he would not be lenient if necessary. At this moment, Miranda was finally woken up, and she walked into the bathroom in a daze, trying to wake up. Then, there was screaming in the bathroom. Chapter 926 Enemies Never Get Together What on earth did you do while I was sleeping? At the rest stop, Miranda glared at Zhang to a high. At this time, her face was a little red from wiping it too hard. However, it was mostly obscured by the sun hat and magic mirror. So you really couldn't see anything unless you looked carefully. Isn't it just a little graffiti? Don't you have any childhood hobbies? Zhang Tuohai spread his hands and said, I will draw the entire episode of Tadpole looking for mom on your face while you are sleeping. Miranda said through gritted teeth. Really? We'll see. Zhang Tuohai took a sip of Shuang coffee and said with a smile. Okay. Let's not talk about that. What should we do next? Drive through the border? I have an uncle over there. Maybe we can go there. He has a corn farm in the countryside. We can hide there for a while. Let's wait until the storm has passed. Miranda whispered. It's definitely not possible to drive there. The place where we had the accident is close to the border. I'm sure that Lehman Group must have set up a strict blockade there to intercept us. Now we have just surrendered ourselves. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and shook his head to deny the decision. What should we do? Miranda asked. We can sit in that one. Zhang Tuohai pointed towards the river bend in the distance. From a distance, a cruise ship slowly drove over. This? Miranda was puzzled. I checked and found out that this cruise ship departs from an inland port and sails all the way to Chicken Taco Bay. It goes around dozens of islands there and then returns to the inland. Because the route is more suitable for young people and there are many newlyweds. It's above. And the ship's course is at sea. So the inspection intensity will be very low. If we get on the ship, we will most likely be able to avoid the search. John Tuai said. However, you need an ID to buy tickets. We are wanted now. Can we buy tickets? Miranda felt a little moved. It was much more comfortable to take a cruise than to take a car. Driving for half a day almost exhausted her to death. If possible, she would very much like to change her running mode. Don't worry. This is the border. There's not much else. There are just a lot of people making documents. I've contacted a few of them. And the documents will arrive in a while. Zhang Tuohai looked like he was sure of victory. After more than an hour, Zhang Tuohai received several sets of ID cards one after another, from various professions, and one set was for the president of the federation. Miranda was speechless for a while. When Miranda saw her ID, her expression became very subtle. What kind of careers have you arranged for me? Is there any problem? Zhang Tuohai probed. Stewardess. Oh well. Teacher. JK. Prosecutor. Nurse. Maid. I always feel it's very subtle. Miranda rolled her eyes at Zhang Tuohai. They all seem to be in uniform. It's just a coincidence. I just think these professions are more suitable for you. Zhang Tuohai turned away and whistled, pretending to be nonchalant. Half an hour later, the Princess Glory cruise ship docked at the port. A group of young couples disembarked to take photos. And several young people went into a bar in the city to have a drink. Two young people carrying large suitcases boarded the ship and entered the top suite under the enthusiastic guidance of the waiter. After receiving a generous tip, the waiter left respectfully. This is what the top suites on a cruise ship look like. Miranda walked around the suite before throwing herself onto the large bed. The soft and elastic bed knocked her up, and then sank her deeply into the softness. It's so comfortable. I wish I could live like this forever. Miranda stretched comfortably. It's easy. You can buy a bed and put it in your home. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Go to hell. Miranda threw a pillow at Zhang Tuohai. The pillow was tilted seven or eight meters and fell softly to the ground. 
Zhang Tuohai poured a glass of wine by himself and came to the window. He seemed to be drinking and looking at the scenery. But in fact, he was observing the surrounding environment. The privacy of the top suite is very good. It is on the top floor of the cruise ship. Near the stern. It has a wide view. Good ventilation and lighting. And there is no strong wind during the sideline. The terrace is also very large. And it will not be crowded if you put a bed here. The only regret is that it is very close to the terrace of the suite next door. You can jump over it with one jump. There is no way. The design on the ship is like this. It cannot be as perfect as a villa. Other than being careful about the next door. There's not much else left. Zhang Tuohai closed the gauze curtain. Which added a lot of obstacles. What's for dinner? Zhang Tuohai asked. I want to eat big lobster. King crab. Paya. And fruit pizza. Miranda folded her fingers and counted what she wanted to eat. I'll have to ask if there's a pasta cook on board. Otherwise you might get beaten. Zhang Tuohai said. Why? Miranda was puzzled. Anyway. Don't order fruit pizza at an Italian restaurant. You'll be hunted. Zhang Tuohai called the service desk and ordered a seafood dinner. Anyway, I have a lot of money in hand. And there are hundreds of millions of funds lying in the bearer account. So I don't need to use them in vain. Looking at the sumptuous seafood dinner, Miranda's eyes widened. Forgetting fatigue and hard work, I jumped up from the bed, sat at the table, and started eating in a hurry. Looking at Miranda's eating image, Zhang Tuohai's appetite increased a lot and he ate half an extra king crab. Just as the two were enjoying their meal, suddenly there was a loud noise outside. What happens? Miranda cast a questioning look with wide eyes and a muscle in her mouth. I gotta go see. John Tuohai wiped his hands, put on a full set of clothes, and left the guest room, taking a gun with him before leaving. After a while, John Tuohai came back with a gloomy face. What happened? Miranda asked, clutching her lobster claws. I was careless and met Carol, Zhang Tuohai said with an unlucky look. What? Miranda's face was stunned, and the sound of lobster claws falling onto the plate was heard in the room. Is she here to catch us? If she comes to catch us, can you still eat lobster here? Zhang Tuohai said angrily. She was just too depressed. She came here for a vacation and relax. It was said that her cruise ship was undergoing maintenance, so she could only take this cruise ship. The sound just now was the sound of a helicopter taking off and landing. This, hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Miranda didn't know what to say. She chose to take the cruise ship just to avoid Carol. But in the end, they bumped into each other again. What does this say? Could it be that this is the legendary bad fate? By the way, her cabin is right next to ours. Zhang Tuohai continued to hit the ground next to him. Chapter 927 Exploding the Ship Next door to us? Miranda's voice suddenly rose an octave. Keep your voice down. The soundproofing on the ship isn't as good as in a hotel. Zhang Tuohai made a booing gesture. Then we're not throwing ourselves into a trap? What if she comes to catch us? How about we run away? Miranda lowered her head, lowered her voice, and looked around worriedly, fearing that seven or eight black-clad bodyguards would suddenly emerge from any corner and let her experience the feeling of being covered in men. Why are you running? Zhang Tuohai glanced at Miranda. Everyone is playing on the boat. Only running at this time will attract attention. So you must not run. But she is right next to us. What if she finds us? Miranda asked worriedly. Don't worry. She is not an omniscient and omnipotent god. Otherwise, she would have captured us long ago. What we have to do now is to stay here quietly and try not to go out to avoid running into her. John Tuai said. Then what? Then it's just a matter of waiting for the ship to arrive on the high seas. Once it reaches the high seas, there are more choices. Whether it's to get off the ship and transfer to another ship. Stay locally. Or jump into the sea to escape when it's close to the coast. Zhang Tuohai said. It seems to make sense. Hearing Zhang Tuohai's analysis, Miranda's nervous heart relaxed. And the hand holding the lobster claws stopped shaking. Then let's go on and eat. Don't think about anything. Even if you run away, you have to eat until you are full. Zhang Tuohai dealt with the grouper in front of him nonchalantly. In a hurry, the two of them had eaten most of the whole table of seafood, and the remaining seafood shells were piled up like a hill. After eating, Miranda went to take a bath, while Zhang Tuohai ordered a pot of tea, sat in a rocking chair, and lay on the terrace to bask in the sun, covering his face with a straw hat. When Miranda saw Zhang Tuohai lying on the terrace like this, she was frightened. She asked in a trembling voice, You don't want your life. So you are lying on the terrace like this? 
if I close the doors and windows every day and dare not walk on the road. It will arouse suspicion. That is not the behavior that should be done on vacation at all. John Tuohai patted her shoulder. Don't worry. Just do what you should do on vacation. As long as you don't get caught, it's okay for them to see the face. After Jean Tuohai finished speaking, he twisted his body and changed into a more comfortable position. After hearing Jean Tuohai's words, Miranda thought about it and thought it made sense. But she was still a little angry. So she turned back to the big bed in the room to rest. After a while, the sound of snoring came from Zong Tuohai's straw hat. After a long time, the bodyguard who had been observing behind the curtains on the terrace on the opposite side stepped back and said to Carol, Miss Carol, it has been confirmed. There are two ordinary people in the room on the left. They look like a newlywed couple. There was no threat. But the people in the room on the right never came out. And the doors and windows were kept tightly closed. I asked the waiter. And the guests in that room have been like this since they boarded the ship. They don't go out at all. Except for delivering meals. Outsiders are never allowed in. I suspect something is wrong. Then focus on monitoring. Carol said as she lit the incense. Ever since what happened yesterday morning. Carol has always felt that there is a weird smell on her body. Now she doesn't spray strong perfume or light incense. She always feels that there is a weird smell spreading. Clear. The bodyguard focused his surveillance on the room on the right. At the same time, in the room on the right, the doors and windows were closed, and several people in white robes sat around a square table. There was a white candle in front of each person, looking nervous. Boss, do we really want to blow up this ship? There are thousands of people here. A young voice couldn't bear it. Pedantry. They are just lambs raised by God on the earth. We are sending them back to the embrace of God. Another voice retorted. This is a plan we have made a long time ago. What? Do you regret it? Another voice asked. I, I didn't. The voice was timid. Misha, remember, this is the best opportunity to show your faith to the Lord. Don't let irrelevant things taint your faith. The old man advised. I, I understand. The woman named Misha responded in a low voice. Okay, let's take turns on duty and rest. Follow the plan. And when we reach the high seas, we will hold a sacrificial ceremony. The old man said calmly. Yes. Several people around responded. Misha, go take a bath. I will bring you close to the glory of the Lord later. The old man said. Misha was shocked when she heard this. And several people around her showed envious looks. Yes, I understand. Misha nodded stood up and walked away. Misha, you're going in the wrong direction. That's not the direction of the bathroom. Someone saw that Misha was going in the wrong direction and quickly reminded her. However, Misha didn't even look back and kept walking outside. Misha, come back quickly. The old man noticed something was wrong. Hearing this, Misha's feet speeded up. Chase! The old man slammed the table. The two strong men stood up and chased Misha. However, at this time Misha had already arrived at the door unlocked the door and ran out, shouting as she ran. Come on! Someone is going to blow up the ship! Hearing Misha's cry, the old man's face suddenly turned livid. Damn guy! He cursed under his breath. When the two strong men heard this, they also speeded up. Before Misha could take two steps, a door next to her opened, and a bodyguard walked out of the door, bumping into Misha, who was panicking. Who are you? The bodyguard asked nervously. Sorry! She has a mental problem. We will take her away now. At this time, the two strong men also caught up, threw Misha to the ground, and dragged her back. Let me go. They are going to explode. Woo-woo. Before Misha could finish her words, two strong men covered her mouth and dragged her back desperately. Stop them. Carol's voice came from inside the room. Yes. The bodyguard hurriedly moved to intercept. Two strong men hurriedly separated. One of them blocked the bodyguard and the other pulled Misha back. Hack them all! Carol waved her hand, and the two bodyguards, who had been standing behind her rushed out and directly controlled Misha and the strong man. What do you mean you want to blow up the ship? Carol walked up to Misha and asked. They are members of the Illuminati. They installed explosives in the cabin and prepared to detonate the explosives in high seas to sacrifice to God. Misha said loudly. I know where they put the explosives. If you don't believe it, I can take you to see it. What? Carol's face suddenly changed color when he heard this. Blowing up a ship was no small matter. And even she didn't dare to believe it. Just when she was about to send someone to follow Misha to check the situation, a gloomy light flashed in the old man's eyes. Humph! 
No one can stop the sacrifice to the great god. As he spoke, he pressed the detonator in his hand. Boom! With a loud noise, a large hole was blown out of the side string of the ship. Rolling river water poured into the cabin, and the huge hull began to tilt. Chapter 928 caught a big fish. The sudden rocking of the ship caused Miranda to fall off the bed. What happened? Miranda asked in panic. Those people rushed in? A few lunatics have blown up the ship. The ship is capsizing. Pack your things quickly and prepare to run away. John Tuohai said angrily. He had just gained a moment of peace when he was disturbed by a few madmen. If he caught those madmen, he would definitely hang them from the mast of the ship. But now, he could only escape for his life first. He put a lot of money into a waterproof bag and carried it with him. He also collected a fruit knife, a high-quality windproof lighter, and some small items from the room. Of course, the most important thing is the pile of newly issued identity documents. How's it going? Zhang Tuohai finished packing his things and looked at Miranda. At this time, Miranda had changed into a set of clothing that facilitated movement. Let's go into the water. If we wait a little longer, it will be too late. Zhang Tuohai jumped into the water with Miranda. At this time, the ship was tilting more than 45 degrees. Quick! Swim to the shore. If the boat takes a picture, we will all die. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the tilting ship and called Miranda to swim towards the shore. Just as he was about to swim forward, Zhang Tuohai suddenly felt as if someone had grabbed his ankle. He looked into the water and saw what seemed to be a woman grabbing his ankle. The woman didn't seem to know how to swim. She was kicking her limbs around and grabbing everything she could grab around. Seeing that the other party was a poor person who had fallen into the water, Zhang Tuohai grabbed her clothes and pulled her out of the water. At the same time, he dragged her to swim towards the shore. Anyway, with his current strength, it is easy to carry a person. Zhang Tuohai and Miranda swam to the shore one after the other. Ha ha, we finally came up! This river is really wide. Miranda was already out of breath from exhaustion when she swam to the shore. She turned back to Zhang Tuohai and was about to ask something. But when she saw the woman in Zhang Tuohai's hand, she was stunned. You, you, how did you bring her up? After entering the water just now, this guy kept grabbing my feet. I thought I could save one by one. So I just pulled her up. Damn it! When Zhang Tuohai saw the woman's face clearly, he was stunned. The person in front of me is none other than Carol. Zhang Tuohai was also shocked. He never expected that the person he rescued was actually Carol, who had been leading people to hunt him. If he had known that it was her who was holding her ankle, what he did instead of pulling her up was to kick her. How did you say this grudge? Miranda looked at Carol lying on the ground with a natural fear, and instinctively wanted to run away. Etc. Zhang Tuohai grabbed Miranda. Don't run away in a hurry. Take her with you. What? Do you still want to take her with you? Do you want to attract the pursuers to chase her? Miranda asked in horror. Don't worry. Let's figure it out slowly. Who was chasing us earlier? Zhang Tuohai asked. Of course it's her. Miranda pointed to Carol on the ground. If we take her with us, will there be no one to lead the team? And then will the pursuers no longer exist? Zhang Tuohai asked. Miranda was stunned. She thought about it and found that what Zhang Tuohai said seemed to make sense. As long as the leader is no longer there, the pursuers will no longer exist. Moreover, the main force of the pursuers will be mobilized to find Carol. Even the forces on the border will be mobilized, so that the intensity of the searches they face will be greatly reduced, which is very beneficial for their escape. Then, find a place to hide her? Miranda asked. Where do you think we can hide her after she wakes up? Zhang Tuohai asked. Here, how about tying her up more firmly? Miranda asked tentatively. My idea is to just bring her with me, Zhang Tuohai said. Why are you taking her with you? Miranda was puzzled. If someone discovers us, we will be in trouble and attract a large number of pursuers. Although it may bring certain risks if we take her with us, it is also a talisman for us. As long as she is by our side, the pursuers will not dare to use weapons of mass destruction. As long as she is with us, those pursuers will not dare to use weapons of mass destruction. Bing does not dare to go too far and can only follow. In some circumstances, we can even ask for some benefits from Lehman Group on the premise of her life safety. Zhang Tuohai is good at teaching. It seems like this guy is quite useful. Miranda nodded thoughtfully. Okay, that's it. Let's take this guy with us. The initial goal is to bring him to the border. We'll talk about the rest later. Zhang Tuohai made a decision with a wave of his hand. How do we go? Find a car rental agency and rent a car. 
You don't want to go to the border. Do you? Get this guy aside first. Someone will come up soon. It's hard to tell. As the two men spoke, they carried Carol into the nearby woods. Zhang Tuohai searched it to make sure there were no weapons hidden on Carol's body. Not long after that, Carol woke up. Hey, you're awake, Miss Captive. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. It's you? Carol's eyes widened when she saw Zhang Tuohai in front of her. This face was so familiar to her. There were pictures of him posted everywhere in the command room. She never expected that the two of them were actually in the same room. We met in such a situation. Come here. Carol shouted. Stop shouting. There is no one else around. Even if you scream, no one will come to save you. John Tuohai said nonchalantly. The place where they landed was very remote and covered by a lot of trees. So no one could find them in a short time. Carol's expression changed. And his hands moved toward his waist. Are you looking for this? John Tuohai had a women's pistol in his hand. Stop looking. I searched your body. I even found this dagger and the locator in the heel. Do you think I will leave you any self-defense weapons? Zhang Tuohai had a lot of things in his hands. Looking at the pile of extra bits and pieces in Zhang Tuohai's hand, Carol looked a little sulky. She had all these things hidden in various secret places on her body. Even her personal secretary didn't know many of them. Unexpectedly, Zhang Tuohai found them all, which made her a little embarrassed. By the way, in addition to these sundries, I also wrapped a plastic bomb around your body. If you don't obey, as long as I press the button, with a bang, you will be gone. So, don't think about those unpleasant things. Realistic ideas. Got it? Zhang Tuohai had an extra remote control in his hand. Chapter 929 Amulet After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Carol's expression changed. And at the same time, she also felt something strange in her body. She touched her body. And sure enough, she found two small plastic bombs around her waist, which were wrapped around her body with tape although the plastic bomb was small in size. It was very powerful. These two small pieces were enough to blow her whole body into pieces. And she had to use a spoon to collect the body. What on earth do you want to do? Carol asked with an ugly expression. I don't want to do anything. I just want to ask Miss Carol to escort us. As long as we leave here safely, we will let Miss Carol go. John Tuohai said with a smile. What if I don't agree? Carol asked with a bad look. Then don't blame me for using some means to convince the lady. I don't think you want to know. Right. Zhang Tuohai continued to look at Carol with a smile. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's malicious smile, Carol knew that he had no choice and snorted in agreement. It seems that Miss Carol has agreed. Then we are in the same boat now. Let's go to the car rental agency. Zhang Tuohai said and took the lead to walk out of the woods. Miranda also stood up and stood in front of Carol, looking down at her. Carol stood up reluctantly and walked out. Fortunately, there happened to be a small town near where they landed. Zhang Tuohai bought a few sets of clean clothes, a second-hand Ford Raptor at a premium, and bought two family mart buckets and a few bottles at a fast food restaurant. Coke can be regarded as a supply on the road. Anyway, there are many gas stations along the way, so there is no need to worry about supply problems. The group of people just got on the road. Carol sat in the back seat and looked out of the car with an ugly expression. Seeing Carol's look, Zhang Tuohai directly turned on the car radio and played country music. The vicissitudes of song really matched the pasture scenery outside the window. Coupled with the endless highway, Zhang Tuohai felt as if he was galloping on the vast western plains. He was happy here. But Carol's bodyguards were going crazy. After they climbed out of the water one by one, they were shocked to find that Carol was missing. This frightened them. It was a major mistake to lose their employer although their salary is twice as high as that of people in the same industry. If there's a problem with the task, they will face heavier responsibilities. If Carol makes a mistake, they will all to be buried with him. Don't worry. The locator on the eldest lady can still transmit signals. We will search according to the direction, and we will definitely find it. The leading bodyguard said. Everyone followed the signal from the locator, and found a lot of gadgets discarded by Shang Tuohai in the woods. Seeing the things scattered on the ground, the bodyguards became even more numb. You must know that Carol has more than one locator. They don't know where many of them are. But those locators are all placed here. This shows that Carol must have been kidnapped. And he is also a very professional robber. And may even be a mercenary with a knife tip that licks blood. In this short period of time, he was able to kidnap Carol from under their noses and disable the electronic device on Carol's body. He was very skilled at first glance and even conducted many simulation exercises. Otherwise, 
It would be impossible to do it. Things were beyond their control. And they immediately passed the news to Lehman Group headquarters. The president of the Lehman Group was injured in his early years. And he had only one heir. Carol, who was completely trained according to the successor model. If she disappears, it will definitely be a major blow to the entire Lehman Group. It is an unacceptable loss. Sure enough, after receiving the news, Mr. Lehman, the head of the Lehman Group, was furious and directly sent dozens of experts from various professions to form an investigation team to go to the site of the incident to check the situation. Soon, the expert team arrived. After preliminary investigation and obtaining pre-incident information from the bodyguards, everyone unanimously determined that this so-called ship bombing must be part of the opponent's plan. The goal was to break up Carol and the bodyguard team and create a defensive gap to achieve kidnapping plan. Following this line of thinking, the cult group became their clue. Then, the cult's bad luck. The professional team is a professional team. They immediately obtained the ship's ticket purchase information from the industry company and then found these people under the identification of the bodyguards. The next step is easy. On the one hand, we need to find these people among the survivors. And on the other hand, we can find out their group members based on their social relationships. They believe that if they dig along this line, they will be able to find the organization that kidnapped Carol. Then, the extremist cult's unlucky fate began. He was directly uprooted by the crazy Lehman Group. Those caught will be imprisoned in private prisons run by the Lehman Group. Regardless of anything else, they will first undergo a large-scale memory recovery technique to ensure that the prisoner will remember all the things he did when he was a child and peeked at his neighbor's bath. When they put the information together, they discovered a problem. That is, the ship bombing activity they organized this time seemed to have nothing to do with Carol. After all, they had been preparing this plan for two or three years. If the kidnapping organization really wanted to do it, it would not have predicted in advance that Carol would come to the cruise ship two or three years later. This is a sudden and accidental event and cannot be predicted. However, the question turns back to who is the organization that kidnapped Carol. While Lehman Group used various channels to inquire within the industry, it also exerted its energy to seal and control all checkpoints, airports and ferries within a radius of 200 kilometers from the incident site. Manpower was deployed in all places, trying to contain the card within this range. Lord turned it out. There's a checkpoint ahead. It doesn't seem right. Miranda glanced ahead and found a checkpoint at the intersection. There were seven or eight state police with live ammunition setting up checkpoints to inspect vehicles. It must be the handiwork of Lehman Group. The response speed is not slow. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile and glanced at Carol. Carol looked out the window expressionlessly, but a trace of nervousness and uneasiness could be seen from the corners of his eyes. Let's find another way, Miranda said anxiously. What to change? We are leaving in a hurry and have a lot of supplies that we haven't prepared yet. We just asked them to help replenish them. Is there anything you want? Zhang Tuohai asked. Ask them for something? Miranda couldn't keep up with Zhang Tuohai's thoughts. Is it difficult to understand? Come on, and let me demonstrate it to you. Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator and rushed towards the checkpoint. Chapter 930, Indentured Workers Who Bring Their Own Dry Food Stop! Get inspected! The state police signaled Zhang Tuohai to stop. Zhang Tuohai obediently stopped the car on the side of the road and lowered the window. Seeing Zhang Tuohai, a state police officer, he felt very familiar. But he was a little unsure and quickly picked up the recorder and started to check. Stop checking! I am the contestant who escaped from the death racing race that Carol is looking for. By the way, the person sitting behind the car is Miss Carol. According to her, you don't need to check anymore. Right. Zhang Tuohai lowered the rear window as he spoke. The state policeman was stunned when he heard Zhang Tuohai's words. But Carol in the back seat of the car couldn't lie. Could it be that God favored me and gave me a chance to climb up? The state policeman was overjoyed. And then he pulled out the pistol from his waist and pointed it at Zhang Tuohai. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Quickly. Let me see you hand. Otherwise I will shoot. Miss Carol. Don't worry. I will rescue you right away. The shouts of the state police alerted several other state police. The Lehman Group's order to block and search had just been conveyed. They had also just seen Carol's photo. So naturally they would not admit their mistake. They originally thought that this time would be the same as before just to cooperate with the work and get another overtime allowance. Unexpectedly, it was pie in the sky, and they encountered great good luck. If they can rescue Miss Carol, they can rise to the top and be directly transferred to a wealthy community to become police chiefs. Therefore, 
these people took out their guns and surrounded Zhang Tuohai's ford from all sides. Are you sure? Zhang Tuohai shook the detonator in his hand. If you shoot, your Miss Carol will ascend to heaven together. Are you sure that if Carol dies, you people can still survive? Survive? It's you who should put down your guns. Carol, do you want to say a few words? Zhang Tuohai turned around and said to Carol, who was sitting in the back seat of the car, looking at the state trooper outside the car. Carol almost went crazy. What she was angry about was that these state police were so stupid and put her in such a dangerous situation. If they provoked Zhang Tuohai and made him press the detonation button, she would be turned into meat. She stared at the stupid state trooper bitterly, then cleared her voice and said impatiently, I am Carol from the Lehman Group. Now I order you to raise the roadblock and let us pass. The state trooper thought he heard wrongly. Miss Carol, don't worry. We will rescue you right away. And you will be safe soon. As long as you idiots stay away from me. I will be safe. Carol roared crazily in his heart. I don't want to talk nonsense a second time. Get out of here immediately. Otherwise, you will face the wrath of Lehman Group. Carol roared. The state policeman couldn't believe his ears and stood there dumbly, not knowing what to do. Here you go. This one will be more convincing. Zhang Tuohai said and threw a Glock on Carol. Carol gritted his teeth as he looked at the Glock between his legs, picked it up, and pointed it at the state trooper. I order you to get out of the way, or I will shoot. Seeing Carol turn his gun on him, the state trooper nearly activated his instinct and emptied the magazine. But when he faced the sole heir to the Lehman Group, he immediately became intimidated. If he dared to empty the magazine, he would be shot eight times in the back and kill himself tomorrow. Facing Carol's gun, the state trooper, although very reluctant, stepped aside helplessly, put down the pistol in his hand, and moved the roadblock at the same time. By the way, help inform the Lehman Foundation. I need to see three tomahawk steaks, a bottle of Latour red wine, plus a baked snail and three ice creams at the next checkpoint. Thank you. After saying that, John Tuohai stepped on the accelerator, and the Ford slowly passed Luca and drove away. Zhang Tuohai's words made the state policeman almost vomit blood. It was fine to see his great achievements slip away before his eyes, but he still treated them as a free-sounding board. Did he really treat them as free phone bills? However, the state police dare not fail to convey the message. Otherwise, if something goes wrong, they will be the first to take the blame. The helpless state police reported the information. Then, the situation was quickly communicated to the expert team. The expert team studied for a long time, and still couldn't figure out what Zhang Tuohai wanted to do. However, they did not dare to disobey Zhang Tuohai's request. Otherwise, who knows what he would do? Miss Carol had absolutely no room for error. Anything less or more than that was unacceptable. Soon, tomahawk steak, red wine and baked escargots prepared by a Michelin restaurant were flown by helicopter to the checkpoint. In order to ensure Zhang Tuohai's satisfaction, he even brought an ice cream machine to make ice cream on site. When the helicopter arrived, Zhang Tuohai's car had just arrived. Looking at the things that were brought up, Zhang Tuohai was very satisfied and asked Miranda to bring everything up. You dare to eat what they prepared? Miranda watched in shock as Zhang Tuohai actually picked up a knife and fork to cut the steak. What are you afraid of? It's me who divides the steak. They don't dare to use highly poisonous drugs. At most, they will use some powerful anesthetics. However, if it is anesthesia or psychedelic drugs, my drug resistance is relatively strong, and it will take effect from now on. There will be a few seconds to 10 seconds of forward shaking before the attack occurs. This time is enough for me to press the detonation button several times. So don't worry. They won't dare. Zhang Tuohai said loudly without hesitation. All this was heard clearly by the bug stuck inside the dinner plate. Those experts were also shocked and broke out in a cold sweat. Fortunately, time was tight. They only completed Zhang Tuohai's request and did not do any unnecessary actions. Otherwise, Miss Carol might be dead by now. That way, they're doomed too. Continue to secretly monitor and collect all information about this person. Do not do anything to irritate him until there is a 100% success rate, said the leader of the expert team. After eating and drinking, John Tuohai ate an ice cream, stretched, opened the car door, and said to Carol, It's your turn to drive. You actually let me drive? Carol's nose was so angry that it became crooked. They kidnapped her, used her to pass checkpoints, used her to get supplies, and even let her drive. She felt that she was not kidnapped at all, but was here to work as a bonded worker. 
It wouldn't be so miserable if she didn't have to work as a bonded worker. She was a bonded worker who brought her own food. However, when she looked at Zhang Tuohai, she felt that he was not joking. This feels like a dead dog. Carol reluctantly walked into the driver's seat and angrily stepped on the accelerator. Chapter 931 The First Hot Pot Meal in the Morning Carol drove forward and drove the car very fast out of anger, surpassing every patrolman on the roadside. Under normal circumstances, the patrol officer on the roadside would have caught up and issued a ticket. But today, they all received a notice from the Lehman Foundation and were not allowed to interfere with any of Zhang Tuohai's actions. They were afraid that any action would irritate Zhang Tuohai and thus endanger Carol's life. Because, along the way, Carol ran through countless red lights. But no one dared to stop him. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to care. He knew that Carol was letting out anger and would become quiet when all his strength was gone. He half reclined in his seat and closed his eyes to relax. Not long after, he heard a faint snoring sound. Zhang Tuohai dared to sleep. But Miranda next to him didn't dare to sleep. She was afraid that if the two of them fell asleep, Carol would do something. Staring at Carol with wide eyes. The gun in his hand was also pointed at Carol's back. Carol was indeed just as Zhang Tuohai expected. The madness only lasted for more than an hour and passed. He continued to drive at a normal speed without making any unnecessary movements. Even in the middle of the night. As I became more and more tired. The speed of the car became slower and slower. Once it dropped to 30 or 40 miles. It wasn't until the sky brightened slightly that Zong Tuohai woke up. He looked at the two people with panda eyes and asked in shock. Did you two not sleep last night? Hearing Zong Tuohai's words, Carol's nose twisted in anger. You didn't say anything. How dare I sleep? Do you think it's appropriate for no one to look at you? It's better for you to go to sleep at the end of the day and not care about others. There's not even a replacement person at night. Miranda also said angrily. My fault. I didn't think carefully. Zhang Tuohai had no choice but to admit his mistake. It was because the people around him used to take care of themselves and didn't need him to worry too much. So he subconsciously ignored these problems, causing the two of them to drive all night with their eyes wide open. Where are you now? Zhang Tuohai asked as he rubbed his eyes. We will arrive at the tomato market soon. There are still 10 kilometers away from the tomato market. Miranda turned on her phone checked the electronic navigation and said, Well, then work harder. Have breakfast at Tomato Market. Call Lehman Group and tell Lehman Group that I want to eat hot pot in the morning. Mandarin duck pot. Half spicy and half super spicy. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and said, Are you crazy? Eating hot pot so early in the morning? Miranda looked at Zhang Tuohai in confusion. Anyway, the right will expire soon. If you don't use it, it will be in vain. I want fat beef shrimp paste, hand-cut mutton, louvers, and sheep brains. Zhang Tuohai ordered a variety of dishes in succession. You ate so much by yourself? Miranda asked. Who said I have to eat it by myself? The three of us eat it together. Otherwise, I won't worry. Zhang Tuohai pointed at Carol emphatically. Only by ensuring that three people eat the same meal can the Lehman group not dare to poison it. The car drove slowly into the tomato market and stopped at the central square of the tomato market. There were originally a lot of tourists here, but they were all driven away by the police. The entire square was vacated. A whole set of hot pots was transported by helicopter. Using gas and gas, various dishes were filled up. Long table. It's quite sincere. Zhang Tuohai walked around and saw that the ingredients were really fresh, and some had water drops hanging on them. Through the corner of his eye, he could also see several people holding scopes in the tall buildings around him. Let those 26 people leave. If no one leaves after 10 seconds, then I will press the detonator directly. If one person does not leave, I will cut off one of Carol's fingers and start counting now. Zhang Tuohai said and pressed his hand on the detonator. What to do? The experts on the panel looked at each other. The snipers they arranged were all elites selected for mercenaries. They were all veterans who had been tested on the battlefield and had rich experience. However, Zhang Tuohai just glanced at it and accurately revealed the total number of people they were ambushing. How is this possible? Many elites on the battlefield who carry digital combat equipment dare not say that they can find all the ambush personnel at a glance. Zhang Tuohai didn't bring anything. But how did he do it at a glance? Could it be said that there is a mole? An idea arises from the hearts of many experts. Although it sounds ridiculous. This is the most reliable explanation. There was a conspirator who kidnapped Miss Carol. 
And this was the only explanation that could clearly explain how the other party obtained Miss Carroll's accidental itinerary. This mole must be found out. Everyone must be examined. Lehman personally gave the order. Those snipers? Get out of here. You bunch of trash. Lehman said coldly. Soon, all the snipers were evacuated. That's pretty much it. John Tuohai watched the snipers evacuate, then nodded with satisfaction, and led the two of them to sit at the table and eat the first hot pot meal in the morning. After drinking and eating, a middle-aged man in a suit came over, stood respectfully in front of Zhang Tuohai and said, Mr. Zhang, I am a representative of Lehman Group. We want to know what conditions you need to release Carlo. Miss Air, as long as you can make a request, as long as we can do it, we will definitely satisfy you. It's very simple. Let Miss Carol escort us to a distance of 10 kilometers from the border. When the time comes, I will naturally let Miss Carol leave. As for the conditions, we will evacuate all personnel at the border inspection station and prepare another 100 don't use a suitcase. Use a rucksack to carry it. If I find anything fishy, then I will no longer guarantee the safety of Carol's life. Do you understand? Zhang Tuohai drank a glass of grape juice and said, That's it. The middle-aged man was stunned when he heard this. He didn't expect that Zhang Tuohai had been working on it for so long and his request was so simple. Just one million. Why do you want so much? Miranda was also puzzled. Do you know how much one million is? Zhang Tuohai rolled his eyes at Miranda. Besides, it's still old banknotes with small denominations. One person and one backpack are already the limit. No matter how much money you have, you have to spend it with your life. Then you can also ask for some weapons, cars, etc. How dare you use the things they gave you? If I hit the locator, I don't even need to meet you. One missile will solve the problem. Zhang Tuohai sneered. That. Don't worry. I've already arranged the rest of the plan. Just follow it. Zhang Tuohai said with confidence. Oh well. The conditions quickly reached Lehman. Seeing this simple condition, Lehman scratched his head and couldn't figure out what kind of medicine Zhang Tuohai was selling in his gourd. Do as he says and send drones to follow them to see what they are going to do. In addition, send the vulture commandos there as well. Lehman made the decision. Chapter 932 It's all here. Soon. One million old small denomination bills were flown in by helicopter. Looking at the money in two large canvas bags. Miranda really understood why Zhang Tuohai didn't let him take more. Just relying on the two of them. It would take a lot of effort to move these banknotes. If there are more, they will really be unable to get it. However, there is always some unwillingness. It was like entering a treasure trove full of treasures. But she could only take away a little bit. Which made her regretful. Don't worry. You will get everything you should get. It's just that we don't have enough transportation capacity this time. Next time. When we face Lehman again, we won't be as embarrassed as today. Zhang Tuohai patted Miranda on the shoulder and said, Are you going to face Lehman Group again? Miranda was puzzled. She originally thought that Zhang Tuohai was planning to give Lehman Group one final blow and then fly away. As a result, Zhang Tuohai actually wanted to come back. Is this crazy? After all, she is not the roundworm in Zhang Tuohai's belly. I don't know what Zhang Tuohai's goal is. In fact, in Zhang Tuohai's eyes, the so-called Lehman Group is just a stepping stone. His real goal in this world is to reach the top and then walk in front of Ji Yi. The rest are just tools to achieve the goal. Carol also looked at Zhang Tuohai with the same doubts. She didn't understand why Zhang Tuohai only offered such a small condition when he tried so hard to kidnap her. Was she only worth a million dollars in Zhang Tuohai's heart? This is simply humiliating to her. Unknowingly, her eyes when she looked at Zhang Tuohai were full of anger. Not the anger of being kidnapped, but the anger of being deemed worthless. Seeing the sudden anger in Carol's eyes, Zhang Tuohai was also unusually different. He didn't understand where Carol's sudden anger came from. It was obviously not like this when he was kidnapped yesterday. But today, was about to be let go. But suddenly became angry. Women are indeed difficult to understand creatures. John Tuohai thought helplessly. Fortunately, he was soon able to get rid of this troublesome guy. As long as he could escort himself 10 kilometers into the Chicken Taco Country's border, and he could get rid of this troublesome magnet. After counting the banknotes, he checked the canvas bag aside. After confirming that there was no tracker attached to it, he nodded with satisfaction and threw the bag into the car. Let's go! Miranda and Carol both entered the car silently. John Tuohai drove the car into the border checkpoint but it was already empty. Without any inspection, Zhang Tuohai easily entered the chicken taco country. 
This area of chicken taco country is a semi-arid area, with clusters of cacti and shrubs on the ground, and the wind is scorching and dry. This natural environment made Zhang to a high feel in a trance, as if he had entered the first world of survival. However, the further we drove, the more and more trees became luxuriant, and sparse woods appeared faintly, driving straight along the road. When they reached the 8-kilometer zone, Zhang Tuohai suddenly turned the steering wheel violently, and the car rushed off the road and towards a forest in the distance. Carol's heart skipped a beat, and he thought to himself, Is he going to break the contract? Is he going to kill me? Miranda didn't understand why Zhang Tuohai suddenly turned around, but she immediately took out her pistol and pointed it at Carol. The car drove forward rapidly for two kilometers, and suddenly, there was a rumble of water ahead. A large river suddenly appeared in front of him. The river was tens of meters wide, with fast currents and a sound like thunder. Are you going to throw me into the river? But what if I can't swim? It's very urgent. Carol's heart beat. Zhang Tuohai glanced at Dave, then jumped out of the car, took out a set of wrenches and jacks from the car, directly removed the four wheels, and used a chainsaw to cut off a section of logs and tied them together to make the built a simple raft. Are we going to sit here? What if it sinks halfway? Looking at the raft, Carol's liver trembled instinctively. She had been feeling dizzy since she fell into the river last time. Anything deeper than a bathtub is a restricted area of life. We're sitting here. Just stay here. Someone will probably pick you up soon. After saying that, John Tuahai pulled Miranda onto the raft, then picked up the paddle made of a bumper and floated downstream of the river. He left now? Just left like that? Didn't he even look at me? Carol was furious. This was the first time she had been ignored like this. She was obviously released. But she couldn't be happy. She wanted to catch up and ask for information. But the raging river blocked her steps and courage. Finally, she stamped her feet bitterly by the river, looking firmly at the direction where Zhang Tuohai disappeared. Just wait. I will definitely find you. About ten minutes later, three helicopters slowly landed next to the woods. A dozen people wearing desert special combat uniforms descended from the helicopters with various short-barreled assault rifles and submachine guns and rushed into the woods. Miss Carroll, the Vulture Special Operations Commando has been ordered to escort you back. A leading one-eyed man said respectfully to Carol. Arnold, I order you to capture the two people who kidnapped me. Don't worry about the women, but the men must be captured alive. Do you understand? Carol said coldly. Yes, we will do it for you immediately. You will be able to see what you want to see before the sun goes down. Arnold waved his hand, leaving two female soldiers to defend Carol. And the remaining people were divided into three groups. I dragged the kayak off the helicopter all the way, inflated it, jumped directly into the river, and followed the trail to find Zhang Tuohai. They took helicopters to search from the air all the way. And on the last step, they began to release drones to search the vast jungle, as if they would not stop until Zhang Tuohai was found. This time, I have a professional commando team to see how you escape. Carol looked at the vast jungle with confidence. At the same time, Zhang Tuohai was taking Miranda rapidly towards the lower reaches of the river. Suddenly, Zhang Tuohai moved closer to the shore, then pulled Miranda and jumped onto the shore, while pushing the raft back into the river. What are you doing? Why did you suddenly come ashore? Miranda was puzzled. Shudash. Zhang Tuohai made a booing gesture, then pulled Miranda and hid in the woods. The woods near the river bank already have the appearance of a rainforest. Various vines and trees are densely covered, blocking the sky and barely seeing any sunlight. A moment later, there was a roar and a helicopter appeared over the river. Helicopters? Are they here to chase us? Why are they so fast? Miranda asked in shock. It's always been on the back, but the distance was a little further away, thinking I wouldn't be able to find it. Hey! A sneer appeared at the corner of Zhang Tuohai's mouth. Since you have come here, Letting you go back like this will make me. The master. Not generous enough. Chapter 933 The Vulture is Destroyed. Scored twice. Zhang Tuohai once again threw a long rattan with a stone tied to it. Long vines were twisted along the stone into the propeller. The vines are not strong enough to damage the propeller. But they are enough to cause the propeller to stall. Unable to maintain power. The helicopter crashed directly into the rough river. The people on the plane are all well trained and this situation is not enough to be thrown to death. However, if they want to save their lives in the rough waves, they have to throw away most of their weapons and equipment and reduce their weight. Otherwise they will be killed, will be dragged into deep water by heavy equipment. A group of people flopped in the river like ducks. I don't have many weapons now, so I'll just teach you a lesson. 
It won't be that simple next time. Zhang Tuahai glanced at the people staying in the river, then pulled Miranda and rushed into the jungle. Many of Zhang Tuahai's previous survival worlds had rainforest climates. He had even driven through the rainforest himself. So he was very experienced in how to travel through the rainforest. The most important thing to note when walking through the rainforest is not to be curious. And don't kick hollowwood or move rocks away casually. Because there may be poisonous insects that like moisture and darkness hidden there. And don't touch the tree trunks casually. There may be sword frogs crawling on them. Don't just kick a fallen branch as it could be a snake. It should be inserted into the collar. Otherwise bugs will fall into the clothes along the collar. Don't step into puddles, as they may be crawling with leeches and schistosomiasis. In short, avoiding all unnecessary curiosity and taking precautions can avoid most troubles. Zhang Tuohai has rich experience. He led Miranda through the jungle as if he were at home. He was extremely smooth and encountered almost no difficulties. However, the vulture commandos behind them were in dire straits. Because of their environment, they specialize in desert operations and urban special operations during training which can be seen from the desert camouflage on their bodies. Before being incorporated, they had been operating in the Middle East. Entering the rainforest, a new combat environment, made them very uncomfortable. They almost cut them off step by step. After running for five kilometers with Zhang Tuohai, they lost a third of their number due to various non-combat sound speeds. More than one. Excluding the dozens of people who were lost due to the helicopter crash. There were only seven or eight people left in the entire commando team to retain combat effectiveness. However, because they were carrying a lot of equipment and the rainforest was too hot, everyone was sweating like rain. Originally, this was nothing. Just a little sweat. And it was not a waste at all for these mercenaries. However, this is a rainforest. The strong smell of sweat attracted the mosquitoes. And swarms of mosquitoes circled around these people. Flying to these people from time to time. Making them unable to catch them. After a while, my body was covered with all kinds of big bumps, and it was unbearably itchy. In order to relieve the itching, many people scratched their bags, and blood marks appeared on their bodies. The smell of blood attracted more mosquitoes, making them extremely annoyed. If mosquitoes are just appetizers, the diseases such as rash, malaria, and typhoid carried by mosquitoes become the last straw for these people. Many people felt hot all over, dizzy, fell to the ground and lost the ability to move forward. As for the personnel who stayed in the camp to control the drones, they withdrew from the battle earlier. Nothing else. The jungle in the rainforest was too dense. Their drones could not be used in this environment at all. They could only return without success. Looking at the defeated soldiers who came back like refugees, Carol's body trembled with anger. A bunch of trash. You can't even catch two people. And you still claim to be elite. What face do you have? When you go back, immediately strengthened special training in the rainforest. Afterwards, Carol returned to the helicopter, picked up his mobile phone, and called his assistant. Notify the branch in the Chicken Taco country to conduct a comprehensive investigation of the recent immigrants and have a firm grasp of the dynamics of these two people. Wait until I personally investigate catch them back. To Carol, Zhang Tuahai was like a fish bone stuck in his throat. It was really difficult to get rid of Zhang Tuahai until he pulled it out. There is only one solution. And that is to catch Zhang Tuohai with her own hands. Only in this way can the resentment in her heart be eliminated. In order to achieve her goal, she decided to personally train an armed force. It is best for the main members of this force to come from the Chicken Taco country. Only people from the country know the local terrain and climate environment better. There will be no vulture commandos. This was a tragedy in which almost the entire army was wiped out due to circumstances. Notice it further and select qualified people among the new survivors to form a brand new commando team, which will be called the Carroll Guards. Carroll passed on the order. The huge machine of Lehman Group began to operate, taking one last look at the dense jungle. Carroll snorted coldly. Humph. Just wait and see. I won't let you wait too long. I will catch you right away. Carroll left angrily, and Zhang Tuohai took Miranda all the way through the rainforest. Because Zhang Tuohai had made preparations in advance and had rich experience, the two of them ran for dozens of kilometers without encountering any obstacles in the rainforest. It even gave Miranda a wrong illusion. Feeling that the rainforest was nothing more than that, and not as scary as others described, the two of them crossed seven or eight hills in a row. Miranda was out of breath and still barely holding on. Seeing that Miranda's physical strength had indeed reached its limit, Zhang Tuohai stopped and reorganized. At this time, another big river just appeared in front of us. Rushing forward, 
Zhang Tuahai thought for a while, then used the gasoline saw he carried to cut down a big tree, hollowed it out, and made a canoe. He took Miranda into the canoe and went down the river. With the help of the river, the two of them traveled much faster. When the moonlight slowly rose, the two of them saw a village on the river bank. The houses in the village are all made of wood, two or three meters above the ground. Judging from the architectural style, they should be those of the local aborigines. Zhang Tuahai docked the canoe on the shore. There were more than a dozen simple wooden boats next to it, with harpoons, fishing nets, and other tools piled on them. There are also dressed salted fish hanging on the door. It seems that he makes a living by fishing. Anyone there? Zhang Tuohai stood up and asked. Several natives in shorts came out of the room and looked at Zhang Tuohai and Miranda curiously. There was no intention to attack, and there was no weapon in his hand. There was only curiosity in his eyes, not ferocity. There was only novelty in the child's eyes. He didn't seem to be aggressive. Zhang Tuohai made a judgment in his heart. Chapter 934 Water is more expensive than Coke. We are travelers passing by. When we get here, there is no food. If possible, we hope to exchange our belongings for some food. Zhang Tuohai stood up and said, We always have the greatest goodwill toward people of goodwill. A man with brown skin stood up and said to Zhang Tuohai, How about this survival knife as a gift? Zhang Tuohai pulled out a survival knife from between his legs and handed it to the middle-aged man. The survival knife is made of high-quality steel and is very sharp. It has a serrated blade on the back which can be used as a bottle opener. It also comes with a flint and a whistle. The handle is also made of non-slip plastic. It is a very classic survival knife. It is also a piece of modern industrial art. This survival knife costs only seven or eight dollars outside. And if it comes from a well-known manufacturer, it only costs twenty or thirty dollars. But in this tropical rainforest where even finding a stone is troublesome, it is already a particularly rare tool. Seeing this knife, the middle-aged man's eyes almost gleamed. It seems you like it very much. So I gave it to you. Zhang Tuohai handed the survival knife in his hand to the middle-aged man. The middle-aged man took the knife with a look of ecstasy on his face. His rough hands kept stroking the knife. His affection was beyond words. It took a long time before I recovered from the surprise. Please come in. Distinguished guest. The middle-aged man respectfully invited Zhang Tuohai and Miranda into the room. Soon, various foods were placed on the table. In fact, there was nothing, just various salted fish, wild fruits, and a basin of fish soup. Although it is very simple, it can be regarded as a rare feast here. You can tell by looking at the drooling looks on several children. Zhang Tuohai simply gave most of the food to several children, while he drank a few mouthfuls of fish soup. At night, Zhang Tuohai and Miranda were assigned to a house. The two of them were tossing and turning. I want to stay and help them, Miranda said suddenly seeing how hard their lives are and feeling compassion for them. Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. A little bit. Do you think I'm a bit of a saint? Miranda asked. Do you know how many people live like this in the rainforest? Zhang Tuohai straightened up and asked. Miranda shook her head. If you can help one or two people, can you help everyone? Zhang Tuohai asked again. Miranda continued to shake her head. So, if you want to help them, it is not enough to rely on your own abilities. You also need the power of more people. John Tuohai said. You mean setting up a foundation? Miranda's eyes flashed. The foundation? What can that toy be used for? John Tuohai's face was full of disdain. I want this country. Only by controlling the power of the entire country can we mobilize the power of the entire society and structurally solve the problems of the entire society. Otherwise, even if you let them come out of the rainforest, they will they cannot survive in modern society. They are systematically decoupled from the outside world. We need to bridge this rift and require the strength of the entire society. Take control of this country? How is this possible? Miranda covered her mouth, her face full of disbelief. Is it difficult for a lone businessman to control half of the country? Zhang Tuohai's face was full of disdain. Before entering the world of survival, it might still scare him a little. But after entering the world of survival, especially a few days ago, he has become the co-owner of thousands of worlds and the country has almost become the smallest in his eyes. How can administrative units be afraid? But, it is a country after all. Miranda was still hesitant. Don't worry. The Lehman Group is still a behemoth comparable to the country. Isn't there still nothing you can do against me? It's the same here. John Tuohai patted Miranda on the shoulder. He had a reason to do this. His goal when he arrived in this world was to find Ji Yi. But since entering the world, 
He had been dealing with harassment from the Lehman Consortium. And he didn't even know where Ji was. Now! Finally free of control for the time being. It was time to start looking for Ji He also discovered one thing. That is, it was very difficult to find Ji on his own. And he needed a large organization to help him. And the chicken roll country was a more suitable tool. Just treat it as an experiment to see what it feels like to be the head of a country. Zhang Tuohai thought secretly. Miranda didn't know Zhang Tuohai's true thoughts. She was stunned by Zhang Tuohai's grand plan. He admired Zhang Tuohai with all his might. I thought I was already very kind. But I didn't expect that you are the real kind person. I hope to stand by your side and help with your plan. Miranda said seriously. Zhang Tuohai. He felt that this girl seemed to have misunderstood something. However, there is no reason to just leave it like this. After he takes control of the world, he will arrange a good job for this girl and let her fulfill her wish. Early the next morning, the two bid farewell to the native village and paddled their canoes on their journey again. After paddling for nearly a day, the two finally drew out the scope of the rainforest. Farmland and roads appeared on both sides of the river, proving that they had once again entered the civilized world. The two abandoned the canoe and took to the road pretending to be backpackers. Fortunately, they hitched a ride to a small town. How about you go to my uncle's farm? It's in the next state. It's corn country. He grows the best corn in the whole chicken taco country. Miranda invited. Okay. It's not bad to go and have a look. Zhang Tuohai selected a new set of identity passports and handed them to Miranda. Asking her to buy tickets. A few hours later, they were in the corn state next door. Oh my god. How could it be like this? Miranda felt a blast of hot air blowing over her as soon as she got off the plane. The hot wind was carrying sand, which made her face hurt. What's wrong? Zhang Tuohai was curious. I remember the weather here is obviously not like this. Although it is relatively hot. It is very humid. But it is too dry now. Ahem. Miranda coughed a few times. It seems you haven't been back for many years. It used to be very humid here. But since the lighthouse country built a dam to cut off the water source. The air here has become drier and drier. The old man checking the tickets next to him sighed, then picked up a bottle of Coke and drank it in big gulps. Uncle, Coke is very sweet and contains a lot of sugar. You are such a senior. It is better to drink less. If you are really thirsty, you can drink more water. Miranda saw the old man drinking Coke like this and couldn't help but advise him. Unexpectedly, the old man shook his head. I can't afford it. Water is too expensive. Coke is the cheapest. Chapter 935 Avocado What? Coke is cheaper than water? How is that possible? Miranda looked in disbelief. I remember that although there are not many products here, there is still a river passing by. It is enough to collect water to irrigate the fields every day. It basically costs no money. How can it be more expensive than Coke? That was many years ago. The old man shook his head and took another sip of Coke before saying, Originally, there was a lot of water here. However, a few years ago, the lighthouse country built a dam on the upper reaches, blocking the river. If you want to use water, you need to pay the original fee, times the water bill, and the supply is limited. However, the Coke company wants water at a price lower than the market price, so that Coke is much cheaper than water. Everyone can only drink Coke, but cannot afford water, let alone water. Now farming. Basically, it's all about collecting rainwater. The old man shook his head after finishing speaking. What about groundwater? I remember that groundwater is abundant here, and almost every house has a well. Miranda asked. The groundwater has been drained long ago. The old man shook his head and said, Now everyone grows avocados, which consume a lot of water. After several years of planting, the water is getting less and less, and the land is dry. There's also well water. The old man shook his head and said, But if it's so water-consuming, why grow avocados? Wouldn't it be great to grow corn? Miranda was puzzled. She clearly remembered that this was the land of corn. Famous for corn, peppers, tomatoes, vegetables, etc. Why did they suddenly switch to corn planting collectively? Aren't they those damn politicians in the city hall and United Fruit? Avocados are in short supply in the lighthouse country. So they encourage us to plant them. If anyone dares to disobey the order, they will sprinkle defoliants on their fields. Once it is sprayed, after decades of being unable to recover, the entire land was abandoned and even the groundwater was polluted, making it impossible to drink. With no other choice, everyone switched to avocado planting. The old man sighed. Damn it. Miranda clenched her hands into fists. 
Is there any way to help them? Miranda asked Zhang Tuohai. But she didn't hear a reply. Miranda looked back and found Zhang Tuohai looking at the airport's big screen. At this time, the big screen was playing news about the Lighthouse Country. The news showed that the leader of the Lighthouse Country was touring Latin America and was paying a state visit to Latin America. Zhang Tuohai's eyes shone with excitement because he discovered that the leader of the Lighthouse Country was actually Ji. So you are here. A smile appeared on Zhang Tuohai's lips. What he was most worried about was that he would not be able to find Ji yet. In that case, he would not be able to do it even with all his strength. However, now that we know where Ji Yi is, it's different. Exposing Ji Yi's location is equivalent to showing up his health bar. And Zhang Tuohai has a chance to kill. At least there is a direction to work towards. Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai. Miranda gently shook Zhang Tuohai's shoulders. Huh? What's the matter? Zhang Tuohai turned around and asked, Is there any way you can help them? Miranda's eyes were full of hope. Along the way, Zhang Tuohai gave her too many surprises, which made her completely regard Zhang Tuohai as an omnipotent existence, so that when she encountered a problem, she would want to ask Zhang Tuohai if he had a solution. Water source? Avocado? Damn? Coke? Zhang Tuohai held his chin and thought about it. I have some ideas, but we need to see how to operate it in detail. Let's go to your uncle's farm first. Zhang Tuohai said, Well, okay. Miranda nodded. She also knew that such a big matter would definitely not be solved in a day or two. If it were so easy to solve, there would be no need for them to step forward. The two men stopped a car and drove towards Uncle Miranda's farm. There are farms on both sides of the road, which originally grew corn and various vegetables. The fields are colorful and very beautiful. But now, all the farmland is planted with low avocado trees. They are gray and endless as far as the eye can see, which makes people feel depressed. Miranda's mood also dropped. In about 20 minutes, the two arrived at Uncle Miranda's farm. Like other farms, it was also full of low avocado trees. Uncle. Miranda walked towards a double-story wooden house in the middle of the farm. Before they arrived at the wooden house, the two saw several large pickup trucks parked in front of the wooden house. And there were bursts of quarrels in the house. Go over and take a look. John Tuohai reached for the pistol at his waist and followed Miranda into the wooden house. In the wooden house, there were five or six young people wearing leather jackets, surrounding a middle-aged man. The middle-aged man was wearing a plaid shirt, jeans, and a straw hat. He held a double-barreled shotgun in his hand and looked like an old man. Cowboy outfit. Get off my farm. Old Tom won't give in to you. The middle-aged man said coldly. Hey, old Tom. I advise you to realize that $1,000 per acre of avocados is already a very fair price. You have made so much selling avocados. Isn't it too much for us to charge a little dividend? The young man at the head said with a sneer. Huh? How much can an acre of avocado cost? How much does it cost to buy water for irrigation? Doesn't it cost money to buy fertilizer? How much can I earn in a year? You ask for $1,000 per acre. Why don't you give us the farm? For you? Old Tom said angrily. Give it to us? We are too lazy to be stupid farmers. Let me tell you. We have to pay for this $1,000. At this time tomorrow, prepare the money for me. Otherwise, we will wait for the defoliant to be sprayed. Several young people turned around and left without bothering. He walked straight out the door, got back in the pickup truck and drove away. Uncle Tom. Miranda stood nearby, not knowing what to say. It's Miranda. Sit down. When old Tom saw Miranda coming, he sighed, hung the double-barreled shotgun on the wall, turned around and took out two bottles of Coke from the refrigerator and placed them on the table. I'm sorry. There's nothing else at home but this. Old Tom said with a sigh. Uncle, who are they? Miranda asked curiously. They are members of the Viper Gang. They come here to ask for protection money. These blood-sucking borers. Old Tom said and punched the table. But if they really spray defoliants, wouldn't the entire farm be destroyed? Why don't we discuss with them and give them less? Miranda said hesitantly. Even if we deal with them, there will be another one. Old Tom shook his head and said, There are countless gangs, big and small. Around here, and each of them will come to share a piece of the pie. A little bit from this one. A little bit from that one. The entire harvest for the whole year has been lost. And this year is the worst. The weather is dry today. And I am already short of water. I still need to buy water at a high price from the water dealer. My income has been reduced a lot. And they have increased the protection fee. 
It's driving us to death. Chapter 936 Solution If they are so arrogant, won't the town sheriff just ignore them? Miranda asked angrily. Huh? Sheriff? They have long been bribed by those gangs. Without their indulgence, do you think these gangs would dare to be so arrogant? Old Tom said angrily. But if they are so arrogant, no one can control them. Miranda asked in disbelief. Who dares to care? The last person who dared to resist was burned to death in the house by his whole family. Old Tom shook his head and sighed. How so? Miranda muttered. What can you do? Miranda turned to look at Zhang Tuohai. She had no choice but to count on Zhang Tuohai. I have several plans. But this is not just my own business. It requires everyone to work together. Otherwise, even if I help everyone get the fruit back, everyone will not be able to keep it. Right. Zhang Tuohai said. It's okay to let him help. But he can't just do it by himself. Moreover, he also has his own purpose and needs these people as help. Do you really have a way? Old Tom looked at John Tuahai with eyes full of light. He had had enough of this kind of life. Of course. But it's not enough for me. I need help from many people. I hope to gather the surrounding farmers and pool their efforts together. In this way, the probability of success will be much higher. John Tuahai said. That's no problem. Old Tom heard this and patted his chest. I grew up in this area. I am familiar with every farm. I will call them all in the afternoon. Then I'll trouble you. Zhang Tuohai nodded. I'm going to cook for you. You must be hungry after such a long time. Old Tom said. Turned and entered the kitchen to cook. My uncle's cooking is very delicious. I must try more later. Miranda poked Zhang Tuohai with her arm and said. Really? Then I'm still looking forward to it. Zhang Tuohai became interested. However, after a while, Old Tom came out with three plates of instant pasta and placed them on the table. There's nothing to eat. So just make a living. Uncle, are there any tomatoes? I remember the tomatoes here are delicious. Miranda felt a little weird. Her uncle was very generous. When guests came to the house, he always brought out the best. But it took a long time to make instant pasta, which made her a little weird. The tomatoes have been taken away by United Fruit. All the farms have signed agreements with them and are not allowed to grow vegetables privately. The only few farms that are allowed to grow vegetables have also signed purchase agreements. All vegetables and fruits, they are all shipped to lighthouse countries for sale and are not allowed to be marketed locally. In the current market, there are only these fast food products sold in lighthouse countries. Old Tom said helplessly. How could this happen? Miranda felt a little unbelievable when she heard Old Tom's words. She really couldn't imagine that people could be so bad. Forced to sign agreements, raise water prices, lower avocado purchase prices, forced purchase of fruits and vegetables, dumping cola and fast food. If this continues in the long run, the health of the people here will be affected. Don't think about it. You all have diabetes. Old Tom fiddled with the spaghetti on the plate. What about insulin? It's very expensive. And it's also very rare. Old Tom said helplessly. At least I'm lucky here and can still buy a few. The pharmacies in other towns are basically distributors of Coke. Selling it to people with diabetes. Man's healing product is Coke. Old Tom threw the fork in his hand onto the plate. I don't want to eat. I'm going to find them now. With that said, old Tom picked up his hat and walked outside. Feel sorry. Miranda didn't know what to say. So she apologized to Zhang Tuohai. It doesn't matter. It was never your fault in the first place. Zhang Tuohai rubbed Miranda's head and comforted her. Eat it first. Deal with one bite. And wait for the evening. I'll see if I can get something else. Zhang Tuohai said. Old Tom worked very quickly and quickly found all the farmers around him. A group of people were sitting around. We are all here. What can we do? An old cowboy asked impatiently. If my calculations are correct, you are facing two difficulties now. John Tuohai raised his finger. The first one is the shortage of water. And the second one is the problem of being troubled by gangs. Yes. Which one do you have a solution for? Asked the old cowboy. As long as you are willing to cooperate with me, I can solve it. John Tuohai said. It can all be solved? How is it possible? The old cowboy said in disbelief. We have tried dozens of methods, but none of them have solved it. You can actually solve it. What are you going to do? How to do it is my business. My request to you is very simple, which is to fully cooperate with me. John Tuohai said. Of course. I know you definitely don't believe me now. So I will do something iconic first to prove my ability. And then you decide whether to believe me or not. 
What do you think? John Tuai said. Dozens of old cowboys looked at each other and nodded. For them, Zhang Tuohai was the last straw. If they didn't seize this opportunity, the gang would force them into bankruptcy, and they would have no retreat. Okay, we have decided to trust you for once. What support do you need from us? Asked an old cowboy. It's very simple. It was Viper who came to blackmail you just now. Right. Where is the headquarters of this organization? Just tell me the address. Zhang Tuohai said. So simple? An old cowboy asked in disbelief. It's that simple. I'll show my sincerity, and I hope I can get your sincerity in the future. John Tuohai said confidently. This, I know. It's at number 233 Hella Street, Straw City. My son works at the car wash opposite, said an old cowboy. The straw becomes Hella Street. Right. Do you know the way? John Tuohai turned to Miranda and asked. I know. I went to elementary school and middle school there. There is a lake outside the city. It's very beautiful. I like to feed the wild ducks there. Miranda looked reminiscing. It's a pity that Crystal Lake is gone. An old cowboy said regretfully. Yes, since the dam was built, Crystal Lake has completely dried up and there is no place for fishing anymore. Another old cowboy said. I haven't fished for many years. Very good. Let's go to Straw City now. John Tuohai stood up and said, under the watch of a group of old cowboys. The two drove old Tom's pickup truck toward the direction of Straw City. Chapter 937 Dealing with the Viper Zhang Tuohai and Miranda drove to Straw City. There used to be Crystal Lake over there. There used to be a lot of wild ducks and a lot of fish here. I loved coming here to play when I was a kid. But I didn't expect it to become like this. Following the direction Miranda pointed, Zhang Tuohai saw the Crystal Lake in the distance. It was a large low-lying area. If Miranda hadn't pointed it out, he would have thought it was a large low-lying flatland. A large lake had actually dried up. This shows how severe the water shortage is in this area. These people really have no lower limit for money. Since they are not decent. Let me help them look decent. Zhang Tuohai took a deep look at the huge depression in the distance and said to Miranda, Soon, I will turn that depression into a crystal lake again. If someone else had said it, Miranda would definitely think that the other person was talking in his sleep. But when these words came from Zhang Tuohai, she felt an inexplicable sense of trust. Although she didn't know the reason. She felt that Zhang Tuohai it can be done. Let's go into town and have something to eat before we talk. Zhang Tuohai drove into the city of Straw. Miranda has spent her entire student life here. So she is naturally very familiar with it. She soon took Zhang Tuohai to find a relatively high-end restaurant. The two of them had piles of beautiful knives in their backpacks. So they naturally didn't worry about running out of money to pay the bill. The supply of high-end restaurants is still sufficient. But the dishes with fresh vegetables and fruits are much more expensive than in the lighthouse country. This is obviously the place of production. But the fresh vegetables and fruits are higher than those in the lighthouse country. It's really... John Tuohai shook his head, not knowing what to say. He could only sigh that this world is too magical. After the two of them finished eating, they drove directly to number 233 Hella Street, Viper's headquarters. Under Miranda's guidance, the two arrived here. It was a small two-story building with a straw-shaped Coke distributor sign hanging outside. John Tuohai thought for a while that he had found the wrong place. After confirmation from several passers-by, he finally confirmed that the distributor was actually the famous local gangster Viper. These gangsters actually have legitimate industries? Miranda felt a little unbelievable. If they were also involved in this business, it would be enough to show how profitable this business would be. John Tuohai said with squinted eyes. What should we do? Miranda asked. Sit here and wait for me to come back. Zhang Tuohai left a gun for Miranda and walked straight to Viper's headquarters with two Glocks. Hey, what are you doing? This is the Viper headquarters. Stop. Standing at the entrance of the headquarters were two strong men wearing vests and tattoos. The two stretched out their hands to try to intercept Zhang Tuohai. However, as soon as the two people made a move, Zhang Tuohai grabbed their heads and collided with each other. Boom. The two people collapsed like rag bags. That's it? Zhang Tuohai walked straight towards the building. There are also many gangsters in the building, including a few of the people I saw at Old Tom's place. When these people saw a stranger coming in, they hurriedly touched their waists. However, before their hands touched their weapons, Zhang Tuohai had already arrived in front of these people. Each of them punched hard, knocking them all over. Land. Zhang Tuohai strolled to the second floor. As soon as he stepped onto the stairs, gunshots rang out from the door opposite and dozens of bullet holes appeared on the door. However, 
Zhang Tuohai had already had a premonition and moved to the side first, dodging this round of shots. Finally, he used a gang member to break open the door, used the gang member as a human shield to rush in, and knocked everyone inside unconscious to the ground. It went much smoother than expected. Looking at the gangsters on the ground, Zhang Tuohai nodded, and then he physically awakened a man who looked like the boss. Who are you? Why do you want to attack our viper? Who sent you here? The viper boss asked Dizzy. This is not a question you should ask. There are two paths left for you now. One is to be hanged by me on a street lamp. And the other is to lead all the gang members you can to the lighthouse country. John Tuohai said coldly. Are you kidding? We live a good life here. Why should we go to the lighthouse country? Viper's boss said angrily. It seems that you have chosen the wrong path. John Tuohai's palm increased his strength. Ah, dash. The viper's boss felt as if his neck was being grasped by a vice. His trachea was being cut off. And the air he could breathe was getting less and less. He wanted to break free from Zong to a high's restraints. The whole person was kicking around with their hands and feet. But it had no effect at all. After a while, the viper's boss made no sound. Zhang to a high threw it aside casually. Physically awakened a person next to the former boss. And said to him, From now on, you are the boss of Viper. There are two roads in front of you. The first one, together with your former boss, I will hang him on the street lamp. Secondly, hang your former boss on the street lamp, and then take all of you to the lighthouse country. The man looked at the boss. Oh no, it's the body of the former boss now. He looked at the smiling Zhang Tuohai and nodded quickly. I choose the second option. As long as I have a way to survive, I can do anything. Very good. It seems that you are a smart person. I like to deal with smart people. Zhang Tuohai patted the other party's face. I don't like to be sloppy in doing things. So I take action immediately and leave tonight. If I find you stranded in the chicken roll country after sunrise tomorrow, then there is no need for you to exist. Use it all as fertilizer for the land. I understand. I understand. Let's go now. The man nodded repeatedly. Open the safe. Zhang Tuohai threw the man to the ground, pointed at the safe and said. The man quickly found the key from the former boss's body and matched the password to open the safe. The contents inside were revealed, including wads of banknotes and ledgers, several pistols, and even two grenades. Zhang Tuohai took the first step to take out the ledgers and look through them. He found that they were the ledgers for lending and collecting protection fees, so he put them away. As for the money and pistols, he found a backpack and kept putting it in his backpack. It was filled to the point where it could no longer be loaded. And then it stopped. The rest will be used as money for you to run away. Remember, if you are still in the chicken roll country at sunrise tomorrow morning, you will never have to leave. After saying that, Zhang Tuohai's figure disappeared into the room. Chapter 9, 38 Damn Perpetual Motion Machine How's it going? Is it solved? Seeing Zhang Tuohai come out, Miranda asked with concern. Don't worry. I have brought out all the ledgers. And I have also warned people. They will never appear here again tomorrow. Zhang Tuohai said. Real or fake? Miranda couldn't believe it. Just wait and see. Zhang Tuohai leaned back on his chair, picked up a bucket of popcorn he had just bought on the roadside, and ate it. After a while, a group of vipers ran out of the building supporting each other. A few of them were relatively strong and were carrying the body of their former boss. They found ladders and ropes from nowhere, hung the former boss's body high on the street lamp, and then drove away in a car in a hurry not even caring about some banknotes scattered on the ground. They really ran away. How did you do that? Although she had seen the frightened appearance of these gang members with her own eyes, Miranda still couldn't believe it. She really couldn't understand how Zhang Tuohai did it. How did you do it? Can you tell me? Miranda asked, shaking Zhang Tuohai's shoulders. That's it. If you are curious, I will take you to see it next time. Let's go to the next place. Zhang Tuohai put down the handbrake. Where else are you going? Miranda was puzzled. Of course, it's the next gang station. It's hard to come here once. Can't we just deal with one? Why don't we just do it all at once? Zhang Tuohai said lightly. Zhang Tuohai's plan is to cut off all the gang forces in Straw City in one fell swoop. If only one is eliminated, the remaining gangs will soon take over the vacated share, or there will be emerging strengths to replace them. Only by one fell swoop can all the gangs be eliminated. Only by wiping them out, and then using those corpses hanging on street lamps to scare many people who are eager to try will restrain themselves for a period of time. This period of time will be enough for Zhang Tuohai to cause trouble. As for why, he didn't kill them directly, but let them go to the lighthouse country. 
Zhang Tuohai also had his own considerations. First, some people are indeed guilty of crimes that do not lead to death. Secondly, it doesn't make much sense to kill them. It's better to just put them in the lighthouse country to cause trouble for the lighthouse country and distract some of their energy so that he can take the opportunity to do something. It will not attract all the attention of the lighthouse country. Next, Zhang Tuohai continued to copy what he did in Viper. The leaders were all hung on the street lamps. And the deputy leader led his men to wait for the tower country. In one afternoon, Zhang Tuohai almost wiped out all the famous gangs in Straw City. The gangs from the entire Straw City all swarmed into the lighthouse country in one night. I believe they will leave the other party scratching their heads for a while. Finally, Zhang Tuohai found an underground weapons dealer under the guidance of several gangsters. 80% of the weapons in the hands of gangsters come from the hands of the other party. Zhang Tuohai found the other party's lair according to the address and opened the door kindly. The two parties had a cordial and friendly exchange. The weapons dealer opened the secret warehouse and let Zhang Tuohai choose at will as compensation. It must be said that this weapons dealer is still very powerful. In addition to the commonly used pistols, shotguns and rifles, there are also grenades, plastic explosives, and even military rocket launchers. Zhang Tuohai looked down on ordinary firearms, but he packed up all kinds of explosives and rocket launchers and took them away. By the way, where did you get these military rocket launchers? Don't tell me. Don't tell me that you got them from the lighthouse country. It's still labeled with the chicken roll country's military label. Zhang Tuohai pointed to several obvious labels and said, I bribed a few people who guarded the ammunition depot. As long as I gave money, I could enter the warehouse and take whatever I wanted. The weapons dealer said aggrievedly. So simple? Zhang Tuohai obviously didn't believe it. Really? This country has been corrupted to the core. So there are plenty of people who are willing to be corrupt. And if you give them some money, you can accomplish anything. The weapons dealer said. In that case, I would like to trouble you one more time and take me to the ammunition depot. The weapons dealer was obviously reluctant. But facing Zhang Tuohai, he had no choice but to agree. Very good. As long as you act honestly, I promise to let you leave alive. Zhang Tuohai patted the weapons dealer's face and said. Several people drove to the ammunition depot outside the city. As expected, the security was extremely lax. There were only two guards sitting crookedly in the guard box. There were a few wine bottles and two dishes of side dishes on the table in front of them. Zhang Tuohai and the others parked their car in the restricted area without even looking at it. The weapons dealer walked over, said a few words to them, and then took out a wad of money and stuffed it into their hands. The two people squeezed the thickness, smiled happily, and immediately opened the warehouse door with the key. He directly asked Zhang Tuohai to drive in and move whatever he wanted. The process flowed smoothly, without any unfamiliarity or hesitation. At first glance, it seems that I do it often. This operation made Miranda's glasses drop. It was hard to imagine that the ammunition depot that was supposed to be heavily guarded turned out to be the scene. After the two entered the ammunition depot, the scene inside shocked them even more. Many boxes inside were scattered on the ground, and most of them had been pried open. Almost all the assault rifles, pistols, and bullets had been removed. Some rocket launchers remained, and there were a lot of plastic bombs left, mainly because gangsters usually don't have access to these things. Zhang Tuohai stuffed some more money and asked two guards to remove all the plastic explosives. Almost the entire pickup truck was filled. Why do you want so many plastic explosives? Miranda was puzzled. Of course, it will be used to recreate Crystal Lake. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. The two people left the ammunition depot and drove all the way towards the border. At nightfall, the two people drove to the dam. Zhang Tuohai had always suspected before that dams were built with gates. So a lot of water should be left behind. Why was it that here in the chicken roll country, the flow was almost cut off? When they arrived at the dam, they realized that the lighthouse country had dug a large lake under the dam and arranged countless pumps to pump water upstream. The electricity used by the pumps was generated by the dam. Hack, are these people playing with matryoshka dolls here? Zhang Tuohai's lighthouse country was shocked by this ridiculous operation. It uses water to generate electricity and then uses electricity to pump the water back. The cycle repeats. In addition, the water storage lake under the dam is large enough. And basically not much can flow out. No wonder the chicken roll country is in such a state of water shortage. Even the lake is dried up. I just don't know how much loss there is. If the loss can be reduced, maybe a perpetual motion machine can be realized. Chapter 939 Seizing the Dam How could these people do this? 
What is their purpose in doing this? Miranda couldn't understand it when she saw the Lighthouse Country's saucy operations. Almost all the electricity generated by the dam was used for water pumps. She really couldn't understand the significance of the Lighthouse Country building this dam. I want to cut off your water source and then control your economy. This is how your avocado industry and cola are cheaper than water. After a while, I estimate that medical companies, insurance companies, and even funeral companies will come in. Take a piece of the pie. This is a carnival for the entire industry chain. And you are the only one who will be hurt. John Tuohai said. These damn guys should be hanging streetlights. The remaining compassion in Miranda's heart was consumed. Leaving only resentment. Okay. You call and call old Tom and the others. John Tuohai said. Good. Miranda nodded and called old Tom. More than two hours later. A long queue of vehicles appeared on the highway. With hundreds of pickup trucks approaching from a distance. Did you really get rid of the vipers? Old Tom couldn't believe it. This is a photo. You should recognize their boss's face. He has been hung from the street lamp. Zhang Tuahai took out a photo and showed it to them. Moreover, not only Viper, but also all the famous gangs in Straw City have been captured by me. This is a photo of their leader being hung up. You can check it. Zhang Tuahai showed the photos to everyone. This. The old cowboys below were excitedly looking at the photos. They never expected that the gangsters who had been squatting on them and sucking their bones would be completely wiped out in one afternoon. You know, even the army that uses chicken rolls is not so efficient. At most, they will be driven away, and they will come back after a while. I heard that in several states in the south. Some gangsters have almost become emperors of the country, and they are just about to break up the country and seal the country. The chicken taco country is one of the few countries in the world that can bully its own gangsters like this. That's great. You will be our benefactor from now on. We will do whatever you say. Old Tom led the crowd and said loudly, Really? I want to attack the dam and open the gate to release water. Do you dare to follow me? Zhang Tuohai asked as he scanned the crowd. After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, many cowboys hesitated. This dam is the property of Lighthouse Country. Attacking the dam is equivalent to attacking the mainland of Lighthouse Country. It is almost equivalent to declaring rebellion and war. For a while, many people hesitated. After a moment of silence, old Tom suddenly stood up, threw the straw hat on his head to the ground climbed on the roof of the pickup truck and shouted, Are you still willing to continue to endure this kind of life? Do you still want to continue watching? As the land dries up and the rivers dry up, we continue to endure that we can only rely on Coca-Cola to replenish moisture, and we can only rely on fast food for dinner, but cannot enjoy the vegetables we grow, and use our flesh and blood to feed the avocados on their tables? Are you still willing? Anyway, I don't plan to endure it anymore. If you don't want to endure it, come with me. If you don't, drive away immediately. We don't need cowards here. Old Tom's words were like a bomb dropped on calm waters, stirring the blood in the hearts of ordinary cowboys. I don't want to. Fight with them. Hundreds of cowboys raised their hats and pistols. Hack them. Looking at the roaring crowd below, Zhang Tuohai nodded. People's hearts are like this, and they can still lead the way. If it's a group of pigs, even God Zhang Takumi can't lead them. So he can only use the backup plan. However, from now on, it can continue. Tell me, what should we do? Old Tom jumped in front of Zhang Tuohai and asked. Divide these people into two teams. One part will destroy the water pump. Cut off the water pipe. Destroy the power supply. Push it into the lake. Whatever you want. As long as it can be destroyed. The rest will follow me to control the dam and open the sluice gate. Lift up and release the water. Good. Old Tom went down to make arrangements and soon hundreds of cowboys were divided into two teams. Old Tom personally led a team of capable cowboys to follow Zhang Tuohai, preparing to storm the dam's defense force. The dam actually has a defense force. At least there are sentries at the guard tower and the main gate. Everyone has assault rifles and a full set of body armor. If the cowboys want to fight them, they have a big equipment disadvantage. We won't need you in a strong attack. At least there won't be any need for bloodshed here. You can just provide the labor force. Zhang Tuohai said and touched it quietly. With his strength, it would be no problem to deal with a few unsuspecting sentries. Three strikes, five divided by two. Less than ten guards were knocked unconscious. Superior! Zhang Tuohai greeted, and a group of cowboys followed Zhang Tuohai and rushed into the dam. The dam is not an important military facility, and we have never expected anyone to attack it. Therefore, 
There are only two symbolic guards inside. And the rest are staff. Zhang Tuohai led hundreds of gun-toting cowboys, like magic soldiers descending from heaven, and easily occupied the entire dam without encountering any resistance along the way. Open the floodgates and let out the water! Zhang Tuohai ordered the engineer in charge of the dam. The engineer was still clamoring that he was a citizen of the lighthouse country and needed human rights and freedom. However, after a friendly exchange between the two loudmouths, they became obedient. Under Zhang Tuohai's gun, the engineer honestly opened the dam sluice gate, and the Tao Ao River rolled down, quickly filling the water storage lake below the dam, and then poured into the Long Dry River, rolling forward. Roar! Seeing that the Long Dry River was filled with water again, everyone cheered. Some old cowboys even knelt down in excitement, holding the river water and drank it in big gulps. And some even jumped directly into the lake. Start swimming. We can't stay here forever. Can we? They will definitely send the army over. When the time comes, they will close the floodgates. But we will still be short of water. Miranda asked worriedly. Don't worry. I've already prepared for this. Zhang Tuohai said to the cowboys behind him. Someone, bring in all those plastic explosives and blow up the motor. Zhang Tuohai's plan was to blow up all the motors and generating units of the dam and destroy the dam. By then, even if it can be repaired, it will be several years. Ten years or even decades later. With this time, Zhang Tuohai is enough to complete the mission of this world. By then, if he wants to change anything, it is just a few sets of data. And there is no need to be so troublesome. Chapter 940 Empty the Ammunition Depot The cowboys worked quickly and quickly arranged the bombs and installed the fuses. A group of people quickly withdrew from the dam. With deafening roars, each generator set was blown into pieces and a large number of debris flowed down the river along with the surging water. The violent explosion even caused some fine cracks to appear on the dam, greatly extending the time required for repairs. The cowboys cheered loudly, celebrating their hard-won victory. Many people hugged each other and cried. They finally regained the water source they depended on for survival. Thank you so much. Without you, we don't know when we will get rid of this curse. Old Tom held John to eye's hand and was so excited that he didn't know what to say. Don't be too happy. This is just the beginning. It's far from the time to open the champagne. Those capital consortia will not be willing to fail this time. For the benefit of this area, they have been planning for several years. They will not do it at all. If we give up easily, we must be careful of their revenge. John Tuohai said. A few years ago, old Tom would have patted his chest and said, We are confident in guarding our homeland. However, everything in the past few years has shattered his rhetoric. He now puts all his hopes on Zhang Tuohai. What do you think we should do? What can we do to keep our home? Old Tom asked earnestly. Well, Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and then said, Your current strength is still too poor. If they want to use strong force, you will not be able to resist. So the first step is to improve your strength. How to improve? Old Tom asked. Follow me. Zhang Tuohai took Old Tom and the others back to the ammunition depot. At this time, the two guards in the sentry box were already drunk. Zhang Tuohai skillfully took the keys from the two people and opened the warehouse door. Take whatever you want. As long as you need it. You can move it away. Zhang Tuohai pointed at the items in the ammunition depot and said. Old Tom was stunned and looked at Zhang Tuohai in disbelief. Is this really okay? Don't worry. I gave you the money. These are all bought by us. Zhang Tuohai said, taking out a few crumpled bills from his pocket and throwing them on the guard's table. Old Tom looked at Zhang Tuohai, at the sleeping guard, then at the ammunition in the ammunition depot, and finally made up his mind to do it, since no one stood up to speak for them when their interests were harmed, and they were allowed to be exploited by gangs. They could only take up arms to defend their power. A group of cowboys broke into the ammunition depot and removed everything they thought was useful. By the time they left, the ammunition depot was as clean as if it had just been cleaned. Not even a single 9mm bullet was left. After the last cowboy left, Zhang Tuohai thoughtfully locked the door again and hung the key back on the guard. The group of people drove away from here and returned to Old Tom's farm. After arriving at the farm, Zhang Tuohai asked them to establish a joint guarantee system. As long as one person is in crisis, the other farmers are obliged to help. Only by forming them into a whole can the power of the group be valued. After counting for a long time, Zhang Tuohai put them back. He knew that all this had just taken shape, and it would take some training to train them into usable strength. By the time, they returned to the farm. 
The water from the dam had filled the crystal lake and continued to flow around through the previous river channel. It flowed into various farms along the diversion canals. The dry land was irrigated and the land became green again, moisturized and revitalized. With the restoration of water sources, farmers and urban residents of Straw City no longer need to rely on coke for drinking water. For a time, the river outside the city was crowded with people fetching water, and many children even jumped in, playing happily in the river. Coke sales in the city plummeted. This phenomenon immediately attracted the attention of the distributors. When they came to the river to check, they were shocked and immediately wanted to ask the gang for help to stop the people from getting water. However, they then remembered that last night, the straw the gangs in the city were completely eradicated, except for a few truant kids and the dozens of corpses hanging from the street lamps. There were not even a single gang member in the city. The dealers had no choice but to go to the police station. However, almost all the people in the police station were involved with gangsters. Some fled overnight, and some hid in other places and did not dare to come back. The entire police station was almost empty. In desperation, these dealers had no choice but to go to the coke sellers and threaten them to give up their status as distributors if the problem was not solved. The interests of sellers and distributors are the same. Both prosper and suffer. After seeing this situation, they immediately sent someone to contact the direction of the dam. Only then did they learn that the dam had been blown up. It was initially estimated that it would need to be repaired. It took more than 10 years. When he learned that his financial path was cut off, the seller was immediately furious and immediately sent someone to contact the manufacturer, claiming that if the problem was not solved, everyone would bear the lost benefits. After Coke Company received the information, it was naturally unwilling to lose such a huge profit in vain. It immediately contacted the Straw City Council directly and requested that the matter be resolved immediately. Otherwise, this year's tax revenue will not be guaranteed. After hearing the news, the Straw City Council was frightened. The finances of Straw City mainly rely on taxes from large companies such as Coke. If these companies refuse to pay taxes, the entire Straw City's finances will immediately go bankrupt. The bankruptcy of the city's finances is a trivial matter, and the profits they can make will be greatly reduced. This is a matter of life and death. After receiving the call, the Straw City Council immediately ordered the garrison to drive away the crowd by the river and arrest the murderers involved in the bombing in order to extinguish the Coke Company's anger. Cassandra, the leader of the garrison, personally led people to the ammunition depot to collect weapons and equipment. When Cassandra arrived, the two guards were still asleep. These damn rubbish! Cassandra swept the wine bottles off the table and picked up the two people. The two guards were still confused until now. When they saw it was Cassandra, they came to their senses and hurriedly saluted. Hurry up and open the door for me. I want to get the weapon. Cassandra roared loudly. Yes. The two guards immediately ran to the door of the ammunition depot, tremblingly took out the key and opened the door. Then, what they saw was a clean, empty room without even a straw. Chapter 941 posted online. Who can tell me what is going on? Cassandra looked at the ammunition warehouse, where the mice were about to run away in tears. She was trembling with anger, although he also knew that the people below had been secretly selling arms. And even he had received a lot of deserved benefits. But this is that too much? The entire warehouse was evacuated without even a bullet left. How could his men complete the task? Burning fire sticks? The most irritating thing is that he was not paid for such a large deal. This is the most intolerable. You too. Come here and explain what's going on. Cassandra pointed at the two guards and shouted loudly, spitting stars gradually reaching their faces. However, the two guards didn't even dare to wipe it. They were also completely confused at this time. Although they are a little greedy and often resell privately without paying dividends to their superiors, they are still relatively limited. They know where the bottom line is and can always ensure the minimum action needs of a team. Yesterday, they clearly saw so many arms coming. But how come they were all gone in the blink of an eye? Where are my large piles of arms? The two people's minds were buzzing, and they were quickly wondering which link had gone wrong, causing such a large amount of arms to disappear without a trace. Waste! Seeing the two guards at a loss, Cassandra became even more angry and slapped the two guards to the ground. Catch them and send them to a reform camp. Don't let me know the whereabouts of their weapons. The reform camp is an advanced experience brought back by the Straw City Counselors, who visited the lighthouse country. It was born out of the private prisons of the lighthouse country. The core is to force the prisoners to do heavy manual labor, such as plantations, mines, etc., without any compensation, and all the income will be paid. 
the profits all went into the pockets of the MPs. At first, the personnel structure of the reform camp was still dominated by criminals. However, because the deputies did not care about the life and death of the prisoners and drove them like cattle and horses, the mortality rate of prisoners soared and the number of personnel was reduced by more than 50% in order to make up for the staff gap. Even they also set a target for the police officers. Every month they must catch a certain number of people and send them to reform camps. If they fail, their bonuses will be deducted. The extremely high death rate made everyone blush. Compared with it, the private prisons in the lighthouse country were no different from paradise. When they heard that they were about to be sent to a reform camp, the two guards were dumbfounded. They quickly hugged Cassandra's thighs and cried to Cassandra to let them go. However, Cassandra was not willing to listen to their excuses. She kicked her aside and was pulled away by the guards. The weapons depot was emptied, but troops still had to be sent out. Fortunately, Straw City is not at peace all year round, and gangs fight almost every day. In order to have enough strength to protect themselves, he asked each of his men to carry a gun and three magazines of bullets to maintain deterrence, but not bulletproof. However, high-end items such as clothing, grenades, and rocket launchers are all stored in the ammunition depot. To deal with a bunch of country bumpkins, these things are probably enough. Cassandra thought to herself. Let's go. Take these guys to suppress the rebellion in Straw City. Cassandra raised the AK-74 in her hand and shouted. Boss, do you see the warehouse? An adjutant asked cautiously. This is not simple. Just say that it was consumed when suppressing the rebellion. If that doesn't work, just say that there was a fire in the warehouse and all the weapons were burned. As for the blame, it is the two guards. Find an opportunity and let they commit suicide out of fear of crime. Do you understand? Cassandra glanced at the adjutant, her eyes full of ferocity. Understood. The adjutant nodded. Understanding. Apparently this kind of thing has happened a lot. Cassandra herself led her men and rushed towards Straw City in a second-hand Hummer. The dust was flying along the way, and Cassandra led everyone to the Crystal Lake outside Straw City. At this time, Crystal Lake was crowded with people. Although the water level of Crystal Lake had just been restored, the surrounding ecology had not yet recovered. So the lake was still very turbid. However, this did not stop the joy of the citizens of Straw City. A large number of people gathered next to Crystal Lake, singing and dancing to celebrate that they had regained water, no more having to endure expensive and limited drinking water. Let me disperse all the mobs. Those who refuse to leave will be arrested as thugs and sent to a reform camp. Cassandra pointed the trigger at the sky. Da da da. A barrage of bullets shot into the sky. The sound of his gunfire was like an order and his group of men were like hyenas out of their cages, barking and driving the hummy towards the crowd. Seeing the wolf like Cassandra and his men, the citizens who were celebrating by the river screamed and ran away as if they had seen the devil in hell. There was no way. Cassandra had such a vicious reputation. When the water supply was cut off a few years ago, the citizens of Straw City organized a demonstration, which almost stormed into the parliament building. At that time, the congressman released some demonstrators. Cassandra, also known as the Hound. As soon as Cassandra took action, she allowed her men to open fire freely, shooting down demonstrators. Caught off guard, the citizens suffered heavy casualties. As many as a thousand people died directly at gunpoint, and thousands more were injured. It was even harder to count those who were taken away and sent to reform camps. Cassandra the evil name in the straw market has the effect of stopping children crying at night. Go! Disperse them all! And arrest people at random! It happens that the reform camp is short of people again. So we take this opportunity to replenish them. Cassandra shouted. Dozens of Humvees drove citizens through the crowd. The remaining people jumped out of the trucks and pulled nets to disperse the citizens. For a while, the entire Crystal Lake was in chaos. Of course, none of this escaped the surveillance of a drone, which captured everything clearly. How do you know that Straw City will send people to suppress it? Could it be that you installed a listening device around the congressman? Miranda saw all this clearly on the monitoring screen and asked in confusion. Although I have not installed eavesdropping devices around congressmen, I understand that the filthiness of those politicians is the greed of capital. In order to monopolize the water resources in this place, they even build dams to block the rivers. What else can they not do? Dare you do it? If I blow up the dam, I can force them to give up this profit? What do you think? They will definitely resist. And they will never give up until they have to. Zhang Tuohai said with a sneer. In his original world, he had seen many such dramas, and had even heard of more exaggerated and sensational ones. 
in comparison. Cassandra's operation could only be regarded as a basic operation. Then what should we do? Miranda asked. Simple. Post these video evidence online. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Chapter 942 Use Magic to Defeat Magic. Send it online? Is it useful? Miranda was puzzled. Let's go. Those holy mothers of the white left will be on our side. Although they can't actually change anything. They can only shout on the internet and then hold a few demonstrations. However, as long as the momentum is big enough, it will make those feather-loving manufacturers and politicians dare not blatantly support the straw city councilors and cut off these foreign aid. These guys will become passive water and it will be much easier to clean up. As Jiang Tuohai spoke, he began to cut the video at various sensational titles and post it on many social media. At the same time, we also found some trolls and spent high prices to promote them, directly putting several videos on the hot search list. The military government brutally suppresses free people. The explicit title directly touched the sensitive nerves of the Baiswa Madonnas, and they all clicked on the video to watch. All the people with high praises at the bottom of the video are the sailors hired by Zhang Tuohai. Even the content of the comments was written by Zhang Tuohai himself. Some people broke the news about the location of the incident. Some people broke the news about the incident. Some people broke the news about the casualties. Some people broke the news about the consequences of being arrested. And there were links in the comments that directly led to the video of the reform camp. Needless to say, these were all taken by Zhang Tuohai using a military drone obtained from a warehouse. In addition to comments about the incident itself, there are also a lot of reflections in the comments. What us too? What is? Laughing at 50 steps and laughing at 100 steps. What about? This kind of thing happens in my state too. If you don't believe me, go search for Teflon cancer-causing incidents. What? If we don't support them, it will be our turn next. There are even a lot of rhythmic remarks such as, Why don't you reflect today? Lighthouse country waits for the free people. It directly tied the safety of the citizens of Straw City to the reputation of the lighthouse country, causing many Madonnas of the white left to fall directly into it, pushing public opinion up again. Faced with such huge traffic, many environmental organizations, human rights organizations, and animal protection organizations are all trying to get a piece of the pie to increase their presence. The fate of many big bosses triggered a second explosion of public opinion and caused an even greater sensation. Various organizations have also opened donation channels to call on the public to donate to save the free citizens of this poor country next door. When the major media saw such a hot topic, they naturally could not stay out of it. They all personally stepped in and sent reporters to the front line to obtain news materials. Reporters from all walks of life, carrying long guns and short cannons, directly blocked the entrances of the military camps and reform camps and demanded interviews. Some reporters also directly blocked the door of the congressman's home and demanded explanations. The microphone was almost shoved into the congressman's mouth. Facing these foreign reporters, these congressmen were miserable. If you are a reporter from your own country, you can just send your private bodyguard to solve the problem. However, these reporters are all foreigners especially the powerful country in the north. Their main income comes from capitalists in the north. If they act rashly, it is likely to cause international disputes and cause damage to their pockets. This concern made them very uncomfortable. But they were helpless. The worst thing is that many reporters blocked the entrance of the reform camp, preventing the prisoners from going out to work, resulting in a reduction in their income. Forget it. Some reporters even started trying to dig tunnels into the prison in order to obtain first-hand interview materials. If he hadn't been discovered, these guys would have done it. Just when these congressmen were busy running around, Zhang Tuohai took action again. He entered Cassandra's mansion late at night. He dragged Cassandra, who was sleeping with her two lovers in her arms, from the bed to the floor. What? You asked me to take people to the lighthouse country. Are you kidding me? Cassandra looked at Zhang Tuohai in front of her in shock, feeling like she was dreaming. Act now or die. Maybe you can pick a street lamp you like better. Zhang Tuohai said coldly. I'll give you three seconds to choose. Three, two, one inch. Cassandra was frightened when she felt the rope around her neck. I'm going. I'm taking everyone with me. I'm going to take everyone with me tomorrow. If not today. Cassandra wailed. Very good. Wouldn't it be better to do this earlier? Zhang Tuohai let go of the rope in his hand. Remember to leave early. If I see you staying here tomorrow, you know the consequences. Zhang Tuohai patted Cassandra's face and said with a smile. Understood. I understand. Cassandra gasped for air. 
but she didn't hear an echo for a long time. He raised his head in confusion and found that there was no one around him. Where are the people? Cassandra looked around suspiciously, and there was no sign of Zhang Tuahai anywhere in the room. Has long since disappeared. If it weren't for the rope around her neck, Cassandra would have thought everything just happened was a dream. Did I see a ghost? Cassandra was covered in cold sweat. He was sitting on the ground wearing a rough dress. A lover reacted and came down to help him, but was roughly pushed away by him. Get out of the way and don't bother me. Cassandra pushed her lover aside, then put on her clothes, picked up guns and ammunition, opened the safe, wrapped all the knives inside around her body, and hurried to find her team. Now that he has decided to leave, he should take all his team with him. He has offended too many people before, and countless people want her life. If he dares to go to the lighthouse country alone, he may not be halfway there, eaten and skinned alive. Soon, Cassandra arrived at the military camp and pressed the emergency assembly bell. Ten minutes later, a group of people lined up in a panic on the school field. I have an opportunity to make a fortune, but there are some risks. If you are willing to follow me, take a step forward. If you are not willing to follow, just leave. I will never stop you. Cassandra didn't dare to run away directly, but made a big picture. The eyes of those below lit up when they heard about the opportunity to make a fortune. The reason why they were willing to follow Cassandra was just to make a fortune. When they heard that Cassandra had a way out, it was natural that she was willing to take them with her. They all expressed their willingness to follow Cassandra through mountains of swords and seas of fire. Okay, if nothing else, I will definitely share the difficulties and blessings with everyone when we get there. Cassandra waved her hand, and everyone boarded the military vehicle directly and drove towards the border. Are we just going to let them go? Miranda looked at the leaving motorcade on the monitor and asked with some reluctance. Do you think they can get through the border smoothly? Zhang Tuai asked with a smile. Chapter 943 Solution They have guns and people. So how can they not cross the border? Even though as ordinary people can climb over the border wall, there is no reason why they can't cross the border. Miranda clapped her fingers and talked about the advantages of this group of people. You are right. It is precisely because they are not ordinary people that they cannot pass through the border. Zhang Tuai said. How come? Miranda was very puzzled. First of all, you have to understand why ordinary people can pass through the border. Zhang Tuai said. Isn't it possible that border management is lax and there are too many loopholes? Allowing people to cross it casually? Miranda asked confused. You're only right about one aspect. Zhang Tuai waved his hand. There are indeed the problems you mentioned on the border. Border management is lax and large areas are unmanned, resulting in loopholes everywhere in the border area. Many people cross the border through various routes to reach the lighthouse country. But, you the loopholes we see are actually screening mechanisms. Screening mechanism? Miranda asked confused. Yes, it is the screening mechanism. First of all, you have to understand the reason why the guards of the lighthouse countries are so lax. Apart from cutting expenses, the most important thing is that the lighthouse country itself is an immigration country. As the post-war baby boomers age. In addition, the cost of the domestic labor force is too high and various benefits and subsidies have to be provided. Therefore, illegal immigrants have become their best way to supplement the labor force. There is no need to provide various welfare guarantees or various rights. You only need to give a fraction of the money to the domestic labor force to hire a qualified laborer. The labor cost is greatly reduced. Moreover, even if there is an accident, don't worry. They are not citizens of this country anyway. So just throw them out. Just tell the police in charge of immigration and they can be sent out of the country directly without any compensation. It is a perfect consumable. And this long unguarded border is a deletion mechanism. Only those who can travel this distance are qualified labor force for them. Otherwise, they will fall into this no man's land. What if it's a rich person? Miranda asked. Rich people naturally have their own paths. After entering a lighthouse country, their money will naturally be invested in designated industries. Otherwise, the Immigration Bureau, police and gangs will come to make trouble and use your money to support the country's population in exchange for the support of voters. This is their core appeal, and it doesn't matter to them whether you make money or lose money, John Tuai said. So what does any of this have to do with Cassandra? Miranda asked. The bad thing about Cassandra is that he is neither of the above two. They have combat skills and enough weapons. The long-term independence has made them lose the desire to work and want to stand firm in the lighthouse country. Heal. To obtain survival resources. They have only one way. And that is to join a gang. 
or become a gang. Moreover, with their joining, the local gangs will definitely reject them. If they have enough weapons, war will become an inevitable choice. What do you think will happen? John Tuohai asked with a smile. Peace in a place is essentially the balance and compromise of various local forces. Once new forces join, new battles will inevitably occur. Only when a new balance is reached can peace be restored. And here it tends to a new balance in the process. Someone will always pay the price. That price is the taxpayer. John Tuohai spread his hands. Those police officer salaries come from taxpayers. Therefore, in order to protect taxpayers and protect their own salaries, they will not let Cassandra and the others enter. What if they get in by luck? Miranda asked worriedly. Then let them go doggy dog. Whoever wins and who loses won't lose anything to us. Right? John Tuohai asked with a smile. It seems to make sense. Miranda nodded slightly. But at the same time, she felt that this matter seemed to be full of blood. You must know that what Cassandra took away was several battalions of equipment. Even if it was just light infantry, it was powerful for those gangsters. The armed forces will not be quiet until a river of blood is shed. Don't blame yourself. John Tuohai patted Miranda on the shoulder. Think about it carefully. Who has come out long ago like Cassandra? It's a lighthouse country. John Tuohai asked and answered himself. If the lighthouse country hadn't used capital to destroy local agriculture, overthrown the democratically elected president, supported a large number of comprador politicians, and turned the chicken taco country into a dumping ground for products, then people like Cassandra would usually you will become a farmer on a farm or an ordinary worker in a factory. After a day's work, you will have a nice drink in a tavern and then go home to sleep. Although your life will not be rich and wealthy, it will be better than peace and stability. However, for their own benefit, capital has turned the wonderful chicken taco country into what it is now. With greedy politicians, rampant gangs, cut off water sources, and scrupulous coke dealers, and countless industrial speeds. Food, completely turning the people of chicken taco country into slaves providing wealth. I just returned to them the consequences of their long-standing evil. Is there anything wrong in what I did? Zhang Tuhai asked. That seems to be the case. Miranda thought about it seriously and had to admit that what Zhang Tuohai said was indeed reasonable. If it weren't for the lighthouse country and the capital giants headed by Coke, the chicken taco country would never be what it is today. Then what should we do? Miranda asked. Of course, it's to give them back the evil they sowed, Zhang Tuohai said. It's not enough to send away the gangsters and gangsters who were born in straw. Our eyes should not just focus on straw city. This phenomenon widely exists throughout the chicken taco country and their tentacles have even spread throughout Latin America. Chicken Tacos China and the southern countries are all facing this problem. And the evil consequences left by lighthouses are everywhere. Therefore, we must also spread our abilities, collect all these evil consequences, and send them back to the lighthouse country. Since all this happened to them a long time ago, it should be resolved by them. What do you mean? Miranda seemed to understand what Zhang Tuohai meant. But she couldn't grasp the clue. It was like a cloud was flying in front of her but she couldn't catch it. I still have more than 100 million in funds in my account. I plan to use this fund to establish a foundation and a non-governmental organization. On the one hand, I will bribe the white left and the navy to build momentum in the lighthouse country. On the other hand, I will bring Latin America all the gangsters, prostitutes and villains gathered together and open a channel to send them all to the lighthouse country. Chapter 944 Monopoly Establishing a foundation? Is this possible? After hearing Zhang Tuohai's opinion, she felt as if it was a fantasy. Packing up all the villains in Latin America and stuffing them into the lighthouse country is a bit unrealistic no matter how you think about it. However, ever since she met Zhang Tuohai, she seemed to have been witnessing miracles. One after another that was impossible to achieve in Zhang Tuohai's hands. For the past few days, she seemed to be in a dream. There seems to be real hope. What should I do? Miranda also became excited at the thought of Straw City chicken taco country, and even the entire Latin American region returning to a better era, as if she was about to devote herself to a great cause, and her whole body was full of energy. To accomplish this feat, I cannot rely on my own strength. We have to form a team and rely on the collective strength, John Tuai said. Although he is super powerful and can clean up gangs in a city overnight, the whole of Latin America is really too big. It would take him until the year of the monkey to clean up one city after another by himself so he still has to form a team. Use the power of the team to leverage this matter. And he only needs to control the general direction and give guiding opinions. By the way, 
You tell your uncle to gather the surrounding farmers and form an agricultural association. On the one hand, it will stabilize the surrounding situation. After all, the entire straw city has been cleared of evil forces, and it is inevitable that there will be gangs from other areas. They will take a fancy to this area and want to extend their tentacles here. All we need to do is to hold on to our fruits and prevent those gangs from continuing to ride on our heads. Zhang Tuhai said, This is a good idea. My uncle will definitely agree. Miranda said excitedly. She was also worried that gangs from other areas would extend their sphere of influence here. If that was the case, all their previous hard work would be in vain. If the surrounding farmers could unite and use their guns, no gangster dares to get involved easily. So the entire straw city will be safe. Following this thought, Miranda felt that this model could also be applied to other cities. As long as all farmers can unite, those gangsters will not dare to bully them anymore. After all, farmers also have the power to defend themselves. She excitedly told Zhang to hide her thoughts. Form an agricultural association? That's a good idea. Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. He is worried that he lacks the force to maintain the implementation of such a plan. You know, the people he wants to transport are not just good men and women. They are extremely vicious gangsters and villains. If he wants to transport them to the border, package them and throw them to the lighthouse country, it cannot be done with propaganda. It also requires a lot of force. Implementation of the plan. Otherwise, his plan will be just like flowers in the mirror with no possibility of being realized. Originally, he wanted to solve this problem through mercenaries. Mercenaries are natural consumables, with basic combat effectiveness guaranteed. But the problem is also very prominent. That is, mercenaries only recognize money and not people. They will follow whoever gives them more money, and their loyalty cannot be guaranteed. Moreover, the discipline of mercenaries is almost zero. Wherever they go, they will cause great damage to the public security wherever they appear. They may even have a greater impact on residents than gangs. This is also a headache for Zhang Tuohai. With Miranda, this method is much easier. Cowboys usually have nothing to do except drink and practice guns. In addition, there are many wild animals. These cowboys' marksmanship is pretty good, and their basic combat effectiveness is guaranteed. Moreover, because they are all natives of their hometown, those cowboys will definitely be very attentive when defending their farms and do not have to worry about betrayal. In addition, there are acquaintances around, and those cowboys will not act too recklessly. Their addition can solve the deterrent effect of force. As for the rest, leave it directly to the propaganda machine of the Agricultural Association. After some mental calculation, John Tuohai felt that the success rate of this plan was very high. That's it. John Tuohai slapped his thigh excitedly. You take charge of this matter. Let old Tom take the lead to become the backbone of the Agricultural Association and form a mutual protection organization. If anyone is attacked, we will work together to repel the enemy. And at the same time, we will establish industry rules. Unify prices. Increase profit margins. And avoid being bullied by acquirers again. Okay. I'll go right away. Miranda nodded and went to find Old Tom. After listening to the two people's stories, Old Tom also became excited. In addition to being oppressed by gangs, his farm is also oppressed by a series of purchasers such as United Fruit. The selling price of avocados in the lighthouse country is quite high. But the purchase prices of those profiteers are extremely low which reduces their profits to a very low level. They can barely survive. And most of the profits are lost to these middlemen. Taken away. If an association can be formed to unify external selling prices, then their profits can definitely increase significantly, and their income can also be guaranteed. I'll go find them right now. Old Tom couldn't sit still. After being bullied by the acquirer for several years, he finally found a way to fight against it. And now, he couldn't wait to tell his old friends. Old Tom drove away and within a few hours, the group of farmers gathered again at Old Tom's house. Old Tom, are you telling the truth? Can we really resist? Some cowboys asked worriedly. Others may not be guaranteed. But you know who made this suggestion? It was Zhang Tuohai. He even blew up the dam blocking the river water, allowing us to regain the freedom of drinking water. He has proven his ability. What else do you have to doubt? After hearing what Old Tom said, several people nodded in agreement. Before Zhang Tuohai, they didn't even think about blowing up the dam, and they never dreamed that this would happen. However, Zhang Tuohai helped them solve the drinking water problem in a way that they never dreamed of. Then, the matter of the acquirer seems to be nothing impossible. Moreover, 
our association will not be limited to the area around Straw City, but will develop throughout the entire state, the entire chicken taco country, and even the entire Latin America. By then, we will monopolize the entire market and give back the profits that originally belonged to us. Let's. We no longer have to be bullied by those acquirers. Old Tom's voice was impassioned, and he stood directly on the table. Everyone was inspired by Old Tom's voice and clamored to join the association. In this chaotic atmosphere, the Agricultural Association was born. Chapter 945, Counselor's Countermeasures When the Agricultural Association was established in Old Tom's home, the councilmen of Straw City suddenly found themselves losing control of Straw City. Previously, apart from some public affairs, they relied on water sources, money and various violent institutions to control Straw City. Now that the dam has been blown up, the water source is free and anyone can use it. With water, everything is possible. Most of the areas here are farms, and it is unrealistic to control it through food. In terms of money, due to the loss of control over the water source, the Coke Company's sales plummeted and tax revenue plummeted. The Coke Company also issued an ultimatum. If they could not control the situation, they would completely cut off all support for them. In other words, if they can't restore the environment to a situation that is favorable to Coke, they may be replaced. Desperate to jump over the wall, they wanted to use violent organizations such as the military, police, and gangs to solve the problem. However, they were shocked to find that the military, police, and gangs in Straw City had been wiped out. Cassandra, who they had high hopes for, even brought their last weapons with them. The force fled to the lighthouse country overnight. It is said that they found a smuggler and entered the lighthouse country through a tunnel. They have already taken root in the slums of a border city. What should we do? Everyone needs to think of a solution. If this continues, we will be finished. Without taxes. Let alone the Coke company. The president alone can replace us. A councilman asked, What else can we do? We can no longer solve the problem with money. And the armed forces in our hands have been eliminated. What else can we do? The only way now is to reduce losses. Sell the enterprises we can still intervene in. And then make the last profit. Pen and then ran to the lighthouse country to work as an apartment owner, said another congressman. Apartment? Another congressman sneered while holding a thick cigar. Do you know how many people are bankrupt in the lighthouse country now? A large number of middle-class people go bankrupt every day, become homeless, and rely on relief to live. Now there are a lot of real estate if the house is vacant. Do you think it can be rented out now? How long will it take to pay back the cost? 30 years or 40 years? Furthermore, do you think we will have a good ending if we go to the lighthouse? When we go there, I'm afraid what will greet us is not the free air and a beautiful life, but dump trucks and frozen accounts. And then we work hard to everything stolen become someone else's property. Then what do you think we should do? The congressman asked angrily. Only here can we have the best life. So a straw city must not be lost. We not only have to sit here, but also sit firmly. Only by showing our value will we not be abandoned, said the cigar-smoking congressman. Okay. Stop talking nonsense. Malthus. We all know that you have the most clever ideas. Tell me quickly. Speaker Lavrov said. What I mean is very simple. We must not leave Straw City. Only if we sit here, those people above will give us money and rights. If we lose Straw City, everything will leave us. Malthus took a puff of his cigar and said calmly. Then how should we stay without money and guns? Speaker Lavrov asked. Who said we have no money? Malthus asked with a sneer. In the past 10 years in Straw City, you have put it in your own pockets. Matthew, I remember that your brother and sister run a construction company and have undertaken dozens of municipal projects in recent years. Almost none of the project was completed, but the budget went over budget by 300%. Where did the extra money go? Sorry, your wife and your family are in the middle management of Coke Company. They have nothing to do every day but receive high salary and dividends that are not in line with their status. Do you need to explain? Carl, can you explain what's going on with a huge shortfall in the straw bank? Melinda, I remember that your casino has never paid a penny in taxes, and it doesn't have a license. The faces of the congressmen whose names were called did not look good. Okay, Malthus, I didn't call you here to be a prosecutor to examine everyone, but to come up with ideas. If we all fall, your smuggling route will not be preserved, and everyone will die, Speaker Lavrov said coldly. Dear Mr. Speaker, I have no other intention. I just want to explain your financial situation, Malthus said quietly while smoking a cigar. 
in the more than 10 years in Straw City. You have saved seven or eight figures. Value. Now that Straw City is encountering problems, it is time for us to work together. So I hope that everyone will spend some of their money. This is also an investment for our better tomorrow. Isn't it? Lavrov turned his head and glanced at the surrounding MPs, then nodded. I can convince them to take out the money. But you need to tell them the plan and let us judge whether it is feasible. Of course. We will also send people to supervise this. The money is used to ensure the safety of our property. Of course. Malthus nodded. You know that I am in the smuggling business. So I am familiar with the underground forces on the border and in the south. Not long ago, I got involved with the green flag in the south. Green battle flag? Hearing Malthus's words, the surrounding MPs couldn't help but take a breath of air. There's no one in Chicken Taco Country who doesn't know the name of the Green Battle Flag. This is a powerful black organization that made its fortune in the early years by reselling various hallucinogens to lighthouse countries, and even developed a method of transporting hallucinogens using gliders and submarines. After accumulating a rich net worth, the Green War Flag extended its tentacles to various black fields. They committed human trafficking, organ trafficking, smuggling, extortion, casinos, and loan sharking. Almost all crimes that can be found in criminal law. The previous president of the chicken roll country saw that the Green War flag was rich and wanted to cut it off. So he directly mobilized the army and wanted to kill a fat pig for the new year. However, he did not expect that the Green War flag had penetrated almost one-third of the army and for one-third of the air force, two-thirds of the border guards, one quarter of the police, and almost all of the special forces. Coupled with the countless desperados gathered and the advanced weapons and equipment smuggled from the lighthouse country, half of the counterinsurgency troops rebelled directly as soon as the war started. If the lighthouse country didn't need a peaceful chicken taco country to suck blood, the Green War flag might just have unified the chicken taco country. Despite this, the previous president resigned sadly and was shot to death at home. The Green War flag actually controls the southern territory of the chicken roll country and is a local emperor. If the green flag can be brought in, it does not seem to be difficult to regain control of the straw city. Thinking of this, the eyes of many congressmen shone. Chapter 946 The Crisis of the Agricultural Association But will the green flag be willing to help us regain control of the straw market? A council member asked cautiously. I can guarantee this. Malthus nodded. I know the green flag very well. After the last war, they have always been resentful about their inability to control the country. In addition, since they only actually control the southern region, as a result, many of their transportation lines were cut off, resulting in a significant reduction in transportation capacity, increased transportation costs, and a lot of compression in profits. Therefore, over the years, Green War Flag has been committed to finding ways to regain control of northern towns and reopen land transportation lines. Methods. They have needs. We have needs. And that's the cornerstone of our cooperation. Malthus blew out a smoke ring and said calmly. Many congressmen discussed with each other and felt that this statement was very reliable. The speaker led many members to discuss. And then said to Malthus. We can provide $10 million in advance to win over the green flag. But we have to send a joint team to supervise the use of the money. If it happens, we will give you an additional benefit fee. It's my pleasure. Malta said with a smile, but behind the shining lenses, there was a hint of fierceness in his eyes that was hard to detect. The money was quickly transferred to an anonymous account. The password was in the hands of the accompanying team. Each person had a password. Only when everyone agreed could the money be withdrawn from the account, ensuring to the greatest extent that no one could embezzle it privately. Malthus did not delay, and immediately took a private plane to the city where the Green Flag Branch was located and then used other routes all the way to the headquarters. After many layers of inspections, the group finally met Madhu, the leader of the green flag, Lul. Both parties had their own needs and hit it off immediately. However, even so, Malta still had to pay more than six million. Immediately afterwards, the green flag sent a convoy of Humvees and armored vehicles, heading all the way towards Straw City. As a member of Parliament Malthus, the checkpoints along the way were passed unimpeded and no one dared to stop them. Looking at the straw city in the distance, Malthus's eyes were full of excitement, and he couldn't help but clenched his fists. From today on, the entire straw city will be mine. He turned his head and said to Duvalier, the team leader beside him, Mr. Duvalier, except for those inconsequential congressmen and speakers, try not to kill civilians. They are our cash cows. 
if there is any resistance, just injure them. And it can also help the pharmaceutical group generate income. Don't worry. The leader has already told us that we will act in accordance with the rules at our base camp. Duvalier opened his mouth, and his four large gold teeth shone in the sunlight. At this time, they passed by a farm. On the farm, several cowboys were building vegetable greenhouses and shells, apparently preparing to grow some tomatoes. Seeing this scene, Malthus was immediately furious. You must know that he personally implemented the ban on farmers growing vegetables on their own. He had a share in transporting convenience foods from the lighthouse country back to the country for sale. If these farmers were all on their own, growing vegetables, what market is there for his convenience foods? These damn cowboys! Straw City has only been out of control for a few days, and they started not obeying the rules. If it's a few more days late, won't the world be turned upside down? Malthus has always been merciless towards people who prevent him from making money. In the past, he would have guaranteed a phone call to ask Cassandra to lead people to use tractors to bulldoze the other party's farm in the name of illegal planting. However, now that Cassandra has fled, all he can rely on is do-do around him. Valier. He turned to Duvalier and said, Help me catch this disobedient cowboy and let him know the consequences of disobeying orders. This is easy. Hearing Malthus's words, Duvalier readily agreed and then extended his hand. Our leader said that whenever we need to take action, we need to pay. The specific cost depends on the situation. Well, it is calculated on a per capita basis. A thousand knives per head. A total of three thousand knives. Hearing Duvalier's words, Malthus was so angry that he almost vomited blood. He didn't expect that Duvalier was so cheating. Asking for three thousand dollars just to help teach a few cowboys a lesson. Okay, I agree. But I can't sign a check for you until I return to the city. Malthus's heart was bleeding. But he had to teach these disobedient people some lessons. Otherwise, where would his prestige as a congressman lie? Who will listen to him in the future? It seems that we have to find a reason to confiscate this farm and resell it for a fortune to make money. Malthus secretly made his own little calculation in his heart. Duvalier was also very happy when he heard that Malthus agreed. He just said it casually. But he didn't expect that the other party actually agreed. What a fat sheep. Looks like he's going to make a good profit. Duvalier got out of the car with his men, found a few good men, and walked over with assault rifles. Seeing the menacing group of people, a few cowboys wanted to resist, but a few people fired a few shots around them, which stopped them. No matter how fast they run, they are not as fast as bullets. If they want to run now, they can only be shot into honeycombs. Without a second end, several cowboys were dragged over without any resistance. And then, they were pushed to the ground and beaten until their faces were swollen. Even Malthus was so angry that he came over and kicked him hard. If it weren't for these troublesome cowboys, he wouldn't have spent the $3,000 in vain. Brother damn maggots, take them all to the reform camp. I want them to stay there for a hundred years. They won't even think about coming out until they fully compensate me for my losses. Malthus said angrily. The three unlucky cowboys were escorted away. Only the little sister who was cooking in the kitchen escaped. After everyone left, the youngest sister secretly called Old Tom. Why did someone capture Eugene? I understand. Old Tom hung up the phone angrily, grabbed the shotgun on the wall, and hung a bullet belt on his body. Uncle, what are you going to do? Miranda asked anxiously. Eugene was captured by a group of armed men. I have to go and see, Old Tom said. But there are so many of them. What can you do alone? Miranda said anxiously. Then you can't just look at it like this. Old Tom was dissatisfied. Can everyone from the Agricultural Association come together? Didn't we just sign a mutual aid alliance? This is just an opportunity to train our troops. If we can survive this crisis, the Agricultural Association will be truly established. Zhang Tuahai said from the side. Chapter 947 Bloody Banquet A team cannot unite without going through difficulties. And it does not have that kind of core cohesion. This is the case for a startup agricultural association. It has just been established. Although it has common interests and demands, it has not experienced common suffering and has not experienced the test of blood and fire. It is difficult to grow up healthily. Now, here comes the whetstone. Our establishment of an agricultural association and the signing of a mutual security alliance are not just a piece of pretty paper, but real actions. If we don't take care of it this time, the entire agricultural association will be nothing but empty talk. Therefore, we must save it. This is about our better tomorrow. Zhang Tuahai made his position clear. The Agricultural Association must fight this battle. 
and it must be fought cleanly and beautifully. Otherwise, there will be no more fun in the future. Old Tom also understands this truth. And he hopes that the Agricultural Association can continue to operate more than Zhang Tuohai. The Agricultural Association is just a tool for Zhang Tuohai. When it doesn't work, he just leaves and replaces it with another one. But for Old Tom, it is the future of a prosperous farm. I'm going to summon them right away. I believe they can figure out how to proceed in the future. Old Tom put on his cowboy hat and went to gather his companions. After arresting a few people, Malthus felt much better. The people with the green battle flag entered the straw market in a swagger. As for the three unlucky guys, they were directly thrown into the reform camp to perform hard labor. As for the trial, it's enough to just write down files and court trial records and have them filed. As for the truth, does it matter? Because of the advance notice. Speaker Lavrov set up a reception banquet at the most luxurious hotel in Straw City. Specifically to receive the green flag-bearing people. Maduro and his men are a group of desperados. They live a life of licking blood on the tip of a knife. They sleep with one eye open. It is difficult to have peace of mind. Now they have seen so many delicious foods. Naturally. I won't care so much about fine wine. I'll enjoy it first. A group of rough guys started eating and drinking loudly in the hotel. Soon. The luxurious hall was in a mess. Many waiters in beautiful clothes were harassed. From time to time, sharp horns came from the hall, causing everyone laughed. Looking at the noisy scene in front of him, Lavra frowned. He found this group of people to help him manage the straw market, not to cause trouble for him. Can you ask them to restrain themselves? Lavra frowned and asked Malthus. Why? Don't you like such a beautiful symphony? Malthus asked with a smile. If they are not restrained, they will destroy our straw market, Lavrov said displeasedly. What the straw market needs is rules, not destruction. No, before discussing this issue, I want to correct a mistake. Malthus lit the cigar in his hand and said leisurely, It is my straw market, not yours. What do you mean? Lavrov felt something was wrong, and the bodyguard behind him touched his hand to his lower back. Boom, a gunshot blew the bodyguard's head open. Then, Gunshots like exploding beans rang out in the entire hall. The people with the green battle flag suddenly went into action and killed all the congressmen and their bodyguards who came to accompany them. Just now, they were holding each other's necks and fighting each other for drinks. The next second just stabbed the knife directly in the chest. The whole hall was filled with the smell of blood and gun smoke. The waiters screamed and ran, trying to escape. However, the people with the green battle flag were well prepared. Someone had already guarded several entrances and exits, controlling everyone to ensure that no one could escape. Those non-target waiters were driven to the corner and squatted obediently with their heads in their hands, waiting for their fate to be judged. As for the rest, they began to clean the battlefield, count the corpses, and finish off the wounds one by one. You? What are you doing? Lavrov was also shot in the abdomen, covering the wound and staring at Malthus. You have been in this position for too long. It's time for me to sit down. Don't worry. I will send your family down to stay with you soon. Malta said as he took a gold-plated desert eagle from his assistant and pulled the trigger on Lavrov's head. Boom. The body fell to the ground. Everyone is settled. What you promised us. Maduro came over and asked Malthus. Don't worry. I will definitely do what I promised. From today on, all the underground industries in Straw City will be handed over to you. However, you must make Straw City return to its previous situation and make Coca-Cola drinking water again, Malta said with burning eyes. Don't worry. We are good at this matter, but we are not good at it. Maduro was full of confidence. Just when the two were about to drink for future cooperation, an assistant suddenly ran in in a panic and shouted to Malthus. My lord. Sir. Something is wrong. The reform camp has been breached. What? Tell me how it was breached. Malthus's face was full of displeasure. He had just ascended the throne of the uncrowned king of Straw City. But when he turned around, the reform camp was breached. Wasn't this a slap in the face? We don't know. It was too dark. The wall was blown open. The people on the watchtower were knocked unconscious. All the people in the reform camp were rescued. We just received the notification. The person who reported the news said breathlessly, Come with me and have a look. Malta's face became a little ugly. There were too many ugly things in the reform camp. These things were all shady. Theoretically, they were still elected city councilors. It was inevitable for them to step down after such a big scandal. They even it is possible to face charges. Be sure to block the news and kill everyone involved. 
Malthus gritted his teeth and made a decision. It took him more than 10 years to reach his current position. And he will soon become the uncrowned king of Straw City. At this time, no one can stop him. And anyone who wants to stop him will be completely killed by him. Malthus took the gold-plated and diamond-encrusted Remington shotgun from his assistant. Come with me to check the situation. Malthus took a large group of people with green flags to the reform camp to check the situation. Humvees and armored vehicles passed through the streets, heading towards the reform camp. The reform camp is outside the city. It was originally an abandoned prison, surrounded by high walls. It was later transformed into a reform camp by Malthus and the others. According to the above statement, it is still a prison and receives municipal subsidies. As for the activities inside, Malthus frowned as he looked at a collapsed break more than 10 meters long on the high wall. He stretched out his hand to touch the break of the wall. He personally supervised the construction of this wall. It was the only place in the entire reform camp where no corners were cut. It was thickened. Concrete. What kind of weapon was used to create such an area of collapse? Only the army in the entire straw city has this level of firepower. Could it be that Cassandra's grandson is back to kill him again? Just when Malthus was suspicious, a sharp whistling sound came from the distance. Chapter 948, Voting Certificate What sound? Malthus turned his head and looked over in confusion. The look on Maduro's side changed drastically. He had been fighting with the gangs around him for many years. And he naturally knew what the sound was. Bazooka! Get down! Maduro fell directly to the ground. The people with green battle flags around them also followed the same example. For the rest, because they drank a lot of wine, their reactions became a little slow and they didn't have time to lie down. Boom! Rockets exploded around them. Rocket fragments shot out in the surroundings, sifting through the people who were still standing with the green battle flag. Immediately afterwards, the second and third rockets were fired one after another, and explosions were heard. Not only the people with the green battle flag were attacked, but the armored vehicles were also targeted. Boom! Boom! Accompanied by explosions. The armored vehicles turned into burning fireballs. The people with the green battle flag were originally experienced and not weak. However, they had drunk a lot just now and were knocked unconscious by the first wave of rockets. They suffered heavy losses. In addition, there were heavy and heavy blows from all directions. Machine gun fire. Even if you hide behind a car, you can still be attacked by a grenade launcher. There were drones in the sky monitoring the entire area, and some small drones carrying grenades and bombs launched suicide attacks on them. They were hit almost three-dimensionally from all directions. He was beaten to his knees in one round and couldn't even organize a manpower to fight back. As soon as someone with organizational skills appears, they will be immediately targeted by drones. And then, they will be covered by rockets and grenade launchers. Three times or two times, the heads of the entire green flag will be hacked to pieces. 88. There were only three or two big cats and kittens left, crawling among the dead and not daring to say a word. The attack was violent and rapid, and it took less than ten minutes to stop. Everyone who is still alive, immediately raise your hands and surrender, and come out slowly. This is the last chance for you. Surrender immediately. The other side took out a huge loudspeaker and started shouting, except for a few pawn boys who shakily walked out. Almost everyone responded. What if they don't surrender? Miranda asked Zhang Tuohai. Don't worry. I've been prepared. Zhang Tuohai said hello. And several drones immediately flew into the sky. These drones used to spray pesticides. But now they spray gasoline. Smelling the smell of gasoline. The expressions of several people with green battle flags changed. And they quickly raised their hands and stood up. Then more and more people stood up. Light the fire. Check if there are weapons. And question them separately. Zhang Tuohai said. The gasoline was ignited, and the raging fire quickly spread to the entire area. Some smart people who wanted to hide and shoot black guns were burned to ashes along with the corpses. Those with green battle flags were also searched and questioned separately. These people are all desperados, but they are not diehard loyalists. In order to suffer less punishment, I quickly said everything I should say and shouldn't say. After some comparisons, the information was sent to Zhang Tuohai. These are actually the people with the green battle flag. Old Tom's expression became a little ugly when he looked at the information on the document. What? Have you heard of this organization? Zhang Tuohai asked. Well, I fought with the government troops with real swords and guns back then. How could I not know that the borders are still being divided among the southern territories now? Old Tom said solemnly. Moreover, these guys are a group of out-and-out -out lunatics and butchers. They treat local people like slaves and livestock. 
if you express dissatisfaction even slightly, even if it is just in the eyes, you will be punished. To their crazy retaliation, serious injuries or even death are commonplace. Two of my relatives who lived in the southern states controlled by the green flag were beaten to death by those guys. So cruel? Jean Tuohai raised his eyebrows when he heard this. He had experienced so many worlds. So he was well informed. However, somewhat as brutal and cruel as the Green War flag could be ranked among the top few. Well, did you see the worried looks on those cowboys' faces? They were frightened by the reputation of the Green Battle flag. Jean Tuohai turned around and saw that many cowboys looked unhappy. Strong pressure? Jean Tuohai is not worried but happy. Now is a critical period for the Agricultural Association to build cohesion. It is beneficial for him to have an external pressure like the green flag here. The greater the external pressure, the easier it is to establish cohesion within the agricultural association. And everyone will think about how to unite to fight against the enemy, rather than fighting for power internally to share the cake. This green battle flag can be put to good use. Are you all afraid of the green battle flag? Zong Tuohai asked the cowboys around him. The cowboys didn't speak, but they all nodded in agreement. Since you are all afraid of them, then don't let them come. Don't let them rule you. Don't let the scars of your compatriots in the southern states appear on you again. If you don't resist, then you and your family will like those in the southern states. They have fallen into the clutches of the green battle flag and will never be able to escape. So grab your weapons and protect your farms and your families for freedom. John Tuohai raised the gun in his hand and shouted loudly. With the flames and smoke all over the ground, the cowboy's adrenaline hormone soared. With the blessing of this scene, they were naturally inspired by Zhang Tuohai's speech. For freedom. 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 A large number of cowboys raised their guns and shouted to the sky. Just like their distant ancestors. Unite and resist tyranny. The blood of a group of cowboys surged, and they cheered and chanted slogans. The blood in their bodies began to revive. They felt as if they had returned to the ancient battlefield against the British king. Push it up and submit your name. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand, and pushed out the remaining men with the green battle flag. Don't kill me. I'm a council member. I can help you control the entire straw city. I'm still useful. Seeing that John Tuohai was about to kill him, Malthus, who was the first to raise his hands in surrender, was so frightened that his legs became weak. At this time, he no longer wanted to be the local emperor of the straw market. He just wanted to survive. All money was an extraneous thing and was not as important as his life. We will get it from the straw market ourselves. So you don't need to worry. John Tuohai waved his hand and pushed Malthus out. Old Tom took the lead and shot those people. The cowboys behind followed the same example. One shot at a time. Beating the executioners with their hands covered in blood into a sieve. Let's go to Straw City. John Tuohai stood at the front of the car and shouted. Pickups started up one after another and drove towards the Straw City. Chapter 949, Taking Over the Straw City. Cars drove towards Straw City. The journey was not far. And soon the convoy arrived near the most luxurious hotel in Straw City. President, the hotel where the green battle flag is set is just ahead. A cowboy said to Zhang Tuohai, Surround, then rush in and kill all the remaining enemies. Don't let any of them escape. Zhang Tuohai ordered, Now that we have taken action, we cannot continue to look forward and backward. We must eradicate the root causes to eliminate future troubles. Otherwise, it will lead to continuous retaliation from the green battle flag. Many cowboys became braver and bolder after the previous baptism of blood and fire and rushed into the hotel with assault rifles. At this time, the hotel lobby was in a mess with cups and plates and dozens of waiters were tied up in the corner. At this time, they were covered in blood and they fell to the ground not knowing whether they were alive or dead. As for the members of the green flag who were left behind in the confession, there was no trace at all. Check if there are any injured. Call the ambulance, and the remaining people will search the hotel and keep vigil around to prevent sneak attacks. Zhang Tuohai assigned tasks one by one, and the cowboys began to get busy. After careful inspection, we finally found a few lucky ones with only minor injuries among the waiters. According to these waiters, the remaining members of the green flag learned through the intercom that the main force had been ambushed. These people immediately shot the prisoners and evacuated because everything was done in a hurry and there was no time to refill the gun. These lucky few escaped with their lives. Oops. These people with the green battle flag have escaped. What should we do? Old Tom said worriedly. Those guys will definitely come for revenge. Next time we come, we may have to face a team even larger than this. 
We, the people, may not be able to handle it. Don't worry. We are not alone. When the green battle flag comes, I will give them a big surprise. Zhang Tuai patted Old Tom on the shoulder and said, Really? Old Tom didn't quite believe what Zhang Tuai said. After all, Zhang Tuai has only been seen all this time, and there has never been any reinforcements to help. Otherwise, they would not have been needed to assist when the dam was blown up. However, until now, they are all grasshoppers on a rope, and they can only choose to believe it. Then what should we do next? Old Tom asked. Clean up the scene and send the injured to the hospital for treatment. By the way, are there any police officers in the city? John Tuhai asked. Basically, they've all run away, and there are only two or three left. They can't even patrol a block, Old Tom said helplessly. It just so happens that since the power centers are all vacated, we will take over the full takeover. You take people to control the radio stations and TV stations. Give a televised speech and tell the citizens that the city councilors of Straw City have suffered a bloody massacre with a green war flag and have all died in a hotel. In order to restore stability to Straw City, the Agricultural Association take over all municipal rights in Straw City, implement a daily curfew policy, and keep the rest as normal. At the same time, patrols are dispatched to rectify the city's public security. If anyone is found taking advantage of the chaos to destroy, destroy, and rob, they will be shot. Zhang Tuahai thought for a while and said, Isn't it a little too strict? Old Tom asked worriedly. In troubled times, we should use strict rules. Otherwise, how could they obey our jurisdiction? Zhang Tuahai said. Remember, authority is forged in blood. All right. Old Tom took people to control radio stations and television stations. The security guard at the door showed no resistance at all. And the staff inside were very cooperative with their work. Everything went smoothly which made old Tom feel a little incredible. Soon, news of the change of political power in Straw City spread. Subsequently, this piece of news spread on the internet. Of course, the chicken taco country is a third-rate country. And news of this kind of municipal coup can only be spread in neighboring countries. There is no possibility of even leaving the continent. And it will soon be submerged in the mass of celebrity gossip news. Middle, it didn't spread widely in the world's media. But it was a big hit in the chicken taco country. The president of Chicken Taco Country was up all night. Straw City is independent? Is the news accurate? He asked his secretary. Although it did not explicitly say independence. The Agricultural Association has taken over municipal rights and announced a policy to confiscate the assets of the Coke Company to compensate the citizens of Straw City for the physical damage they have suffered over the years. At the same time, it has also filed a lawsuit with the Supreme Court. We are requesting that more than 10 companies including Coke Company United Fruit Company and Fast Food Company be brought to court, demanding sky-high compensation, the secretary said, and placed all the reports in front of the president. Are they crazy? How could those big consortiums accept it? Gonzalez, the president of the Chicken Taco Country, threw down the report in his hand, with a long list of figures on it. He knew with his ass that those big consortiums would not agree. Can't these damn guys save me some peace of mind and let me get through this term smoothly? Don't they know that the critical moment of the general election is coming soon? I still want to seek re-election. Shit! Gonzalez angrily smashed the ashtray at hand. Mr. President, what is important now is to consider how to calm the anger of those consortiums. I have received several inquiries from large consortiums, asking whether we have the ability to ensure the safety of their property. If not, they will use your country's military power to protect their property. The presidential secretary said cautiously, These damn robbers! Are they planning to invade? Gonzalez banged the table loudly. But Mr. President, if they really do this, we won't have the ability to resist. I think what we can do now is to consider how to calm the anger of those big conglomerates. The secretary consoled him. Damn it! Gonzalez was so angry that he was shaking all over. But he also knew that the secretary was telling the truth. Finally, he fell helplessly into the chair and waved his hand. Go! Contact the controllers of Straw City! Let them peacefully transfer their rights to the federal government. And then ensure that the property of those big companies is not damaged. I can consider not pursuing them. Act of rebellion. Otherwise, I will send federal troops to arm Straw City. If you can't deal with the big conglomerates of the lighthouse country or the warlords who divide the territory, can't you also deal with a group of thugs? This is Gonzalez's most intuitive idea. The secretary quickly conveyed the order. And a telegram reached Chong to a high in a jumbled manner. 
Chapter 953 Party Plan You want us to transfer power peacefully? Do you want us to protect the property of those big consortiums? Does he really think we are soft persimmons? Zhang Tuohai looked at the telegram in his hand and sneered. Send the telegram out and let everyone talk about whether it is reasonable or not. The telegram was circulated in the hands of many cowboys. The cowboys who had read the telegram cursed. What a rubbish president. When those big consortiums bullied us before and we couldn't even use water. He didn't show up. Now he wants us to protect those people. The property of a large consortium? Is he the president of the chicken taco country or the president of the lighthouse country? Some radical cowboys even shouted the slogan, enter the chicken taco city and seize the bird seat. A feeling of anger spread through the hearts of the cowboys. In their view, the president has already derelict in his duty by not helping them seek justice. Now he openly denies their efforts to fight for their own rights and asks them to give up their rights and protect the enemy's property. Isn't this an attempt to suppress them? Let the enemy kill your neck. There was a feeling of betrayal in everyone's hearts. Forget it if the damn president overthrows this. Independence? I've had enough of this damn country. Let's all be independent together and be the masters of our own country. No one will dare to bully us in the future. If he wants the dominance of Straw City, let him take it by himself. Let's see whether his hands are stronger or my bullets are stronger. The cowboys were excited. Sometimes the situation is like this. When the atmosphere is heightened, it's not a question of whether you want to wear a yellow robe. Even if you don't have that idea, do your people want to go further? If you can't satisfy everyone's interests, everyone will kill you and replace you with someone who can lead everyone to higher ground. I can understand everyone's mood. But now is not the time to raise the banner of independence. Otherwise, we will face pressure from many aspects. We will first break away from federal jurisdiction in the name of a municipality. We will take care of ourselves and bear it. The green battle flag will retaliate and wait until the time is right before officially establishing the country. Zhang Tuohai appeased everyone. And at the same time, he began to lavish rewards and appointed several outstanding cowboys as police officers. Each of them had dozens of people in prison responsible for the security inspections in the city. Everyone had a salary and the funds came from the city finance. Out. After appointing the sheriff, the first thing Zhang Tuohai asked them to do was to seize the properties of those congressmen. These congressmen have been acting as lackeys of big conglomerates over the years, arbitrarily exploiting ordinary people like them and exploiting their hard-earned money. Now, it is time to pay back. When the cowboys entered the estates of those congressmen, they were all dumbfounded. They never imagined that these manor houses, which were ordinary on the outside, were so magnificent inside. Huge crystal chandeliers. The interior is filled with precious oil paintings, valuable porcelain, exquisite works of art, and a wine cellar filled with fine wines. The safe sealed in the wall was violently broken into, and it was filled with bundles of cash and valuable jewelry, as well as foreign bank cards. How much have these people made over the years? The cowboys were blinded by all the things in front of them. Move all the drinks out and distribute them. Don't touch these works of art. They can only be used as ornaments in your hands. After a while, I will find a channel to sell them and exchange them for money and weapons and distribute them to everyone. Zhang Tuohai immediately announced the distribution rules. The more times like this, the more resolute and decisive we must be. Otherwise, we will not be able to control it in the future. The team's corruption also started from this moment and collapsed all the way. Clear! A group of cowboys cheered when they heard there was a drink and noisily went to the wine cellar to move the wine. Seeing the cheerful expressions of those cowboys, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shook his head. They were just a bunch of rabble. Without him, these people would still be oppressed. It was only with his own strength that he could stand up and make the decision. However, he is still I have to rely on this power. Why are these people like this? Looking at the noisy cowboys, Miranda couldn't help but frown. She didn't like this a bit. After all, they have not received training before. We cannot expect them to follow the same orders and prohibitions as the regular army. We can only use these to stimulate morale. There will definitely be no improvement in a short period of time. We can only rely on step-by-step -step training to transform them. Their road is still there. It's still growing. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and said helplessly. That's all it can do. Miranda also nodded helplessly. The news of Straw City's announcement of autonomy spread quickly. Except for the chicken roll domestic people and the surrounding small countries who were more concerned about it. No one in the international community took a second look. After all, this is the edge of the world. Even if a few people died, 100,000 people, no one would really pay attention. 
on the training ground. Carol smashed a target into pieces before throwing down the assault rifle in his hand. While wiping his sweat, he took the tablet handed over by his assistant, which contained important news selected by the assistant, as the heir to a large consortium. She needs to have an accurate understanding of major events in the world, which contains many business opportunities. While flipping through, a piece of news suddenly came into her view. Straw City and Chicken Roll Country has declared autonomy? Straw City. Why does this name sound so familiar? Carol turned back to his assistant and asked. There is news that the two fugitives have absconded near Straw City. However, we have too few informants there, so we can only give vague information. We are not very sure, the assistant said quickly. Then go and find out. This time, I must catch him, Carol said and looked at the training ground in the distance. A large group of mercenaries were training hard in a simulated field in a primitive rainforest. After the last time the Vulture Assault Regiment suffered heavy losses, Carol fully learned his lesson and spent a lot of money to recruit manpower and train a new team. This team trained every day how to search and fight in the rainforest. Just to target people. Zhang Tuohai exists. And with this team as her trump card, she is full of confidence in catching Zhang Tuohai. Yes, the assistant hurriedly did it. At the same time, more than a dozen remnants of the green flag were defeated and fled back to the headquarters in embarrassment. What? Hundreds of you elites were wiped out without even seeing the enemy. Then what use are you trash? Pull them out and chop them down. The leader of the green flag roared angrily. A group of defeated soldiers were pulled out and beheaded. Subsequently, thousands of elites were selected, driving armored vehicles and Humvees, and once again rushed towards the Straw City in an aggressive manner, vowing to avenge their shame. Chapter 951 Dog Bites Dog More than a dozen armed helicopters crossed the border and flew straight towards Straw City. Carol wore special warfare equipment and looked heroic while holding an assault rifle. Have everything been arranged along the way? Carol asked the assistant beside him. I've already said hello. The president of the Chicken Taco Country has stated that he will not interfere with our operations in Straw City. He has ordered all the radar cannons in the military bases along the way to be turned off. He will also thank us for lending a helping hand to help counter the rebellion. The assistant said. He knows what's going on. Carol snorted coldly. In a checkpoint guard box, two guards on duty watched armored vehicles and Humvees speeding past. A guard asked strangely. Why are there so many convoys? And which one is set off? I haven't heard any news. Never mind it. We will do what the above says. Don't worry about it. Drink. Drink. Another guard waved his hand nonchalantly and grabbed a fried chicken leg from the paper tube. Don't eat them all. Leave some for me. The other guard could no longer care about the convoy and started grabbing chicken nuggets with his companions. The armed helicopter descended on Straw City. At this time, Straw City was under curfew without any lights. The dark city was like a giant beast hidden in the darkness, as if it would open its mouth to devour the fleet at any time. Looking at the dark city below, Carol felt annoyed for no reason. She asked coldly, Has the location of the fugitive been locked? According to eyeliner reports, the target has been at the city hall recently and shows no signs of going out. The assistant said looking at the information in his hand. Notice, everyone will storm the city hall as planned and capture the prisoner. Remember? I want to live, Carol said through gritted teeth. She had not forgotten the humiliation Zhang Tuohai had given her back then. She had written it all down in a small book, waiting for the day when she would catch Zhang Tuohai with her own hands and return all of it. The order was passed on, and a helicopter formation flew towards the city hall in the city center. At this moment, the surveillance radar on the helicopter sounded an alarm, and then a bright tail flame appeared on the dark street, shooting towards the helicopter. Rockets! The pilot of the armed helicopter shouted and released the heat decoy bomb. Bang bang. A series of hot strips of aluminum and magnesium foil burned violently all around. Boom. The rocket was guided by a thermal bomb to explode. And the armed helicopter escaped from danger. Damn it. There's an ambush. Find them and kill them. Carol was startled by the rocket just now. And then became angry. Just now. She almost lost her life. She never expected that the sneak attack that she thought was foolproof could be counterattacked. If it were not for the armed forces, the helicopter is relatively advanced. And it has installed everything that should be installed and should not be installed. I am afraid it will really capsize in the gutter. Therefore, she vowed to find out who ambushed her and kill her. Boom. A flare was fired, illuminating the entire area. With the help of the flare, Carol saw the scene below clearly and suddenly took a breath of air. 
She originally thought it was a few reckless guys hiding in the corner carrying rockets to sneak up on her. However, there were not just one or two people, but a whole street of people. Moreover, the weapons of these people are not only rockets, but also armored vehicles and Humvees, which are legally equipped with anti-aircraft machine guns and rapid-fire machine guns. Those people are wearing masks and tactical equipment, and they look very brave. After seeing that they were discovered, dozens of anti-aircraft machine guns that were relatively close turned around and pulled the triggers on the armed helicopter. The people in the distance picked up shoulder-type anti-aircraft missiles, plugged in the batteries, and started aiming. Duh duh duh. Bullets from anti-aircraft machine guns hit the armed helicopter first. The armor plates of the gunship crackled with bullets. It seemed as if it could be shot through the armor plate in the next moment. Evacuate to a safe place. Quickly. Fire rockets to kill them. Carol was frightened and shouted, holding the assault rifle in his arms. The pilot of the armed helicopter desperately raised the altitude of the aircraft and at the same time fired rockets downwards. Whoosh whoosh. Boom. 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 A series of explosions exploded in the convoy. The dense series of rockets directly blew seven or eight armored vehicles and Humvees into pieces, and the raging fire almost lit up the entire street. The remaining people, however, did not escape as Carol expected. Instead, they became more ferocious, and several rockets roared towards the direction of the fleet. The helicopter team fired heat decoys frantically. However, several rockets still penetrated the defense net and hit the helicopter. Boom! The helicopter that was shot turned into an orange fireball in the air, fell rapidly to the ground, and then turned into a pile of debris. Several of her carefully trained commandos were wiped out before they even saw the enemy. Damn it! Get rid of these smelly cowboys! I'm going to kill them! Seeing that her strength had suffered an undue loss, Carol's eyes were red. Moreover, Zhang Tuohai was in the city hall in front, and she was unwilling to retreat like this. The convoy below was also jealous. They are the revenge team sent by the Green War Flag to sneak attack on Straw City and avenge the colleagues of the War Flag. As a warlord dividing the territory, his team was almost completely wiped out. But there was no retaliation. Where could he save his face? It will be difficult to lead the team in the future. In order to successfully sneak into the Straw City, they bribed checkpoints along the road and even tore off battle flags and various signs to hide their presence from others. In order to make a sudden attack without giving people time to react. However, they never expected that they would be attacked by a group of armed helicopters as soon as they entered Straw City. No wonder he dared to shout with a green flag. It turned out that he had such a trump card. The leader of the revenge team thought he had figured out the details of Zong Tuahai and immediately issued an order to kill this helicopter formation at any cost. The green battle flag would not even be taken by the regular army, let alone a helicopter formation. In this way, the Green War flag and Carol's commandos fought on the edge of the urban area of Straw City. There was a blast of gunfire, cannon fire, and explosions. While the two groups were fighting inextricably, no one saw a figure disappearing into the shadows of the street amid the chaos. This person is Zhang Tuohai. In fact, he didn't want to do this originally. However, after the border patrol and checkpoint, he paid to tell him the news of the two teams passing through. He made some calculations and suddenly felt that something was wrong so he mixed the green into his makeup. Among the Zhanqi team, they took advantage of the chaos to provoke a conflict between the green Zhanqi and Carol, making them doggy dog. Now that the conflict started, there was no need for him to stay where he was and run away immediately. Chapter 952 Carol's Transfer Plan Zhang Tuohai, the person who caused the trouble, ran away. But the remaining two groups were already furious. The battle has entered a fever pitch. The helicopter formation immediately adjusted its formation and bombed the convoy. The men with the green battle flag were also unequivocal, fighting back with anti-aircraft missiles and anti-aircraft machine guns. Boom! Boom! From time to time, helicopters were blown up by volleys. The cars on the ground were destroyed in pieces and turned into burning steel coffins. Miss Carol can't continue fighting. We have run out of ammunition and only two helicopters are left. If we stay any longer, we will be completely wiped out. Carol's assistant said tremblingly. Carol looked out the window. Only two of the originally mighty armed helicopter formation were still in the sky. The rest had been shot down. The one guarding him was using its onboard cannon, shooting at the remaining members of the convoy. Although her helicopter formation was miserable, the green battle flag formation on the ground was even worse. After being washed away by a round of rockets, almost 90% of the force was killed. The rest were stragglers, using shoulder-type anti-aircraft defense. Missile attack bugs. 
It's not far from the city hall. So there seems to be a chance. Seeing that he was less than a few hundred meters away from the city hall, Jean Carroll just retreated, feeling a little unwilling. Just when she was hesitating, suddenly, the helicopter next to her exploded in the sky and turned into a ball of fire. You don't need to look to know that it was hit by an anti-aircraft missile fired from nowhere. I don't know what happened to these people. Although they were almost completely wiped out, the remaining people still had such a spirit of resistance and refused to surrender. She actually dared to resist and even killed her remaining guards. At this time, even Carol was scared. She didn't know how many anti-aircraft missiles the other party had. And she was worried that she would be next. She glanced at the city hall unwillingly and then shouted angrily, Let's go! This time I gave him an advantage. But next time he won't be so lucky. Retreat. The last armed helicopter flew to high altitude and evacuated into the distance. Seeing the last armed helicopter leave, Zhang Tuohai, who was hiding in the shadows, let out a sigh of relief. He had fired the anti-aircraft missile just now, and it was the only one left. If he didn't scare away the last armed helicopter, there was really nothing he could do. Fortunately, the other party cooperated with him and left wisely. It seems that the items in the armory are still not enough. We have to find channels to order a batch. Jean Tuohai thought to himself, after driving away Carol's armed helicopter formation. 99% of the Green Flag Revenge team were also killed. The rest was easy. Jean Tuohai just asked the cowboys to finish it off. Those cowboys came out and started cleaning up the battlefield. Those who collect corpses collect corpses. And those who collect equipment collect equipment. The division of labor is well organized. It is much better than when it was just a mess a few days ago. I'm so lucky today. Thanks to you. Otherwise, we really don't know how to resist these two powerful enemies. Miranda said happily from the sidelines. This is just the beginning. We won't be able to do this every time in the future. Tell them that they need to hurry up on training. And I will also hurry up and purchase another batch of weapons and equipment. Zhang Tuohai said, The quality of the soldiers under his command is poor. So they can only rely on the advanced nature of their weapons to smooth things over. I know. I will urge them. Miranda blushed slightly. During this period, those cowboys had indeed slacked off and lost their original fighting spirit after experiencing the easy capture of the straw market. Now it seems that this battle has come at the right time to allow them realizing that the danger is right in front of you. You must not slack off easily. Otherwise you will face an endless abyss. Yeah. John Tuohai nodded. But he wasn't going to put all the eggs on the cowboys. He also needed to borrow some other power. He thought about it and took out his satellite phone and found a phone number. Beat out. Carol took the only remaining helicopter and returned to the base. Welcome Miss Carol on her triumphant return. The electronic sound recorded in advance started to sound. Change this damn recording for me. Carol was furious. And this recording directly poked Carol's wound. Almost making Carol angry to death. Those who were responsible for the operation of the base didn't dare to go against Carol's wishes and quickly changed the prompt tone. Carol threw aside all the weapons and equipment on his body and soaked his whole body in the warm spring water. After a while, the negative emotions such as fear, fatigue, irritability, and panic slowly calmed down, and his rationality returned. Gradually the dominance was restored. Carol began to calculate the gains and losses of the recent period, and she discovered a problem. She was a little too persistent in catching Zhang Tuohai personally. Perhaps Zhang Tuohai left such a deep impression on her that she developed an obsession to catch Zhang Tuohai with her own hands. The formation of a new commando team, personal training, and personal raids are all based on this basic reason. However, from a practical point of view, she and Zhang Tuohai are different. The two are not on the same level at all. And there is no need for her to capture the other party herself. Using resources to let others take action to capture Zhang Tuohai and deliver it to her would actually have the same effect. And maybe even more efficient than if she did it herself. Professional things should be done by professionals. So who can help her catch Zhang to a high? Carol lay in the hot spring thinking. After much calculation, Carol's eyes lit up. And she thought of a suitable candidate Gonzalez, the current president of the Chicken Taco Country. This man is nominally the president of Chicken Taco Country, the highest authority in the entire country, and controls the country's violent machine. He is also a pure local snake, and the most powerful one. The straw market where Zhang Tuohai is entrenched is also just right. Within his sphere of influence, it is most appropriate to ask him to help handle the matter. Moreover, Gonzalez is actually easier to control than other people, because the general election is about to be held, 
and Gonzalez is having a headache seeking re-election. If he can promise some support and help fund some campaign funds, it is easy to control the opponent. The more he thought about it, the more he thought it was feasible. He stood up from the hot spring pool excitedly, walked quickly into the living room, and grabbed the phone. Contact Gonzalez, the president of the chicken taco country, and ask him to catch it. If Zhang Tuohai is brought to me, I can support him in his election campaign. If he doesn't agree, I will support his political opponents. I think he should know what to do. Chapter 953 Putting Down the Rebellion in Straw City Suppress the Rebellion in Straw City? Gonzalez frowned at the map. From the bottom of his heart, he was reluctant to deploy troops to Straw City to quell the rebellion. Although he is nominally the commander-in-chief of the National Armed Forces, there are many forces in the Chicken Roll National Army, and officers of all sizes are almost the spokespersons of each force. There are complex interests behind them. If it is not in their interests, unable to direct it all. Another point is that most of the troops are stationed on the front line of confrontation with the southern warlords, barely maintaining a balanced state. If the manpower is redeployed, it is very likely that the green battle flag will seize the opportunity. If this leads to the collapse of the entire front if it collapses, not only half of the country will be lost, but the entire chicken taco country may fall into the hands of the green flag. But if he fails to send troops, which goes against Carol's wishes and causes Carol to support his political opponents, then he will most likely fail in the election. The ability of these consortiums to make things happen may be 50 to 50, but the ability to do bad things is 90 to 90. They don't even need to do it themselves. They just need to throw some resources to him to cause trouble, which is enough for him to scratch his head. How to do it? Gonzalez had a headache looking at the map, his eyes wandering around. Suddenly, his eyes lit up and he had a solution. He saw a military port. Because of the geographical environment, the chicken taco country has a navy. Not only does it have a navy, but it also has a marine force, which is pretty strong. However, because there is a powerful and evil neighbor to the north, the size of their navy is limited. There are only a few old warships that have been in service for decades to support the facade. The oldest one may be older than Gonzalez himself, a product of the era of giant ships and cannons, lagging behind by several eras. Therefore, it is not very popular. It is precisely because he is not very popular that all forces basically look down on him and do not have many spokespersons. Due to a combination of circumstances, the Navy has become the most loyal military force in the Chicken Taco country. The captured troops can't be mobilized. So the Navy can always be mobilized. Right? It's just idle sitting in the port anyway. So why not find something to do? Gonzalez thought of the force he had almost forgotten. The more he thought about it, the more it made sense. And he immediately called Navy Commander Carteris. Catres was asked to immediately lead all the Navy officers and soldiers to Straw City to quell the rebellion. Catres, who was dating his lover in a suburban villa, was dragged out of bed unwillingly. After hearing Gonzalez's order, he felt that the other party must have lost his mind. Straw City is an inland city, and you want our Navy to fight the rebellion? Are you out of your mind? Carteris roared angrily. I've seen the map. Straw City is only 30 kilometers away from the coast. You can completely land the fleet close to the coast. I believe that excellent Marine Corps officers and soldiers can complete this important task. Gonzalez said carelessly. If possible, Catras really wanted to open Gonzalez's head and see what was going on in this stupid president's head. He actually wanted to land the fleet on a deserted beach. No one in his fleet had landed. If we don't have a landing craft, how can we land on it? Swimming? Moreover, Straw City is already more than 30 kilometers away from the coast, which is already beyond the firing distance of their naval guns. The missiles of the two second-hand helicopter destroyers can reach it. But the number of ammunition preparations is not much. Only a base number. And it has been it has not been maintained for many years. And it is still unknown how many of them are still usable. As for the so-called Marine Corps, as the fourth-class Ma run in the army, it is almost forgotten by people. You can imagine what good weapons they can get. Most of them use M1 Garand. There are even some old guys from more than 70 years ago using infields. And even the matching bullets can't be found. Do you expect Ma Run like this to fight the rebellion without the support of fleet artillery? It's nothing more than a fool's dream. Don't be too busy refusing. I know you have difficulties. But they can all be solved. If you have any difficulties, tell me. As long as I can do it, I can solve them all. Gonzalez said, patting his chest. Now Carteris is almost his only life-saving straw. 
but he has to make arrangements and respond to every request. Change two ships for me? Catras asked tentatively. Why don't you just kill me? Gonzalez almost spit out a mouthful of blood. Is it that easy to change ships? A decent warship, no matter how cheap it is, is based on one billion US dollars. Moreover, just having money is not enough. You also have to cultivate relationships and send people to learn and accept them. The whole process will only take a few years. How could he have the time to wait? Moreover, there is not that much money in the treasury for him to deal with this matter. As someone from the Navy, you know how much it costs to buy a boat. You can't afford so much now, and you don't have the time. But I can guarantee that if I can be re-elected, I will definitely help you buy a luxury yacht. Ten million class. Gonzalez reassured. Hearing what Gonzalez said, Catrez was tempted. The warship was for the Navy, and the yacht was his own. It seemed worthwhile to exchange the warship for the yacht. However, he finally got a chance to blackmail him. So naturally, he would not let go so easily. If warships can't do it, the guns have to be replaced. Right. You can't let my soldiers go to war with guns that are older than their grandfathers. You can take whatever you like from the army's arsenal. Gonzalez opened the permissions with a wave of his hand. The departure fee is also required. Starting at least one billion. Catres followed the rule of having the price and erasing it when bargaining. And increased the bargaining space in advance. The treasury really doesn't have that much money. Let's do this. There is still a total of 400 million. All of which will be given to you. Gonzalez also looked away. Anyway, his hope for re-election was all on Catres. If he ran the errands and achieved re-election, it didn't matter if the treasury was empty. He could just ask the Lehman Group for a loan. Anyway, the other party also had financial resources. For business, it doesn't matter what kind of mortgage you take. He doesn't have to pay it back anyway. As for the failure to be re-elected, it doesn't matter. The problem of empty national treasury will naturally be a headache for the next president. Is it none of his business? Having made up his mind, Gonzalez directly transferred all the remaining money in the treasury to Catres. Catres was stunned for a while when he heard that Gonzalez was so generous. Then, he transferred 350 million of them to his overseas account at lightning speed. The rest was converted into cash through the bank and was taken directly into the military camp. After shouting to the lazy horses, Catres asked his men to open all the boxes containing money. 50 million is just a string of numbers and a bank card but it is still very impactful to put it in banknotes in front of everyone. Follow me and fight. As long as you win, these will all be yours. Catra shouted to the horses. Chapter 954 Empty the Total Ammunition Depot Seeing so much money, the eyes of the poor Maruns, who had been working as fourth-class people, turned red. Are these all for us? Marun asked excitedly. Of course. As long as you win, it's all yours and I don't want a penny. Carteris said proudly. Tell me. We will fight wherever you want. Even if it's the Black Palace. The emotions of the horses were aroused, and they were full of energy. Follow me to get the weapons first. Catrez drove directly to the army's general ammunition depot with many of his subordinates, which contained the army's most advanced weapons and equipment and reserve ammunition. It supplied the entire battlefield on the southern front and was the largest ammunition depot in the country. Carters took over the place directly with a presidential warrant and then had people smash open the ammunition depot. There was nothing unnecessary in sight. This operation stunned the army guards, who were looking at the ammunition depot. General Carters, we all understand that you want guns, bullets, body armor, grenades, and rockets. But why are you pulling a toad howitzer? I'll take it to the boat for use. Do you care about it? Catrez didn't show any mercy at all, and directly wiped out the entire arsenal. I don't know when this kind of good thing will happen to me next time. How can I wait until I don't do something ruthless? As for the unused equipment, either let the army buy it back at a high price, or directly find an arms dealer to dispose of it and exchange it for money. Wouldn't it be nice? The Ma Runs watched the massive amounts of ordnance being transported away, laughing so hard that their ears almost split open. They have always been bullied and discriminated against. When have they ever enjoyed this kind of treatment? They used 120% of their strength to carry it. Ordnance helped Lord Carteris increase his wealth and those army guards were almost crying to death. The entire general munitions warehouse was actually emptied by the Maruns. Even the mice shed tears when they saw it. How could they explain this to the chief of the army? Catres pulled the gun into Maruns' equipment warehouse, and then replaced the old equipment of Maruns' people. The Maruns, who had put on new equipment, were very proud. After all, 
This was a rare event in naval history for decades. They admired Chief Carter's even more. And they firmly believed that Carter's could lead them to a more glorious future. After a short period of mobilization, Catres planned the forces he could use. In addition to the fleet, logistics supply personnel, civilian personnel, fort guards, and coast patrols stationed on the west coast. All he can use is a Marwan Brigade plus a cruiser, a destroyer, two frigates, and six patrol boats. A week one, however, facing the matching mechanism of the entire Latin American region. This configuration is not bad. Many countries do not even have fleets of this strength and can only live with a few patrol boats. However, this is enough for Catres. Although there is no special transport ship, Marun can just load it with other ships and stuff it on the deck to endure it. Anyway, it used to be this is how it all came about. Moreover, a 5,000-ton cruiser is more than enough to carry a brigade. Catres confidently led the people to the harbor and prepared to take Marun on board, but was told that the cruiser could not set sail. What's going on? Didn't I tell you to burn the boiler and prepare to set sail? Why hasn't it been done for so long? Carteris asked dissatisfied. Mr. Chief, we have no coal. Several sailors in charge of the boiler said helplessly. Why is there no coal? I remember that during the last cruise, there were still dozens of tons of coal left. This voyage is not far away. So it should be enough, Carter said. Mr. Commander, that was ten years ago. The quartermaster thought it was of no use anymore. So he sold the coal. Several sailors said helplessly. Made fact. Caters' face turned green. Although he knew that the Navy was a little bit bad, he didn't expect that the grassroots level was so bad. Even basic military supplies were openly resold. I'll deal with you when I get back. Carters tossed his sleeves and left the cruiser. Although cruisers cannot be used, the expedition plan cannot be stopped. Without cruisers, it is the same with destroyers and frigates. It's all bitter and bitter. So where is the bitterness not the bitterness? Soon! A destroyer that was supposed to carry more than a hundred sailors was packed with more than three thousand sailors. The remaining two frigates were also packed with two thousand people each. Even the six patrol boats were packed with dozens of people. From a distance, he looks like he is possessed by his third brother. The worst thing is that those Maruns got new equipment and liked it so much that they wanted to cover their bodies with it. Everyone carried at least two guns, six basic bullets, as well as a large number of grenades, body armor, and helmets. They were fully equipped, and many of them, who were afraid of death, even wore two or even three layers of body armor. This made the already crowded ship deck even more crowded. However, fortunately, these ships still had a lot of heavy oil. After the efforts of a group of sailors, they finally staggered out of the port. After the ship sailed out of the port, something happened that made Catres collapse. He never expected that Marun, who was affiliated with the Navy, had never boarded a ship due to their long absence from combat readiness. This resulted in many people suffering from severe seasickness as soon as they went to sea. It would be fine if there were only one or two, but there were too many people, and this was even when the deck was crowded with people. The people on the side of the ship were better off and could make a nest directly in the sea, but the people in the middle of the deck were miserable. They were crowded with people from all directions and couldn't move. They wanted to vomit but couldn't help it, so they could only open their mouths and vomit on others. Seeing this scene, many people who were not seasick also felt sick and vomited. Then a vicious cycle formed. People on the ship vomited into a ball, and the entire deck was covered with all kinds of vomit. Is it really possible to rely on these people? For the first time, Catras had doubts. There are more than 7,000 people here, a brigade of them, and they are equipped with the most elite weapons in the country. It should not be a problem to deal with thugs in just one city. Even if they are scared, they will scare away the thugs. Carteris thought secretly. He never took the cowboys in Straw City seriously, just treating them as a bunch of rabble. As soon as the army arrived, all the monsters and monsters would be reduced to ashes. It was not until dusk that the ship arrived at the planned landing site. At this time, Marut on the boat had vomited so much that he almost collapsed. Now that he saw the land, he was eager to see the land and wanted to escape to the shore immediately and never get on the boat again. At this moment, there was a sudden buzz in the distant sky. Everyone looked up and saw a large group of drones flying densely in the sky. Chapter 955 Drone Bombing of Destroyer Why are there so many drones? Who is so generous? Is there a technology company testing it nearby? Sure Ma Run looked curiously at the dense drones in the sky and secretly guessed. Catres in the captain's cabin also saw the drone in the sky. As the commander-in-chief of the Navy, 
he naturally did not need to crowd the deck with the fourth-class people. Instead, he could drink coffee in the spacious pilot house. Looking at the dense drones in the sky, Catras frowned and said, Look for the drone controllers, and ask them to take the drones away immediately, and not hinder our military operations. Otherwise, I will kill them. Put him in jail. Chief, those drones seem to be coming towards us. The lookout shouted in horror with his telescope. Through the telescope, he could clearly see various weapons hung under the drones, including grenades, anti-infantry mines, plastic explosives, and even Molotov cocktails. What? What's going on? Catras grabbed the telescope, and his expression suddenly changed when he saw the weapons mounted on the drones. Quick! Activate the anti-aircraft weapons and stop them! Carter shouted in panic. No way! The captain shook his head helplessly and said, How could there be no way? In addition to patrol boats, destroyers and frigates are equipped with anti-aircraft weapons. How could there be no way? Catra shouted while pulling the captain's collar. The angle of the naval guns is not enough. The phalanx and anti-aircraft machine guns have no bullets. The SM-1 anti-aircraft missiles are locked in the ammunition depot and cannot be transported to the launcher at all. The captain said helplessly, Where are the bullets? Where have they gone? And where are the missiles? Why not put them on the launcher? Catras was furious. Didn't you personally approve the reselling of the bullets? You said that since there has been no war recently, it would be a waste to leave the bullets in the ammunition depot. So you resold them directly. As for the missiles, it is because everyone has not received full military pay for a long time. In order to make ends meet, people often dismantle parts from ships and resell them. I was afraid that the missiles would be dismantled. So I locked them in the ammunition depot. The captain spread his hands, looking helpless. Catrez was stunned for a while after hearing this. He was the one who took the lead in reselling arms and withholding military pay. And he was the one responsible for today's predicament. However, it is absolutely impossible to get him to admit his mistake. He is the Navy chief of the Chicken Taco Country. How could you make a mistake? It must be the problem of the people below. I don't care. You immediately find a way to intercept the drone. Otherwise, I will send you to a military court. Carters roared angrily. However, at this time, the drone formation had already flown over the fleet. Whoosh whoosh. Hand grenades, anti-personnel mines, and plastic bombs were dropped by drones. Boom. Boom. A series of explosions sounded on the deck. Ma Run, who was crowded on the deck, had no room to dodge even if he saw the drone. He could only watch the dense bombs falling on his head, blowing himself into pieces. Some horses near the side of the ship found it more convenient. When they saw the drone flying over, they immediately climbed over the railing and jumped into the sea. However, they soon encountered a problem. That is, because they were too greedy before. Everyone wore double armor or triple armor had more than two weapons, and carried several times the normal amount of bullets and grenades. They didn't notice anything while standing on the boat. But as soon as they fell into the water, these things suddenly became their reminder. Many people are not very good at water, and they fall into the water in panic, and the heavy equipment drags them toward the bottom of the sea. The horses were anxious and untied their weapons in a panic. However, it took a lot of effort for them to wear these equipment on land. And now that they have no place to rely on in the water, it becomes even more difficult to take off. Many people couldn't hold their breath in panic and instinctively opened their mouths. Seawater poured into their mouths, filling their lungs instantly and sending them into hypoxic shock. A few smart maruns did not rush to take off their body armor, but instead pulled off the heavy pendants on their bodies first. Rifles, bullets, pistols, grenades. It stands to reason that this approach is the wisest. But unfortunately two marun were still too panicked and accidentally removed the tab when removing the grenade. Boom! A cloud of blood mist dispersed in the water. The water was as miserable as ever. And over time, it had already turned into a hell on earth. Ma Run, who had nowhere to escape, was beaten into a sieve by the steel balls sprayed by anti-infantry mines. Although many of them wore two or three layers of body armor, their limbs and heads were not so heavily protected. Being hit by an anti-infantry mine was no different than being naked. In fact, their death might be more painful. The belated incendiary bomb directly ignited the deck. The gasoline in the incendiary bomb flowed everywhere along the gaps, bringing the flames to various places. Because the training was almost abandoned, the crew did not pay much attention to the maintenance of the ship. Half of the various damage control equipment were in an unusable state, plus some garbage piles in the corners, so that the poisonous smoke and mist spread everywhere. 
suddenly increasing the difficulty of rescue. In this case, not to mention the extremely poor damage control of the Chicken Taco Country. Even the Krypton Gold damage control of the Lighthouse Country may not be able to save the day. Abandoning the ship and evacuating has become the only option. Let me go first. Even if Katraz didn't want to face it anymore, he knew that there was no other way but to abandon the ship and leave. He immediately ordered the guards to protect him and ran towards the escape cabin. At this time, the ship was full of corpses, but it was now much more spacious, allowing Katrez to pass smoothly. When Katrez and his team stepped on the layers of corpses to reach the escape cabin, they were shocked to find that the escape boat marked as an officer's only was occupied by a few sailors, who were trying hard to control it, wanting to drive away in an escape boat. You all get out of here! Of course, Katrez refused to give up his right to live just like that. So he pulled out the revolver on his waist and pointed it at the sailors. Seeing Katras pull out his gun, the sailor who was eager to survive did not care about the identity of the other party. He picked up the submachine gun in the survival boat and fired at him. Seven or eight people fell to the ground on the spot. A few people in the back row reacted more quickly. With the help of the bodies of the people in the front row, they set up their assault rifles and fired at the escape boat. Several sailors had no cover and were killed on the spot. However, the survival boat was also full of holes. In this case, entering the water would also result in sinking. What should I do? Is there any other way to escape? I can't die here. Carteris's mind was spinning rapidly. At this moment, he felt a sudden spin, and the deck under his feet turned over. Chapter 956, War of Public Opinion. What happened? Carteris was shocked. He had no idea what was happening. He only felt that the world was turned upside down. A pile of garbage that had been piled up next to him for an unknown period of time suddenly rushed onto him and buried him in it. Carteris's head suffered a heavy blow and he fainted. Carteris didn't know what was going on. But Zhang Tuohai could observe it clearly through the drone. A large hole was blown into the side of the destroyer that was used as the flagship just now. And a large amount of seawater poured in. Originally, water intrusion of this level in a normally designed waterproof compartment would at best cause rollover but the redundant buoyancy could still support the ship to float on the sea. However, this ship is a second-hand decommissioned warship that has been in service for a long time. Carters did not maintain it carefully after getting it. Instead, there was no maintenance due to deductions and misappropriations of funds. The little money he received every year was all used for painting. It looks like that on the surface, but in fact the interior of the hull is severely corroded, and some of the watertight compartments have been connected. The result was that a bomb that deviated from its target directly flooded the destroyer's hull seriously. And then the hull rolled over. The destroyer of more than 3,000 tons hit the sea sideways. And a large number of radar antennas were knocked off and fell into the sea. Some lucky Marun had just broken free from the shackles of their equipment and emerged from the sea. They were hit by a huge destroyer. And they were completely wiped out. A moment later, the huge destroyer ended its life of humiliation and sank to the bottom of the sea becoming a paradise for shallow sea creatures. This is true for the main destroyers. And the remaining two frigates are not much better. One was penetrated by the ammunition depot, causing the ship to explode, and the entire frigate was directly blown to pieces. On the other ship, an incendiary bomb ignited the oil depot, and the entire ship turned into a blazing iron coffin. Isn't it a little too cruel? Miranda looked at the scene on the surveillance screen and felt a little unbearable. Cruel? Zhang Tuohai glanced at her and then said, How do you think they will treat the residents here if they land and invade Straw City? How will they treat your uncle and me? How will they treat you? Uh, Miranda opened her mouth, wanting to say something, but she thought that the citizens had been without water for several years and had to rely on coke as drinking water, while the local congressman did nothing, and even led the police and the army to become as an accomplice of Lighthouse Capital. She couldn't say anything. This country is rotten from the roots and everyone has become an accomplice of Comprador and Lighthouse Capital from the top down. No one will stand beside civilians like them, waiting for the despised Ma Runs to rush into the straw market. You can imagine what they will do. Not being able to kill the Marins in large numbers would be cruel to the civilians of Straw City. They have no choice but to do this if they want to survive. But, is this all we can do? Watching batches of people die in the hands of our own people. They might not have to do this. Miranda still couldn't bear it. Then change this country. Zhang Tuohai stood up. Get rid of this regime that makes them fearless to die. And expel those compradors and lackeys. Only by cutting off these rotten flesh can this problem be completely eradicated. Otherwise, it will only be let the rot continue to expand. 
let the country sink deeper and deeper into the quagmire, and eventually be completely destroyed. Can we do this alone? Miranda's eyes lit up when she heard this, but her heart was filled with anxiety. After all, this is about overthrowing a regime, which is crazy enough just to think about it. As long as there is an idea, there is an opportunity. The most terrifying thing is the idea that has not changed. Zhang Tuai put his hands in his pockets and looked at the picture on the monitor. Now that they have started to take action, we cannot remain idle. Zhang Tuai picked up a satellite phone and said to the other end of the phone, Operation Mockingbird can begin. What is Operation Mockingbird? Miranda was puzzled. Just watch it. Zhang Tuai said with a smile. Miranda was still confused and could only sit down and wait. Not long after, a notification popped up on her phone. She opened it and saw a text message pushed by Bluebird. The title was very scary. The dictatorship leader launched a bloody massacre against free people. She clicked on it and saw that the newsletter revealed that Gonzalez, the dictatorial president of the Chicken Taco Country, had carried out a brutal and inhumane massacre on the freedom-loving civilians of Straw City and then had carried out a series of criticisms against Gonzalez, a series of charges such as corruption, dictatorship, persecution of freedom, and tyranny were all placed on Gonzalez's head. Below are a lot of pictures of incriminating evidence, although the reason is unclear. It seems that there are pictures and the truth. Are these pictures real? Miranda looked at the pictures and asked curiously. Fake, but not entirely fake. Zhang Tuohai took a look and said, Some of them were staged, and some were synthesized, and most of them were transplants of other events. For example, this photo of the massacre took place in Africa, and this one is from the Middle East. But it was moved here, Zhang Tuohai said. Wouldn't someone recognize that? Miranda asked worriedly. Don't worry. Those netizens have no discerning ability. Moreover, after being aroused by the article, their discerning ability is even lower. They will not think about the source of the photo or the authenticity of the incident at all. They are just a group of emotional animals. Zhang Tuohai sneered. Besides, it doesn't matter if you recognize it. Anyway, the manuscript has been sent out. Emotions have been aroused. And the first impression has been planted. When someone comes back to refute the rumor in the future, everything has been done. Our original goal has been achieved. The first impression people have when they think of Gonzalez is still that of a brutal dictatorship. So does it really matter? This. Miranda never expected this to be the case. Do you want to use external forces to interfere and force Gonzalez to step down? Miranda asked. They are not that capable. They are just using them to create a wave of momentum, establish our weak image, and then put some pressure on those consortiums. As long as foreign aid is cut off, it will be much easier to destroy Gonzalez from within, Zhang Tuohai said. Before Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, Miranda's cell phone rang with notifications one after another. Miranda opened it and saw seven or eight push notifications popping up on her phone. The contents of the push notifications were pretty much the same. They were all about the latest progress of Gonzalez's massacre and persecution in Straw City. Each push notification was accompanied by pictures and texts. And some even had accompanying text. There are short videos. The pictures are full of ruins, mutilated corpses and helpless and frightened refugees. The short video was shaking and looked like a battlefield. Gunshots rang out from time to time, giving people a sense of oppression. If Miranda hadn't been in the straw market, she would have really thought that the straw market had turned into a hell on earth. Chapter 957 Overthrowing the President's Plan Are these all true? Miranda looked at the video on her phone and fell into confusion. Is it that important whether it's true or false sometimes? I'm just showing them the truth they want to see. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Moreover, do you think that if Coca-Cola were allowed to continue to exist as drinking water, how much better would the outcome of the Straw City City be compared to what is shown in the video? The most that can be done is to extend the scene in the video to a longer period of time. The final fate of Straw City may even be worse than what is shown in the video. Because it contains more pain. Miranda said nothing. Lost in thought. Besides, do you think my foundation is the only one behind such a huge amount of traffic? Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. You mean there are other forces mixed in here? But, who is this force? Why is it helping us fight against Gonzalez? Miranda was puzzled. It's not that they want to help us. They want to help themselves. Zhang Tuohai said quietly. Who are they? Miranda racked her brain and couldn't figure out who the person who helped them was. You wouldn't have expected it. It's actually the Rifle Association and the Military Industrial Complex. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. 
Them? Miranda naturally knew the names of the two. The former was a non-profit organization that promoted ordinary people to own guns. And the latter was the general name of a series of military industrial weapons groups. They don't seem to have anything to do with us. So why should they help us? Miranda racked her brain and couldn't figure out why the two would reach out to help them. If they were to say they were kind-hearted. She wouldn't believe it even to death. Good-natured person selling weapons? What an international joke. It's simple. Gonzalez blocks their financial path. So they have to replace Gonzalez. Zhang Tuahai began to explain the reason. It is true that for the sake of wallets and votes, Gonzalez helped companies in lighthouse countries to destroy the country's industrial system, monopolize resources, and turn the country into a commodity dumping ground. But only Coke, fast food, fried chicken brand stores, United Fruit, water, electricity, and other companies have made profits. Of course, Gonzalez also knew how many outrageous things he had done in order to maintain the stability of his rule, especially to combat the supply of weapons to the Green Army flag in the South. He cut off the transportation network for weapons supplies, especially to the South, and the transportation lines for weapons supply in the Pan-Latin America region are directly cut off. As long as weapons are found, they will be confiscated regardless of their purpose and whether they are legal or not. If the military-industrial complex wants to sell weapons to the South, or even further to Latin America. It can only use air or sea transportation. The shortcomings of these two transportations are also obvious. Either the freight is expensive, or the time cost is high, which virtually increases operating costs. This angered the military-industrial complex, which tried several times to launch street movements to bring down Gonzalez. However, Gonzalez was allowed to pass because the giants of the food system defended him to the death. Now that they saw the opportunity to bring Gonzalez down, they naturally would not let it pass and immediately got involved. Zhang Tuohai took a fancy to this contradiction. So he dared to weave such a half-truth and half-false lie and built a fulcrum to allow more giants to participate and lend strength. Otherwise, with a foundation of only more than 100 million yuan, why would he do this in the headquarters of the lighthouse country? Under the noses of the big guys in the food industry? After listening to Zhang Tuohai's story, Miranda's eyes almost turned into mosquito-like incense and her whole mind could hardly move. After being down for a long time, he finally said, You guys are really dirty when it comes to playing politics. It's just a small trick. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and said, Then what should we do now? Wait and see what happens. And watch them dog eat dog. Miranda asked. No. Since the fire has already started, naturally we need to add another fire to make it burn even more vigorously. Zhang Tuohai said, How can we continue to spread the flames? Continue to make fake news? Miranda asked. What do you mean by that? What do you call fake news? It's all true. It's just a technical deviation in time and location. In addition, the strong market alone has too few locations and hot spots, and the audience will soon get tired. Therefore, it cannot be limited to the strong market, but must be expanded to the entire chicken taco country, so that it can be enjoyed everywhere. Only by constantly hitting the audience's attention with more material can the momentum be pushed to the maximum, so that the giants in the food industry have to suspend their explicit support for Gonzalez due to the pressure of public opinion. At that time, it will be good time for us to make a move, John Tuai said. Then where else can we use it? Let those media continue to make lies? Miranda asked. Why do you need to fake it? Isn't it everywhere? The materials are already available. So why do you need to fake it? Do you think there is no cost to fake it? Zhang Tuohai said with a sneer. Where? Miranda was curious. South. Refugee camp? Zhang Tuohai pointed to the south and said, Geographically speaking, the chicken taco country is stuck between the lighthouse country and Latin America. Although it is too close to the lighthouse country, various industries have suffered a big impact. But it is not all bad. At least it serves as a geographical location. Function of a land bridge. Those refugees who escaped from Latin America especially the gates of hell, had to pass through chicken taco country if they wanted to go to what they saw as a beacon of freedom. This also gave rise to some related service industries in disguise. Don't think that only the chicken taco country is suffering miserably because it is relatively close to the lighthouse country. In fact, almost all Latin America is being harassed, especially the sixth elementary school in China and the United States. Because of its relatively small size, it is almost beaten by the lighthouse. After drying up the blood, the entire country becomes a giant gangster. The murder rate per 100,000 people is as high as over 60. 
the lowest in the world and higher than the war-torn Middle East. The real number is off the mark. In comparison, the country of chicken tacos, which is plagued by diabetes, is a paradise. Therefore, a steady stream of refugees come out of the gates of hell every year and want to go north to the lighthouse country through the chicken taco country. Gonzalez's role was to prevent these refugees from going north. He built a large number of refugee camps along the way to block the refugees. He also embezzled most of the funds that were transferred. Therefore, these refugee camps were dirty and messy. And there were diseases inside. Rampant. Worse than war-torn areas. It can almost be said to be a living hell. This is perfect material. You can shoot it directly without adding a filter. Take a few shots. And then say that this is a humanitarian disaster that happened on the land of chicken taco country. It will definitely become a top-notch one. By then, even the lighthouse country will not face the risk of losing votes to openly support Gonzalez. When the wall falls and everyone pushes back, Zhang Tuohai can seek his own interest in it. Chapter 958 Rush What's going on? Who can tell me what's going on? Gonzalez angrily threw down the newspaper in his hand and asked. The newspapers reported endlessly on the humanitarian disaster that occurred in the chicken taco country and directly named Gonzalez by name saying that Gonzalez was the culprit of all these disasters, and that only by removing Gonzalez could the disaster be solved. You know, most of the media in the chicken taco country are in the hands of the lighthouse country. If such an argument can be made, it is almost equivalent to saying that Gonzalez's political career has come to an end. He is unwilling to give in. He still wants to be re-elected. It will take two years for many investments to gain returns. If he steps down now, all these returns will be wasted. Without these returns as a pension, he will have no choice but to immigrate to Lighthouse in his later years. Going home to be an ordinary rich man is not what he wants. Once you have mastered the taste of power, you will never want to give it up again. What about my allies? Didn't they promise not to let this information be released? What is going on now? Gonzalez asked angrily. Mr. President, we have been unable to contact those allies. Whether it is Coke Company, United Fruit or Fast Food Companies, they have refused to answer our calls. The assistant said sarcastically. Humph. These bugs only have profits in their eyes. Gonzalez slammed the table with hatred. Do they think that changing the president can continue to protect their industry? I want them to know that only I can make them make money. If you can't stand on my side, I can take these back at any time. Gonzalez rolled his eyes and immediately said to his assistant. Draft a presidential decree to nationalize all foreign funded enterprises in the food industry confiscate all domestic assets in chicken rolls, and impose high fines. All managers, arrest them for espionage. Mr. President, are you serious? Do you really want to arrest all these executives? This may cause serious disputes. The assistant asked with some panic. Humph. They are going to replace me. Why should I care about them? Follow my orders. Dispatch the Secret Service. Arrest them all on charges of espionage. And put them in jail. No. Put them in the basement of the presidential palace. Immediately block all airports, ports and land passages across the country. And no one is allowed to leave under any name. Anyone who dares to resist will be punished with espionage and is allowed to be shot on the spot. Anyone in the secret service who resists orders will also be punished with collaborating with the enemy and espionage and will be shot immediately. Gonzalez gritted his teeth and issued the order. He has thought clearly. Since those greedy capitalists have given up on him, why should he still take into account the so-called rules? Just let the fish die and break the net. Since you don't want me to have a good time, I won't let you have a good time either. The worst case scenario is that we all end up together. Gonzalez has given up. The assistant glanced at the furious Gonzalez hesitantly, quietly backed out, took out a spare mobile phone card, and started sending a message. He is crazy. He is ready to take action against foreign investment. Act quickly. Otherwise, we will all be dragged into the water. Gonzalez got angry in the office and smashed a lot of things. After a while, he was going to make a phone call and ask the cleaners to come in and clean up. However, what opened the door was a group of armed men with live ammunition. Who are you? Who let you in? What do you want to do? Gonzalez looked at the black muzzle of the gun, feeling terrified in his heart. Those people did not answer him, but directly pulled the trigger. Da da da. A series of bullets shot Gonzalez all over the place. He stretched out his hand, trying to grab something, but he couldn't grab anything. With a pop, Gonzalez's body fell to the ground. Target cleared, the leading armed man said into the earpiece. 
immediately take control of the TV station and speak to the whole country. A voice came from the headphones. Clear. The armed men led a team out of the presidential palace and rushed towards the TV station. Soon, the group took over the TV station without any damage and then gave a speech to the nation. This group of people calls themselves the Freedom Front Alliance because the former president's perverse actions and crimes have caused a serious humanitarian crisis in the country. They have tried Gonzalez in order to seek justice. They have now taken over the national power and are now issuing an amnesty order, pardoning all crimes committed by the former president, as long as he is willing to return to the command of the Freedom Alliance Front. All previous crimes can be pardoned. Television quickly spread throughout the country and abroad. However, two hours later, the green battle flag gave a public speech, believing that the Freedom Front Alliance was completely a group of thieves who stole the throne. The green battle flag did not accept the so-called command of the Freedom Front Alliance at all and would lead the free people to fight against the thieves. In the end, at the same time as the statement was issued, the large army with green war flags departed from the station and approached Chicken Taco City, the capital of Chicken Taco Country. For the green flag, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Now that the president has been assassinated, the top leaders are leaderless, and the controller is not in the right position. If they could overthrow the so-called Free Alliance Front, with half of the southern territory, even it may be possible to directly transform into a real national controller, rather than a warlord dividing the territories. The entire green flag is gearing up and down, eager to seize this opportunity and rise to the top. The government troops who originally opposed them were leaderless because the president was detained. They didn't know what to do for a while. So they just stayed in the station and watched the green flag team pass by. When the people of the Freedom Front Alliance saw this situation, they immediately became anxious and hurriedly mobilized government troops to quell the rebellion. However, people now know the actual control of the government forces. And they have become the decisive force. They have begun to raise prices, asking for foreign exchange, weapons, and privileges. In short, if you want me to send troops, you have to bring benefits. All kinds of harsh conditions were put forward, which made people in the Freedom Front Alliance itchy. If I had money and weapons, why would I need to borrow troops from you? However, people are under the low eaves. In desperation, they could only hold their noses and agree to various conditions, promising a lot of benefits, saying that they would fulfill them after the war. After the benefits were realized, the government troops in charge rushed out of the camp. Some began to chase the main force of the Green War flag, and some of them just fainted and led their troops into the actual control area of the Green War flag. In order to raid Chicken Taco City, the Green Flag mobilized most of its elite forces, leaving the local defense force empty. Helpless, the Green Flag could only hurriedly gather troops to resist, and forced a large number of farmers. Each of them was issued a gun and a rocket launcher and sent to the battlefield. Chapter 959, Opportunity for the Green Flag The Chicken Taco City turned into a pot of porridge. The Green Battle Flag the Freedom Front Alliance and the former government troops, die-hard supporters of the former president, gathered in Chicken Taco City. They do not belong to each other. There is a gap between any two groups, and they are all determined to completely eliminate each other in this chaos. Therefore, any meeting between two teams will lead to a fierce battle. Rush. The sound of machine guns, explosions, and howls of artillery were mixed together. The entire Chicken Taco City became a flesh and blood mill. Corpses were everywhere in the streets and alleys. Countless buildings were damaged in the melee. And even more civilians were injured by stray bullets. It is crowded with hospitals and small clinics. It makes people feel like they have arrived in the Middle East where wars are frequent. At the beginning, the strength of the several parties was relatively restrained. And their goal was to seize key parts of the city. However, as more and more people fell on the long street, several forces gradually became jealous and began to kill and injure each other's personnel. The fighting became more and more fierce. And more and more people died. Because too many people died and the sunk costs were too high. These forces were even more unwilling to withdraw. They constantly diverted their forces into this flesh and blood mill. Resulting in even greater sunk costs and making it even more impossible to escape. They continued to invest in costs and fell into a trap. In a vicious cycle. The fighting lasted from dawn to dusk. And from dusk to dawn again. And the entire chicken taco city was filled with blood just when everyone was tired and slowly regaining their composure. With the morning sunshine, an overwhelming number of drones arrived in the sky of Chicken Taco City. What is this? Everyone raised their heads and looked at the drone formation in the sky in confusion. 
They didn't know which company was so generous as to send so many drones. Although they also have dozens of them. There are tens of thousands of drones in the sky. Who did this? Just when everyone was confused. Precision guided bombs landed on where everyone was gathered. Boom. Boom. Accompanied by bombs one after another. The people of these forces were blown to pieces. Damn. Run. They're coming for us. Everyone scurried around. Some got into cars and got into the alleys between high-rise buildings. Some accelerated and rushed directly out of the city. And some went directly into residential buildings and ruins. However, they discovered that no matter where they were hiding, they would be discovered by small drones and killed. Sometimes, in order to kill them, seven or eight drones would even be assembled with bombs attached to launch suicide attacks. Who can bear this? Who can stop this? The remaining major forces in Chicken Taco City were wiped out bit by bit by the huge swarm of drones. When the sun was high, the huge Chicken Taco City seemed like a ghost town. With corpses, abandoned weapons, and blood all over the ground scattered everywhere. There were wisps of smoke rising from each building, giving it a ruined scene. There was the roar of cars on the distant highway, and pickup trucks drove from the north and drove into Chicken Taco City. The leader is John Tuohai. This large group of drones all belongs to him. And the controllers are the cowboys of the Agricultural Association. Although these cowboys are not good at individual combat and have little fighting will, they are better because they have enough people. And they are very good at protecting their property. Taking the initiative, Zhang Tuohai simply let them control the drone to fight. Not having to face danger directly and not seeing corpses or blood, these people became a lot more courageous. After several trainings, they became more and more proficient and even a few ace players emerged. These drones and precision-guided bombs were not bought by Zhang Tuohai, but were given by the military-industrial complex. These people have always thought of opening up a land passage to the south, and Zhang Tuohai wanted drones and precision-guided bombs. The two sides came together and reached an agreement. The military-industrial complex provided weapons to Zhang Tuohai. After Zhang Tuohai took power, he opened a land route. Passage allowing their weapons to pass smoothly through chicken taco country. Both sides know that the other is taking advantage of them, but they both understand it tacitly. Anyway, they each get what they need. Whether it will be war or peace in the future will depend on who has the initiative. With so many people dead, wouldn't it be too cruel? Miranda looked at the chicken taco city littered with corpses and felt a little unbearable. This is a necessary sacrifice. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and said, Moreover, most of these corpses are gang backbones and separatist warlords. They are all mosquitoes accustomed to sucking blood. It is impossible to make them suck flower nectar instead. We can only choose get rid of them. And only by removing these stumbling blocks to the new era can we create a new era. An era where ordinary people can live and work in peace and contentment. Miranda nodded. She knew that what Zong Tuohai said was true. But after seeing so many corpses, it was inevitable that she would be a little emotional. The car quickly arrived at the TV station. The buildings here are relatively well preserved. Zhang Tuohai specifically asked those cowboys to preserve them. This is an important department. Controlling this place means controlling public opinion. With it, Zhang Tuohai can control large areas of territory without losing any blood, which is of great strategic significance. Zhang Tuohai got out of the car and entered the TV station. After the staff saw him coming in, they skillfully set up the camera for him to deliver a televised speech. They have done this set of work several times and are extremely skilled. Soon, Zhang Tuohai gave a televised speech, stating that he had actually taken control of Chicken Taco City and became the actual controller of Chicken Taco City. Now he would serve as the president of Chicken Taco Country. At the same time, he required all separatist forces to join forces in the three countries. Surrender within a day. Otherwise they will be destroyed immediately. The TV broadcast was quickly spread across the country, but no one took it seriously because there were too many people who said the same thing in the past two days. Who knows who will replace it in a few minutes. Instead of worrying about who becomes president, think about what you can have for dinner. Even the green flag, which suffered heavy losses in Chicken Taco City, didn't take it seriously. It was constantly gathering forces and preparing to conquer Chicken Taco City again in a few days. In their eyes, this is the closest they'll ever get to taking control of Chicken Taco Country. Since such a little-known guy can control Chicken Taco City, it means that the entire Chicken Taco City is extremely empty. The various warlords and the Lashizi Freedom Alliance battle line were almost done in the last melee. As long as they once the army is gathered together again, with a single push, one can go to Luo Chicken Roll City 
and become the actual leader of the entire chicken roll country. Instead of a grasshead king who only controls half of the territory and divides the territories. Chapter 960 A Clever Plan to Make a Fortune In the night, a convoy quietly left Chicken Taco City and headed towards the base of the green flag. This team is the cowboys led by Zhang Tuohai. Although many forces were given three days in the broadcast, it was nothing more than a delaying tactic. Zhang Tuohai knows that without thunderous means, it is impossible to suppress those small warlords. They are like a group of hyenas. Before the situation is clear, they will only patrol in the distance. Once you show your defeat, they will look like, like a shark that smells blood. It will rush over and tear you into pieces. If you want to tame them, you need to show your thunderous skills and knock out a few disobedient ones. And the green battle flag is the most suitable one no matter how you look at it. As long as the largest warlord in the territory is knocked out, other forces will be able to be honest for a while. And Zhang Tuohai will have more time to slowly divide, disintegrate, and deal with them. The convoy was speeding on the road, surrounded by a large number of drones. Even if it encountered a sentry post set by a green battle flag, it would be killed directly by the drone carrying precision guided bombs. Be straightforward, without any sloppiness, and never give the enemy a chance to report the news. Because of the quick action, coupled with the heavy losses of the green battle flag today, Everyone was so panicked that no one noticed that all the sentry posts on a road had lost contact. By the time they discovered it, swarms of drones were already above their heads. Under the guidance of a hidden line bought in advance, three heavy-duty precision-guided bombs hit the basement where the green flag bosses gathered. Although the bombing issue was considered when the basement was built and a bomb-proof ceiling was specially built, Zhang Tuohai did not directly attack the basement. Instead, he bombed several entrances and exits of the basement and used the collapsed ruins to destroy these green warfare. The leaders and core figures of the flag were all locked in coffins they made for themselves. Without the command of these big bosses, the green flag became a bunch of headless flies, being chased and killed one by one by drones. The battle lasted until dawn, and then gradually came to an end. The backbone of the green flag had been completely destroyed, and the minions fled in all directions, fleeing to remote cities. Zhang Tuohai had no time to pay attention to these little minions, but asked the reporters accompanying the army to take pictures of the scene, especially when he stood at the headquarters of the Green War flag, took down the Green War flag, and put in the flag symbolizing the chicken taco country. The process was even captured on video and posted on the internet. The moment the flag was planted was photographed and appeared on the front pages of all newspapers. Rejected? Then there is no need to exist. The photo and video quickly took the internet by storm. You must know that the Green War flag has been around for a long time. And successive governments have been unable to solve this problem. Many people even thought that the Green War flag might establish an independent country. But they did not expect that such a behemoth would be destroyed like this. Or by a little-known person. Wait. This person looks familiar. Many sharp-eyed people recognized him. Isn't this man the new president who took office yesterday? He just came to power yesterday. And early this morning he destroyed the Green War flag the largest separatist force in the territory. This method was indeed remarkable. Zhang Tuohai's methods immediately attracted a large number of people, and more and more people began to want to know what kind of person he was, solving the problem of division that had plagued the chicken roll country for many years. Then, an insider broke the news that Zhang Tuohai was the hero who drove away foreign companies and saved Straw City. Zhang Tuohai's past heroic deeds were narrated. Subsequently, Zhang Tuohai's glorious image began to be widely circulated on the internet. More and more people began to accept Zhang Tuohai and regarded him as a real president in their hearts. Feeling that only such a person could lead the chicken roll country out of the current predicament, Zhang Tuohai's glorious image is not only widely spread in the country of chicken rolls, but also spread to the neighboring country of Lighthouse. When Carol saw this piece of news, he smashed the tablet in his hand. How is it possible? He is obviously a fugitive. But how can he suddenly become the president of Chicken Taco Country? It is unforgivable, Carol said to the assistant beside him. Go and find out who is behind this guy. It is absolutely impossible for him to reach this position by himself. There must be someone behind him helping him. Find out, tell me. Yes. The assistant quickly went out to make inquiries. Because Zhang Tuohai did not deliberately conceal the relationship, the assistant quickly found out the characteristics of Zhang Tuohai's use of drones and then followed the drones and precision-guided bombs to successfully find those military-industrial complexes. After checking this, the assistant did not dare to continue and immediately reported the news to Carol. It's true that they are these worms. Domestic orders are not enough for them. 
They have always been obsessed with Latin America. Do they have to mess up the whole world before they give up? Carol threw the intelligence aside and asked his secretary to contact the military industrial complex, hoping that they would cut off support for Zhang Tuohai. Carol believed that as soon as support was cut off, Zhang Tuohai's tiger skin would be ripped off. And by then, whether it is round or flat is not up to them. However, the military industrial complex quickly rejected her proposal. The reason is also very simple. When dividing the Latin American cake, these food giants did not take them with them. So they found an agent by themselves. A bunch of insects. Carol hung up the phone bitterly. Are we really going to create a channel to get those weapons to Latin America? Miranda asked worriedly. If these weapons are shipped over, the situation in the South will be worse. More people will die of murder. And the situation will be even more collapsed. Don't worry. I won't do that kind of thing. However, since I have agreed, the route must be opened. As for how to operate in the future, it is up to me. I will come up with one to satisfy everyone. It's a plan. How is it possible to satisfy everyone? Miranda didn't believe it. You see? Those military-industrial complexes transport guns to Latin America just to make money. Right. Those who buy guns are basically local gang members. In order to buy guns or earn back the money for buying guns, they can only rob the local people cause chaos in local security, which then led to more people buying guns. But how much money do the locals have? How long will it take to make back the money by robbing the locals? I plan to double the guns and sell them to them, and then send them to a place where money is everywhere so that they can make back their money faster, achieve product updates and iterations faster, and ultimately achieve wealth through guns. Where is such a good place? Lighthouse Country Chapter 961 Millions of Refugees Are About to Arrive Lighthouse Country? Miranda never expected that Zhang Tuohai would tell this place. Wait, you mean you want to send those gangsters to the Lighthouse Country? Can they agree? The goal of those guys was to sell the guns. And I made them double the profit than expected. What else do they want? Does it matter where the people are sent? Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. What's more? This is also an opportunity for them. What chance? Miranda was puzzled. Look, after those gangsters arrived in the lighthouse country, they had no other skills. If they wanted to earn back the money for the guns, they could only go back to their old jobs. Either join gangs or block roads and rob. This would aggravate the chaos of local security. Is that so? Then, won't those military industrial complexes have the opportunity to sell their guns? There was no demand before. But now the gangsters have been introduced. Won't there be demand? Those guns used for self-defense are still not allowed to be sold in large quantities. If you have a gun, you must not maintain it. You must not learn how to use it. Parts dealers, ammunition dealers, shooting ranges, and trainers will all make a fortune. You see, they just made a request. And I directly helped them complete double KPIs. It was too late for them to thank me. How could they be dissatisfied? John Tuohai said with a smile. Really? Really? Won't the disorder of public security affect them? Miranda was so shocked that she was speechless. What does it have to do with them? They live in a wealthy area with a complete security system and a high density of police officers. They are accompanied by security guards when traveling. How can it affect them no matter how chaotic it is? It is simply impossible. They need it, it's just profits. And those who suffer are only the labor force in their eyes. And they won't care. Zhang Tuai said. And it's good for us. Two. What's the benefit? Look, after we send away those gangsters and warlords, will all the unstable factors in the country be eliminated? And the remaining ones will be kind-hearted civilians? Will we be able to develop with peace of mind? Zhang Tuohai describes his ideal. It seems like that's really what happened. Miranda thought for a while, and it seemed like that was the case. So, we not only need to open up a weapons transportation channel to the south, but also open a refugee channel to the north so that those refugees have the opportunity to go to the free lighthouse countries. Since their appearance itself was created by the lighthouse countries, then let the lighthouse countries come solve. Zhang Tuohai said, Moreover, we can also use this opportunity to make another profit, and then use this money to revitalize various domestic industries. Zhang Tuohai said, Now the entire chicken taco country is very poor. A large amount of wealth has been looted by a small group of compradors at the top and stored in foreign banks. The people's livelihood below is in decline. Otherwise, there would not be so many gangsters. To restore people's livelihood, a large amount of money was needed. So Zhang Tuohai targeted gangsters. And after solving the problem of gun trafficking, 
we can continue to harvest the wool of the military-industrial complex. We can also solve the domestic human rights problem, refugees. Finally, we have solved the problem of the whereabouts of gangsters. In the end, we also made a lot of money. And we can do it by the way. Disrupting the security of the lighthouse country can be said to have served multiple purposes with one stone. Does the military-industrial complex not see the danger in this? Of course you can see it. But just as Jean Tohai expected, as long as there are huge profits, those capitalists will even dare to sell the rope to hang themselves. There is nothing else they dare not do. Moreover, in the lighthouse country, the poor and the rich are separated by an invisible isolation belt. If the security in the poor areas is chaotic, what does it have to do with the rich areas? Besides, when will the security in slum areas improve? Introducing more healthy illegal immigrants can also reduce some labor costs and fill the vacancies in the labor force. Why not? Many low-end labor companies, such as cleaning, herding, construction and other industries, are even more welcoming to the arrival of more illegal immigrants. Each person's salary is only a quarter of that of locals, and they don't have to pay insurance. Why not? With the tacit understanding of several parties, a refugee channel to the lighthouse country was opened. Countless refugees left the refugee camps and traveled through the refugee channel to the land of freedom in their minds, the lighthouse country. A large number of gangsters, gangsters, warlords, and even public officials were ordered by Zhang Tuahai to leave within a time limit. Otherwise, they would all be hanged from street lamps. At the beginning, there were still people who did not obey Zhang Tuahai's orders. However, when Zhang Tuahai destroyed 22 gang headquarters in one night and killed a regiment of rebels, the rest of the gang obeyed his orders. For these cooperative people, Zhang Tuahai did not kill them all, but allowed them to carry a certain amount of private property. As for how much they can carry, it all depends on how much they can spend on tickets. Those who spend the most money can leave directly by plane, and those who spend less money can leave in a car of their own, and can bring a car full of gifts as long as your car can fit it. Those who are first class again can only carry one suitcase, then grab a one-way ticket and leave by train. The worst thing is to march on foot, and the salute is limited to what can fit in your pocket. As for the warlords and gang members, Zhang Tuohai tolerated them and allowed them to carry various individual weapons and ammunition. We must let them have the ability to gain a foothold there. Otherwise, as soon as we get there, we will be wiped out by the gangsters over there, and we will think that there is no one in their chicken roll country. Can Zhang Tuohai allow others to say this about him? It can't be. Therefore, he tried his best to preserve the armed forces of these people. Of course, after crossing the border, what these people did with the weapons in their hands had nothing to do with him. Over at the border, Zhang Tuohai has also taken care of things. The border patrol here fully complied with Zhang Tuohai's order and opened the road. The patrol team on the lighthouse countryside was directly bribed by Zhang Tuohai, and a two-kilometer tunnel was dug under the noses of those people, directly across the border. The people over there were just pretending to be patrolling the tunnel, turning a blind eye to the refugees emerging from the tunnel. After the refugees get there, there will be some virgins who will provide food and drinking water to help the refugees get some supplies. Then, these people can choose the area they want to go to. Zhang Tuohai even prepared a map for everyone, with some economically developed areas marked on it to prevent these people from finding the wrong place. From departure to crossing the border, and even the choice of the final destination, Zhang Tuohai helped them. Zhang Tuohai felt that this was considered a considerate service, and that he had implemented the concept that the customer is God will. So, it's not too much to charge a little too much. Right? Chapter 962 The End of the Earthworm and Leech The vast army of refugees is rushing towards the border. There are small vendors everywhere on both sides of the road. Selling food, fruits, shoes, water basins, and other daily necessities. Some people rent out stoves, quilts, and tents for people to stay overnight. Some people even launch bicycles to provide services for pulling people. An economic chain developed on its own based on refugees. Although this economic chain will not be included in GDP, it has greatly improved people's lives. When everyone has some spare money, they will replenish their belongings, shop, and buy food and drink. This will in turn stimulate the production side, revive the entire economic chain, and ultimately allow the entire economic system to slowly start to move without the layers of exploitation by gangs and warlords. Ordinary people's lives are more stable, and they don't have to worry about doing business. The whole society has quickly settled down. Although it is still poor, there are thriving scenes everywhere, and everyone's there were hopeful smiles on their faces. 
Zhang Tuohai's position has become more and more stable. In the minds of everyone, Zhang Tuohai has become a well-deserved Mr. President. Looking at the slowly recovering market, Miranda deeply understood how correct Zhang Tuohai's decision to cut through the mess quickly was. If Zhang Tuohai had not made a decisive decision and carried out drastic actions to deal with the warlords and the Green War flag, the entire chicken roll country would probably still be living in the shadows. How could there be the current scene of vitality and all things competing? On the road, refugees continue to stream for hundreds of kilometers, with no end in sight. In the eyes of the previous president Gonzalez, these were all baggage, burdens, triggers of unrest, and potential members of the gang. But in Dong Tuai's eyes, these people are potential business opportunities and tools to achieve their goals. There is no garbage in this world. Only misplaced resources. Anything, as long as it is placed in the right place, will have unexpected gains. Of course, these refugees are not always peaceful. After all, they are also mixed with a large number of gang members and separatist warlords. If you want them to obey the rules and not act randomly, you still need strong suppression. The drones hovering in the sky and the cowboys patrolling both sides of the road from time to time are the sort of dammits hovering above their heads. If you dare to disobey, you will be completely removed physically. Under the tragic situation of a few unlucky people trying their own methods, the remaining people became more honest and obediently followed the prescribed route. Of course, not everyone is happy with the situation. Many people are chattering on social media, saying that forcing refugees to leave is a violation of their rights. We should respect their personal rights, welcome them with an open mind, and treat them as our own relatives, close to his own home. Balabala. They also packaged warlords and gang members as freedom fighters, saying that expelling these freedom fighters is unpopular. A country should not have only one voice. Expelling these freedom fighters is a dictatorship and is unpopular. Calling on all the people of Chicken Taco Country to unite and overthrow the brutal rule of Barabala. Zhang Tuahai always felt an inexplicable sense of familiarity with these remarks. He was very familiar with this. To put it mildly, this group of people is the big V of earthworms and leeches. But to put it worse, they are just a group of traitors and leading parties who are led by dog food. If this kind of person is brought out, he will collapse first and ask questions later. There is absolutely no unjust, false or wrongful conviction. Lock the data of these people and send them back to their homeland. Anyone who resists will be shot on the spot. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the comments on social media and said calmly. However, those internet companies do not want to open data to us. And their attitude is very tough, Miranda said. Ha ha. Really? Then I want to see how tough they are. Zhang Tuohai sneered and led people to the headquarters of Blue Bird Company in Chicken Taco Country. There is a server group here to store user information and data of Chicken Taco Country. This is the private property of our Blue Bird Company. You have no right to inspect it. Please leave immediately. The security guard at the door looked arrogant. Boom. Zhang Tuohai picked up the assault rifle in his hand and smashed the butt of the rifle at the security guard's head. Suddenly the security guard had a bloody head. Pull aside. If you dare to stop me, you will be shot on the spot. Zhang Tuohai kicked open the door and led people directly into the Blue Bird Company building. The cowboys behind him rushed in like wolves and tigers, quickly controlled everyone inside, and pressed them into the corner to guard them. Come on two technicians and bring me the publicly known information. Zhang Tuohai said coldly. No one said anything when they were pushed into the corner. No one is right. Drag them all out and shoot them. Crash. Many cowboys pulled the bolts of their guns. I, I am willing to cooperate. Immediately, several programmers were frightened and raised their hands in a hurry. We are all wage earners working to make money. So why are we working so hard? Wouldn't it be better if you cooperated like this earlier? They are a bunch of cheap people. Zhang Tuohai had people escort the programmers to retrieve the publicly known information. In addition to the publicly known information, there was also some information about cyber armies, telecom fraud and NGOs. Take the people to arrest them according to the list. Remember, you must watch them enter their motherland with your own eyes. Zhang Tuohai said to old Tom. Don't worry. I'm not good at anything else. But I am good at roping cattle. When I was young, I was also a cowboy who herded thousands of cows. I am familiar with this kind of work. When old Tom was forced to grow avocados, he also complained on the internet. Unfortunately, he was besieged by those leeches and navy troops. He was very angry. Now he finally has a chance to take revenge. Why are you so polite? 
all the earthworms and leeches who thought they could do whatever they wanted on the internet by hiding in a corner were dragged out of their mouse holes, randomly stuffed with two pieces of clothing, and then packed into the train heading for the border, in order to imitate these guys running away halfway. Zhang Tuohai deliberately chose a fully enclosed freight car. All the gaps were reinforced and sealed with steel plates, and the outside was locked with a heavy iron lock. The key was kept by the guard of the next train. After arriving at the border, they were immediately sent into the underground passage and headed to the lighthouse country at gunpoint. Anyone who dared to go back would be shot. In order to show the love of these leeches, Zhang Tuohai especially arranged them to pass through the passage together with the gangsters and gangsters. Didn't they say these people were freedom fighters? Then let them stay with these freedom fighters. After a day and night of large-scale manhunts, the atmosphere on social media in China about chicken rolls suddenly cleared up, and those shady human warriors were no longer seen. I have opened a new book, and the old books will not be discontinued. I hope everyone will support me. Thank you. Chapter 963, Massive Expansion After cleaning up those leading parties on the internet, the overall public opinion environment has improved a lot and the only ones left are those forces headquartered abroad. However, without the help of the Navy, Army, and the leeches, they have nowhere to hide and cannot cause too much trouble. They can just ban their accounts as soon as they appear. Anyway, Zhang Tuohai has already taken control of Blue Bird's domestic chicken taco business. So the authority dog can do whatever he wants. No, it should finally become an important force in safeguarding freedom of speech. After cleaning up these moths, Zhang Tuohai could finally let go and advance his plan. Zhang Tuohai brought together representatives of farmers from all over the country to hold a meeting to discuss the issues of foreign dealers that they should jointly deal with. Zhang Tuohai announced at the conference that all unequal agreements signed between farmers and foreign dealers, especially dealers represented by United Fruit Industry, are invalid. From now on, farmers can freely choose to grow the crops they want. You can also sign a unified purchase and marketing agreement with an agricultural association to plant crops designated by the Agricultural Association. And then the Agricultural Association will sell them uniformly. On the one hand, the advantage of this is that the Agricultural Association can balance the output of various crops, so that everyone will not rush to plant a certain crop, causing prices to plummet, while another crop will suffer a large-scale reduction in production, causing supply to be affected. The second benefit is that with unified sales by agricultural associations, farmers do not need to engage in price wars which will help increase the price of agricultural products and allow farmers to make more money. In addition, Zhang Tuohai also announced that he would provide an interest-free loan to all farmers in need, allowing them to peacefully transition from avocado cultivation to vegetables, grains and cash crops. Farmers who have spent their entire lives dealing with farms and ranches can naturally understand the pros and cons. In the past, they planted their own crops and took all the risks from planting to harvesting. If they encountered any natural disasters or had a bad harvest, they might go bankrupt. Even if it reaches the harvest season, it still depends on how much of that type of crop was produced that year. If everyone grows together, they will face a situation of suppressing prices. It is very likely that they will not get anything after a year of hard work, or even lose money, with the agreement on unified purchasing and marketing. At least they no longer need to worry about planting and selling. They can also grow their own vegetables, and no longer have to buy expensive and unpalatable industrial foods. Thinking of the wonderful scene in the future, all the farmers present were excited and joined the Agricultural Association one after another, and finalized a unified purchase and marketing agreement with the Agricultural Association. As for the specific planting, the Agricultural Association needs to give a rough share before discussing with the farmers. It was agreed that Zhang Tuohai does not need to do these details personally. Someone will naturally take responsibility. Although he has decided to eradicate the cancer of avocado from the land of chicken taco country, Zhang Tuohai does not intend to destroy the avocado forest now. After all, the harvest season will be here soon, and the money still needs to be earned. Cannot be wasted. Moreover, Zhang Tuohai also thought about using the last batch of avocados as a gimmick to make a good profit. You know, this is the last batch of avocados. It is a limited edition, and it is out of print and will not be reproduced again. Don't you want to get a set? I believe many people will pay for it. As for the price, out-of-print items must have a price that is consistent with being out-of-print. Zhang Tuohai's psychological price is twice the original market price. What? Don't accept it? Sorry. The avocados in the entire chicken taco country are under the control of the Agricultural Association. Without the nod of the Agricultural Association, 
Not a single avocado can leave the chicken taco country. Purchasing privately. Bypassing agricultural associations and farmers? Sorry. No one will give up the benefits they are about to receive. Moreover, Zhang Tuohai's iron-blooded methods of dealing with warlords and gangs also made those farmers in awe. And they did not dare to do such overt and covert things. As for the contract? That was promised by the president of the previous generation. What does it have to do with me? Whoever signed it will go to whoever signed it. This is the benefit of a democratic country. If you have any problems, just blame it on the previous generation of presidents. Zhang Tuohai's operation made United Fruit Industry very angry. They have always taken advantage of others. When will it be others' turn to say no to them? How dare you raise the price? If others followed the same example, how could they lie down on the soil of Latin America and suck blood? The United Fruit Industry publicly announced that if the Agricultural Association of the Chicken Roll Country dares not to sell them avocados at the previous purchase price, it will lock up the agriculture of the Chicken Roll Country and not sell even a single tomato or lettuce to the Chicken Roll Country. Is there such a good thing? Zhang Tuohai's face was filled with joy. It was United Fruit that used massive subsidies and used a large amount of cheap fruits and vegetables to overwhelm the local agriculture in the Chicken Taco Country. The farmers were heavily in debt and were eventually forced to sign avocado planting agreements with them. After the local agriculture in the chicken roll country was completely destroyed, the prices of those cheap fruits and vegetables suddenly skyrocketed. The market price doubled several times, and was much more expensive than the original market price. It forced ordinary fruits and vegetables to be pushed out of the market. It has become a luxury product, and the price is prohibitive for ordinary people. Then, space was given to cheap industrial fast food. A large amount of cheap industrial fast food heavy in sugar and heavy oil occupied the space vacated by vegetables and fruits and became the main food of chicken rolls for Chinese people. This is also the reason why the obesity rate of chicken rolls among Chinese people is as high as 70%. The culprit, now that United Fruit and Industrial Food Giants are actually willing to withdraw on their own. I don't know how much trouble this will save Zong to a high. In a way, this has promoted the development of agricultural associations from external forces making those farmers realize the importance of agricultural associations and self-reliance. And they are increasingly inseparable from agricultural associations. As for whether farmers will be completely tied to agricultural associations and become a new monopoly organization, that is not a question that Zhang Tuohai needs to consider. As long as development continues, 99% of the problems can be solved. What he needs now is a force that can support him to compete with those big capitals. And the agricultural association is the most convenient one. The rest, just leave it to time. They have to walk the road to chicken roll country on their own and cannot always rely on Zhang Tuohai. Faced with the threat from United Fruit Industry, Zhang Tuohai did not show any weakness and immediately issued a statement, hoping that United Fruit Industry could keep its promise and immediately cut off the supply of agricultural products to the chicken roll country. The chicken roll country would be grateful. Then, Zhang Tuohai's statement was highly praised and hit the hot search list, once again causing an uproar in public opinion. Chapter 960 for the sad United Fruit. Seeing Zhang Tuohai being so uncooperative, United Fruit became angry. If Zhang Tuohai is allowed to continue like this, everyone will imitate him in the future. How can he lead the team? Must be killed. Cut these people off from the bud. Later, United Fruit presented its own traditional performance, military coup. United Fruit has been able to attract blood in Latin America for so many years because it has money in its left hand and a pistol in its right hand. Those who obeyed were rewarded with three melons and two jujubes, while those who disobeyed were served with machine guns. Whenever someone dares to disobey him, the farmer will burn down the farm, and the government will launch a military coup to overthrow him and replace him with an obedient puppet. However, when they were about to take action against Zhang Tuohai, they found that they had no idea what to do. Originally, they had laid out a lot of overt and covert lines in the chicken taco country, especially in the army. They had many middle and high-level officers who could listen to their orders at any time. There were also some big and small gangsters who were their black gloves, specially used to deal with some inconvenient things. However, when they contacted these hidden lines, they were shocked to find that Zong Tuohai had almost cleared all the open and hidden lines, and almost packed these people and sent them to the interior of the lighthouse country. After these people with military training entered the lighthouse country carrying heavy weapons, they almost beat the local gangsters on the head. They quickly established a foothold and occupied a large number of black industries. Then, these warlords and gang members discovered that the lighthouse country was simply their paradise. As long as they paid taxes on time, 
no one would trouble them. They could freely enjoy fried chicken and coke for a dollar every day. As long as they had money, they could have a lot of it. There are so many beauties to choose from. As for the intensity and risk of the battle, compared with the chicken rolls in China, they have dropped by more than one level. Not only has the risk become lower, but life has also become better. Now, even if someone wants to let them leave, they won't. Blanche, looking at these warlords and gangs who are enjoying themselves in the country, the people at United Fruit really want to scold them. Where is your professionalism? He is obviously a wolf. But why does he look more like a dog the more he lives? There is no hope for this road. United Fruit has no choice but to use another route and engage in street movements. Originally, United Fruit didn't like to play like this, mainly because it was more troublesome. Who wants to make things so complicated when you can use machine guns to solve problems? But without the conditions in the chicken taco country, they can only pick up this line that they don't like. Street movements are also a way for them to overthrow the local government. They mainly send public intellectuals to spread various oppositional remarks, stir up public nerves, and stir up public opinion on the internet. After the atmosphere is in place, they encourage everyone to take to the streets and demonstrate, then bribe the police to cause bloodshed. The incident was then photographed and posted online to arouse greater public opinion. In the end, it encouraged the people to tear down the president with their own hands and elect a so-called democratically elected president to power. Naturally, this democratically elected president was packaged as a puppet by United Fruit. However, when United Fruit was looking for the earthworms and leeches they had cultivated in the chicken roll country, they were shocked to find that this group of earthworms and leeches had also been driven to the lighthouse country. Compared with warlords and gangs, this group of talkers had a much worse life. They were not worth their weight in force and had no guns for protection. They were looted by local gangs as soon as they crossed the border. The poorer ones were sent to prison directly to work as free labor, while the lucky ones stayed in the slums, waiting for charity from the church, and relying on soup kitchens to survive. Mad fact, United Fruit didn't even know what to say. They spent many years cultivating these, and spent a lot of resources. As a result, in just a few days, they were uprooted. Not even a hair left. What's going on? United Fruit was furious when they found out that all the backup plans they had arranged had been cut off. Chicken taco country was the most important part of their company's industry. Especially when avocados came on the market recently. This business affected their company for half a year. If there is a problem with the company's performance, it will cause a major blow to the company's capital chain. If it is not careful, it may even cause the collapse of the entire company. This is absolutely unacceptable to United Fruit. The company was facing a crisis. And Zhang Tuohai became their biggest obstacle. Several major shareholders of United Fruit discussed it, and finally came up with the ancestral solution assassination. What should you do if you can't beat your competitors in business? Then destroy it physically. Then, they started recruiting mercenaries on the black market. He spent a lot of money to hire more than a 100 mercenaries and sneaked into the chicken roll country. As a result, these people were killed by drones just after entering chicken taco country, and their bodies were not found intact. The angry United Fruit found the military industrial complex and asked it to stop supplying Zhang to Ahai with new drones. But the military industrial complex simply ignored United Fruit. When United Fruit controlled Chicken Taco Country, they did not provide any convenience to their military industrial complex, and even cut off the transportation lines to Latin America in disguise. Now, they have finally found a ruler who is willing to cooperate with them, allowing them to make a lot of money, because their recent performance has been good. The stock price has increased by 30%, and everyone's worth has skyrocketed. Let them kill this big benefactor? What about dreaming? Instead of cutting off supply, the military-industrial complex increased supply and notified Zhang Tuohai of United Fruit's assassination plan, asking Zhang Tuohai to be more careful lest their newly established financial path be cut off again. Seeing this scene, United Fruit almost went crazy. The three axes they were so proud of were shattered in front of Zhang Tuohai, which made them extremely uncomfortable. However, it was impossible for them to accept Dong to Ohio's conditions. How could a person who was used to being a master change his mind and become a servant? After much thought, United Fruit came up with the ultimate trump card a trade embargo. Since you insist on selling the avocados at a high price, then I will refuse to buy them and let your avocados rot in the ground and make you lose your funds. Let's see what you can do. United Fruit's plans are ringing, but they have overlooked one thing. That is, in recent years, in order to promote avocados, they have made vigorous publicity all over the world. 
widely publicizing the benefits of avocados and forming a strong connection among the petty bourgeoisie. Huge market. They want an embargo. But fruit suppliers from other countries don't care about that. They go directly to Zhang to Ahai to sign a purchase agreement. It doesn't matter if the price is high. Anyway, the price increase is over. Moreover, they can also boast about the scarcity of things and make them more expensive. If the price goes up further, those petty bourgeoisie will fall into this trap. A few days later, Zhang Tuohai's avocados were almost sold to foreign suppliers, while United Fruit was blocked by domestic suppliers. Chapter 965 Another Trick Unscrupulous Merchants Hurry up and supply goods! Immediately comply with the agreement and supply goods. Otherwise we will see you in court. Where is this year's avocado share? If we don't deliver it, my store will be smashed by customers. A large group of sellers blocked the door of United Fruit demanding shipments. Even though United Fruit is dominating abroad, daring to organize armed rebellions and overthrow local regimes, it still has to keep its tail between its legs at home. Otherwise, the federal court's antitrust law will make it suffer. If someone abroad dared to make such a fuss at the door, they would have set up a machine gun. But this is China, so they can only try to delay it with nice words and try to buy some avocados through other channels for emergency use. However, because Zhang Tuohai tripled the price, other distributors have raised their prices to more than three times in order to make profits. They even specially selected some good quality ones and labeled them as selected and high quality products. And the prices were increased five times or even ten times. Distributors all charge this price. So you can imagine how high the retail price will be. United Fruit looked around but couldn't find one with a lower price than Zhang to a high. Moreover, they are all sold in limited quantities. So it is okay to fool one or two distributors with a small amount. However, United Fruit stall is too big. And this amount is just a drop in the bucket and cannot meet the demand at all. Occasionally, there are several companies of the same scale that can provide emergency relief. But they all stand by and watch. Colleagues are enemies. And they usually appear to be friendly on the surface. But secretly they want each other to die quickly so that they can monopolize this market. Now that we have the opportunity, it would be nice if we didn't add insult to injury. Are you still expecting help? After searching around, it seems that only Zhang Tuohai can supply it. And currently, the market price is still the lowest? Shit! In desperation, United Fruit could only go back to Zhang Tuohai to negotiate the contract, hoping to keep the price down. Unexpectedly, Zhang Tuohai directly raised the price and tripled the price. He also needed to pay the full price before the goods could be shipped here. Why don't you go grab it? The United Fruit representative asked angrily. Aren't I just robbing you? Zhang Tuohai said leisurely while lying on the boss's chair. The price is this anyway. You guys decide quickly. Avocados are a hot commodity now. And the price is rising every hour. In the afternoon. We cannot at this price anymore. Snapped. Zhang Tuohai hung up the phone without giving the other party a chance to refute. Are you really going to ship them? Miranda asked from the side. How is that possible? Zhang Tuohai sneered. Just by building a dam to block water. 80% of the people in Straw City will suffer from diabetes. It is impossible to spare them. Then you still want them to pay the full price? Isn't this asking for compensation for you? Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. If you want to ask for compensation from them, it won't be over until you have to fight a lawsuit for 10 or 8 years. Even if the court has made a ruling. If you want to implement it, the last time I called 911, I tricked the firefighters into going to the rescue. As a result, more than half of those firefighters have died of cancer. And the compensation has not yet been paid. This is one of their own. They have been dragging it out for more than 20 years, and there is still no result. Do you think you, the talking tools of a third world country in their eyes, will get compensation? Just dream. So, I can only use this method to help you get compensation. Zhang Tuohai said with a sneer. This, this was the first time Miranda heard such secret news. She checked online and found that it was really the case. However, it was all buried under the massive celebrity news. And only a few thousand people knew it. Most of the attention should be paid to the victims themselves and their families. How can these people do this? Isn't it too cruel? Miranda didn't know what to say. It's just greed. Zhang Tuohai said, You can't expect these capitalists who drink human blood to have a conscience. People who can't even rely on life-saving money can only be punished in this way. Okay. Miranda nodded. Those suffering from diabetes do need such a sum of money. United Fruit should indeed be held responsible for this. 
Even this does not include the compensation for local ecological damage in recent years. Zhang Tuohai has agreed on a plan. And United Fruit is also holding a board meeting. Let's talk about it. What should we do? Now that the company is in a critical moment, everyone should stop making your own calculations. Asked the CEO of United Fruit. Many directors looked at me. And I looked at you. And finally one person asked, Is there really no way to purchase supplies from the international market? We can't just bow our heads and be slaughtered. If this continues, what about next year? The year after? And other regions? If we set such a benchmark, then other regions I'm afraid there's no way to control the place. Everyone will follow the same example. This trend cannot be encouraged. It must be severely suppressed. The man said and pressed the cigar in his hand firmly into the ashtray. Do you think I don't know how to suppress? The executive director sneered. Military coups. Street movements. Assassinations. Poisonings. Commercial sieges. All the tricks have been used. But it's useless. Otherwise, do you think the guy can stand in front of us? Negotiate terms in front of us? Then we can't give him a discount. I think it's better to go for international acquisitions. The director said, Yes, but if you purchase it from an international source, it will take about a year's profit. Who among you will pay for it? You? The CEO asked with a sneer. No one spoke. You can split the money, but there is no way to ask them to help the company advance money. If you lose money, who will make up for your losses? If no one speaks, let's vote. A secret ballot. The votes will be counted in 10 minutes. The CEO asked his secretary to hand out pieces of blank paper. 10 minutes later, the statistical results came out. And the vote was unanimously approved to purchase goods from Zhang to a high. After the statistical results came out, a specialist immediately called Zhang to a high to communicate. And through superb verbal skills, he persuaded Zhang to a high to pay 50% of the pre-sale payment first and settle the rest after the goods were shipped. Zhang Tuohai was non-committal. As soon as the money from United Fruit arrived, Zhang Tuohai immediately asked people to pack and load the picked avocados onto cargo ships for shipment to other continents. As for the money, the money for purchasing the avocados was first paid according to the original purchase price, and the remainder was distributed equally to the sick people as compensation. At the same time, a part of it will be used as a charity fund specifically to support citizens in need. United Fruit had not seen Zhang Tuohai delivering goods for a long time. So he called anxiously to ask, Didn't I tell you? If you want to ship the goods, you must pay the full amount first. You only paid half of the payment, which makes it difficult for me. I have already asked people to pick it and are packing it. If you can make up the payment, I will ask someone to do it. Shipping. If I can't afford to repair it, then I will have to sell it to someone else. You can think about it yourself. Zhang Tuohai hung up the phone. Chapter 966 The Tragic United Fruit Industry What to do? The negotiator on the phone turned to look at the CEO. Call him! The CEO said with a dark face. He has no choice now. If he gives up at this time, it will be equivalent to all the previous money being wasted. The sunk cost is too high. Make him have to give it a try. Moreover, this resolution was passed by a unanimous vote. Every director has a responsibility. And he cannot be blamed alone. Clear! Contact finance to start transfer matters. The money is transferred into the account and is transferred away in an instant. These guys are really easy to trick. I wish I had ordered more. Zhang Tuohai divided the money into two parts and gave one part to the farmers. Each family had different losses. So the compensation was different. Although the compensation was not worth the losses they had suffered over the years, it was still a bit of money back. Much better than those farmers who were suddenly disrupted by United Fruit Industry. As for the remaining part, it was invested in Zhang Tuohai's fund. It's not that Zhang Tuohai wants to swallow the money, but that he needs to use the money to kill United Fruit. In any case, this time he used unfair methods to obtain compensation from United Fruit. Legally speaking, United Fruit can collect debts from him. In order to avoid future troubles, it would be better to kill the creditor. How did you make it? Zhang Tuohai used the foundation to organize an avocado enthusiast association and organized a group of idle young people to protest in front of United Fruit Industry with banners. We want avocados! Give us back the avocado! Down with the tyranny of United Fruit! The world belongs to avocados! Reject high-priced avocados! Reject malicious purchase restrictions and increased prices! A group of people held loudspeakers and chanted slogans at the entrance of United Fruit. The noise made people in the building unable to concentrate on their work. Meanwhile, several rumors began to spread on the internet. 
the avocado producing areas suffered natural disasters. Production dropped sharply, and the price of avocados will rise. Avocado production has been bumper. United Fruit Industry is destroying a large number of finished avocados in order to make high profits. The production is artificially controlled, and the price of avocados is going to increase. The project manager of United Fruit's production area embezzled United Fruit's acquisition funds. In order to fill this financial hole, avocado prices will increase. The sister-in-law of the chairman of United Fruit is a gambler and lost a huge amount of property. In order to make up for the loss, the price of avocados is going to increase. United Fruit's transport ship sank in a hurricane. To make up for the loss, the price of avocados will be increased. News spread on the internet. Gossip from insiders who do not want to be named. Eavesdropping recordings in the locker room. Screenshots of the chat interface. Secretly recorded video materials. All kinds of true and false news are spread on the internet. Anyway, there is only one core argument. That is avocado prices are going up. In order to make profits, a large number of capitals such as United Fruit Industry have spent 30 years packaging avocados into a must-have, healthy food, for families. Various dishes would not be authentic or authentic enough without adding some avocados. Therefore, avocado has almost become an indispensable presence in the family. Just like salt, sugar, and bread, the family in Lighthouse Country cannot lose avocado. Just like the 3D zone cannot lose Tifa, the price increase of avocados is absolutely unacceptable to them. In order to cope with a possible price increase at any time, a large number of residents began to rush to buy and hoard avocados. All supermarkets have been sold out of avocados. Not even a single leaf is left. The craze is like the rush to buy toilet paper a few years ago. Many merchants saw this frantic buying craze and immediately increased the selling prices of their products in line with market rules. This confirms the rumor that avocado prices will rise. Those residents who rushed to buy even more happily and even drove to supermarkets dozens or hundreds of kilometers away just to grab a few avocados. Some unscrupulous self-media saw this huge traffic and produced a large number of staged videos to monetize the traffic. For example, shocked, avocados in a certain place have become equivalent exchange items. In the video, a young man bought a bag of avocados and received a large amount of vegetables, fruits, beef, cola, potato chips, and fried chicken in exchange. For example, shocked, a large group of beauties were naked, and it turned out to be, in the video, a man drags an avocado into the nightclub. A large number of voluptuous girls surround the man with their eyes shining, as if the man is the brightest kid in the nightclub, and the focus of the video is always locked on that person. Avocado in hand. These news once again added fuel to the fire and pushed avocado to the top. Then, the fire broke out. Many people from abroad also stepped forward and shared the avocado prices there. Everyone found that the price of avocados in all regions has increased. Then, the people of the lighthouse country, which is rich in conspiracy theories, began to think divergently. Why have avocado prices increased in all regions of the world? Answer, there are business giants who want a monopoly. Although this inference is too arbitrary and has no basis in theoretical facts. It is helpless that the business giants in the lighthouse country usually do too many things that lack moral integrity. So that if something bad happens, the people will blame them. Anyway, no matter what went wrong, it must be the conspiracy of the business giants. What if they dare to raise prices? Procession. The people of the lighthouse country once again held up signs and were brought to the gate of United Fruit by the guide to protest. United Fruit is confused. My avocados haven't arrived yet. Others have increased their prices. Why are you here protesting? Someone was quickly sent to explain. However, they usually did too many immoral things, and they sent people to explain. This was considered by the people to be shirking responsibility and kicking the ball. So the protests became more vigorous. Many angry people dumped their United Fruit shares on the spot as a way to vent their anger. United Fruit stock, which had been rising all the way, began to trend downward. At the same time, a lot of negative news about United Fruit appeared online. Some involve large-scale changes at the top of the company. Some companies are about to lay off a large number of layoffs. Some United Fruit cargo ships capsized, and a large amount of cargo was damaged. Some United Fruit estates suffered from natural disasters and suffered severe production losses. If it were normal, maybe I would spend some money on public relations, break the scandals of a few celebrities, and the limelight would be over. However, at this critical juncture, the media, which had always been cooperative, became less obedient. 
They unanimously targeted United Fruit and demanded that United Fruit give an explanation. United Fruit Industry is struggling to cope with the situation, having to refute rumors and find evidence. However, people who spread rumors and refute them have been bombarded by the media. People who have preconceptions are not willing to believe it and have begun to sell United Fruit shares on a large scale. United Fruit stock began to fall. Seeing this situation, those hot money, like sharks smelling blood, began to short United Fruit stock. United Fruit stock fell off a cliff like a dive from a high platform. Chapter 967 The Lighthouse Country is in Chaos Under the dual pressure of angry selling by investors and short selling by hot money, United Fruit stock began to fall off a cliff, falling below three consecutive lower limits. Some people want to take advantage of the opportunity to secretly buy the bottom. But unfortunately, how can hot money affect their money making? They continue to suppress the stock price. At the same time, they begin to publicize various unfavorable news about United Fruit industry on the sidelines. These hot money groups are much more professional than John Tuohai in doing this kind of thing. And they have concocted news of all sizes, causing the industry to generally be unfavorable to United Fruit industry. So that as soon as the market opened the next day, United Fruit Industry spent the entire morning the stock fell below three more lower limits. At this time, even other stock investors who were watching the show couldn't sit still and sold their stocks one after another. Smashing United Fruit stock once again. The more the stock falls, the more investors want to sell it. And the more investors want to sell it, the more the stock falls. At this time, United Fruit stock price was like an avalanche, carrying panicked investors and rushing downwards. One afternoon later, United Fruit stock price was less than one-tenth of its original value. It could be said to be an avalanche. If things in here, it can only be said to be a tragedy for United Fruit. However, some smart people couldn't stand it and started to think about it. Now that United Fruit stock has plummeted, what about other fruit companies? What about the upstream and downstream companies related to avocado? Shipping, transportation, cold chain, finishing, specialized stores. Will everything plummet? After all, it all starts with avocados. These people began to sell the stocks in question and shared the secrets with relatives and friends. In the stock market, when a secret is known to two people, it is no longer a secret. With everyone pretending to be friends, panic began to spread, and many doubtful people tried to sell some stocks, causing the stock price to fall. The falling stock price confirmed their suspicions, making them even more panicked and continued to sell their stocks. As a result, other related stocks also started to fall. Seeing that the situation was not good, several major giants immediately stood up and issued a joint statement, saying that the company's financial situation was in good shape and would not suffer losses. And investors were asked to rest assured. Looking at the plummeting stocks, how could the investors believe the lies of these giants? They guessed that these giants must be selling their stocks to let them take over. However, they were not willing to be fooled. So they cut off their flesh and sold their stocks one after another. This caused the stock to crash again and even triggered the circuit breaker mechanism. Seeing the circuit breaker mechanism, investors became even more panicked. They recalled the stock market crash a few years ago, when countless people lost their money and became homeless in the park. The horrific memories came back. In order not to become a member of the homeless, investors began to liquidate stocks and reduce losses as much as possible. This also led to an overall decline in the stock market. With only a few stocks such as Coke, fried chicken, and the military industrial complex. Outstanding. At the same time, gun shops large and small on the streets were overcrowded. And many people began to rush to buy guns and bullets in case of emergency. The purchase quantity was so large that the inventory that had been accumulated for many years was directly cleared. Many stores have begun to rush orders. There is even a purchase restriction policy. However, the more restricted the purchase, the more it can stimulate people's desire to buy. It's all restricted so it must be a hot item. If you don't grab it today, it will be gone tomorrow. Buy it. Another round of panic buying has started. The huge profits have made the military-industrial complex grin from ear to ear. They even want to let this trend continue like this. In this way, their revenue will reach a new height. And the financial report at the end of the year will be very good. Everyone there will be generous year-end bonuses. In order to maintain this kind of revenue, people in the arms control complex began to take action concocting panic statements and writing short essays. Most of the content is that a young man living alone at home was killed on the spot by a gunman. If he had a gun, he could protect himself. And so on. 
and it started to spread virally through marketing accounts. The people are just so blindly obedient. Start buying guns and ammunition in large quantities. Panic began to spread, and then affected an unexpected group of gangsters who had just arrived in the lighthouse country. In the beginning, these gangsters were watching the whole show. As they watched, they discovered a problem. That is, there were more and more people with weapons around. And the business they were running had less and less income. The number of guests in nightclubs has also dropped significantly. And revenue has plummeted. The gangsters who are used to living a life of luxury and luxury naturally don't want to live a hard life anymore. So how can they find money? Of course, use your old skills and grab it. Shooting skyrocketed. Every day, hundreds of police calls are received. And even more are not received. Almost every day you see people shot and killed in the streets. The police couldn't handle it. So they simply began to shrink their police force and only protect the safety of wealthy areas. As for those guys lying dead on the streets, they could only consider themselves unlucky. Stocks are getting lower and lower. And those who sell their stocks are lucky. The worst thing is those retail investors who can't even sell their stocks. Their money is stuck in the stock market and they can't get it out. And their monthly bills are absolutely impossible. Arrears are allowed. If you dare to default for one month, the tax department will definitely come to kick you out the next month and then forcibly auction your house to pay off the debt in order not to be kicked out and to have guns in their hands. These people came up with a solution. They started to go shopping for zero yuan to support their families. At night, the entire lighthouse country turned into a giant Gotham city. The gunshots and rising flames from time to time made people think they were in a war zone. The rich have beefed up their security systems and even gone abroad to avoid the limelight. Civilians could only hold on to their guns and pray that the thugs would not burst into their homes. Because there are more and more guns in the hands of the people. The probability of gangs encountering serious problems is getting higher and higher. The losses in battles are getting bigger and bigger. And the harvests are getting smaller and smaller. In order to obtain higher profits, they begin to expand the time of committing crimes. And then night expanded into day. This has resulted in many residents being afraid to go out to work during the day. Unable to go out. They were ruthlessly fired from the company. With no jobs and bills piling up. There are only two options before them. Either go bankrupt and become homeless. Or join a gang and transfer the harm to others. Chaos began to intensify and panic began to spread. Zhang Tuohai, who had been staying in the chicken taco country, was shocked. He swore that at first, he just wanted to cheat United Fruit out of money and ask for compensation for the people of Straw City. However, he did not expect that his move was like knocking over a domino. And it actually caused the entire lighthouse country to fall. The bottom class fell into panic and panic. If it continues, it may turn into riots that spread across the country. This was something he never expected. Would you like a push? Zhang Tuohai held his chin and thought. Chapter 968 The Absurd Hero Khan is an ordinary insurance salesman. Like most people in the lighthouse country, he married an ordinary woman, gave birth to several children, and worked overtime to pay various bills at the end of the month. Khan is very happy today because he has negotiated another insurance business. In the face of the overall economic downturn, he is very lucky to be able to open a bill. This means that he will not be laid off and has the ability to pay the bills, instead of being kicked out of the house by those tax collectors and living on the streets. In order to celebrate, Connie bought a small cake at a convenience store and planned to go home to celebrate. However, as soon as he walked near the community, he saw a raging fire not far away. Where's the fire again? Don't let it burn to my house. Kant was thinking as he hurried home and called his wife Barbara to ask about the situation. But the phone couldn't get through. This discovery made Connie uneasy, and he began to rush home quickly. When he arrived near the door of his home, he was shocked to find that it was their home that was on fire. Five or six black men in hip-hop attire were standing in front of the door holding wine bottles, cheering loudly at the flames. From time to time, he would smash the wine bottle in his hand into the house, and shoot into the house from time to time. At this time, a siren sounded in the distance. Seeing that the situation was not good, the black men immediately jumped onto the dilapidated Toyota parked on the roadside and ran away quickly. These bastards! Kant ran quickly towards the door of his house. But the flames were so great that the whole house was like purgatory. All the entrances and exits were sealed by the fire, making it impossible to rush in. After the fire trucks arrived and extinguished the fire, only the remaining foundation and some scattered bones were left in the house as well as a few bullets embedded in the bones. Sitting on the ruins, looking at the fire bill in his hand, Kant couldn't help but start to wonder what he had been working hard for all these years. 
Is this the lighthouse dream? He spent his whole life in exchange for the prosperity of the lighthouse. But what he has to face is the bills that will never be paid and the oppression of those gangsters? Why? Kant stood up, tore up the bill in his hand, went to the company to settle his salary, and used the remaining money to buy an AR-15, a Glock, and a lot of bullets. After finding a shooting range and practicing for a while, Kant began his own revenge guide. During the day, he lived by receiving free relief at the shelter. At night, he brought his own weapons and frequently entered Hypes communities, hunting down lone Hypes, especially those driving dilapidated Toyota cars. Don't let it go, because the city where Kant is located has been in chaos recently, and most of the police force has been reduced to wealthy areas, and the police officers in other areas have been huddled in the police stations. As a result, almost no one has noticed the presence of black-skinned people in the community, an avenger who specializes in hunting black skins. Until one day, Kant discovered the dilapidated Toyota that had been parked in front of his house. He drove the stolen second-hand pickup truck and chased them until they reached a relatively busy street before forcing the group to stop. After a fierce gun battle, he successfully killed the black men. But Kant was also a little hurt by this. Coincidentally, all this was photographed by a female reporter who had just gotten off work. Kant did not want the female reporter to send out the evidence. But the female reporter wanted to get more inside information. So she took Kant back to her home for treatment. After a night of lingering, Kant slowly revealed his true feelings to the female reporter. The female reporter felt that this was a good opportunity to win the Pulitzer Prize. So she recorded the story and asked a lot of details and thoughts. The next day, after a lot of polishing and artistic processing, an image similar to Daredevil appeared. Kant was transformed from a purposeless Avenger into a superhero image who protects order in the dark and eliminates violence. Because at this time, the lower class communities in the lighthouse country are experiencing chaos. Dozens or even dozens of homicides can be seen almost every day. The people's nerves are tense every day. They urgently need a superhero to stand up and provide free services to protect everyone's safety. And Kant just meets their needs. As you can imagine, Kant became popular. He became popular as Daredevil, Community Guardian, and Hero of the Night. Many capitals also smell the flow on Kant. Hollywood wants Condor to portray Daredevil in a new version of Daredevil. The Rifle Association wants Kant to be its spokesman. The military-industrial complex hopes that Kant can endorse the AR-15 rifle he uses. Kant stepped into the spotlight, being watched by so many pairs of eyes. Kant naturally had nowhere to hide. He was quickly found by the police and was politely taken back to the police station. In the police station, Kant was not treated badly, but was treated like a hero. Because this was a police station with all employees white-skinned. Various admirers came to visit every day. Several well-known booksellers hoped that Kant could publish a biography and gave him generous royalties. Popular magazines put Kant on their covers. The streets and alleys are full of images of Kant. And Kant suddenly became a white-skinned glory. Many people came to support him. And some lawyers expressed their willingness to defend him for free in order to gain fame and make more money. In just a few days, the money in his account grew from poverty to seven figures. And he became the top middle class. Kant felt like he was in a dream, as if his dream of a lighthouse had actually come true in such a ridiculous way. On the first day of the trial, the streets were crowded with people. On one side were white-skinned people who supported him and regarded him as a hero. On the other side, there was Hay Pai who regarded him as a devil and kept throwing tomatoes and eggs at him. The two groups of people are very different. One group hopes that he will be acquitted, while the other group hopes that he can be beaten to death on the spot. If there weren't police officers standing in the middle and armored vehicles watching eagerly, the two parties might have started fighting on the spot. In the court, the judges, jurors, lawyers, and prosecutors were all sympathizers of Kant. Of course, there was no such coincidence. All of this was arranged by the capital standing behind him. Everyone was on Kant's side, and the so-called trial was just a formality. The defense lawyer directly defended his innocence and spoke impassionately to the camera in court. Shaping Kant into a man who was silently and secretly the heroes who protect everyone are the heroes of the lighthouse country. And heroes should not be imprisoned. Otherwise, it will be a shame to the lighthouse country. In the end, the judge acquitted Kant. When the verdict was announced, everyone stood up and cheered. And the hall burst into applause. After the verdict was announced, the black men waiting outside exploded. While shouting to kill the murderer, they took out the baseball bats and golf clubs they had prepared and attacked the white men not far away. Chapter 969 The Affected Hybrids 
the fight broke out outside the court. Although it was quickly dispersed by the police on duty with tear gas. It still resulted in hundreds of injuries and dozens of people entering the hospital. Moreover, several people inside actually called an ambulance despite the pain, which shows how tragic the incident has become. Although the rioting crowd was dispersed, the anger in his heart was not calmed down, but became more and more intense. The gangsters began to engage in more unscrupulous zero-dollar purchases, wandering around with homemade Molotov cocktails, and many commercial streets were burned down, in order to gain a status similar to Kant in the ethnic group. Some black skins began to imitate Kant's behavior, sneaking into the white skin community secretly, looking for lonely white skins to shoot black skin. There are also people among white people who are jealous of Kant's wealth. They also learn from Kant's model and go into black communities to shoot black guns. They break into doors and rob property, use their property to buy bullets, and continue to shoot black guns. Although they didn't create the image of Kant, the property they robbed was enough to allow them to live a free life of fried chicken and beer. Soon, this hatred spread throughout the lighthouse country. Fierce conflicts broke out between the two ethnic groups everywhere. The intensity continued to rise, and dozens of murders occurred every day. In order to protect their respective communities, YP reduced the police force and deployed a large number of police officers at the entrances and exits of the communities. The gangsters formed a powerful gang and blocked the intersections in the community with used cars. They also sent gang members to take turns guarding the intersections to prevent the police from entering. They completely used the gang system to manage the internal affairs, making it a country within a country. Both sides found that they could not solve each other for a while, but the grievances in the hearts of the people needed to be vented. What should they do? They have set their sights on the disadvantaged third-party Hispanics. These mixed races are at the bottom of the discrimination chain in the lighthouse country. Normally, there is no chance to even take to the streets to demonstrate. 99% of the time, one has to join a gang or rely on aid at a relief station to survive. Even if they find a job, they are at the bottom of the class. And their income is only two-thirds or even less than that of local residents. These are relatively lucky. Many unlucky people were even arrested and thrown into prison as soon as they entered the country and became coolies. Some lucky people were directly kidneyed because they matched the right match. And then ended up as an unclaimed corpse. Finally, like a lot of homeless people without identity, they were buried in public cemeteries on deserted islands. A monk. The only difference from the trap killing is that each person also has a thin skin coffin. These people are at the bottom of the bottom. And they don't even get the attention of the media. Both black and white can't do anything to each other. So they start to operate on these bottom class Latin Americans. These people rushed into the mixed race community and shot indiscriminately with AR-15S. Many of them were not even trying to rob property. But just to vent their anger, they threw Molotov cocktails into the slums one after another and watched the flames spread. Black-skinned and white-skinned people he showed a victorious smile. In the past, when these people had finished venting, they would leave on their own, and the mixed-race people would quietly pick up the pieces and continue living. However, today is different. Because of Zhang Tuohai, a large number of gangsters and warlords were driven to the lighthouse country. Unless they went to a foreign country, these people would naturally live in mixed-race communities with the same culture and race. At least it would be easier to communicate. Slowly, these gangs and warlords gradually extended their tentacles to the entire community, treating the community as their own private territory. And the people in the community were naturally a reserve of talents. How dare these damn blacks and whites attack their own property? Hack him. The grumpy old guy appeared with a machine gun and RPG. These are all serious people who have fought in the war. How can they compare to those black and white men who can only play with single-shot rifles and don't even have heavy-duty body armor? The heavy machine gun mows them down like wheat. If there weren't frequent shootings, these black and white men would instinctively find the nearest bunker to hide after hearing the sound of gunfire. It is estimated that one round of shooting can wipe out all the criminals. But even so, it wasn't much different. One third of them were lying on the ground. And almost everyone else was injured. Under the suppression of machine guns, the warlords and gangsters began to shout, asking the black-skinned and white-skinned people hiding behind the bunkers to surrender. Those black and white guys still plan to sit back and see what's going on. Seeing this situation, these warlords and gangsters didn't waste any time and fired an RPG directly. How can a temporary bunker in the city hold such ordnance? Boom! A car was blown up into the sky, along with several black and white men hiding behind it. Surrender immediately! Otherwise, this will be your fate! Warlords and gangsters started shouting. Then a few more RPG rounds were fired. 
Those black and white men who had only played real-person chicken games had never seen such a battle before. They immediately walked out with single-shot rifles in their hands, kneeling on the ground and begging for surrender. Those gangsters and warlords directly confiscated their weapons, tied them together, and then went back to their old business and demanded ransom. Those black and white men were dumbfounded when they heard this. They just came out to rob. But they were robbed by others. How can this be justified? However, the situation was stronger than the people. And these people had no choice but to sell their goods and get some ransom money. However, seeing the little money in their hands, the gangsters and warlords were grateful for the insult. How can the free and prosperous citizens of the lighthouse country fool ghosts with just three melons and two dates? If you look dishonest at first glance, call me. The prisoners were given a good beating. After killing three of them by mistake, these gangsters and warlords finally understood that the citizens of the originally free and prosperous lighthouse country were actually living on debt. Only the elite and the middle class, who had been in the middle class for many years, could have some savings. And the rest were basically all I owe various bills and have to struggle to pay them off every month. Hack! That's not what's advertised in the media! I feel like I've been deceived! These warlords and gangsters felt they had been cheated and their hopes for a better life shattered. Many people feel that it is not as good as their hometown. At least there is more freedom, and no one cares about them. Feeling cheated, gangsters and warlords took their grievances out on the prisoners, beating them up every day to vent their anger. Those people told a lot of details about the community in order to avoid being beaten. Is the defense of the surrounding communities so weak? These warlords and gangs felt this was an opportunity, immediately expanded the size of the gang, and then organized teams to attack the surrounding communities. The patrol organizations organized by the community were no match for these battle-tested people. They were knocked over by mortars at the first encounter. Then, these gangs and warlords, who had been holding back for a long time rushed into the black and white leather communities. Middle. Chapter 970 Pheasant turns into Phoenix. The revenge of the half-breeds began. And a large number of black and white communities were captured. Many mixed-race descendants who came to the lighthouse country in the early years found that the black-skinned and white-skinned people who had been bullying them were nothing more than that. And they would kneel down and beg for mercy when they were beaten, thinking of being oppressed by those black-skinned and white-skinned people for so many years. The anger in the hearts of these mixed-race people cannot be suppressed. We are all the same. Why can you treat us like this? No. I feel uncomfortable. I have to take revenge. Then the wave of revenge began. In the beginning, it was just those mixed-bloods who had been treated unfairly. Their revenge was just to beat up those who had bullied them and vent their anger. Their behavior was relatively controllable. Later, more and more people felt that there was an opportunity and joined in one after another, making zero-dollar purchases in the black and white communities and replicating what the black and white communities had done into their own on the body. Then, those black and white men couldn't stand it anymore and ran to the police station for help. The drunken hybrids followed them to the police station and saw the hybrids armed with various heavy weapons. As if facing a formidable enemy, the police officers opened the equipment warehouse, took out all the weapons, and confronted the hybrids. I don't know who lost control first and pulled the trigger. And then the rest of them all pulled the trigger subconsciously. A battle started like this. The number of hybrids who pursued them first was very small. Only a few dozen. They were naturally defeated by the heavily armed police officers and were killed on the spot and injured many others. The black-skinned and white-skinned people who fled into the police station were excited celebrating their victory with weapons raised, and even preparing to pursue them. However, these hybrids were just the vanguard. And soon, a large number of hybrids followed. These hybrids belonged to a warlord named Sanders in the chicken roll country. They are mediocre at home. However, when they are brought to the civilian competition area of the lighthouse country, they immediately have the advantage of crushing equipment. After Sanders saw the fortifications at the entrance of the police station, he actually had a mortar set up. This thing is the most basic squad artillery weapon in the field sequence. It is a squad-level support artillery fire. It can basically be said to be an inferior thing, compared with those large-caliber heavy artillery. It is not even suitable for carrying shoes. However, once he entered the civilian urban fighting arena, the pheasant immediately turned into a phoenix. Boom! Boom! Two shells hit the ground and blew the door of the police station into the sky. The police officer at the door was also blown away. The cheering mixed-race people rushed into the police station. The black-skinned and white-skinned people who had been celebrating before immediately raised their hands and surrendered when they saw that the situation was not going well. However, at this time, the mixed-bloods were already red-blooded, and they would shoot everyone in front of them. 
whether they were black-skinned or white-skinned. After taking down the police station and obtaining the weapons in the security arsenal, the mixed bloods became even more crazy. They felt that no one in the city could restrain them. They wanted to take revenge on those who had oppressed them. They wanted to take revenge on those who had oppressed them. Give back everything that belongs to them. The mixed race people who lost their all were no longer limited to ordinary communities and began to try to attack wealthy areas. As soon as they approached the wealthy area, they were blocked by police officers who were already waiting. The police equipment here is better. In addition to standard pistols and shotguns, there are also many AR-15S and M16S purchased with their own money. Moreover, all personnel are equipped with heavy-duty body armor and explosion-proof shields. With the blessing of sophisticated equipment, these hybrids above were taught a lesson. The half-reeds immediately went to Sanders for help. After hearing the descriptions of the mixed races, Sanders' eyes lit up. The rich area is a good enemy. Legend has it that the most elite part of the city is concentrated there, with more than 70% of the wealth. All kinds of food, wine, and beauties concentrated there. As long as you control the rich area, you control the entire city. Go and see! Sanders led people to the top of a small building and looked down with a telescope. Sure enough, tall roadblocks with spikes and dragon's teeth had been erected around the wealthy area. Nearly a hundred police officers were guarding the only entrance and exit, relying on two armored and anti-explosion vehicles as cover. Various assault rifles were set up with machine guns as supports, and even two sniper rifles could be seen. This configuration is comparable to an assault platoon in the wild. However, after all, these are weapons for urban security warfare, and they only protect against unarmored civilians holding single-shot rifles. It looks intimidating, but the armor is relatively weak. Add up the mortars to open the gap. By the way, kill those two nasty snipers first, Sanders directed. Yes. Several artillerymen began to aim and adjust their shooting at Zhu Yuan. Two salvos. Let go. Whizzing. Two mortar shells passed directly over the tall explosion-proof vehicle and hit the rear. Boom. Boom. Two shells hit the concrete floor and directly blew several police officers who had gathered together into the sky. Splashing cement blocks flew everywhere, injuring many police officers. A sniper was unlucky and his throat was slit by a piece of debris. Blood spurted out, and the sniper covered his neck and howled in pain. Two companions immediately rushed up to help him seal the wound. But this kind of injury is life-threatening even if treated in the hospital, let alone on a battlefield where there is almost no rescue environment. The sniper slowly died of suffocation as blood poured into his lungs. The remaining sniper was retired from active service. He had fought in security wars in the Middle East. When he heard the sound of mortars, his muscle memory reacted first. He formed a ball and huddled in the corner to avoid it. Fragment damage. The sniper glanced at his side's equipment with his peripheral vision, two explosion-proof vehicles, and more than a hundred police officers holding AR-15S and wearing body armor. The enemy has at least one mortar. Run! The sniper quickly judged the balance of power between the two sides. The name of the god of war is not for nothing. He knows very well that if the opponent's craftsmanship is not a bit trendy, the shot just now would be enough to kill him. Those two explosion-proof vehicles are not enough for mortars. This line of defense will definitely not be able to be defended. Only by running away can there be a chance of survival. The sniper guessed correctly. After calibrating two shells, the second shelling destroyed an explosion-proof vehicle. The mortar shell penetrated the roof of the car and exploded inside the car. The steel storm smashed the car into pieces. When the second explosion-proof vehicle saw this, it immediately wanted to run away. However, this car was parked here to block the road. And barricade spikes and dragon teeth were deliberately piled on both sides. Instead of stopping the enemy, it became a roadblock that blocked his own survival. Boom! Boom! Two more mortar shells fell. And the remaining armored anti-explosion vehicle was also scrapped. Go! Three cents of what you grab goes to the public. And the rest belongs to you! Sanders shouted loudly. Come on! The hybrid's eyes turned red after hearing the reward. And they rushed towards the police's defense line with their guns raised. Chapter 971 forced to stand with the thugs. Sanders' men stormed the affluent area of Rose City. His subordinates were originally a group of thugs with almost no discipline. Now that Sanders has given the order to send troops, there is even less restraint. Three or five people form a small group, looking for prey that pleases their eyes. Although the rich hire some security personnel, these security personnel mainly deal with daily protection, which is only limited to gunmen and bomb attacks, but does not include war. The main battle weapons equipped were only pistols 
and assault rifles provided by the employer. Facing the warlords, who used mortars and RPGs. They naturally had no suspense, and were taken away in a wave. The entire wealthy area was engulfed in gunfire and shouts. Overnight, the entire wealthy area almost turned into scorched earth. There were ruins everywhere, wisps of smoke rising, and clusters of sparks flickering. Sanders stood on a hill in the middle of a square. If you look carefully, you will find that the hill is piled up by countless banknotes, gold, fine wine, luxury goods, and works of art. Sanders held an AK in one hand and a bottle of high-end rum in the other, raising his head and taking a sip from time to time, seeing the many men returning slowly. Sanders stood up on the hill where the loot was piled up with great courage, raised the AK in his hand, and shouted loudly, Rose City is ours! Roar! Many of the men shouted, raised their guns, and fired into the sky. The sound of gunfire echoed throughout the Rose City. A reporter hiding in the ruins secretly filmed the scene and posted it on social media. Subsequently, it caused an uproar on the internet throughout the lighthouse country, especially the rich, who originally didn't care much about the riots that nearly spread across the country. Because the rich and the poor are separated in the lighthouse country, no matter how chaotic the poor people's areas are, it will not affect them. They can still indulge in luxury in their thousand square meter mansion. However, what happened in Rose City was like a loud slap in the face that woke them up. It turns out that the isolation measures they were so proud of didn't seem to be as effective as they thought. Many people immediately raised the security level, strengthened defenses, put up barbed wire fences, and added security personnel. The security company's business suddenly increased sharply, and demand exceeded supply. Some wealthy people feel that their luxury homes in the city are no longer safe. So they have moved directly to scenic spots or holiday farms far away from the city. Those with more money would fly directly to foreign countries or their own private islands on private jets. Waiting for the situation to change, the media controlled by the plutocrats unified their voices, calling the Rose City incident the darkest night in the history of the Lighthouse State, and strongly requested the Saxon State Assembly to send the guard to quell the riots. The president of the Lighthouse State, G.E., immediately stated that if the Saxon State Assembly could not quell the riot, the Federal Army would directly intervene. The Speaker of the Saxony State Assembly immediately rejected G.E.'s proposal, saying that this was an internal matter of Saxony and did not require federal intervention. Otherwise, it would be a blatant violation of the federal constitution. If federal troops dare to step into Saxony, Saxony will immediately hold a referendum to consider whether to remain in the Federation, while preventing federal troops from entering the territory. Saxon mobilized state guards to go to the Rose City to wipe out the mob. Saxon was once a state mainly based on cattle ranching. In addition, it was close to the border and had many cowboys and martial arts. The state guards have even more powerful firepower, including self-propelled artillery, tanks, armored vehicles, and armed helicopters. They are even more powerful than the entire defense forces of some small countries. After some training, a large number of guards set off from the base and divided into three groups and headed towards Rose City. Many good people were holding mobile phones and constantly posting the videos and photos they took to the internet causing the marching route of the Saxon army to be completely exposed in front of everyone. People all over the world gathered here, holding small stools and waiting for the show to begin. John Tuohai, who was sitting next door, knew about it immediately. After confirming that the team had nothing to do with him, he immediately issued a statement, expressing great concern about what happened in Beacon Country and hoping that the Saxon guard would exercise restraint and not cause a humanitarian disaster. Even the speech was copied from the Lighthouse Country, but the time and place were changed. The shameless double standard expression was very much like the spokesperson of the Lighthouse Country. When Zhang Tuohai was disgusted with the Lighthouse State on the internet, Sanders from Rose City also learned from social media that the Saxon State Assembly actually sent guards to surround and suppress him. He was very disdainful of this. He was also an old warlord who had been fighting for more than 10 years. After all, he was from the regular army. Although the military discipline was not very good, his fighting qualities were still excellent. He has full confidence in his group of subordinates. He directly ordered his men to be broken into pieces, hiding in residential buildings and important facilities, threatening to fight street battles with the guards, turning Rose City into a flesh and blood mill for the guards, and letting the guards bleed to death under Rose City. A drop of blood. In the afternoon, the leading troops of the Saxon State Guard arrived at the gates of Rose City. However, they did not enter the city directly, but began to target the buildings in the city and start firing. Boom! A shell shot out and hit a building. 
The building collapsed instantly and turned into a construction debris dump. Both ordinary people and Sanders' men hiding inside were all buried in the ruins. How dare they open fire without detection? Sanders was shocked. He didn't expect the guards to be so cruel. Opening fire directly on civilian houses. You know, this is not war-torn Africa. This is the country of Lighthouse. Are these guards so cold-blooded? Open fire on your own people? Still, they underestimated the guard. Boom! Boom! Several more shells were fired, knocking down several buildings near the street. And then, the guard tanks dared to move forward a short distance. Then it stopped and continued to fire, as if it would completely wipe out the Rose City. This scene not only stunned Sanders' men, but also the residents of Rose City were frightened half to death. If this continues, they will all be killed by the guards. Why don't you pick up your weapons and fight the guards? Such a ridiculous idea has arisen in the minds of many Rose City residents. Obviously the guards outside the city were here to quell the riots. But they, the residents, actually had to stand with the thugs to protect their own lives. This world is simply too magical. Many people thought to themselves. Chapter 972, Feedback Plan. Residents and rioters stood together against the guardsmen who had come to rescue them. This sounds a bit like a joke on the internet. But it really happened. Because, if they don't resist, the guards will really kill them and the thugs together. As long as the thugs are dealt with, peace can be restored to the city and their mission will be completed. As for how many civilians were accidentally injured, this is just a minor technical flaw and not surprising. The media will not report it. And the people who eat melons will not care. Even if someone discovers it, all he needs to do is blame it on the thugs. What's the big deal? Boom. Boom. The guards' demolition work continued. But citizens who received the news hurriedly exited the houses near the street, helping the elderly and young to leave the city in the opposite direction. Some citizens who were unwilling to have their homes destroyed took out their own weapons and prepared to fight the guards to the bitter end. Arsenals and security supply warehouses on the outskirts of the city were opened, and various individual weapons were moved out and distributed. Anyway, they are all the reserve materials of the lighthouse country, so they will be used in vain if they are not used. Adult men were armed and put on heavy body armor, grenades, and shoulder-resistant anti-tank missiles. A team of five people composed of enthusiastic citizens sneaked up behind a recently collapsed building, climbed up quietly, and hid in the gaps in the ruins, waiting for the tanks to approach. The tank driver did not expect that there were still rebels hiding in the building that had just been reduced to rubble. In addition, there are still many citizens who have not escaped from the building and are lingering so that the infrared radar cannot immediately distinguish whether they are the unlucky people trapped in the building or the hunters waiting for an ambush, giving these enthusiastic citizens a chance to take advantage of them. Opportunity. Two shoulder-fired anti-tank missiles were aimed at the tank as it slowly drove through the street. Whoosh whoosh boom. An anti-tank missile hit the tank's turret directly from the top, knocking the turret away. The remaining one missed the target, hit the road, and made a big hole in the road, creating a certain obstacle for the following tanks. Enemy attack! Duh duh duh. The machine guns of the following tanks began to fire towards possible ambush points. At the same time, they all raised their muzzles, aimed at possible ambush points, and bombarded them. Boom! Boom! Several shells were fired, blowing up a large piece of the collapsed ruins. Unfortunately, the five-man team was hit nearby by a shell, and their bodies were torn apart by fragments on the spot. However, the good luck of this group of forward tanks came to an end. A group of enthusiastic citizens, led by a plumber, reached the back of the tank column through the drainage pipe and launched a surprise attack from behind. Boom! Boom! In the successive explosions, the turrets of several tanks flew out. There are more and more abandoned tanks on the battlefield. And many drivers have changed from being playful and cold-hearted at the beginning to panic. Some even jumped off the tank and ran away quickly in the direction they came from, shouting loudly as they ran. I quit! However, as soon as he took two steps out, he was overtaken by a bullet and shot through his head. You just blew up my home. And you won't play anymore if you don't want to play? How can such a good thing be possible? An enthusiastic citizen pulled the bolt of the gun, his tone full of coldness. He has become an avenger since his home was blown up by these guardsmen. Of course, he doesn't like those thugs either. He is using his own way to regain his own interests. For freedom. Today we will fight for our homeland. Down with the evil parliament controlled by the evil conglomerates. And the free people will finally gain their freedom. Various slogans rang out in the Rose City. Short videos were widely circulated through social platforms. 
We should respect the rights of ordinary people in lighthouse countries to speak out and ask lighthouse countries to pay attention to the voices of those vulnerable groups and work with the international community to completely solve domestic civil rights issues if the lighthouse countries are unable to solve them. We, the chicken taco country, will provide them help as much as possible, such as sending a peacekeeping force to the lighthouse country to help maintain order. Naturally, John Tuahai was not willing to let this opportunity pass easily and was arrogant on social media. Snapped. When the governor of Saxony saw Zhang Tuahai's speech, his face was full of anger. Bang! He threw the tablet in his hand to the ground, then grabbed the phone and shouted, Tell the guard that I want Rose City tonight, no matter what the cost. At the urging of the governor of Saxon, the guard whose forwards were completely wiped out restarted their motors and continued to attack the Rose City. However, this time they were more cautious. Even the ruins had to be bombarded with heavy artillery to ensure that no one was left before they could move forward. The casualties of the enthusiastic citizens of Rose City began to increase. But they could only grit their teeth and resist because this was their home. They played so hard, Miranda said while watching the video. Yes, the defending side is only light infantry. And the opposite side is indeed a complete mechanized division. Whether it is the number of troops, the quality of the troops, or the technical equipment, the defending side does not have an advantage. In addition, without foreign aid, even if it is with the advantage of familiarity with the terrain, defeat is only a matter of time. Zhang Tuai said, Is there any way to help them? Miranda asked. That's all right. Zhang Tuai nodded. It's not that he has a very righteous heart. As long as it can cause trouble for the lighthouse country, he will be happy. The defenders are fighting very hard in two aspects. On the one hand, the weapon disadvantages are too great. The individual anti-tank weapons they use are too close to launch. They must attack within the range of the tanks. No matter whether they succeed or fail, they will be attacked. The counterattack by the remaining tanks also accounts for the majority of casualties. So this dilemma must be improved. Zhang Tuohai analyzed the disadvantages of the Rose City defenders. Another point is that many important facilities have been destroyed and it is difficult to have clean food and water sources. If it drags on for a long time, it will be very detrimental to the defenders. This can be solved. Zhang Tuahai looked at the defender's disadvantage and had an idea in his mind. He immediately called a subordinate and asked him to prepare a hundred small drones, plus a batch of precision-guided bombs, plus a large amount of fried chicken and coke, and then sent people to transport them across the border through tunnels, and then used cars to transport them across the border, transported into the city. In the past, it was the lighthouse country that imported weapons, fried chicken, and coke to the chicken taco country. Now, it is the chicken taco country's turn to give back. The weapons of freedom, the fried chicken and coke of freedom, should be given to the people of the free lighthouse country to defend their freedom and overthrow the corrupt federal parliament. Chapter 973, the tactics are extended to the lighthouse country. Old Tom was driving down the road pulling a truck of coke. At this time, his heart was extremely excited. Originally, the lighthouse nation relied on various hegemonies to dump coke on them and cut off their water sources, leaving them to rely on coke for moisture. As a result, about 90% of the residents of Straw City developed diabetes. Now, they can finally reverse dump these cokes to people in lighthouse countries. As for whether those who drink coke are ordinary people, and what is the difference between them and the big capitalists who produce coke, who is responsible for their suffering and how to solve it is no longer within his consideration. His somewhat poor brain and knowledge did not allow him to think about such complex issues. He only had simple thoughts of revenge in his mind. Yes, it's revenge. He's going to dump the coke back. John Tuohai has already communicated the specific matters. He just needs to transport the coke. The long motorcade was speeding down the road, and the checkpoints along the way saw the license plates and let them go. In order to import refugees, the foundation controlled by Zhang Tuohai bribed all the inspectors on this road and all vehicles belonging to Zhang Tuohai were allowed to pass. This is how Zhang Tuohai sent millions of refugees to various major cities in the lighthouse country, forming a huge refugee group. The seeds were laid for the coming crisis. Therefore, the riots in the lighthouse country are inextricably linked to Zhang Tuohai. Old Tom galloped all the way and arrived at the suburbs of Rose City. A team of people had been waiting here for a long time. The leader was a middle-aged man with blonde hair, wearing full police riot gear and holding an M16 in his hand. If it weren't for the pair of gold-rimmed glasses on his nose, he would have been mistaken for a battle-hardened soldier. However, 
He is Pedro, the leader of the ordinary people of Rose City. After seeing the motorcade approaching, he took two steps and came to the car. He opened the car door for Old Tom himself, held Old Tom's hand and said, Finally, we have been waiting for you. Thank you for supporting our great cause of freedom. Who cares about your freedom cause? I just want to sell you coke. Old Tom thought to himself, but with a smile on his face. He said according to Zhang Tuohai's instructions, You're welcome. We are all free people. Of course we must support each other. Break the shackles on our bodies. And hang from the street lamps those capitalists who want to control us. Implant chips and viruses in our bodies. That's a great thing to say. But don't forget, there are those damn politicians. They actually want to kill us with the thugs. They actually want to kill us. The sacred electors and taxpayers. They should not have done it in the first place. Get these damn politicians elected. Pedro also said on the side. You're all thirsty. I brought a cart of coke here. So you can drink whatever you want. If you're hungry, there's fried chicken in the car behind. So you can eat whatever you want. These are all for you. Old Tom said as he pulled off the canvas on the pickup truck. Revealing boxes of coke inside. Take it. Old Tom grabbed a bottle of coke and threw it towards Pedro. Pedro grabbed it and unscrewed the bottle cap. And the coke inside spurted out. However, Pedro didn't care and drank most of the bottle before finally wiping his mouth and shouting. It's cool. I haven't drank coke in a long time. I remember the last time I drank coke was when I was in school. Pedro looked reminiscing. You just have too many choices. When all your choices are taken away and only coke is left. Try it and see if you can still feel better. Old Tom thought to himself disdainfully. Then he started handing out coke to everyone. His purpose is simply revenge to make the people of Lighthouse Country drink more coke. The convoy behind also stopped and began handing out coke and fried chicken to the people present. These are all factories built by the capitalists in the Lighthouse Country in the Chicken Roll Country. However, they are all supervised by Zhang Tuohai and are working hard to produce fried chicken and coke and then transport them here. Many people have been hungry all day. After a day of fighting, they are already exhausted and their stomachs are almost full of acid reflux. Now that they could smell the aroma of fried chicken, they couldn't bear it. Many people even jumped on the car and opened their mouths to eat the fried chicken. Some didn't even have time to open the packaging and even ate the wrapping paper. Many people didn't even want to spit out the bones and chewed up the chicken together and swallowed it. Hungry people are like that. They want to eat everything around them. A group of people devoured their food. Each person ate two fried chickens and drank two bottles of coke before they were barely full. Many people still touched the oil on their lips. Wanting more. Thank you, brothers of freedom. Please pay my highest respect to your leader. It was you who extended your hand when we were in the most critical moment. We will always remember your kindness. Pedro said. We don't dare ask for your kindness. The last person who was kind to you was an Indian. What about now? Old Tom was full of disdain. However, he still didn't show it. Just nodded and listened. However, I have one more request. That is, please give us some heavy equipment. The guards on the opposite side are too powerful. We are fighting very hard. Every time we attack the tanks, we will lose a lot of men, Pedro said. No, I'm sorry. We can't provide you with heavy weapons. It's too difficult to transport those things. Moreover, even if they are shipped to you, no one of you will use them. After all, they are very professional equipment, Old Tom said. Then what should we do? Are you just going to watch us lose the battle like this? Pedro's face didn't look good. But he also knew that what Old Tom said was true. They also managed to capture a tank. However, there were so many buttons and instruments inside that I was confused when I entered and couldn't figure out what was going on. Don't worry. My dear friend, how could we stand by and watch you fall into a bitter battle? Our great leader has already thought of a solution for you. Bring here. Old Tom waved to the side. And immediately 20 young people came over with remote controls in their hands. Not far from them. There were dozens of small drones placed. What is this? Pedro asked. Drones are easy to learn. Low cost. And quick to produce results. We relied on these to defeat the warlords and corrupt politicians. Drive away the greedy congressmen. And build our new homeland. Old Tom said. Really? Can you let us take a look? Hearing what Old Tom said. Pedro became more energetic. And wanted to ask Old Tom to demonstrate it to him. Chapter 974 Kill the Guards Hearing that Old Tom relied on this weapon for freedom, Pedro immediately became interested and wanted to see it. Of course, this thing is as simple as a toy. 
Old Tom nodded. And the young men immediately understood and controlled the drone to fly. Drones rise into the night sky one after another. Their sound is very small. And their small size makes them almost difficult to detect with the naked eye. Moreover, it is difficult for ordinary air defense radars to detect these low and slow targets. Unless they are specially developed radars. These small drones are almost invisible in the night. However, these drones are equipped with infrared observers, which can clearly see the tanks and armored vehicles parked on the ground at night. A drone selected a tank as its target and then crashed into the tank. At this time, the people in the tank were drinking. They had been fighting for a day and urgently needed alcohol to numb their nerves. As for the tanks around them, they had already set up many sentry posts. So there was no need to worry about thugs coming up at night but they completely did not expect that those thugs who only had police weapons would also use aerial attacks. Boom! The drone carrying the bomb crashed into the roof of the tank. From the perspective of the drone nearby, the tank turned into a burning fireball. Obviously, the tank had been scrapped. What happened? Hearing the explosion, other people in the camp also came out of their tents, holding guns in their hands, scanning the surroundings for the attackers. However, their efforts were doomed to be in vain because the attackers were in the sky. After a successful blow, drone after drone rushed toward the tanks and armored vehicles below. Boom! Boom! A series of explosions sounded in the camp, and the tanks and armored vehicles turned into huge fireballs, lighting up the camp. Debris from the explosion flew everywhere, knocking down a large number of people. The rest were frightened and fled in all directions. Some tried to drive away, but were quickly targeted by drones and killed. The smart people got out of the tank and escaped. Drones are now targeting heavy equipment and do not care about the damage to ordinary people. The attack was launched quickly and briefly, lasting no more than five minutes. However, in these short five minutes, a tank battalion was directly wiped out. Pedro estimated that if his own people were to do it, the number of people lost would probably reach more than three digits. And the result might not be that great. Is this the power of drones? Pedro was overjoyed and took old Tom's hand and asked. This is great. This is exactly the equipment we need. How much do we have? There are probably a few hundred more. Which should be enough for you to deal with the guard outside the city. If it's not enough, we can transport some more tomorrow. Old Tom said. Thank you so much. Let's kill the guard outside the city first. I'm afraid of long nights and dreams. Pedro said. Okay. Old Tom came just for this matter. And naturally he would not refuse. He led everyone, controlled drones to attack the guards outside the city, and specially selected various heavy equipment to attack. The guards outside the city originally thought that this was a brutal battle, just dealing with urban thugs, so they only brought armored vehicles, tanks, self-propelled artillery and other equipment, and almost no normal anti-aircraft artillery, air defense radar, etc. These small drones can only be passively beaten. For a time, the entire military camp was in chaos. Fireballs rose up, and various combatants ran around. Boom! Suddenly, a huge explosion sounded. The center of the camp turned into a huge pit with a diameter of more than 10 meters. Everything around it was completely destroyed by the shock wave. People a hundred meters away were blown out by the strong hurricane. Many people who were running were shocked and fell to the ground. People looked back and saw a huge fireball rising in the center of the camp. It's over! The ammunition truck was bombed. This thought flashed through everyone's mind. They all know that there is the center of the camp, where the supply truck and the guard commander are located. Now that location has exploded, the commander will definitely not be able to survive such an explosion. With all the leaders gone, why would their subordinates fight for their lives? The trees fell and the hosen scattered. Once the commander died, the remaining people lost their fighting spirit and ran for their lives. Pedro clearly saw the panic in the opponent's camp. He immediately realized that this was an opportunity and immediately led everyone to rush towards the guard's camp. The guard was even more defeated and the remaining personnel fled in droves. We defeated the guard and we are free. Countless people cheered, raised their guns and fired into the air, venting their inner joy. Countless people came out of the ruins, hugging each other and celebrating the victory. This scene was immediately photographed by the reporter sent by Zhang Tuohai. Subsequently, according to Zhang Tuohai's instructions, these photos were sold at high prices to the left-leaning media in the lighthouse country. After these big media saw the photos, they immediately rushed to write news. Victory ultimately belongs to the free people. The article extols the victory of the free people, criticizing the current president and canvassing votes 
for the presidential candidate he supports. Several politicians who like to show off smell the fishy smell and immediately jumped out and said that if they were in power, they would definitely push for amending the Constitution to give voters more freedoms and rights so that voters can freely vote in a referendum on whether to accept the management of the city council. If if more than 60% of the voters want to secede from the city council, the city council can be dissolved and the citizens can have complete self-control. Their remarks really touched the hearts of many people, allowing them to earn a lot of traffic and attract many fans. In contrast, the Speaker of the Saxony State and the Federal President were very angry. They were just a group of urban thugs, and the guards actually failed to counter the rebellion. Federal President GE once again proposed sending federal troops to Rose City. She didn't believe that the small Rose City could withstand a joint attack by the sea, land and air forces. The Speaker of the Saxony State decisively rejected the federal president's proposal. He once again reiterated that this was a family matter within the Saxony State and did not require federal intervention. If the federal government dared to intervene, he would immediately initiate an independence referendum. To Governor Sachs, the thugs occupying the Rose City were nothing more than a plague, but the Confederacy was a serious concern. The independence of Saxony must be maintained. Otherwise, the governor will become a puppet of the Federation. Chapter 975 Peace Negotiation Explain to me how a rapid assault brigade was overthrown by a group of urban thugs. Now, we in Saxony have become the laughingstock of the entire Federation. The governor of Sax roared angrily. The surrounding congressmen and officers looked at each other. And finally, the commander of the state guard stood up and said, The assault brigade underestimated the enemy. It did not carry anti-aircraft equipment. The enemy took advantage of the loophole and used a drone to launch a surprise victory. Please give us more. One chance. This time, we will definitely wipe out the thugs in Rose City. How to destroy it? Use heavy artillery? Do you want me to hand over the power of nuclear weapons to you? The governor roared angrily. As he spoke, he threw his cell phone in front of the state guard commander. Look at the good things you have done. I asked you to eliminate the city's thugs, not to dispatch them. Look at this day. In that time, what did you do to the Rose City? Almost one-fifth of the city was completely destroyed. A quarter of the city was burned. More than 5,000 civilians were killed. And the number of injured exceeded five digits. If you let me if the fight continues, the entire Rose City will be completely destroyed. And I will be scolded as an executioner by the people. And then I will step down sadly. The governor was furious. Of all the humans present, he was the only one who least wanted to see Rose City raised to the ground. In any case, it is the biggest taboo to raise a butcher knife and kill the residents of one's own state. It is impossible to engage in street fighting without accidentally injuring civilians. But there must always be a limit. This time, the state guard clearly crossed the line. There is no problem in using violence to fight street battles in the Middle East, where no one cares. Because no one cares how many people die there, as long as oil continues to be produced. It doesn't matter. However, this does not work in the Rose City. Rose City is a city in the Lighthouse State, and it is populated by noble voters who have votes. You beat all the voters in the city to death in order to wipe out the thugs. How will other voters think? He must be regarded as the governor as the executioner, and his position will be over. Who wants to give up such a good position? How many resources did his family spend to push him to this position? How many benefits were exchanged? Now, you want him to step down before the capital is recovered? Absolutely not allowed. Even if you step down, you have to make enough money before doing so. Then what should we do? The financial director next to him asked. Meet peace, the governor said through gritted teeth. What? After hearing this, the state guard commander immediately stood up and slammed the table. We are the top decision makers in Saxony state. How can we negotiate peace with a mere group of urban thugs? If word gets out, federal officials will what will other states think of us? He is the one who wants to be humiliated with blood the most. The loss of the entire assault brigade has dealt a huge blow to his prestige in the army. He needs a big victory to restore his reputation. Even if the Rose City is reduced to ruins. No matter what. Who said they were thugs? The governor looked at the state guard commander with a cold face. They are just a group of ordinary citizens who are fighting for their freedom and rights. They are just using fierce methods to defend freedom. What does this mean? Don't forget. Our constitution clearly stipulates that our citizens have it as their natural right to defend their freedom. The governor said coldly. We have no shame in bowing to a group of citizens who are fighting for freedom. But the state guard commander was about to say something when he was interrupted by the governor. Okay, 
I think your physical condition no longer allows you to make decisions. Now, hand over the power to your deputy and go on vacation. I will give you six months of paid leave. You are not allowed to come back until you finish the vacation, the governor said coldly. All right. Looking at the governor's cold gaze, the commander of the state guard sat slumped in his seat. He knew that unless he openly led troops to rebel, this decision could not be changed. But it's not worth rebelling over. Helpless, he could only put on his hat and leave the decision-making room. Seeing that the obstructive person was gone, the governor said to the press secretary next to him, Convene a press conference immediately. I have something important to announce. Yes. Soon, the venue was decorated. Countless reporters were woken up by the phone calls and rushed to the state parliament. No one is complaining or dissatisfied. They all know that if there is an emergency press conference at this time, there will definitely be breaking news to be announced. And they must grab the front page. Each reporter transformed into Schumacher. And the car flew into the air. Soon the press conference room of the state house was crowded with reporters from major newspapers and media. Looking at the crowd of reporters below, the governor coughed slightly and then said, Previously, due to hacker attacks, our military network was paralyzed. The hateful hackers fabricated false authorization orders and asked a commando brigade to attack we have destroyed our own city, the Rose City, and turned the beautiful Rose City into a battlefield and ruins. Countless people have been injured and a large number of people have been displaced. I am deeply sorry for this. Reporter below, it was obviously you who gave the order and the state guard commander carried it out. But now it's the work of hackers? Past all the blame? Who was it that said a few hours ago that he would never compromise with the thugs? However, no one denounced the governor, and they were all writing furiously. Anyway, they had all seen the more ridiculous things. So what does this kind of confusing blame shifting mean? In order to express the apology of the state assembly and to highlight the democracy and freedom of our Saxon state, we have decided to grant the Rose City the right to complete autonomy. All affairs within the Rose City will be handled by the citizens of the Rose City themselves. We the state legislature will have absolutely no interference and no agency will be created. In addition, in order to prevent similar things from happening again, the state parliament decided to upgrade military communications security next week, and interested companies are welcome to bid. After hearing the end, the reporter's eyes lit up. Full right to autonomy. This is something that does not exist at all in the Federation. If it is really implemented, then there will be no city council in the entire Rose City. Everything is decided by the citizens independently. It is a completely free and democratic city. Yes, it is a free and democratic city. This must be widely publicized. The reporters below were writing furiously and already had an outline of the manuscript. As for the governor's money-making project in the end, just pass it off in one go. It's not an important thing anyway. Newsletters were quickly sent out and spread widely throughout the lighthouse country.